Chapter 161 Wang Wafu Wants to Build a Flying Car On the afternoon of the 16th, at the entrance of the Xingyuan Group Headquarters building, several cars stopped and a group of people got out. A middle-aged man with a round face was guarded in the middle. He was received by the staff of Xingyuan Group and entered the building. Wang Wafu came to Suong City in person again. The steps were hurried and he looked very anxious. By the way, what is the purpose of his coming here this time? Is there any other thing or technology that is worthy of him putting down his big boss arrogance? Traveling thousands of miles away. And condescending to come here just once? You must know that the current by Mingdi is simply awesome. Last year's car sales exceeded an astonishing 12 million units. Becoming the world's number one car company in terms of sales. With a domestic market share of 35% and a share of foreign markets. It dropped by 10%. But it was still killing people and expanding everywhere. The profit margin is also very impressive, with an average net profit of at least 30,000 yuan per vehicle. Adding in other businesses, the total profit is 400 to 500 billion yuan a year. Now Bai Mingdi's business account has trillions of cash flows, and there is so much money that there is no place to spend it. There is also a kind of invincible melancholy and boredom that is very lonely, a little confused and unable to see the future direction. After all, we are at the top. Above, even if there is a higher sky above our heads. Once we fail to figure out the right direction and take the wrong steps, it will be an abyss. Therefore, many shareholders and investors have suggested that Wang Guifu only needs to continue to consolidate his advantages in the next few years. Just continue to work hard to seize market share. It means just let him rest on his laurels and rest comfortably on his laurels. Wang Guifu nodded and accepted these suggestions because he was over 60 years old, had low energy, and was a little immobile. He had been fighting for his whole life and had been busy with his career for decades. And it was time to enjoy it. Some time ago, there was a life secretary in his twenties beside him. She was very young and beautiful and graduated from a prestigious school. Not only could she help Wang Wufu at work, but she also took good care of him in life. She was very virtuous and often used words of admiration. Looking at Wang Wufu made him very happy and the investors were very relieved. They all set red dates and lotus seeds to him, and wished him a son soon. They were afraid that he would not be able to think about it again. However, no matter how beautiful and virtuous the life secretary is, no matter how comfortable the life in Winter Township is, I saw that the light energy passenger plane Xingming took off and landed frequently, and was put into commercial use at an extremely fast speed. It will soon replace traditional aircraft and spread across every corner of the Chinese sky. Can't sit still. Even though this light-powered passenger plane flying in the sky does not match the cars running on the ground. Wang Wafu still can't sit still. Huida stood up, put aside the delicate life secretary, and brought a group of people to Suong City to reach a new strategic cooperation with Xingyuan Group and start a new car-making project. In the strategy conference room on the 28th floor. Old Wang. Long time no see. Xiao Li. You are just a homebody. I always come over to see you. Why don't you go to the deep sea to see me once in a while? Lao Wang. I will definitely go there next time. I will go to Shanghai City to have a look. As long as you go, I will accompany you the whole time. Take you to taste delicious food and see all the scenery. To be honest, there are many more beauties in the deep sea than Su Hong. You will know it when you go there. Li Xingyang and Wang Guifu patted each other's shoulders and chests and exchanged very familiar greetings for a while. When the topic of beauties came up, Wang Guifu even showed a, you know, expression on his face, and said that he had resources to introduce, which made Li Xingyang sweat. Okay, Lao Wang, let's sit down and talk about business. Li Xingyang sat on the chair at the head of the conference table and said, You said that you're by many automobile plans to carry out strategic transformation and to fully develop the flying car. It plans to lead the automotive field and enter the flying car within three to five years. In the era of flying cars, Lao Wang, your idea is a bit too advanced. Although it is not technically impossible to use high-energy beams for energy, there are too many cars. It is no better than a light-powered passenger plane. And it is impossible to fly more than 20,000 meters. At high altitudes, it can only be used at low altitudes. The loss of the beam will be very large. The comprehensive utilization rate of light energy is estimated to be less than 10%. There are many cases of high concurrent use. Lao Wang. You did predict the general trend of flying cars, but this will happen 10 or 20 years from now. And it is really too early to plan to fully transform into flying cars now. Just because it's early, 
I have to plan ahead and take the lead. Put enough distance between my friends and businessmen so that they can't catch up in the short term. Wang Wafu said very excitedly. In fact, there are some domestic technology companies that have made flying cars. Their ideas have been realized earlier. But so far, these flying cars are still just niche toys and have not been widely promoted. It can be seen that the creation of concept products are not enough. The best time to launch them is to wait until society develops to a certain stage, which is called emerging at the right moment. Li Xingyang added, I understand this, but most of the current flying cars can only be said to be flying toys. They are noisy, have short battery life, low load capacity, and are expensive. They cannot replace traditional cars at all. The relevant national laws have not yet been established. The low-altitude airspace below 1,000 meters has not been released. So these flying cars are destined to be just concepts and impossible to develop. But light-powered flying cars are different. Wang Guifu said, The flying car I envision with comprehensive promotion value will mainly fly at a low altitude of 1 to 200 meters, using light beams for energy, and fly at an altitude of about 1,000 meters on average every 12.56 square kilometers a radius of 2 kilometers. Circle. Set up a large floating energy supply tower. Emit up to 10,000 beams of high-energy shortwave with a power of 1,000 kW and provide energy for 10,000 flying cars at the same time. Even if the light energy utilization rate is only 60%, at a power of 600 kW, it is also enough for a flying car powered by carbon fiber materials and an ion engine with a large thrust-to-weight ratio to easily levitate and fly at speeds of hundreds of kilometers per hour. How to provide power for the floating energy supply tower? Li Xingyang asked. It can be connected to the national power grid and connected to the ground power grid with a wire more than 1,000 meters long. You can use the cheap electricity of 60 cents per kilowatt hour in the national grid. In addition, you can also use a nearly 30,000 meter long ultra-thin power grid. The conductive wire is connected to the floating relay at an altitude of 30,000 meters. Xiao Li, Think about it. Using wires to transmit power. The loss is much lower than that of light beams. There is almost no loss. The power generated by the floating relay, directly used by the floating energy supply tower, and the cost of energy can also be very low. Wang Wafu walked up to Li Xingyang, took out a pen, drew various design sketches on A4 paper, and explained the principles to him. I saw the envisioned drawings he drew. Li Xingyang understood it easily because it was not complicated at all. That is to say, if we want to make flying cars a reality, let them enter thousands of households. And the cost of use is low. Most families can afford it. And it can also solve the problem of traffic congestion in big cities. And use short distance light beams to provide can avoid excessive loss rate. Use floating energy supply towers one after another to play the role of energy supply base stations. Using wire connections to draw energy from the floating relays upwards and downwards. Obtaining power from the national grid can be described as double insurance. With high safety redundancy, there is also a very big benefit. That is, through the floating energy supply towers, the large amount of electricity generated by the space energy facilities of the Star Source Group can be used by flying cars with the help of these floating energy supply towers. It can inject excess electricity into the state grid, effectively forming a giant energy network. Xing Yuan Group can sell the electricity that is too much to use to the state grid at a cheap price and earn some money. Income. The plan to sell excess electricity was cleverly realized using this method of killing two birds with one stone. Of course, Wang Wafu's plan also has two obvious flaws. First, a large number of floating energy supply towers need to be installed. Even if each floating energy supply tower can cover an area of 12.56 square kilometers. Assuming that it covers most of the country, and covers an area of no less than 3 million square kilometers. No less than 240,000 floating energy supply towers must be installed. In fact, in large and medium-sized cities, giant floating energy supply towers can be set up, which can handle the concurrent use of tens of thousands of vehicles at the same time. However, in suburban and rural areas, small floating energy supply towers can be set up to handle 100 to 1,000 vehicles. Concurrent situations and without having to connect wires to the floating relay. Just use power from the national grid. But no matter what, more than 200,000 floating energy supply towers are definitely needed. And the cost of building these infrastructures is unknown. How many trillions will be spent? Secondly, it brings certain air safety risks. Especially the wires that transmit power are standing straight up there. 
even though they emit orange light, causing aircraft in the sky to consciously avoid them. There is always a high probability of collision, so they have to be careful. Cheer! It will also have some impact on the Air Force's flight training. It can no longer fly freely over metropolitan areas. It can only find some rural areas without power line interference or the northwest and southwest airspace for free flying. In addition, it will also have a certain impact on the flight route of the solar passenger aircraft. But the interference will not be significant. And the floating relay can even be shared. In addition to the above shortcomings. Basically, there is no big problem. Shoutly, I have calculated it many times. Although keeping hundreds of thousands of floating energy supply towers in the air for a long time consumes a huge amount of energy every day, as long as the number of flying cars is large enough, it will reach at the level of tens of millions or hundreds of millions of vehicles. If all costs are spread out equally, the cost of using a flying car per hour is at most about 1,000 yuan, but it can fly up to 500 kilometers, with an average cost of 2 yuan per kilometer. This is within an acceptable range, and any middle-income family can afford it. But in 5 or 10 years, the price of electricity will also drop. If it drops to 3 cents per kilometer, the cost of use per kilometer will drop to 1 yuan. If it is 20 cents per kilowatt hour, then the cost of use per kilometer is only more than 60 cents. Even if it is still not as good as electric cars running on the ground, the huge convenience brought by flying cars and the time cost saved will definitely far exceed the cost per kilometer. The cost is over 6 cents per kilometer. Kingdom blessing. Nod. Li Xingyang nodded repeatedly. Yes, what Lao Wang said makes sense. For users in big cities who buy flying cars, even if they save one hour of waiting in traffic jams and waiting at red lights to find a parking space, it will be enough to offset the cost of use. There is a head start. Lao Wang's project is indeed very promising. And it can also help his own space energy facilities transmit power to the national grid. Based on this alone, Li Xingyang plans to fully support Lao Wang and promote the construction of the flying car project and related infrastructure. Chapter 162 Cooperation is achieved and everyone is happy. In fact, in Li Xingyang's memory, the Red Star Federation also had flying cars, but it uses high energy batteries as energy source. And its battery life is only more than a thousand kilometers. There is no such new thing as light powered flying cars. It can be said that it is moving towards a different technological development route. However, the advantages of light-powered flying cars are similar to those of light-powered passenger planes. Not only do they have unlimited endurance, but their battery quality and power system can be reduced. The effective space utilization and load-carrying capacity of the vehicle will increase, and the maneuverability will also be improved. No need to worry about battery life. Taken together, the light-powered flying car project is still very promising and has a bright future. Later, Li Xingyang and Wang Guofu jointly signed a proposal on the development of beam-powered flying cars and submitted it to the heads of relevant departments. They elaborated on the various benefits and strongly recommended the development of the flying car industry. We must move from the current era of ground transportation to the era of three-dimensional transportation. After this proposal was submitted, it immediately attracted great attention from above. The technical feasibility is also very high. There are almost no technical bottlenecks. The only difference is determination. On February 20th, the Ministry of Science and Technology sent a group of experts to Suong City and came to the headquarters building of Xingyuan Group. Strategy Meeting Room. The leader of the expert team, an old expert named Zheng, came up with a modified version of the plan and said to Li Xingyang, Wang Guifu and others, Your flying car. Development proposal does not have any big problems in terms of technical principles. However, after two days of discussion, our experts from the Ministry of Science and Technology still made some adjustments. First of all, the floating energy supply tower should not be made into a floating state. An object weighing at least hundreds of tons consumes hundreds of thousands of kilowatt hours of electricity every day. This kind of cost is too high and luxurious. It needs to be made fixed. On the ground, it has the form of tower base support. Large-scale beam energy supply towers in cities need to be built 500 meters high, and must have a battery plus capacitor energy storage system inside to store a certain amount of electricity. Beam energy supply towers in rural areas. Just build it at a height of 300 meters, which is completely enough for a flying car flying at a low altitude of 100 to 200 meters. Secondly, in terms of beam energy supply, there is no need to emit tens of thousands of beams of light at the same time. The shortwave radiation caused by this is relatively serious and will cause some people's concerns. 
the electric energy reserve of the flying car can be increased to allow it to fly when fully charged. It has a battery life of about 350 kilometers. When the battery life is less than 100 kilometers, it can approach the beam energy supply tower and receive 1500 kW high power beam irradiation to quickly charge it. When the battery life is less than 50 kilometers, it can park at the charging parking space of the energy supply tower, perform wire charging, and it will be fully charged within 5 minutes, which not only reduces losses, but also reduces high concurrent use scenarios. Finally, the excess electricity generated by the space energy facilities of Xingyuan Group can be poured back into the national grid through large energy supply towers to supply energy to the city. However, it is necessary to achieve stable energy supply while ensuring that the electricity is connected to the internet. The price must not be higher than 0.15 yuan per kilowatt hour. Otherwise, at the national level, there will not be that much motivation to invest tens of trillions of funds to build hundreds of thousands of energy supply towers. There is no hope of returning this investment. It will only bring about a serious debt burden. The gains outweigh the losses, and the country has no motivation to fully support your project. After listening to this expert Zing's words, Li Xingyang and Wang Guifu realized that the country had given them a difficult problem. For Wang Guifu, it is much more difficult to build a flying car with a range of 350 kilometers than to build an electric car with a range of 350 kilometers on the ground. Generally speaking, in order to overcome the influence of gravity, the average energy consumption of flying devices is at least three times that of vehicles running on the ground, and is generally calculated as five times. So it is equivalent to a ground endurance of 1,750 kilometers. Of course, if you increase the proportion and quantity of superconducting capacitors, it is not difficult to achieve this range. But it will increase the weight of the vehicle body, reduce the effective space, and reduce the load capacity. The vehicle shape must be continuously optimized to make it meet the requirements. Aerodynamics. Reduce drag and increase lift, which will further compress the internal space of the flying car. Difficult to handle. Unless a major technological breakthrough can be made in the field of traditional batteries. And a high energy battery with an energy density of more than 1000 WH slash kg can be created. Coupled with superconducting capacitors. We can barely create a useful flying car with a standard endurance. But this is very, very difficult. Huge funds and a large number of technical personnel have been invested in researching battery technology. For Li Xingyang, the problem he faces is much simpler. Can he accept the on-grid electricity price of 0.15 yuan per kilowatt hour? To be honest, the price was indeed too cheap. Even if it was 0.2 yuan per degree, he would agree without hesitation. But the cabbage price of 0.15 yuan made him frown. At this time, expert Zeng explained, the reason why the price is 0.15 yuan is not because it is deliberately cheap for Xing Yuan Group. But when electricity is cheap to this extent, a large number of indoor vertical agriculture factories can be built to use cheap energy to solve the problem of food and vegetables. Production issues. Thus breaking the constraints of land. We no longer need to adhere to the red line of 1.8 billion acres of cultivated land. But we can fully ensure food security. A large amount of cultivated land that is released from constraints can be used to plant trees and fruits. Turning the entire country into a beautiful landscape. Forests and gardens. Only an electricity price of 0.15 yuan per kilowatt hour can bring about these wonderful changes. I don't think there's any problem, Wang Wafu first said. With the existing technology, it is possible to make a flying car with a range of about 300 kilometers. The remaining 50 kilometers will take about 5 years. I will ask the technicians to increase the battery energy density and optimize the aerodynamic shape. Reduce the weight of the car body. It will be possible in the end. I have this confidence. Okay, Mr. Wang is courageous. Experts and gave him a thumbs up. Then turned to look at Li Xingyang and asked with some anticipation and nervousness. Mr. Li, I wonder if there are any big problems on your side. He was actually a little nervous and felt quite uneasy inside. A cheap electricity price of 0.15 yuan per kilowatt hour is currently impossible to achieve regardless of the form of power generation technology. Even if there is a breakthrough in controllable nuclear fusion it will be difficult to reduce the electricity price to this level because the electricity price is never based on the cost of the power generation end. After all, this includes the construction costs of power plants, power grid construction and maintenance, personnel wages and benefits, and other factors. Even if the electricity is generated for free, 
the consumer electricity price for end users will hardly be less than 20 cents. That is, the limit that the state grid can achieve is the cost of 2 cents per kilowatt hour of electricity. If Xinyuan Group lowers the price to 0.15 yuan per kilowatt hour, state grid will indeed make a little profit. But the purpose is just to obtain a certain profit, recover huge infrastructure investments, and avoid excessive accumulation of debt. Or, if we do not seek to recover investment, but only pursue to offset debt interest, the electricity price can actually reach 0.18 yuan per kilowatt hour. Therefore, the price of 0.18 is the real bottom line in expert Zing's heart. And there is still room for negotiation. 0.15 yuan. A little less. But okay. After being silent for a while, Li Xingyang nodded and said, I can barely accept this price. But there is a condition. If the power supplied by Xingyuan Group is too sufficient, then the high-cost thermal power and nuclear, fission, power plants should be reduced. Electricity, wind power and even hydropower. Xingyuan Group's cheap electricity must be given priority in supply. Can you agree to this? At this time, Li Xingyang began to feel secretly happy. At 0.15 yuan per kilowatt hour. This underestimated the development potential of space energy facilities. As long as it can occupy enough power markets, the electricity price can still be profitable. Even if it goes further, if it drops a little, we can still consider cooperation. That is, the lowest bottom line in Li Xingyang's heart is actually lower than the price of 0.15. It is so terrifying that controllable nuclear fusion would make people tremble. No problem. Of course no problem. Expert Zing said very cheerfully. The current proportion of thermal power generation still accounts for more than 50% of domestic power generation, exceeding 1 billion kW of installed capacity. Mr. Lee, this is 1 billion kilowatts. Your space energy facilities want to you don't know how many years it will take to completely eliminate domestic thermal power plants. You are still thinking too far. Of course, if all thermal power plants can be shut down in advance and the country's energy conservation and emission reduction goals are completed in advance. That will be even more important. The best thing you can ask for. Okay. That's it. The three parties of us will cooperate sincerely and work together to successfully complete this major project within five years or so. It's necessary. Anyway, my buy Mindy company will never hold back. Even if it burns all its cash flow, it will still build a flying car that meets the requirements. Ha ha ha. Please rest assured that the country will also take action immediately on infrastructure construction. Starting from a few first-tier cities, a large number of energy supply towers will be built to kick off the large-scale infrastructure construction. Expert Zing raised his head and smiled. Everyone is happy. This cooperation can be said to be a happy one. And all parties have achieved the results they wanted. For Wang Wafu's Bai Mindy, the king of the electric car era, such a status cannot satisfy Wang Wafu. He also wants to be the pioneer and overlord of the flying car era not to mention completely monopolizing this market, at least to seize the absolute first opportunity and leave behind its competitors by several positions. Wang Guifu also believes that the company's shareholders and investors will also fully support the flying car project, because this is definitely a market with amazing potential, and the annual profits will not be less than a trillion. No reason to object. At the national level, the benefits are even greater, with tens of trillions of investment in infrastructure. We need to build a large number of 300 meter high and 500 meter high energy supply towers. How many jobs can this create and how much GDP can it boost? It can also realize the adjustment and transformation of the energy structure and become more green and environmentally friendly. In the agricultural field, a giant indoor vertical agriculture factory is built next to each energy supply tower. With a cheap power from Xingyuan Group, food security is also guaranteed. It is simply killing two birds with one stone. In the end, for Li Xingyang, this is also a great thing that he hopes for. His space energy empire can expand wildly and boldly without worrying about expanding the market. Li Xingyang can achieve the market share that Zhang Yuantian once dreamed of so easily, obtained in advance, so that even if the power generation capacity of space energy facilities is increased to 3 billion kW or 5 billion kW, there is no need to worry that the extra energy has nowhere to consume and can only be wasted. Comparing the difficulties and ups and downs Jean Yuantian encountered in the Scarlet Star Federation, this is a dreamlike development situation. If such good things happened in the Scarlet Star Federation, he might be so excited that he shed tears. Damn, I can only say the difference between different development stages. 
It's too big. Although Azure Star lags behind a lot in technology, it is indeed an extremely beautiful golden age of development. Chapter 163 Huayao Stud Space Smart City The flying car project was successfully approved and the construction of supporting facilities is about to begin. Xingyuan Group Space Energy also has more markets. In the next few years, it only needs to expand desperately and increase power generation power. China's future will definitely undergo earth-shaking changes because of these projects. For example, in the transportation field, the congestion problem in big cities will be completely solved. High-speed rail passenger traffic will be lost in large quantities, and it will have to turn to logistics. In the agricultural field, we are getting rid of dependence on cultivated land because indoor vertical agriculture factories can carry out agricultural cultivation on 50, 100, or 200 floors without the use of pesticides and can produce fruits and vegetables 365 days a year. And robots replace manual picking and are sold closer to the market. Traditional agriculture is indeed on the verge of elimination. In short, everything is worth being excited and looking forward to. And it will only get better and better. It's just that by Mingdi and Xingyuan Group are not the only companies that are brewing super big moves. Huayao Company in Shanghai City has also been planning a big move recently and is about to implement it. Considering that the new project consumes a lot of energy, it would not be possible without the cooperation of Xingyuan Group. Therefore, on February 22nd, Huayao Company sent a large business delegation to Suong City to negotiate with Xingyuan Group. Source Group to discuss cooperation. The Huayao business delegation was headed by Yu Dazui, an old friend from before. But there are two other heavyweights. They are the rotating chairman Queen Meng and the core figure Su Jijun. You must know that Huayao Company has a total of five rotating chairmen. And three of them actually came together this time. Which shows that Huayao attaches great importance to this new project. In fact, many people know that in the field of science and technology, Huayao is an all-round player. He will not only deal with a certain business, but has established more than a dozen legions to attack in an all-round way, divide his forces to fight, and conquer cities and territories everywhere, regardless of where he is. No matter what field, there are existences that can make competitors feel afraid. For example, the communications army, the mining army, the port army, the smart photovoltaic army, the automobile army, the software army, the chip army, the artificial intelligence army, etc. But what happened this time? Wild Company attaches so much importance to this new project. But no matter how important this project is, it is nothing more than the formation of a new army. And the benefits it brings are still only a small part of the total revenue. Why should it attach so much importance? Just send one of the senior staff members. Yu Dazue. Over. There is no need to mobilize too many troops. But? No the same. This time is different. The big move Huayao is planning this time is not to continue to divide the troops into battles, but to integrate an extremely capable talent force to create a super army, and to invest massive financial resources into this new project. And to through this project, we will bring greater glory, let Huayao Company stand at a higher pinnacle, and even become the world's number one technology giant company. Xingyuan Group Headquarters Building Strategy Meeting Room Li Xingyang did not sit at the top this time. Instead, he sat across from the long conference table with a slightly lower posture. He listened more seriously as the three bosses of Huayao Company introduced their Space Smart City plan. Yu Dazue said to a PPT, Mr. Li, our project is a major cooperation project with the country. The purpose is to use the various technologies of Huayao Company in the construction process of the Space City to create an extremely intelligent Space Cities allow residents living in Space Cities to experience all the conveniences brought by Smart Cities. For example, with intelligent unmanned transportation, urban residents can take a variety of means of transportation without waiting for a long time. And there will be no traffic jams. It only takes 20 minutes at most to get where they want to go. And the probability of traffic accidents tends to zero infinitely. For example, space smart medical care. We have integrated diagnostic data from hundreds of domestic hospitals and developed space medical equipment that can detect tens of thousands of disease symptoms and formulate the most effective treatment plan. The accuracy exceeds that of the most experienced attending doctors. Doctors can greatly reduce the cost of medical treatment. If patients go to space cities for recuperation, the cure rate will be significantly improved. The hospitalization time will be greatly shortened, and the cost will be similar to that on the ground, or even cheaper. 
The future of space medical treatment will have great potential. Service items. There are also space smart factories. We have also reached cooperation with the country and are preparing to build a large number of space factories next to the space city. Whether it is smelting minerals, synthesizing new materials, or processing and producing various parts, we are conducting technological exploration. There are we are confident that in the next 10 to 20 years, more than 30% of China's industrial production activities will be carried out in space factories. And we must achieve higher efficiency, better performance and quality, and continue to upgrade and make breakthroughs in high-end industries. There are also space agriculture, space city life, space tourism, space entertainment, etc. The core purpose of our Space Smart City project is to create a city that is more comfortable, more convenient, more developed and advanced than the Blue Star Ground City, is more intelligent, and brings a large number of high-paying jobs, with a large number of development opportunities, and welfare protection is also very good. Ordinary people going to a space smart city will feel that the quality of life is better than in first-tier cities such as Imperial City, Tianhai, and Shanghai. And development, there are more opportunities, less pressure, lower housing prices, and better experience than first-tier cities in all aspects, thus attracting countless young people to develop in space cities. We at Huayao have invested 100,000 talents and are fully promoting this project. We plan to build the first space smart city with a capacity of at least 100,000 people within two or three years. And then the second and third, the 100th, or even the thousand, opening up a new frontier in space for our country, gaining more living space and resources, and becoming the first superpower in the solar system with unlimited frontiers. It's just that these blueprints on paper can become reality step by step with the full cooperation of Xingyuan Group. In the next two years, our project will need to allocate at least 15 million kW of energy to advance smoothly and efficiently, because more than 200 million tons of equipment and materials will be sent to space. Without the full assistance of Xingyuan Group, our project will only come to nothing. So, Mr. Lee, we hope to sign an energy supply guarantee agreement with your group, requiring your group to provide long-term and stable energy supply of no less than 15 million kW. Money is not an issue at an electricity price of 1 yuan per kilowatt hour. We it's acceptable. As long as the first smart space city is successfully built, all technologies are implemented and verified, and enough data is accumulated. Then it's just a matter of copy-pasting and crazy expansion. Mr. Lee, I wonder if your group can provide 15 million kW of energy and ensure long-term stability. Yu Dazue looked at Li Xingyang and asked seriously, This is not a big problem. It can be done. Li Xingyang's words made Yu Dazue and others look overjoyed. But then, they heard Li Xingyang ask. However, I have a little doubt here. Mr. Li, please speak, said Su Jijun, who had few hairs on his head and looked like a strong man. How do you make a profit? Li Xingyang asked. In addition to the most basic framework and high-tech supporting facilities, Huayao Company has participated in all aspects of the construction of the space city. The investment is very huge. But how to calculate the benefits? Is it because the country has given you a considerable reward? No. The country can't give us that much money. Queen Ming suddenly spoke, looked at him and said, Tax. What the country gives us is tax during the operation of the space city. On the one hand, it gives us tax exemption. On the other hand, the tax collected by the space city brings various benefits. Our Huayao can get 30%, and the state can get 70%. In other words, even if we sell a house in the space city, if it is a 1.5 million finely decorated house, we Huayao can get 500,000, and we have a 30-70 split with the country on the space factory's profits and various taxes. 3 to 7. That seems okay. Li Xingyang nodded, but lost interest in continuing to learn more. He found it uninteresting. A mere 30% share. If it were 50%, it might be worth getting excited about. But it was only 30%. If it were him, he would not even be able to do this kind of project. There is no motivation. Mr. Lee, don't underestimate this 30%. Yu Dazui explained with a smile. Our professional team has done detailed analysis using supercomputing. A space city is a space economic center, consumption center, and industrial center. It can bring in at least 300 billion in net income a year multiplied by at 30%. Huayao can earn nearly 90 billion or nearly 100 billion a year and can recoup all investment in up to 10 years. The subsequent space cities can use the industrial facilities of the first space city 
to greatly reduce the construction cost to the third, half, a quarter or even a tenth of a city. Our return period will become shorter and shorter. Tax revenue is long-term and stable and is only related to the overall operating conditions of the space city. As long as long-term prosperity can be guaranteed, Hoyu's income can be guaranteed. Even if the consumer market for many technological products is saturated, Hoya's revenue will still be it can grow because we are bound to the general development trend of the country. When the country prospers, Huayao prospers. And when the country weakens, Huayao will also decline. And our destiny is integrated. This is the destiny integration strategy of Huayao Company. This is also the reason why Huayao Senior Management attaches so much importance to this project and wants to work hard. Because the country's ability to resist risks is much stronger than that of a company. As for the real industry, no matter how advanced the technological product is, no matter how popular it is with consumers, the market will eventually become saturated, and then it will face a decline in performance and enter into a struggle for stock. Profits will become lower and lower, and company layoffs are inevitable. Even if it is as powerful as Huayao, even if it conquers all technologies, establishes its own ecosystem, and defeats countless competitors, it will still enter a downward curve after a few years, and it will be difficult to achieve long-term glory. The survival cycle may not exceed a hundred years. Like many well-established companies that have had great successes, very few that have survived for more than a hundred years will definitely experience crisis and mistakes, or encounter dimensionality reduction attacks from new competitors. Even if they do not make any mistakes, they will be ruthlessly eliminated by the market. The Space Smart City Project has allowed Huayao to find a way to survive in the long term. Even if the 30% tax share is not high, the advantage is long-term stability. Just like Li Xingyang's energy empire, as long as humans will always need energy, the stars will it is impossible for Yuan Group to go bankrupt. The two can be said to have the same purpose, but different approaches. Nod. Li Xingyang nodded and said, Mr. Yu, there is no problem. Xing Yuan Group can guarantee the energy supply and sign a stable supply agreement. Okay. Great. Thank you. Mr. Li, Yu Dazue and others all looked happy, very excited and excited. Immediately, the two parties formally signed the Energy Supply Guarantee Agreement and negotiated every clause. This negotiation is over. Li Xingyang asked his assistant Su Rong to find a high-end hotel, book two banquets, and treat these Huayao representatives to a meal. Xiao Li, don't be in a hurry to eat now. At this time, Queen Ning walked up to him, pulled him aside and said, Find an office with no one around. I have something I want to talk to you about in private. Hear what this Queen Ming said. Then she saw the little princess Ming Yufei of Huayao hiding behind her. Her face red and shy. Her head lowered. Li Xingyang suddenly felt dizzy. Chapter 164 Elizabeth Senses February 24th Tianhai International Airport A main 787 aircraft slowly landed on the runway. This plane took off from the city of Langton in the Kingdom of Britain. Most of the people sitting on the plane were citizens of the Kingdom of Britain, with Chinese passengers being a minority. The plane decelerated to zero and stopped. The covered bridge car approached. The plane door opened, and the passengers walked out one by one. A young foreign woman with blonde hair, blue eyes, fair complexion, and a very noble and elegant temperament wearing a purple dress stood at the door of the cabin and looked at the layout of the modern airport in front of her. She had to admit that in terms of basic hardware facilities, China's the development has indeed surpassed that of our own country by a lot. This cannot be refuted. Elizabeth Sylvia is 22 years old this year. Her father is a traitor and her mother is a noble with royal blood. She also has a very noble noble blood, which makes her very proud and often uses it as a reference. A place that holds itself to high standards. Therefore, she is an academic master who can get perfect scores in many subjects. The level of intelligence is very high. He also has extremely good looks and outstanding temperament. Ever since she was a child, she had been the focus of her classmates and friends and was pursued by countless outstanding boys. But Elizabeth has a high vision, a strict tutor, and is too focused on her studies. So far, she has never been in love. And with her pride, only the best handful of men in this world can be worthy of her. And her future husband must be tall, handsome, talented, very humorous and romantic and loyal to her, just like a knight on a white horse who swears allegiance to the princess. But such perfect men do not exist in the kingdom of Britain. They are either careless scumbags, liars, addicted to alcohol and drugs, 
and have fallen into disgrace. Elizabeth gradually despairs of them. Half a year ago, her father applied for a study visa for her through some unknown channel and asked her to go to a university in China to study as a graduate student. He wanted to send her to China for development. Her mother did not object and was very supportive. Going to China? Elizabeth was stunned for a moment. Lost in thought, to be honest, she had heard about the distant country of China and read a lot of related news. But she had never been there, nor had she considered going there. Affected by media public opinion, her overall view of China is relatively negative. She believes that there is no freedom. Although science and technology are advanced and the economy is prosperous, it is a place where it is not easy for anyone to survive. Everyone wants to survive. You have to work very hard. Like an ant. At her father's strong request, she unexpectedly learned Chinese for three months, then boarded a Mayan plane and came to this magical eastern country alone, the maze-like interior of the terminal. It took a while to find the exit passage and give my suitcase. In the pickup room at the end of the exit passage, a Chinese man in his thirties held a sign that read Elizabeth Sylvia. When he saw Elizabeth in a purple dress, he greeted her in a foreign language. Here, here, Elizabeth, dragging her suitcase, walked towards him and asked, Hello, are you here to pick me up? Yes, my name is Joe Bo, your father's business partner. He asked me to come and pick you up. The young man stretched out his hand and said, Do you want me to help you pick up your suitcase? No, thank you. Elizabeth declined cautiously. Then let's go. My car is parked outside. If it takes a long time, a ticket will be issued. Joe Bo said, Okay, by the way, where do you want to stay at night? I can help you book a hotel with a better environment. Or you can stay at my house for a few days. I have a free room at my house. Joe Bo asked again. Book a hotel for me. Thank you. Elizabeth said immediately. Her face even more alert. Okay. No problem. Joe Bo also breathed a sigh of relief. He was worried that his wife would misunderstand him. So it would be better to book a hotel. Outside the airport. On the side of the road. You are about to walk to the Bimondi car. Suddenly there was an exclamation of surprise from all around. Many people turned to look inside the airport. I saw a golden beam of light falling straight from the sky. And then with a buzzing sound. A Star Dream light energy passenger plane, fully loaded with passengers and cargo, slowly took off from a special airport platform, blowing strong airflow. Elizabeth also saw this scene. Her beautiful blue eyes filled with disbelief. Really? This is actually true? It turns out that under the influence of the media, Elizabeth has always been skeptical about the authenticity of some things in China, especially some high technologies. She has never believed it. She always feels that it may be a trick to deceive people. The purpose of the studio-style scam is to satisfy the self-confidence and pride of the country's people and satisfy the overly strong expectations of some citizens, so as to maintain the shaky order. But she didn't expect that this was not a lie. But the reality before her, this made her a little lost. Since the things on the Chinese side were true, then the reports in the media in her own country were obviously false. It might be clear at a glance which side of the order was about to shake. Difficult to accept. She couldn't accept the huge reversal. And some of the pride in her heart was shattered to pieces. After getting in the car, it started smoothly and silently, without any smell of gasoline. Elizabeth thought of her Rolls-Royce sports car. It had very good acceleration performance and plenty of power. The only drawback was that it consumed a lot of fuel and had a strong smell of gasoline. In addition, the price of oil was getting more and more expensive. Even though her family was well off and she had a lot of pocket money, she could not afford it. I can't bear to go on the road every day. I only drive it occasionally. Comparing Joe Bo's pure electric car, Elizabeth suddenly felt that electric cars have many advantages. Especially when almost all of the people coming and going on the road are electric cars. It is unimaginably quiet. And the problem of noise pollution is solved. In the urban area, there was a four-star hotel with a nice environment. Joe Bo paid for her to book a single room with better conditions. The room rate was 688 per day which was a bit expensive, but it included three meals a day. Joe Bo booked it for her for seven days. In the clean and tidy hotel room, Elizabeth put her suitcase aside and lay on the space bed to rest for a while to relieve the fatigue of the journey. Joe Bo gave her some instructions and left her a phone number before leaving the hotel. I lay there for more than an hour. Suddenly, the doorbell rang. Elizabeth was startled and sat up suddenly, beginning to feel scared. Who's knocking? 
The man who served as his guide has left. And he is alone. What should she do if it was a bad guy who was eyeing her? Or a trafficker who was interested in her beauty? But the doorbell kept ringing. She could only pick up a kettle and prepare to defend herself. She dialed Joe Bo's phone number and cried helplessly. Joe! I'm being targeted by bad guys. What should I do? Don't be afraid. Just open the door and take a look. Just open it a crack. Joe Bo said on the other end of the phone. I don't dare to open it. As soon as I open the door, I'll be finished. No. There are surveillance cameras in the hotel corridors. No one is so bold as this. I still don't dare. It might be the hotel staff. Or it might be a robot that delivers food to you. It's meal time now. Aren't you hungry? Open the door and have a look. If something goes wrong, I'll call the police right away. Joe Bo persuaded for a while. Elizabeth didn't hesitate and opened the door a crack. I put my head over and saw that no one was at the door. So I opened the door completely. An acute mechanical voice sounded. Hello. Please take your lunch. Elizabeth was startled. When she lowered her head, she saw that it was a barrel-shaped robot only as high as her knees. The screen also showed two cute and big eyes. This robot? This is the first time she has seen such a robot. Although it is not uncommon in her country. It has not been promoted to the extent that ordinary hotels have it. And it can also speak foreign languages so that it can be understood. He opened the space in its belly and took out the lunchbox inside. When she returned to the room, although it was a little cold, the lunchbox was very delicious and suited her taste. After eating, I took a shower and brushed my teeth and then laid down for a nap. When I woke up, it was already six o'clock in the evening. The doorbell rang again and the robot brought dinner. This time she didn't get too defensive. She opened the door directly, picked up dinner, and filled her stomach. It was already dark. Elizabeth, who no longer felt sleepy, had the idea of going out for a walk. But night often means danger. Even in my own country, few people dare to go shopping outside after 8 o'clock in the evening. Because the risk of being robbed is very high. Especially young women, who must not go out. Otherwise once if something happens, you will definitely regret it. And you may even become a missing person. Therefore, from childhood to adulthood, no matter how beautiful and charming the night outside was, Elizabeth, who had a good-natured personality, never went out alone once. However, in this strange country, this unfamiliar land, standing by the window of the hotel room, looking at the dense crowds of people on the city road, Elizabeth actually had the urge and idea to go outside and take a look. But just to be on the safe side, she still called Joe Bo and asked if she could go out for a walk in the evening. No problem. You can go out at 12 o'clock in the evening. In addition, at 7 o'clock tonight, there will be an advertising light show by the Huangbu River. The hotel you live in is very close. You can see it if you take two steps. Joe Bo said on the phone. Is there really no danger? Elizabeth still looked suspicious. Look at how many people are on the street outside. If there was danger, would so many people take to the street? If these passers-by were all potential bad guys, our country would have been in chaos long ago. Don't worry. There won't be any dangerous. I see. Elizabeth nodded, but did not leave the hotel immediately. Instead, she asked some close friends in a chat group of hers. Is it safe in China at night? Can I go shopping? You must not go out. It is really very dangerous. No matter what country you are in, it is not recommended to go shopping at night. You will be targeted by criminals. Especially you, Elizabeth. Your beauty is worth millions of pounds. If I were Chinese and saw a Western beauty like you, even if I didn't have a criminal record, I wouldn't be able to help but pounce on her. Yes, only gentlemen like us can restrain our instinctive impulses. But they obviously can't. More than 90% of the friends in the group advised her not to go out and imagined various scenarios that made Elizabeth very scared. At 7 o'clock sharp, a cry of exclamation came from outside. Elizabeth walked to the window again and took a look. A huge screen was suspended in the air not far to the east. On the street below, there were countless young men and women rushing towards the river. On the screen, some pictures were being played, but blocked by tall buildings. She could only see less than half. There is also exciting and exciting music. I don't know what happened. Maybe because she heard the music. Or maybe there was some kind of magic in that giant screen. Elizabeth actually plucked up the courage walked out of the hotel, crossed the zebra crossing on the road, and headed towards the screen. In the direction we were heading, we came to the riverside where there were countless people. At this moment, 
It's time for the light show. Seeing the colorful light beams falling and sweeping down. Complementing the lights of many high-rise buildings behind them. And linking up with the music. I have never seen so many people in my life. And I have never seen such a dreamy scene. Elizabeth, who had never experienced this kind of prosperity, truly felt that she seemed to have entered a brand new world. A new world that made her soul tremble, and every cell in her body felt novelty and excitement. I seem to understand what the frog in the well means. I understand why my father had to send me here. This eastern land has developed to this extent. When will my country catch up? I love my country very much. But why do I suddenly have the idea of staying here for a long time? A tear overflowed from the corner of Elizabeth's eyes and she fell into a contradictory mentality. You must know that this was just what she saw on her first day in China. And she was already seriously shaken. Some of the pride in her heart was already shattered. Next. What should she do? Chapter 165 Elizabeth Senses 2 After this night, Elizabeth Sylvia completely let herself go. She was like a curious baby who had entered a treasure. She became very interested in this eastern land. She left the hotel early in the morning and came back very late at night. With the help of an AI translation software on her mobile phone, she communicate with the locals in Tianhai City or find some foreign girls who are similar to her. When I see interesting street performances, I will stop and watch them. When you see some good delicacies and snacks, you can't help but buy them and try them. She is also like a sponge for absorbing knowledge, learning all kinds of skills crazily. For example, learn how to use mobile payment. Learn to use a mobile app to hail a driverless taxi or order food on your phone at a restaurant. I also downloaded and registered more than a dozen commonly used apps in Huagua, added several WeChat friends, and formed a circle of friends here. On the 27th, she met a girl named Jenny Elsa, who is from Britain like her. She is 25 years old and a travel blogger. She originally planned to travel around the world in about three years. She visited every country and region, and her income mainly came from making travel videos. Jenny's plan to travel around the world went very smoothly and she has traveled to more than 50 countries. Although she encountered some twists and dangers, she never failed to do so. See to save the day. However, after arriving in China, something changed in Jenny's travel plan. She suddenly didn't want to continue traveling around the world. She wanted to stay in this country. Why did you change your plans? Elizabeth asked the girl, who was three years older than her in confusion. You know, I also want to see the world, but I don't have the courage like you. Since I have checked in in more than 50 countries, why not complete this plan? She felt very regretful. Elizabeth, I'm different from you. I'm not traveling around the world for a dream. I just want to make money in this way. And also to stay away from my alcoholic father and drug addict mother. And I don't have such outstanding beauty as you. Even if, if you go to a strange place, you shouldn't have to worry about getting hurt. But, Jenny shook her head and said, In the more than 50 countries I have been to before, my mobile phone was robbed six times. And I was almost raped three times. I didn't have a penny on me several times. And I almost became a beggar. If it weren't for simple thoughts, I can't survive now. But after I entered China, no one grabbed my phone anymore. Good-hearted people helped me wherever I went. And I registered a blogger account here. Now I have more than 300,000 fans. The most one month. It brought me 120,000 yuan in income. I made money here. Why should I continue to take risks and go to more dangerous places? Hear this. Elizabeth was silent for a moment. Thought about it and asked again. But how can you stay here for a long time? You must know that with an ordinary tourist visa, you can stay here for up to half a year. So I will find a Chinese man who is good to me and marry him in the next two months. There are more than 300 men among my fans who are willing to marry me. Because I don't want a bride price. And I will still I can endure hardships to help my family earn money so I will definitely get married before my visa expires, Jenny said with confidence. Marry? Marry a Chinese man? Elizabeth found it hard to imagine. Was this too hasty? What if the man she found was not particularly good? You know Elizabeth. Among the white women I know who are similar to us, especially those from Eastern Europe, regardless of whether they are beautiful or not, almost all of them are married to Chinese men, not to mention they all live very happily. At least 90% of them have not married the wrong person. Chinese men are generally very responsible, very hardworking, and loyal to their marriages. Only a few of them are bad. And they are even very humorous and romantic. As long as we are not particularly discerning. 
We will definitely find the one who makes you feel good. Happy Chinese man. Really? I haven't thought about this problem. I'm only 22 years old. So it's still early for me. Elizabeth shook her head. Who knows? If a boy as outstanding as Li Xingyang appears in front of you, maybe you will fall. Jinny smiled. Li Xingyang? Of course Elizabeth knows this young and handsome entrepreneur. Or this prince charming in the hearts of women all over the world. I'm afraid there are not many women who don't know her. If such an outstanding and perfect Chinese boy really appears in front of her, she will certainly be moved. But there are not many boys like this in the world. Will she meet such a fate? The following few days. At the strong invitation of Jenny, her friend, Elizabeth played with her for several days and experienced more novel projects. For example, I grabbed a ticket for the light energy airliner, sat near the window, experienced vertical ascent to an altitude of 20,000 meters, and then reached the deep sea city in the south in less than two hours at a speed exceeding the speed of sound, then go shopping and taste various delicacies. Elizabeth also discovered that China is obviously more economically developed than her home country. But its prices are much cheaper. The second class fare of a solar passenger plane is only 688. And the fruits, beef, mutton, clothes, etc. in the supermarket are at least cheaper than it is half cheaper in the Kingdom of Britain. Which means that for the same salary, the quality of life can be doubled when consumed in China. However, in her home country, Elizabeth, who has more than 10,000 pounds of living expenses per month. Still dare not spending randomly. Some things you want need to save two or three months to buy. But in China, no matter what you like, just look at the price tag and buy it directly. Even if you buy one, it doesn't cost a lot of money to buy a lot of stuff. So you don't have to feel any pain. On March 2nd, she followed Jinny and took the high-speed train to Huachung. Not far away. She stayed there for two days and watched a citywide concert. During this citywide concert in Huachung, Elizabeth fell in love with a Chinese female singer that she liked very much and learned a Chinese song, maybe, that she particularly liked. Maybe the sunshine from the south shines on the wind from the north. Maybe time was blown away and disappeared without a trace. Maybe there is only one unforgettable person left in the story. Maybe I was still smiling innocently in my dream last night. Maybe one day I will finally meet love. There may always be people struggling to move forward on the road. Maybe everything is possible only if you believe it. Maybe having a dream can be called youth. Elizabeth, who was wearing earplugs while sitting on the high-speed train returning to Tianhai City, did not expect that she had listened to this rather simple song hundreds of times without getting tired of it, and even learned how to sing it. On March 3rd, I returned to Tianhai City again. Although she was not very happy, Elizabeth, who had already played around, had to report to a certain university in Tianhai City and could no longer play. Hey, if you are willing to follow me for another week, I can have more than one million fans, Jenny said with regret on her face, wishing she could tie this fellow to her side and appear in her videos every day, because Elizabeth's appearance is indeed too good and very photogenic. In the recent video she took, as long as Elizabeth appears, the number of views is it's all an explosion, and the number of viewers pouring into the live broadcast room will be several times greater, most of them coming for Elizabeth's appearance. In just a few days, Jenny's total number of fans on various platforms increased from 300,000 to 600,000, and her rewards increased by tens of thousands. You must know that it was only a few days, and it exceeded her efforts in the past three months. It's simply unreasonable and illogical. In other words, this damn face-based world is too friendly to those who are good-looking. I'm sorry, Jenny. I really can't accompany you anymore. I still have schoolwork to finish. When I'm free, you can come and play with me. Thank you very much for taking me to so many places, Elizabeth said apologetically. Elizabeth, why don't you become an internet celebrity blogger like me? Your beauty is a powerful tool. You can easily have millions of fans and earn money that no one else can make in their lifetime. I can take you into this world. I will teach you whatever you don't know about the industry. Believe me, you are a good prospect and you will embrace great success, Jenny said seriously. Are you going to be an internet celebrity blogger? It is undeniable that Elizabeth is a little moved. Although there are many internet celebrity bloggers in the Kingdom of Britain, the number of fans is generally not many. It is incredible to have millions of followers. But in China, even if it is Jenny, a girl with a lot of freckles on her face and an average appearance has hundreds of thousands of fans. If she also creates an account and takes some daily videos of eating, drinking and having fun, 
it will be no problem to easily exceed 1 million fans. She has enough knowledge about her appearance. Confidence. It's just that given her family background, being an internet celebrity is not a decent thing. Even if she can make a lot of money, her family and friends may not accept it. After thinking about it, she declined politely. Jenny, I may not be suitable for this. So forget it. Well, such a good talent is such a waste. If you could give me even half of your looks, I would be extremely angry, Jenny said with regret. I'd better come and play with you later. I'm leaving to go on a blind date with my male fans. Maybe next time I come to see you, I will already be a married woman. You must wish me to find a good Chinese man. Okay, I wish you find a very good Chinese man and the love of your life, Elizabeth said. Thank you for your blessing. Goodbye. Jenny waved her hand, bouncing and hopping like an elf, and disappeared from Elizabeth's sight. Then Elizabeth felt a little incredible about her experiences these days. Because in her mother country, it was impossible for a girl from a lower class background like Jenny to have any interaction with her. But in this land of China, the two became quite good friends. As a friend, I didn't have much guard against her. And Jenny was unreservedly willing to teach me how to make money. Perhaps everything is possible just because we are in this magical land. Elizabeth murmured, put on the wireless headphones, played the song, maybe, written by Chung Xiang on a loop, and then walked towards the school ahead. Chapter 166 Fang Yujun Pays Off Debt On the afternoon of March 5th, Fudong Province, Zhangquan City, Fangyo Mountain Landing Site, a power-enhanced version of the Xingyuan Aerospace Transport Aircraft continued to slow down under the illumination of the light beam until it landed smoothly in the center of the landing field on the top of the mountain. Then a truck drove over, pulled out the space container from the belly of the aircraft, and transferred it to the truck's load-bearing chassis. Finally, the truck started, and more than 200 tons of gold rich, or in the space container, was transported to a nearby town. The gold mining processing plant inside refines the ore dug from the moon into precious gold. This gold mining processing plant is the leader of the town. He tried to get a relationship with Tianlong Aerospace Company and begged his grandfather to sue his grandmother. Only then did he get a quota for building a gold mining processing factory and create hundreds of jobs. It has won the support and welcome of many people. Even if the factory will cause a small amount of pollution problems after it is completed and put into use. Who doesn't want to go back to his hometown to develop instead of working hard outside? At this time, the aircraft cockpit door opened. Fang Yujun, wearing a blue uniform, climbed down the ladder and handed the helmet on his head to a ground crew member. Then I got on a commuter bus and went back to the company's aerospace manufacturing factory. Mr. Fang, starting from tomorrow, you no longer have to be the driver of the Xingyuan on a part-time basis. And you don't have to take other drivers' jobs. Right? Asked one of his subordinates, who worked as a driver. Snatch it. You have to grab it. A round-trip flight on the Xingyuan Star can earn 500 yuan as commission. The most I flew was 10 times a day. And I earned a full 5,000 yuan. With such a high salary, I can earn a living by grabbing it. It's normal to do it. Fang Yujun said confidently that in fact, his main purpose was not to grab jobs. It was just a joke. He just wanted to get over his addiction of flying aerospace transport planes and appreciate more of the vast beauty in space. Mr. Fong, we all understand that you owe a huge debt of 500 million. And you want to use this method to pay off the debt as soon as possible. However, it has been so long. The money you owe should be paid off. Right? Now you still have to pay off the debt. How much is the difference? The driver. Old Lou. Asked curiously, it's just a little bit close. And my status as a bad debtor has been lifted a long time ago. All the creditors to whom I owe money have withdrawn their lawsuits one by one. They took the initiative to express their goodwill to me and told me not to be in a hurry to pay back the money. They also asked me whether the debt can be converted into shares of Tianlong Aerospace. I rejected them all. There is no way to do this. I would rather return all the money to them with interest than give them any shares. You must know that Tianlong Aerospace. I only hold with 18% of the shares. How can we give them any extra shares? As soon as Fang Yujun finished speaking, his cell phone received a call from a creditor. In the phone call, the creditor had a pleading tone, hoping that Fang Yujun would not pay him back the money and transfer Tianlong Aerospace shares of equal value to he was fine, and asked Fang Yujun if he needed financing. If so, he could come up with 80 million to help Tianlong Aerospace expand and develop better. No need. Also, my Tianlong Aerospace has been renamed Tianlong Space Transportation Company. 
Don't call it the wrong name again. After saying that, Fan Yujun hung up the phone. Mr. Fan, after all, these creditors have given you the help you need most in terms of funds. Isn't this a bit inappropriate for you? Said the driver. Old Lu, I will never forget their attitude when they sent some gangsters to my house to collect debts. The interest rates on the loans were not low. Anyway, I will never deal with them again. Today, I will make the last payment once the debt is paid. I won't come back to them even if I beat them to death. Soon, return to the aerospace manufacturing factory. Fan Yujun immediately found the staff of the finance department and asked them to take out his salary this month. Shared dividends and the commission fees he earned from his part-time job in the past few days. All in advance. And then transfer them to the last creditor on the bank account, and ask yourself if you have enough money to pay off the last debt. Mr. Fang, your monthly salary is 1 million yuan. Your net profit dividends these days are 29 million yuan. And the commission earned from part-time work is 20,000 yuan. A total of 30.02 million yuan. The amount you owe to the last creditor is 29.97 million yuan. Not only is it just enough to repay the money, but there is still 50,000 yuan left, the financial officer said. Pay it back. Pay it back to me immediately. If there is a hole in the company's remaining 50,000 yuan, please fill it up for me. Fan Yujun said eagerly. Okay. The financial staff did a lot of work and first paid off the debt. Then made up for the company's hole of more than 30,000 yuan. Finally, after paying personal tax, only about 13,000 yuan was left. The money has been transferred to my bank account. I will go to the seafood market later to buy some delicious food and celebrate with my family in the evening. Fan Yujun said. No problem. Mr. Fang. With a ding-dong sound, Fang Yujun's mobile phone received a transfer notification text message. I'm going to get off work first. If you don't have anything to do, you can get off work early. I'm in a good mood today and I won't deduct your wages. Fang Yujun packed up two things and was eager to go back. Mr. Fang. Congratulations. You are finally debt-free. It's not easy. Finally. Fong finally came to the end of his hardships. Mr. Fong, I want to treat everyone to a meal some other time. That's right. Mr. Fong, I can't be too stingy with everyone in the future. It's time to consider giving us a salary increase. That's right. We need to increase our wages. We must increase our wages. It doesn't take a while. The news that Mr. Fong had paid off his debt was like growing wings. All the tens of thousands of employees of Tianlong Space Transportation Company knew about it. They all cheered and jumped up and down, as if they were happier than being clean and in debt because they felt Mr. Fong is good at everything. But he is not generous enough and is very stingy. Although he has given them a salary increase, the increase is very small. Many management systems he has formulated also include various deductions. There are many complaints in private. The reason why there is no outbreak, there was massive dissatisfaction because they understood Mr. Fong's difficulty and did not care too much. Now that Mr. Fong has finally solved the problem, it is really unreasonable not to increase his salary more. He even has to go to Mr. Li to report the situation. After all, Xing Yuan Group is the largest shareholder of Tianlong Company. Mr. Li said that he wants to increase his salary. Mr. Fong is not qualified to object. Humph. Anyway, this time, Tianlong Company's employee treatment level, if not on par with Xing Yuan Group, must be similar. At least 70% to 80%. Otherwise, they will not be satisfied and will continue to protest and fight for it. Night. In a relatively high-end community in Zhang Quan City. A house is decorated with fine details. The dining table in the restaurant was filled with all kinds of delicacies. And many important relatives and friends came to celebrate Fang Yujun's successful repayment of all debts and his successful breakup. From now on, he will embrace a relaxed and beautiful life. And he will surely be better and better in the future. The better come. Cheers! Cheers! Congratulations! I am debt-free and can live a steady life in the future. It's amazing! I owed 500 million, paid off all the principal and interest, and crawled out of the deepest pit. Not many people can do this. But our Xiaofang did it. Xiao Wu, do you still regret marrying my Xiaofang? Fang Yujun's old father Fang Jingyi said with a proud face. He had been unable to hold his head up in the past few years. But now he is feeling proud. Dad, marry a chicken. Follow a chicken. Marry a dog. Follow a dog. I admit, I usually complain a lot. And my attitude towards you, June, is not very good. I should apologize for these. 
but I have never regretted marrying Yu Jun. Such a responsible and good man. No matter what difficulties he encounters, I will never leave him. I will complain less and be more considerate, and we will work together for the rest of our lives. Wu Jingyi blushed with embarrassment at what her father-in-law said, but immediately expressed her stance seriously. Well, that's more of the story. This life has its ups and downs, but there are no obstacles that cannot be overcome. As long as we work together, we can overcome the huge difficulties, especially between husband and wife. We should share the blessings and the hardships. Dad, you drank too much. Say less and eat more food. This piece of abalone is good. Seeing his father's unstoppable chatter, Fang Yujun quickly advised him to avoid further embarrassment. The mother of his wife Wu Jingyi, an elderly woman in her 70s, told Wu Jingyi that she should use more high-end cosmetics in the future, take good care of herself, and if possible, have a third child. Keep a close eye on your man. After all, men become bad when they are rich. The richer the man, the more popular he is. You must take precautions to prevent this from happening before it happens. Dad, when I grow up, I want to inherit your career. Fly space transport ships every day and build a big space transportation empire. At this time, the 14-year-old son Fan Yuahang put down his chopsticks and expressed his dreams and ambitions. Okay, my son is ambitious. From now on, I will leave the country I have built to you. You have to manage and expand it well and do better than me. Fan Yujun was very happy, patted his son on the head, and put a chicken drumstick into his bowl. Dad, I encountered something strange at school recently. His son Fang Yuanhang added, Those girls in my class usually don't play with me very much. Shu Ran Ran, the class beauty, never talked to me once. She only flirted with He Haoshuan, the class girl. But last week I wrote an article praising you. Dad, after the article, the Chinese teacher praised me, and the girls all came to play with me. Even Shu Ran Ran, the class beauty, took the initiative to say H low to me, and gave me a notebook. He Haoshuan was so angry that he wanted to beat me, but was beaten by the boy. We grabbed dad. Why do you think those girls have changed so much? Fang Yuanhong's encounter in school made everyone prick up their ears and become very curious. Son, what article did you write? Bring it over and show it to me. Fang Yujun said, It's just an article about my father. Fang Yuanhang went to his room and took the composition book over. Fang Yujun immediately opened it and took a look. The father who owes 500 million yuan is the person I admire the most. As for the content inside, it mainly introduces the changes that have taken place in the family in the past two years, and introduces the changes in the attitude of the creditors. From harsh debt collection every day for money, to suddenly begging for shares in exchange for more money to invest, and pleading not to pay back the money. Even my mother, Wu Jingyi, was an irritable woman who shouted at 180 decibels that could deafen my ears. One day, she suddenly spoke softly and very gently, which made people suspect that her mother had been dumped. Wu Jingyi was so embarrassed that she wanted to beat someone up. All in all, this essay is like a condensed and refreshing novel. It uses more than a thousand words to portray a great and powerful father. The characters are real, and the story is real. Many details can be found in reality. A thoughtful person with a little investigation. You can find out who Fan Yuanhong's father, Fan Yujun, is. Tianlong Space Transportation Company is the most representative and well-known high-tech company in Zhangquan City and the most popular among local young people. There is no local man, woman, or child who does not know about this company and even more about its potential. The local business community has concluded that sooner or later, Fan Yujun will become the city's richest man. A mere several hundred million in debt is nothing at all. No one would think that Fan Yujun could not afford to pay off such a small amount of money. After reading the composition, Fan Yujun shook his head, patted his son on the head and said, You little bastard. You still ask why the class beauty is paying attention to you knowingly. This essay of yours simply shows you that you are no longer pretending. I am a rich second generation. There's of course the attitude will be different. I didn't say that I was a rich second generation at all. Our family just paid off its debt today, and we are still far from being rich. Fan Yuanhang scratched his head and blinked, feeling very innocent. Chapter 167 Everyone's Envy and Regret After paying off all the debts and getting rid of this burden, Fan Yujun finally stopped being in a tense state every day and no longer acted like a workaholic, devoting all his energy to work and making money. 
he has also become a lot more generous. Faced with the strong demands of the company's employees for a salary increase, he waved his hand and offered a 20% salary increase to those with a monthly salary of more than 30,000 yuan and those with a monthly salary of less than 30,000 yuan and more than 10,000 yuan. All salary increases will be 30%, and those with a monthly salary of less than 10,000 will receive a 50% salary increase. And the payment standards for five social insurances and one housing fund will also be increased. It was a rare moment of excitement, and the employees reveled in joy and shouted, Long live the boss! In addition, in order to make up for the lack of fatherly love, Fan Yujun also took time to attend a parent-teacher meeting of his son Fan Yuan Hang. His original intention was to understand his son's study situation at school. But he was surrounded by a group of parents and asked to exchange contact. Way to add friends to each other. Especially the mother of her son's classmate Shu Ran Ran. A beautiful young woman in her 30s who is extremely enthusiastic about Fan Yujun. And the electricity in her eyes is at least 100,000 volts. Dad Yuan Hang, I think my daughter and your son are a good match. Why don't we get engaged and be together when they grow up? It doesn't matter if we start falling in love now. Relationships need to be cultivated from a young age to be very stable. The charming young woman Xu Qin said, My son is only 14 years old. He must study hard and not fall in love prematurely. Fang Yuanhang waved his hands repeatedly. When Yuanhang grows up, it's okay to just join Tianlong Company. You don't have to put so much thought into studying. It's not that I don't want my children to study, but that they don't need to study so hard and should enjoy their youth. And in the future, artificial intelligence in this era, no matter how much you learn, you can't surpass artificial intelligence. I heard that the college entrance examination will be reformed in the future. To select innovative talents, it is useless to study hard. You need to broaden your horizons. You make sense. Also, could you please stop getting so close to me and stop hugging my arm? Fan Yuanhang, who smelled a strong scent of perfume, took two steps back and frowned. Shu Qin, didn't you say that your daughter will develop well with my son in the future? Why is my son crying and saying that Shu Ran Ran ignored him and broke up with him? At this time, a gentle and elegant middle-aged man came over with anger and dissatisfaction on his face. When he saw Shu Qin almost clinging to Fan Yujun, he trembled all over. He pointed at Shu Qin and said, You bitch, who is this guy? How long has it been since you hooked up with another one? I spent hundreds of thousands on your head without even touching it. And this is how you repay me? Don't misunderstand that she and I are innocent. Fang Yujin quickly jumped to the side and explained. This parent of this child. This is the first time I talked to this woman. And she took the initiative to come over. She and I are innocent. Also, Shu Ran Ran's mother. You seemed my surname is also Shu. So you are a single mother. Right. Sorry. Your family is a bit complicated. I hope my son will find someone with a clean family background and a well-matched family. Sorry. Your daughter will try to play with my son as little as possible in the future. Bar. Finished. Fang Yujun left this place of right and wrong and found his son Fang Yuanhang, who was playing on the basketball court, and found that he was bullfighting with a handsome boy. Although his son Fang Yuanhang was good at basketball, he was still at a slight disadvantage against this handsome boy. With a score of 7-5. to five, the probability of winning is slim. And that handsome boy, whether it was his dribbling posture or his breakthrough and layup movements, he was all cool and elegant. And Fan Yujun was delighted to see him. But the strange thing is that the crowd watching the game, mostly female, are all cheering for Fan Yuan Hang. Fan Yuan Hang, come on! Catch up with the score. Believe in yourself. You will definitely be able to sail far. Come on! Fan Yuan Hang! The girl shouted out loud scaring the handsome boy into making a mistake and making a three-shot shot. Competition is over. Fan Yuanhang still lost with a score of 10 to 8. Unfortunately, but it didn't matter. While the girls gave him mineral water, they comforted and encouraged him to keep up his efforts because he had lost by a score of 10 to 5 before. But this time the gap was obviously narrowed and he would definitely win next time. At this time, a JK girl with a well-developed body, outstanding appearance and temperament, who was like a little fairy, walked towards the handsome boy with a bottle of tea worth seven yuan in her hand. Seeing the class beauty Shu Ran Ran walking towards him, the handsome boy was so moved that he almost cried and said, Of course. Did you buy the drink for me? Thank you. He stretched out his hand to take it. You think too much. Shu Ran Ran rolled her eyes and said, Yi Hao Xuan, your playing moves are a bit dirty. 
Don't think I can't see it. But Hang Hang is making rapid progress. And he will beat you sooner or later. I hope that even if you lose, you have to show what you can afford to lose. Don't let me look down on you. Then, Shu Ran Ran walked up to Fan Yuan Hang, handed over the drink, smiled and said, Hang Hang, drink it. I bought it for you. Her smile is a bit unbearable for even adults. Not to mention the 14-year-old Fan Yuan Hang. The handsome boy He Hao Xuan was heartbroken, devastated, and clenched his fists. I, Fan Yuan Hang stretched out his hand to take the drink. Son, come here. I have something to tell you. Fan Yuan Hang had no choice but to push through the crowd. Walked straight to his son, pulled him out of the stadium, took him into the car, and went straight home. Dad, I didn't even drink the drink. This is so rude. Fan Yuan Hang said very dissatisfied. Son, you should stop associating with that girl named Shu Ran Ran in the future. It will not be good for you. Why? I want to make more friends. Is this wrong? Fan Yuan Hang twisted his body becoming more resistant and dissatisfied. Of course, it's okay to make friends. I don't object. But that she ran ran. She comes from a single parent family. And I met her mother just now. She is a very improper woman. When she talks, people are about to lie on me. Besides, you there is a student's father in the class who spent hundreds of thousands on she ran ran's mother. But he didn't even touch it. You said that this kind of family is a normal family. Can it educate children with upright values? Are you young? Be sensible. But have basic judgment. This society is very complicated. So don't be fooled. Fan Yujun said seriously. I didn't expect Shu Ran Ran's family to be in such a situation. Fan Yuan Hong's expression darkened immediately. He was very disappointed. And nodded again. I understand. Dad. I only regard Shu Ran Ran as an ordinary friend. And I will distance myself. Even if I find a girlfriend. I will not consider her. She this person is so realistic. I saw her kissing He Haoshuan a few days ago. And now she has dumped He Haoshuan. If one day my family runs out of money, she will definitely dump me. She even did what my mother did. Not even. Okay. Son, you are very sober. This is a very good advantage. It seems that my worries are unnecessary. Fan Yujun patted his head happily. Dad, don't think I'm ignorant. In the past, when my family owed a lot of debt, no one wanted to play with me at school. I had no friends, and the teachers all made fun of me. I've already seen through this world. Fan Yuahang spread his hands. Road. It's my fault that I have a son. I never paid attention to this. But this is not a bad thing. This is a precious wealth in life. The more you see the world clearly, the less teachers you will make in the future. And you will cherish the hard one success. Fan Yujun blames himself. He didn't expect that his son would have such a dark experience. He has already seen through human nature. No wonder he is much more mature and sensible than other children of the same age. I know, Dad. You are nothing without money. If you have money, there are good people all over the world. I will not be deceived by those fake things. I will work harder and be better in the future. I will definitely find a sincere heart without impurities. Only only girls like this are worthy of my pursuit. Well, he is indeed my son. Fan Yujun, I am completely relieved. Ha ha ha. Fang Yujun threw his head back and laughed. He was even happier than having paid off his debt and made several hundred million more. March 10th. I don't know through what channel I learned about Tianlong Space Transportation Company's financial statements. After learning that Fang Yujun had paid off all his debts, the Space Transportation Alliance Communication Group, formerly the Space Launch Alliance Communication Group, suddenly became active today. Song Chan Wu from Blue Arrow Company bubbled. Mr. Fang. I read the news. Your space transportation company is incredible now. It actually occupies 35% of the space transportation share. It transports 500,000 tons of ore every day. And the freight per ton is more than 100. The gross income per day is more than 50 million yuan. The net profit is not less than 30 million yuan. And the total profit this year will not be less than 10 billion yuan. Which is great. It is more than what we can earn by working hard to mine on the moon. Hu Xiaobo of Interstellar Glory said. Is it too late for me to regret now? Can I give up mining and join the Space Transportation Alliance? Mining on the moon can indeed make money. It is a super cake worth tens of trillions. But grab this piece, there are too many cake mining companies. And the competition is too fierce. But it is not particularly profitable. If I had known this, it would be better to choose the Space Transportation Alliance. 
although the commission for each shipment can only be 1% to 5%. The total volume is huge. The benefits are actually very impressive. Lu Xiong of Galaxy Power said. Yes, I have also discovered this problem. Now there is a problem of insufficient monthly or transportation capacity. Our company has dug out so much or that it weighs more than 5 million tons. But it has not yet it's my company's turn to transport minerals. And the company's cash flow is getting less and less. I can't ask for help like my grandson. So it's better to engage in space transportation. I can make a lot of money and enjoy the treatment of being a grandfather. Zhang Qi from the Giant Whale Company said. We people are too impetuous and short-sighted. If you look at the several gold rushes on the Blue Star, you will find that none of the people who really make big money are gold diggers. They are all selling gold mining equipment and we sell water, sell food, and collect tolls and protection fees. If we learn a little history and learn the wisdom of the ancients, we will probably make a fortune long ago. Yi Fei of Xinjiang Technology analyzed. Before, the nine of us were all debridden old people. Brother Fong owed more and was the last to unwind. However, the eight of us all diluted our shares and arbitraged at high prices in the stock market. Or we accepted financing from investors and paid off our debts. Only Brother Fong made money steadily and paid it back bit by bit. To be honest, the money we people earned may not be 500 million. So much. But Brother Fong has made a profit. Now his company's daily net profit is 30 million. Brother Fong can share more than 5 million. And there will be more in the future. How can we make so much net profit every day by mining? One point. Two to three million would be good. But our future is not as good as Brother Fong. If we had known earlier, we should have chosen the Space Transportation Alliance. Hey! You're right. I really regret it now. Can you give me a chance to make a new choice? No matter how many mines there are, they will be mine one day. But the space transportation business will always exist. In the future, we can also travel to other star systems, immigrate to other planets, and open up new development space. The future is actually very bright. Yes, I have only figured this out recently. Not to mention the entire universe. Our galaxy is too big. Mineral resources are not valuable at all. The most valuable thing is stellar energy and space for survival and development. We are short-sighted and outdated, bound by involutional thinking. Mr. Lee, let's make a fool of ourselves. We don't want to mine anymore. We also want to run transportation to earn logistics fees. Mr. Lee, give me a chance. Mr. Lee, Mr. Lee, Song Chan Wu, Hu Xiaobo and others all asked Li Xingyang for a different choice. But there was no response. They could only sigh and regret. Chapter 168 Su Rong is pregnant. Ecstatic. Mid-March. Suong City. Jiang and Villa on the waterside. Recently. As Li Xingyang's personal female assistant. Su Rong used to always follow Li Xingyang. Inseparable and in pairs. The whole group has long been accustomed to having such a woman next to the boss. Su Rong seems to have become less active recently. She goes to work at the group headquarters less frequently. There were many unaccompanied inspections of various factories. Exposure is significantly reduced. These changes. For most male employees, they don't care at all and are not even interested in discussing it. But for many female employees of the group, it was no less than a big silent storm. With heated analysis and discussions in private, there are even some random rumors circulating. Such as, The dog licking theory has fallen out of favor. The theory that you are tired of playing and abandoning it. The theory that a new person is about to take over. There are at least a dozen versions. And some female employees have some inappropriate things. With their thoughts and thoughts. They dress themselves up and down. And even don't dress according to the regulations. As long as the boss Li Xingyang appears. Someone will accidentally fall or slip and other accidents will happen. And they will act out some scenes from idol TV series. I don't know whose attention I want to attract. Through several of her own eyes and ears. Su Rong heard about these changes that had taken place within the group. She had a clear understanding of the changes and sneered in her heart. She also recorded several female employees on an unforgivable list. It is very likely that some measures will be taken against them in the future. Sexual action. By the way, what on earth is Su Rong doing during this time? What happened to her and why she, who is usually very active and highly exposed, seemed to be in a semi-disappearance state and no longer followed her boss Li Xingyang every day. Could it be that this little bitch like her was finally rejected and no longer favored? Take care of your body. She has been taking care of herself recently. Following the doctor's advice, I reduced my workload, increased my physical activity, 
and changed my diet to a more standardized one. I stopped watching TV and playing with mobile phones less. And I ensured that I slept no less than 9 hours a day. And I take folic acid and calcium tablets every day to supplement some scarce elements. After learning this, people with experience probably know what Su Rong is doing. Prepare for pregnancy. She is trying to get pregnant. She had started this matter in early February. She went to the hospital for a comprehensive physical examination. All indicators were relatively normal. But she was slightly subhealthy. She should not overwork herself and increase her rest time. The male godly Xing Yang went for a physical examination with him and came to the conclusion that he was very healthy. The doctor said he was healthier than a 20-year-old boy, which meant that he exercised regularly and lived a regular life. Li Xing Yang was tall and handsome. It was suggested that he donate sperm. His sperm was absolutely qualified, and he could earn 5,000 yuan a time. However, Li Xing Yang refused. However, in order to increase the success rate, he also had to take medicines such as folic acid. That's right. Li Xing Yang did not object to having a child. On the contrary, he was very cooperative and supportive because he also wanted to have a child of his own. One is to have an heir to inherit his space energy business and avoid too much hardship in the future. Secondly, I am about to turn 28, and I am not too young to wait until I am 30 before taking action. Third, in order to avoid the nagging of my mother Zhang Huying, because after this year's spring festival holiday, my mother couldn't wait to drag Li Xingyang to take him to meet her goddaughters, meet them, go on blind dates, and communicate with them. The purpose was not to let Li Xingyang marry one of them, one, but continue to develop further with those you like. Even if you can't help but fall asleep, it doesn't matter. You will be listed as a candidate daughter-in-law. If you have children, your status will be upgraded and you will become a real daughter-in-law. If she performs very well, has certain leadership skills, and can handle some major issues, she will be upgraded to the eldest daughter-in-law. And above the eldest daughter-in-law, there is also the position of mother of the Li family. As for Zhang Huying, she was naturally the queen mother-in-law to whom the daughters-in-law must compete to be filial and courteous. Her status was far above that of the mother of the Li family, and she must be valued and respected. Faced with this set of feudal dregs brought out by my mother, Li Xingyang had a black eye and had no idea of cooperation. After some quarrels and conflicts, Li Xingyang had to promise that she would not get married this year, but she would definitely let her have a grandson or granddaughter. She could consider retiring early and living a happy life with her grandson or granddaughter. Regarding retirement living, Li Xingyang said that he will definitely do what he says. Okay, it's a deal. Zhang Huying clapped her hands and said, If you don't let me have a grandson this year, you have to listen to my arrangements and have good contact with and get to know my goddaughters. Mom, it's a grandson or granddaughter. There's no guarantee it's a grandson. Li Xingyang said, I know. It doesn't matter if it's a boy or a girl. As long as I can hold them. The agreement was made. Calculating the time. It's already February. If we don't act quickly, even if we conceive this year, but the baby is born next year, we will have lost the bet. No wonder my mother is so confident that she seems to have one. Look like. Li Xingyang must act immediately. And among the women she knows. Who is more qualified? Or in other words, who is more suitable to be the mother of her child? The figures of several women came to mind. In fact, there are not many in number. He thinks they are pretty good. Just Lu Meixiao, Su Rong, and Meng Yufei. Lu Meixiao is the most beautiful, has a very good temperament, and is very intellectual. From a purely physiological point of view, Li Xingyang thinks she is a good match. He has had many interactions with her in private, holding hands, kissing on the face. These intimate he had done this before. And one time, he even almost checked out a room and took over her body. But his reason allowed Li Xingyang to restrain himself. If the purpose is just to have a child, there is nothing wrong with finding this woman to cooperate without considering anything else. But this woman has a strong heart. Once she has a child, she will be the eldest son or daughter of the Li family. She doesn't know how it will grow and whether it will give birth to greater ambitions. These unknown risks determine that she is not very good, suitable, at least for the first child. She must not be considered. As for the little licking dog Su Rong, Li Xingyang cannot say without conscience that she is not worthy of being the mother of his child. In this case, Li Xingyang, no matter how cold-blooded she is, she can't say it out loud, and Su Rong licks her. In fact, her outlook is quite normal. She is even a little cautious and has a tendency to show off. This makes her appear flesh and blood. 
very real, and not without personality. The presence? Even if she has been doing dog licking for a long time, she will occasionally get into trouble, often attacking in the middle of the night, wanting to play poker every now and then, without any awareness of dog licking, and wanting to stand up and make the decision. After a long time, Li Xingyang felt that she was not very good at licking. It's getting more and more outrageous. However, this is not a bad thing. It's just that Li Xingyang doesn't adapt well. If he adapts that day, it means that the little licking dog Su Rong can already communicate with him on an equal footing and create souls. Resonance is not impossible. So is Su Rong qualified to be the mother of her own child? This question may have been answered a long time ago. Because he rarely takes safety measures when playing poker with Su Rong. He only deliberately avoids the most dangerous days. But if he accidentally kills someone, he will definitely admit it. As for Meng Yufei, the little princess of Hua Yao whose appearance is average and cannot even compare to Su Rong. If she is asked to cooperate, Li Xingyang will have no problem. Meng Yufei also has her own unique charm and is an outstanding actress in all aspects. Li Xingyang admires her very much. But she was excluded from consideration in the first place. Because Li Xingyang didn't dare. Meng Yufei's mother, Queen Meng, had a talk with Li Xingyang alone. Although her words were gentle and she did not exert any direct pressure. The meaning behind her words was that she hoped that Li Xingyang would have more contact with her daughter, give her more opportunities, and not get too old. The cold rejection of Yun Yun seemed to mean that he would personally create opportunities for his daughter. Li Xingyang had no choice but to agree. After that, he invited Meng Yufei to drink coffee several times, which promoted their relationship, but made Li Xingyang stop the idea of having an in-death relationship with her. He felt that Queen Meng was a little too strong. Although this is for the good of her daughter, which is completely understandable. But if they are really together in the future, how should they live their lives? If Li Xingyang can compromise once, does he need to compromise a second or third time? He cannot refuse outright. Otherwise it will hurt her. Relationship between each other? Li Xingyang feels that he cannot handle this kind of relationship well, and it is difficult to grasp the right balance. Moreover, he also has his own pride. If he is with someone who is equally proud, conflicts will break out sooner or later. On the contrary, Li Xingyang didn't feel any discomfort when he was living with a little licking dog Su Rong, or even living with her family. He didn't feel any pressure, and no one dared to put pressure on him or seriously asked him to be responsible. There was no such thing. Therefore, it is very relaxed. Don't worry. In the future you will face people like Queen Ming and the old man who you cannot and cannot afford to offend. Therefore, it is actually clear at a glance which woman to choose. It happened that Su Rong also had this idea, and the two parties hit it off. Then she worked hard for several days in February, but failed to achieve results due to improper timing. Su Rong was very disappointed. Keep up the good work in March, especially in the days from March 6th to 10th. Tens of thousands of words had to be harmonized, and the coordination was perfect. Waited for a few more days. March 14th. Morning. Su Rong went to the restroom and tested her urine with the most expensive and most sensitive pregnancy test stick. Su Rong stared at the color changes of the two scales, feeling very nervous. The first wire is red. This is normal. A few minutes later, the second thread seems to be a little redder, but very light. Ten minutes later, the color of the second line has deepened, although it is not very obvious. She is sure that it has really deepened. Yes, she most likely has it. So she shouldn't be wrong. She immediately hurried to the first floor of the villa, and found her mother Yu Li, who was cleaning. She looked at her and said, Mom, look, two threads have appeared. Am I pregnant with the boy's child? Already? Oh, it should be there. This thing is very accurate. It is most likely correct. Yu Li came over to take a look, and suddenly her face lit up with joy. And she said excitedly, My good daughter, after more than ten years, she has finally achieved enlightenment. Okay, great. Her eyes turned red, and she couldn't help but wipe the corners of her eyes. I feel extremely happy. Ha uh ha. -huh. I know I won't go wrong on this path. The male god is not a scumbag. As long as I devote myself wholeheartedly, I will definitely be rewarded. Su Rong caressed her belly, showed a happy smile, and officially declared that her dog licking strategy, and even the whole family's dog licking strategy, had achieved great success, regardless of whether the male god would get married to her or not. To this point, she has already succeeded more than half of the way and has basically secured the victory. 
my good daughter. It's not easy for you. Mom is very proud and happy for you. Yuli hugged her and cried. Mom, I told you a long time ago that I will not regret it. And I will not give up even if I am scarred. Facts have proved that I was right. Su Rong also shed tears. And the mother and daughter hugged each other and cried. Evening. A Bai Mindy parked in the parking space in front of the villa. The car door opened and Li Xingyang got out of the car. After working for a day, he had a slightly tired look on his face. Driver Su Jianzhou got off the car, changed into a pair of indoor shoes. Li Xingyang stepped into the villa hall. Dang, 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 male god. Look what this is. You are going to be a father. Su Rong, who was waiting beside the gate, handed several report sheets to Li Xingyang, waved them in front of him, and said with a smile on his face, What? Li Xingyang took the order and looked at it. Especially when the B ultrasound showed that the fetus was almost one week old and the time was completely matched. Okay. Okay. Great. I don't know why. Li Xingyang became very excited. He slapped Su Rong on the face twice, then picked her up and put her on the sofa in the living room. Then he squatted down and put his ear on her belly to listen to what was going on in her belly. There was movement, and he murmured, Aha, uh -huh. I'm going to be a dad. And soon someone will call me dad. Not bad. Not bad. Two lives are human beings. At this moment, he really realized why the so-called bloodline inheritance and the so-called continuation of incense are important to pay attention to. Because no one can live forever. Even if everything is empty after death. The bloodline can be continued and the foundation can be passed down from generation to generation. It is indeed very meaningful and necessary to continue the development and create a brilliant son family. At the information level, it can also allow future generations to remember his ancestor. His name and deeds will be passed down for tens of thousands of years. The family will survive and have a good reputation. Even if it cannot last forever, there will always be a day of decline. But in the end much better than those who can leave nothing behind in the long history. Shall we? In fact, we basically confirmed it this morning. But we didn't want to affect your work. And we were also worried about the inaccurate test. So we went to the hospital and took a pregnancy test. Only then did we feel relieved. I can tell you this is good. News. Yuli, who was wearing an apron, walked over and smiled at Li Xingyang. Aunt you, for such a big matter, you should call me immediately. Work is not as important as this. Li Xingyang raised his head and said, Yes, yes, please pay attention next time and make sure to call next time. Ha ha, daughter. You have made my old suit proud now. I am going to be a grandpa. Not bad. But in the next few months, you can't run around and be careful. Su Jianzhou was also very happy, telling her all kinds of things to pay attention to and not to call her. Poor cotton padded jacket. Anymore. Su Rong walked a little faster and he would say a few words and he was more concerned than anyone else. It was around 8 o'clock that night. Suang University of Science and Technology Student Activity Center. A music practice room. Su Zexu is leading his own band. Rehearsing a program. Planning to perform on stage on behalf of the Department of Energy at the campus art party at the end of March. This band was formed by Su Zexu with hundreds of thousands of dollars. And its name is Brother Zay. Real man band. He has been rehearsing sleepless nights recently. The purpose is to become famous at the campus art party and prove that he, Su Zexu, is a real man. It's not the so-called dog licking. Practice for more than an hour. Su Zexu, who sang until his mouth was dry and his voice was hoarse, waved his hands and asked the team members to take a rest while he also wanted to drink water to moisten his throat. I drank half a bottle of mineral water, picked up the phone and played for a while. Suddenly, several messages in the family group attracted his attention, making him widen his eyes and become more and more excited. Sister, I'm going to be an uncle. I'm going to be an uncle. He jumped up violently. Suddenly, he was dancing and jumping like an epileptic seizure, running to the middle of the practice room, and started howling like a ghost. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to be an uncle. I want to be the most awesome uncle in the world. His weird behavior startled his bandmates, who looked at each other and didn't understand why he was so excited. Let's go. Stop practicing. Go spend some money at the Lawn Phone U10K TV outside the school and order some pretty seniors to sing and drink with us. Let's go. I, Su Zexu, will pay for all the expenses tonight. 
Suzexa waved his hand and said, Brother Zay is awesome. Brother Zay is awesome. Brother Zay is the face of the game. The teammates cheered and cheered. Regardless of why he was happy, they followed him one by one and went straight to the expensive Longfeng Yutian KTD outside the school, which was known as a man's paradise. They wanted to follow Brother Zay to experience it. Chapter 169 Frank Confession Three Surprises Ever since I had a baby in my belly, Su Rong enjoyed the ultimate VIP treatment. There is almost no work to do. There was help going up and down the stairs. The villa invited three additional nannies, who were recommended by acquaintances, and were completely reliable to come and help. On Su Rong's salary card, Li Xingyang asked finance to transfer 5 million, after tax, every month as pocket money, allowing her to spend it however she wanted. Even if you occasionally go out to relax, there will be multiple female bodyguards to protect you. Etc etc. She was taken care of in every possible way, and everything she wanted was met. She became the most pampered princess. Even if she wanted the stars in the sky, she could probably pick them off and send them to her. In addition, she officially moved into the room of her boyfriend Li Xingyang and was allowed to live together for a long time. She could sleep with her boyfriend every day. All these kinds of things. Su Rong felt like she had fallen into a honeypot. She lived a life of happiness and sweetness every day almost like a dream, even though she knew very well that such a good time would probably last for 10 months at most. And then after countless troubles and worries, she had to return to reality and ordinary life. But she was still extremely satisfied. But? Not enough. Li Xingyang felt that it was still not enough. He is willing to fulfill more of the little licking dog's wishes, willing to give her more material compensation. Even her little willful requests will be met. One is for the sake of the son of the sun, or daughter of the stars, that is gestating in her belly. Second, because Li Xingyang could not give her legal status and did not want to bring any hidden dangers to the group's operations, Li Xingyang would not go through the necessary registration procedures. To put it bluntly, you just don't know how to get a marriage certificate. Even if you can have something like a prenuptial agreement to protect your own interests, getting a marriage certificate will not bring any losses and can also show your sense of responsibility. Why not be responsible to the end? Maintain the image of a good man to the end? Just get a certificate from the little licking dog, and you won't be worried about all kinds of women, which will save you a lot of trouble. When the child is born, he will not be in a more embarrassing status position, resulting in only the mother's signature on the birth certificate. Why doesn't Li Xingyang want to be this good man, but is so defensive and despicable? In fact, he doesn't want to be like this. He also wants to be a responsible and perfect man, but there are some risks that he really doesn't dare to take and the law can be modified. With the efforts of countless people, such as love relationships in the marriage, the man can get back the money he spent on the woman, and the wife also has the right to get back the money she spent on the mistress. These are good aspects. It is also said that unilateral paternity tests are now invalid and require the consent of the woman. Also, even if the woman cheats on her, the division of property will not be affected during the divorce proceedings, and she will still take half. There are also some other outrageous legal provisions. I don't know whether they are true or false. And they are constantly being adjusted and changed. Perhaps one day, due to the efforts of certain groups, the prenuptial property agreement will be deemed to have no legal effect. And the woman still has the right to divide part of her husband's property. Who can guarantee that this will not happen? To be on the safe side. Being together but not getting a certificate is the wisest thing to do. Even if it causes discussion and criticism. Li Xingyang can only do this. Certainly. That night, Li Xingyang also told Su Rong his plans in this regard openly and without reservation, and finally said to her, You can call me a hypocritical scumbag, but except for that red book, I will give you everything else. I will give you enough love for you and your children. I can give you a status that no woman can challenge, and even a game that will make the whole world. The high-profile wedding Su Rong. Can you accept this? Silence. Face this problem. Su Rong fell into a long silence. The hand that was holding the man couldn't help but let go and turned his back to the man, caressing her belly again, thinking about the future of herself and her child. Su Rong did not make a mindless compromise this time. After a long time, she asked, Mr. God, is there another woman in your heart? That junior high school student teacher Lu Mengxiao and Hoya's Meng Yufei. I can see that they all like you very much and are very proactive. There are not many of you men who are careless. Will I have more sisters in the future? I am not sure. Li Xingyang thought for a while and said, 
I have no requirement for the number of partners. The only requirement is to give me more children. Preferably no less than five. If you can take on this task, I can stop contacting them and cut them off. Got in touch. Five. This is too difficult. I will give you three babies at most. Su Rong shook her head repeatedly and said, So, in order to complete the fertility target, I will have one or two more sisters. Or maybe more. I'm really not sure about this. Li Xingyang said, In front of you. I will not confidently say that I will find two more. This is disrespectful to you. I must at least obtain your consent. Let's wait and see. It's still early. And I also said that no matter how many women there are, your status is the highest. No one can shake or challenge you. You have followed me for so many years. This is the reward and reward that must be given to you. This is what you have earned through hard work and persistence. No one can take away your things. Okay. Su Rong nodded and said, If you don't have a red book, you won't have it. I know that your career is more important than anything else. So I won't force it. I accept it. It's a bit imperfect. But this is life. I already satisfied and contented. You accepted it? Li Xingyang was very surprised and surprised. And said, I originally thought that you would cry and make trouble for several days. And maybe even threaten the child. How can you think of it so easily? I also want to cry and make trouble. But what's the use? Who made me? Su Rong. Like you so much? Who told me that I am useless? This is the life of a licking dog. Su Rong whimpered and beat him several times. Okay. Okay. Don't do this. Li Xingyang held her in his arms, feeling quite guilty, and coaxed her gently for a while, and said, Su Rong, please stop crying. Don't you women all like romance? As long as you stop crying sadly, as long as it can eliminate the regret in your heart. I plan to do something and give you three big surprises. I won't reveal the specific surprises, but I guarantee that you will be 300% satisfied and make women all over the world envious and happy. Jealousy. You just have to wait for the surprise to come. Three surprises. Do you want to imitate Yanggua and give gifts to Gua Xiong? Su Rong's eyes lit up. And she finally held back her tears, showing an expression of great anticipation. And said, Mr. God, this is what you said. Not what I asked for. Three surprises. Not one of them can be missing. You must do what you say. Of course. I, Li Xingyang, will never break the promise I made. Li Xingyang smiled and said, thinking that this method is really easy to use. And most women in the world still like this method. In fact, he suddenly decided to prepare three surprises for Su Rong. Another important reason was that Su Rong did not show much interest in the huge interests of Xing Yuan group. What he was most worried about from beginning to end was whether there would be two more surprises. For sisters who share the same husband, their focus is on such trivial matters, which shows that she is truly sincere towards her and is not interested in her own wealth. Such girls are now rarer than giant pandas. So Li Xingyang also wants to respond to her sincerity. Give her some surprises and touches. And let her get what she desires most. This is called sincerity for sincerity. Although it will consume some of Li Xingyang's thoughts and time. This woman is worth it. So starting from March 18th, Li Xingyang started making relevant preparations. The first step is to gather people. For this reason, Li Xingyang took a car to Suang University of Science and Technology got off the car next to the school entrance, and then took out his mobile phone and made a call. A while passed. In the woods on the roadside, the young man Su Zexa came to him in a hurry and ran all the way. Brother-in-law, I'm here. What do you want me to do? Su Zexu said with a smile. Xiao Su, were you playing ball with your friends just now? Seeing that he was wearing a basketball uniform and covered with sweat, Li Xingyong said. Xiao Su, I have something more important and I need your help with some work. Are you free these days? If not, forget it. I'll find someone else to do it. If you are free, you must be free. Su Zexu said quickly. Brother-in-law, I have to do your job even if the sky falls. It is my duty to do it. In fact, there are quite a lot of courses in the energy department of the school. The program his band had prepared for the campus cultural evening had also reached a critical stage of rehearsal. And as the monitor of Class E, he still has a lot of class affairs to deal with. But compared to my brother-in-law, who is as important as an imperial edict, all of the above are nonsense. You can put everything aside and then go all out to run errands for your brother-in-law. Okay. The young man has a great future. I am very optimistic about you. Li Xingyang patted him on the shoulder and nodded repeatedly. 
It is my honor, Suzexu, to be able to serve you as my brother-in-law. Even if I am exhausted, I will die well. Brother-in-law, please rest assured. I promise to complete the task satisfactorily and do everything you ask me to do well. Suzexu's flattery was coming, which was so disgusting that even Li Xingyang couldn't bear it. After explaining, he waved his hand and let him go. Chapter 170 Overpass Confession Main Sequence Star Ring After several days of secret preparation March 23rd Around 6 o'clock in the evening Tianmu New Street in Longhu Business District In an independent private room of a high-end restaurant The elders of two families were sitting across from each other For example Li Xingyang's father Li Xiangming and mother Zhang Huying Sitting in the middle is Li Yushu The aunt who represents the matchmaker The girl's parents are Su Rong's father Su Jianzhou Mother Yuli, and younger brother Su Zexu. The elders on both sides were all dressed in decent formal attire, in high spirits, and had enough etiquette. They were all smiling and careful, for fear of offending. After all, this is the first meeting between parents of both parties, so of course, it must leave a good impression. And this meeting is very necessary. The baby in Su Rong's belly is already two weeks old. It is impossible not to tell Li Xingyang's parents. This is also great news for them. They are looking forward to the arrival of the child and conceal it. They are very inappropriate. So there was the first meeting between the elders of both parties. Yes, she is a good boy. At first glance, she is a good girl who is blessed to be able to take care of the family. She has a prosperous husband and is worthy of my son. She is completely worthy of her. Li Xiaoming handed a thick red envelope to Su Rong, who bowed her head shyly and said with a satisfied look on her face, Thank you, uncle. Su Rong took the red envelope and whispered, Su Rong, right. I heard my son talk about you a long time ago. At that time, I told my son that it's not easy to have someone who treats you well. You should cherish it. I didn't expect that after so many years. We finally got together. Come on, accept this pair of jade bracelets. My mother-in-law gave them to me when I got married. And now I give them to you. John Huying took out two jade bracelets wrapped in silk, handed them to Su Rong's hands and solemnly presented them to her. Thank you, auntie. Su Rong took it with both hands. Okay, okay. Also, we have a child. We can't be so divided anymore. It's time to change our names. Mom, Su Rong said with a red face and a cat-like throat. Eh. John Huying responded, took out a big red envelope from her pocket, and handed it to Su Rong's hand. Xiao Su, and I, you haven't changed your words yet. Li Ming next to him said anxiously. Dad, Su Rong said to him. Her face even redder. Okay. Li Ming took out another red envelope and stuffed it into her hand. Ha ha ha. Everyone laughed happily. However, John Huying's smile was quite stiff and forced. She didn't seem particularly happy. And she sighed secretly in her heart. Of course she is satisfied and happy that she is about to have a grandson or granddaughter. And it is impossible to say that she doesn't want it. But this also means that she lost the bet with her son Li Xingyang. She can't explain to the dozens of goddaughters in the group. There is no reason to ask Li Xingyang to go on a blind date with these goddaughters. To communicate and enjoy the fawning of these rich and wealthy people. You have to keep some distance from them. And from the bottom of her heart, Zhang Huying couldn't accept this Su Rong. Her experience was a bit similar to her own. She had spent a lot of effort to win over Li Xiaoming. But in the end, her daughter-in-law had more perseverance than she did. What's the point of chasing after someone? She, John Huying, doesn't want the women in her family to be dog-licking women. She prefers those wealthy daughters, those young ladies from big families, these young women who are usually aloof and flattering. She feels like she couldn't compete with these women when she was young. Now, being fawned over by these women like crazy. There is nothing better than this. Something? This is the so-called counterattack. The peak of life is nothing more than this. As a result, the appearance of Su Rong, a little licking dog, gave him another counterattack. His son actually made his own decision and would rather find a licking dog at random than listen to his own thoughtful arrangements. This was simply nonsense and he did not understand his own painstaking efforts at all. If it worked for the child in Su Rong's belly, she would not support her son being with this woman. She said she would break up the two of them. Why should a licking dog embarrass a licking dog? Why should a woman embarrass a woman? But because she understands the dog licking mentality so well. John Hewing doesn't want her son to make the same mistake again. She must find a partner with a good family background. 
beauty and temperament. Being with such a woman will not only benefit the development of the family through strong alliances, but also cultivate future generations. To show a noble temperament. Not to be infected with the habit of dog licking. And to avoid being taken over by dog lickers when they grow up. Such genes or inheritance must be eliminated. But all her hard work was in vain. And the same mistake was repeated on her son's head. She could only do nothing but accept it. In-laws, this is a little compensation and sincerity from our early family. I hope you won't dislike it. If you have any additional requirements, you can ask us. If we can meet them, we will definitely satisfy you. The Antli Yushu, who was the matchmaker, handed a red list to Su Jianzhou's hands. Su Jianzhou took the order with both hands and looked at it, and immediately couldn't help but tremble. Gift money, 999,999,999 yuan. Gold and silver jewelry, 99 pieces. Luxury cars, 9. Houses, 9 units. Clothes, 999 pieces. Banquet, 999 tables. Etc. The gift list was very long. With dozens of items. And the total value clearly exceeded 1 billion. Even if Su Jinjo's family worked hard for 10 more lifetimes. They would never be able to save as much cash and property value as the gift list. There are no demands. There are no demands from our family. Su Jianzhou said tremblingly. Just follow this list. As long as the two young people live happily. Even if they have nothing. I will nod in agreement and provide a heavy enough dowry as a gift to the new family. Support. So in addition to this gift list. Our Su family must also provide a substantial and sincere dowry. So that no one can look down upon our Su family. Yuli nodded and said. That's what I mean too. Although the Su family does not have such a strong family background. They still want to marry their daughter in a glorious manner and not be looked down upon by others. Dad, Mom, you have already paid a lot for me. Don't prepare any more dowry. Shiashi will also have to marry a wife in the future. Su Rong had to persuade them and was moved to tears. Don't worry about your brother's affairs. Your own happiness is the most important. Su Jianzhou waved his hand. The dowry represents the attitude of the mother's family and cannot be left without it. Yuli said, Sister, when I get married, I have to rely on my own efforts to buy a car and a house. You and your parents don't have to pay a cent for me, said my younger brother Su Zexu. Seeing family members like this, Su Rong burst into tears even more, feeling both guilty and warm in her heart. She secretly decided that she would repay her family in the future and not let them only pay one-sidedly. 8 p.m. This meal is almost done. The elders on both sides became familiar, talked about many common topics, and established a WeChat communication group. And everyone joined in. At this time, the estrangement and resistance in John Huying's heart gradually dissipated. She found that Su Rong's parents were quite good, and their family background was not bad. There were many similarities in the past experiences of the two families, and they had many common topics. If his son Li Xingyang hadn't succeeded in starting his own business, the two families would definitely be considered a perfect match with similar conditions. And when talking to Su's father and Su's mother, you can say whatever you want without having to hide too much and don't have to worry about exposing your own details. This alone is much better than communicating with those rich and wealthy people. John Huying is always afraid of playing tricks. You can't beat them or even be controlled by them. But when talking to Su's father and Su's mother, who are from the same class, I don't have these worries at all. Good. From this point of view, the son's choice is still good. At least he knows the basics, has a simple mind, and does not need to be wary every day. Su Rong, come with me. Li Xingyang took Su Rong's hand and walked outside. Where are you going? Male god? Su Rong was confused and didn't know what the man wanted to do. Just come with me and we'll find out. Li Xingyang smiled mysteriously and took her to a pedestrian overpass several meters high. He asked her to stand in a white circle in the middle of the overpass and was not allowed to move. She would wait for two or three minutes and he would come back as soon as he left. My dear, where are you going? Su Rong stamped her feet and pouted wondering what the deal was. Suddenly there was a burst of footsteps. Under the overpass, there were many people active, and a faint fragrance could be smelled. Su Rong was extremely curious and wanted to take a look below, but she was restricted within the white circle and could not move around. She could only suppress her curiosity and stay still. Fortunately, she didn't wait too long. Dang dang dang. A symphony sounded. In the night sky above our heads. 
a heart-shaped beam of light was suddenly cast. It first covered a hundred meters in radius, and then continued to adjust and shrink until it shrank to a diameter of two meters, just enough to circle Su Rong in the center of the red heart. Hmm. Su Rong understood everything immediately when she saw the red heart surrounding her, and still flickering and beating. Surprise. This is the first surprise that the male god wants to give him. She covered her mouth. Her heart filled with joy. And tears quickly filled her eyes. She was extremely moved. Dang dang dang. The live symphony changes. Another beam of light came down. A handsome man in a white suit held a microphone in his hand and stepped on a rose-shaped aperture. He slowly walked towards Su Rong in the heart-shaped aperture. The rose aperture under his feet was facing her, as if giving her a romantic rose, with gentle music accompaniment. This is the man's voice. I have had people prepare for this moment for several days. Bought 9,999 roses. Invited a well-known symphony orchestra. And prepared a lot. But it still cannot express one ten-thousandth of my heart. Let alone what you have done for me. One ten-thousandth of what you paid. Do you like it? Su Rong? This is the first time that I have taken the initiative to do these things for you. For the first time, I understand that people who take the initiative often need courage and motivation and they have to spend a lot of time and energy. I suddenly realized, your love for me is unimaginable. I have many, many romantic words I want to say to you, but these empty sweet words cannot represent the importance I attach to you. I am more willing to take practical actions. Li Xingyang took out a box from his pocket, walked up to the woman and said, there are countless stars in this universe, and each star has a range of more than 9.46 trillion kilometers, one light year, in such a huge and empty space can actually accommodate dozens or hundreds of suns. But even I know that no matter how large the scope of the solar system is, there is and can only be one main sequence star in the solar system. So I had someone create a main sequence star ring. I want to give this unique ring to you. Su Rong, are you willing to be the woman who wears this ring? Li Xingyang took out a ring made of tungsten alloy material from the box. It was shaped like a star throwing out its corona, forming a ring. It was quite solemn and simple. Seeing this ring, Su Rong, who had already burst into tears, nodded and said, I do. I do. Woo woo hoo. Li Xingyang squatted down and put this special ring on Su Rong's ring finger amidst the applause and cheers of the elders and many onlookers. But because she was too happy and excited, Su Rong couldn't get out of the emotion for a long time. She cried so hard that she almost fainted and couldn't stop no matter what. In order to avoid hurting the fetus in her belly, the elders had no choice but to comfort her together while hastily ending the confession ceremony, which ended in an anticlimax. However, the special heart-shaped aperture, rose aperture, live accompaniment band surrounded by 9999 roses, and affectionate confession were still photographed by passers-by with their mobile phones and uploaded to the internet, which immediately aroused a huge response. Chapter 171 Ming Yu Face Pain Lu Ming Xiao's Resentment In the video on the internet, the bodyguards did not allow passers-by to get too close. And the camera was shot from below. The faces of the two people on the overpass could not be clearly seen. And only their voices could be heard clearly. Even so, after the video was posted on the internet, it quickly attracted millions of views and sparked heated discussions. Especially the majority of female netizens. All of them are very excited. Isn't this too romantic? If a boy confesses to me like this, I will be easily moved and agree to his pursuit. Can the light beam of the star source group still be used like this? This is the first time I have seen it. Who is that prince charming on the bridge? He is really good at it. Isn't he? Hey, I really hope the girl standing in the heart-shaped circle is me. I will definitely pass out with happiness. Judging from the voice, the man in the white suit who confessed his love is Li Xingyang, the boss of Xing Yuan group. He is 100% our Xing brother. I just don't know how beautiful and outstanding the girl he can actively pursue is. A male netizen analyzed. How is this possible? How can my husband like someone? What woman can be worthy of my husband? I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Xing Yang's husband is mine. No one can take away my man. I will kill those bitches who want to seduce my husband. Don't listen to rumors. Xing Yang's husband is only 28 years old. It is impossible to consider getting married before the age of 35. Men of this class marry late. I firmly believe that Xing Yang's husband will definitely come to marry me. I am willing to wait even until menopause. Didn't the 36-year-old Xiao Yushin marry his 50-year-old female manager? Husband Xing Yang, I am the only woman in this world who is worthy of you. 
Come to me quickly and propose to me. Okay? Yes. It must be a rumor. My husband will not leave his single life so early. My real destiny has not yet appeared in front of him. Aha. Uh -huh. The world in which Xingyang's husband did not marry me is better to be destroyed. There is no need for such a world to exist. The technical analysis of some male netizens concluded that the confessor was most likely Li Xingyang. However, this was not recognized by the majority of female netizens. Instead, they were reported, scolded and criticized, and even suffered from online violence and had to remove the video. In addition, under the public relations of Xingyuan Group's Human Resources Department, most of the relevant videos on the internet quickly disappeared, and their influence was greatly reduced. In a villa on the waterfront in Jiangyan, it took most of a day for Su Rong to finally regain her composure and stop crying. Then she lowered her head and pinched her fingers, looking like a little daughter-in-law who had made a mistake. I have finally prepared a surprise for you. You will be moved, but not to the point where you almost hurt your fetus. It seems that I overestimated you. The so-called wild boar cannot eat fine chaff. If it is too romantic, you will digest it. No. Let's forget about the next two surprises. Li Xingyang frowned and shook his head repeatedly. No. My God. I can eat fine grains. But I was not mentally prepared for the first time. An accident. This is an accident. It will never happen again. Don't cancel the next two surprises. Please. Please. Su Rong quickly took the man's hand and said pitifully. No. At least before the child is born. I won't give you any new surprises. I'm afraid you won't be able to bear it. Huh? No. Su Rong screamed. But no matter how much she begged, it was useless. She could only curse in her heart that she was worthless. She couldn't bear any small romantic surprises. It was true that wild boars couldn't eat fine chaff. Hey, I don't know when the next surprise will come. On the evening of the 24th, I just lay down for a while. In Li Xingyang's mobile phone we chat. Suddenly I received a lot of messages. Especially Ming Yufei and Lu Meshao. They both sent dozens or hundreds of messages without a long gap. By the way, why are they sending so many messages all of a sudden? Have you been stimulated by something or encountered something that you can't accept? Li Xingyang clicked it and took a look. Really? They still knew. Ming Yufei found out through the gossip within the group and through the heated discussions among countless employees. She learned the full story of the overpass confession incident. Can't accept it? Then I just couldn't accept it. My mentality is completely broken. I was complaining and questioning like crazy in WeChat. I felt that Li Xingyang had a problem with his vision. He would rather choose a cabbage, like Su Rong, than a luxurious meal on his own table. I didn't understand what he was thinking. One of them was already asleep. Is a woman who is tired of having enough fun worthy of him paying so much attention to her? Even marrying her into his family? Brother Xingyang, even if you have a good hand, you can't play like this. This will only cause you to lose a lot of advantages and add a lot of trouble. Your friends and opponents will not understand the rationality of what you do. They will doubt whether you have enough wisdom and emotional intelligence, which will affect their judgment of you, and may even look down upon you. Brother Xingyang, please be more rational. Okay, don't confess to the wrong person. That main sequence star ring should wear it on the hand of the person who should wear it. Not on a woman like Su Rong. See this? Li Xingyang asked. Oh, whose hand do you think it should be worn on? Anyway, I think I'm more suitable and qualified than Su Rong. Meng Yufei said. Then according to your logic, there must be at least a few hundred women in this world who are more qualified and suitable than you. I can continue to look for them. If there is a woman who is obviously more suitable than you, you will take the initiative to quit and support me. Do you make a rational choice to maximize your interests? Li Xingyang asked. I. Ming Yufei was stunned by the question and didn't know how to answer. Su Rong has been with me for more than 10 years. I know her very well. I know her personality very well, including her family which makes me feel at ease. But you don't know Su Rong. And you don't know me either. What you consider most is your interests. You don't understand my real concerns. Don't use your logic to convince me. I only treat you as an ordinary friend. There is not much possibility between us. You should find someone who really likes you. Li Xingyang simply pointed it out. Li Xingyang. I have paid so much for you. And I have taken the initiative to act like this. Why don't you accept me? How am I worse than Su Rong? Ming Yufei couldn't accept the question, and she was about to collapse in pain. Okay, don't ask any more. I know that with your pride, it is impossible to be a third party. In addition, 
Su Rong is my child. I will be responsible for her and give the child a complete and loving life. Family, you don't want me to become a scumbag who even abandons his children. Right. Finished. Li Xingyang ignored her and had nothing to say to her. As for Lu Meixiao, the message she sent did not contain any fierce words. She tried her best to control her emotions, but she could clearly feel a sense of resentment. She first found out about the situation through an online video and then privately asked Zhang Huying. It was a big blow. Xing Yang, you said that as long as I don't give up, you will give me a chance. I am already 28 years old. Many of my colleagues and friends of the same age are getting married and having children. I will be 29 next year and 30 the year after that. My youth will be over soon. Xing Yang, I can continue to stand for you without any title. But at the very least, can you please give me a little hope? Apart from you, I can't tolerate other men in my heart. After all the sacrifices I have made, can you please give me a little hope? For my sake, can you please give me some love and care? It doesn't need to be a lot. Just two or three days a month will do. Xing Yang, I know I'm just a vase in your eyes. A materialistic girl who wants you to be rich. You have all kinds of concerns about me. And I can't dispel your concerns. But I don't want anything now. I don't need money. I can help you have children. I don't need status. I can help you be filial to your elders. I can even give everything I have. I just ask you to give me some love. Even if it is only 100% of Su Rong's. One. One in a thousand. Xing Yang. How long do you want me to wait? Saw these messages. Feel the resentment and humility in it. Li Xing Yang felt a little apologetic. Unable to be too hard hearted. Think about it. Li Xing Yang replied, Teacher Lu, I'm sorry. I've been too busy with work in the past few years, which has indeed delayed you a bit. So, let me give you two options and let you make a choice. First, I will give you 30 million yuan in compensation for loss of youth. Take the money and quickly find a suitable partner to marry. If we break off the relationship in the future, I really can't delay you anymore. Second, I can give you a title and make you my woman, but I can't make the decision on my own. I have to get Su Rong's consent. If Su Rong nods, I will give you a title right away. A suitable arrangement would allow you to serve as my personal assistant. If Su Rong doesn't nod, then there's nothing I can do. So you should think about it carefully. Faced with these two options, Lu Meixiao only thought about it for less than five seconds before sending a message. Qing Yang, I choose the second one and I will find a way to get Su Rong's approval. Li Xingyang was taken aback and said, Are you sure? I think the first choice might be better. I'm sure. Xingyang, I've said it before. I only like you. I'm not a materialistic woman. For you, I can give up my face and dignity. Don't doubt my sincerity to you. Okay? Seeing these words, Li Xingyang was not moved at all. Only aroused. This woman's determination and will made him feel a little scared and he even regretted offering the second option. In other words, a considerable number of women were actually Lu Mingxia's template. Otherwise, the problem of older leftover women would not be so serious. Subsequently, Li Xingyang handed his mobile phone to Su Rong. Let her see the chat history between him and Lu Meixiao. Let her understand the situation. And said to her, Su Rong, this is the situation. I can't accept it. The right is yours. And I completely respect your opinion. After reading the chat history, Su Rong was furious. Her eyes were spitting fire. And she gritted her teeth and said, Lu Meixiao, this scheming beachy has gone so crazy in order to get close to you. The male god. Male god. You have to be careful. This kind of woman is very scary. For she can do whatever it takes to get in the position. I know. If you don't like it, you can veto it with one vote. This is the right of the wearer of your main sequence star ring. Li Xingyang spread his hands. But the task of having five children is too daunting. Su Rong shook her head again and said, Forget it. Male idol. Give me her WeChat business card. I will add her as a friend and train her well. See how far she can kneel down and lick me. Then give it to her depending on the situation. Give her a status or give her away with money. I'll give her a check on my male idol and try to see if she has the qualifications and value to cultivate her. Inwardly, she laughed. I didn't expect that I, Su Rong, would have my own licking dog that I had to fawn over. I was quite excited when I thought about it, and even a little expectant. It's up to you, Li Xingyang said, closing his eyes and going to sleep, not wanting to worry about these troubles anymore. Subsequently, 
Su Rong and Lu Mei Xiao became WeChat friends. And the two women chatted for a while. Su Rong had a high profile. While Lu Meng Xiao was very knowledgeable and kept a low profile. However, with just a few words of praise and flattery, Su Rong was coaxed to call her Xiao Lu affectionately. Lu Mei Xiao, who praised herself as very sensible and capable of doing things, also had a clever smile on her lips. And she felt 80% confident. The above assurance. She also found a friend named Lafayette and sent a message. Director Zhang, the plan is going very smoothly. Su Rong is very simple and easy to talk to. With my help, I think no one in the Taiyong family can shake him. Director Zhang, your status. Okay, good job. Lafayette was very satisfied. Chao Lu, keep up your efforts. I am very optimistic about you. As long as you don't do anything rebellious, you will be on an equal footing with Su Rong and the Li family, and I will be your backing. Thank you. Director Zhang. Chapter 172 Brother Zay is a real man. March 30th at 7 p.m. Suan University of Science and Technology. The campus literary party officially started. Tens of thousands of teachers and students across the school gathered in the gymnasium to watch the party. At this moment, the backstage preparations and dressing room of the stadium stage are inside. Su Zexu, your band will perform on stage later. How are you preparing? Wu Si Min, the deputy monitor, wore a blue and white porcelain printed and dyed Chong Sam, which perfectly highlighted her figure. Her carefully dressed face made her a popular candidate for the Department of Energy. Many students who came and went couldn't help but look at her. Shocked, she was one of the female hosts of today's campus art evening. However, for the honor of Class E of the Energy Department, she was also very concerned about the class's program preparations. So she came to the backstage and asked Su Zexu, holding her hands. Ha uh ha. -huh. Su Zexu smiled slightly, looked at her and said, No more pretense. Let's show off. I am a musical genius. Today, I, Su Zexu, will be the most beautiful guy on the stage. Can you stop bragging a little bit? Wu Simin rolled his eyes. Don't think I don't know. In recent days, you often skipped classes and ran outside the school. You often went to Lawfone Yutian KTD to spend money. You became a wealthy person there. So you didn't watch how you rehearsed. Will you wait? Don't roll over. Can I roll over? I, Su Zexu, will never roll over. Just watch and see what a real man's performance is. Su Zexu patted his chest and said arrogantly. But he felt strange and asked, What's he mean? How come you know so much about my every move? Did you send someone to follow me? Why are you always staring at me when you have nothing to do? At this time, Sun Gang, the guitarist in the team, came over and said with a smile, Brother Zay, you are too slow. Who would care about someone you don't like or be interested in? You are living in someone's heart. Go away, Sun Gang. Don't talk nonsense. I'm not interested in that person. Wu Simin blushed and pretended to hit someone. Ha uh ha. -huh. I was right. Miss Wu became so angry. Sun Gang stepped aside and made a face. Keep talking nonsense and tear your mouth apart. Wu Simin stamped her feet angrily. Okay. Don't be angry. Sun Gang's mouth is always annoying. He doesn't open the pot he likes the most. Miss Wu. Don't be angry. I will beat him later. Su Zexu stopped her and gave her some advice. Humph. I don't care about you anymore. Wu Simin turned around and left on high heels. But for some reason, she had a slightly disappointed expression on her face. Half past eight in the evening. The party is more than halfway through. And it will be the energy department's turn to perform. Sitting on a bench in the tunnel with his teammates. Su Zexu closed his eyes for a while. Learning some of his brother-in-law's daily habits and adjusting his own state. After all, it is impossible to say that he is not nervous at all in front of tens of thousands of live audiences. Hey, Su Zexu. There was a scent of violets that tickled my nose. Open your eyes and take a look. I saw my old classmate Lucio in wearing a light pink low-cut evening dress. Under the makeup artist's instructions, she got a French lady hairstyle and eyelashes. Wu Simin and Chong Sam was even better. Su Zexu was stunned. But he immediately came back to his senses and said, Lucio in. Are you going to perform? I should be behind you. Su Zexu. I have been preparing for tonight's performance for a long time. Don't lose to me later. If you lose and don't perform well, you have to treat me to dinner. Lu Xiaowen raised his long and fair neck and said, If my show gets better response, do you have to treat me to dinner? 
Su Zexu asked. If you win, of course you will treat me to dinner. Are you going to add insult to injury to me? Lu Xiaowen said. How come you always take advantage of me to treat me? Su Zexu said very speechlessly. No way. There are so many boys who want to treat me to dinner. I am giving you a chance. If you were smart, you would have readily agreed. Lu Xiaowen said like a proud little swan. Brother Zay, your old classmate also likes you. She is creating opportunities for you to pursue her. Teammate Sun Kang came over again and said with an envious look on his face. Brother Zay, you are so awesome. Two good cabbages in our energy department have actually taken a liking to you. Gun gun. I'm not a handsome guy. And I'm not very rich. So why should I be favored by others? If you keep talking nonsense, I'll get you. Su Zexa grabbed his neck and waved his fist at him. Then he raised his head and said to Lu Xiaowen, Go ahead and put on a good show. It's no problem to treat you to a meal. It won't cost much. Humph. That's pretty much it. Lu Xiaowen left with arrogant steps. Under the dim light, no one noticed the blush on her pretty face. Brother Zay, do you know that your personality is too warm-hearted and too sassy? This is a powerful weapon to conquer girls. If you have a little money and a certain spending power, girls will be conquered by you without knowing it. In fact, many girls in the energy department think you are an excellent mate. But you don't know it yet. Teammate Sun Gang said helplessly. He is a bystander. And he has watched countless island romance anime. So he knows how powerful Asisher is. This is a superpower that can make an ordinary protagonist open up a harem. Go away! Which girl doesn't like unconditional licking? But I, Su Zexu, have changed and I won't have any misunderstandings anymore. Unless you take the initiative to confess to me, I won't make the same mistakes again. Su Zexu said very clearly. At this time, a melodious and beautiful singing sound came. If everything in heaven and on earth is worthy of praise, it's also because of you that it becomes noisy. The world is hazy than you think. I can't bear to bully you anymore. I hope you understand. Lu Xiaowen on the stage sang a song, Human World, by Wang Tianho. He sang at least 90% of the true rhyme, making people intoxicated and unable to extricate themselves like the sound of nature. After Lu Xiaowen finished singing, countless boys howled like wolves. The schoolgirl is so beautiful. Senior sister, I like you. This girl is so amazing. I want to chase her. I didn't expect Lu Xiaowen in our class to be so beautiful. A real treasure girl. It can be expected that after this cultural evening, Lu Xiaowen will be confessed by many seniors or classmates that she has priority in choosing a spouse, making many girls feel jealous. In the corridor passage, Lu Xiaowen, who showed himself perfectly, made a victory gesture to Su Zexu, who stood up to prepare, and said proudly, Su Zexu, I won. Don't forget to treat me to dinner. Ha ha. Su Zexu's eyes flashed and he said, Don't be too happy. It's not certain who wins and who loses. He suddenly exuded a completely different aura. And the confident and evil smile at the corner of his mouth made Lu Xiaowen slightly absent-minded and almost fell in. He had to turn his head and snorted disdainfully. Next, we invite the Brother Zay Real Man Band from Class E of the Energy Department to give their wonderful performance. Wu Si Min, the host who was in charge of announcing the curtain, also gave a special encouragement. To Zexu, Show your strength and show the style of our classy. Oh, 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 many students in the audience cheered and cheered. Dang, dang, dang. The song accompaniment sounds. I will be in a daze and forget about you. Then close your eyes tightly, thinking that one day someone will replace you. Let me stop missing you. I will be in a daze and then smile. Then I present, proud boy, to you. In the beginning, I was still an innocent and crying child. It took 10 years to finally understand. As long as you try your best. There is no need to fail. Everything has changed in the blink of an eye. Skewers. The program prepared by Su Zexu is a song medley, including several classic songs, and is cleverly combined together. Su Zexu's personal musical talent is only slightly better than that of ordinary people. After a lot of practice, it is impossible to reach the level of a professional singer. He is not even as good as a second-rate amateur singer, but he can barely listen without being unpleasant. However, he also discovered that he has an advantage, which is that he speaks very quickly, reads words clearly, can talk endlessly in one breath, and has a large lung capacity. This is an advantage brought by his social cow attribute, rap. He is very suitable for performing rap and has an amazing talent in this area. So after a few minutes of singing together, Su Zexu, 
who was holding a microphone on the stage, raised his voice and said, Are you ready? The warm-up is over, and the real big move begins. I give you a song called, Kylan, wave your glow sticks. Ready! Dong 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 musical accompaniment. I am loud because I am doing the right thing. Suzexu stamped his foot and shouted angrily. Everywhere is the avenue to heaven. Those who stride forward are not afraid of slanting shadows. Those who disturb my heart will not be looked at for a long time. There is a world of its own in the lyrics. I silently recite the Jean Z. Ju. In the middle of the road, five schools and eight factions. They have all fallen into fights and fallen. No matter how weird your moves are, if you are not convinced, you will pick them one by one. He spoke faster and faster. The sound is getting louder and louder. The accompaniment rhythm also became more compact and intense. The audience also became agitated one by one. Especially most of the boys, who were all excited. The world is dominated by my generation. As soon as you enter the world, time rushes you. The emperor's hegemony is chatting and laughing. It's worse than a drunken night in the world. Don't wake me up. I can't bear to hide. I'm going up a steep slope and down a steep slope. Weeds and wildfires are good and ready to let the wind blow by. I will bring my flag, my medals, and my brothers to pose on the top of the mountain. I will be taller than all the bells and whistles you have seen and heard put together. I want to make this between heaven and earth. The climax of the song. Sue's exit didn't seem to be breathing. And he rapped all in one breath without making any mistakes. He completely kept up with the rhythm and made everyone hear and understand his roar. Crazy. The response at the scene was overwhelming. Countless boys clapped wildly and shouted in support. Brother Zay is such a man. Brother Zay is such a man. Brother Zay. Awesome. Brother Zay. My God. On the stage, Suzexa took off his coat and suddenly tore off his shirt, revealing the muscular lines of his upper body, which made countless girls scream. The party also reached its climax. What is this guy doing? Wu Mean, who is in charge of hosting, couldn't help but cover her eyes, feeling that it was very painful. However, she took a few more glances through the two centimeter wide finger gap and secretly said, This guy has a pretty good figure. The other side, Lu Xiaowen, who was secretly observing in the backcourt, saw Su Zexu in the highlight moment and noticed the adoring and confused eyes of many girls in the audience. His face changed drastically, and he said to himself, No! This guy is going to get the first right to choose a mate. He must we have to find a way to stop this trend. Chapter 173 Accidental Collision Incident April 3rd, Cheongya Province Wintian Landing Ground On a vertical takeoff and landing platform, there is a huge long square box-shaped device, more than 100 meters in length. The width is about 30 meters. The surface is silvery white. There are two golden oval turtle structures on the back. Its empty weight is approximately 800 tons. When fully loaded, it is about 3,000 tons. The size is more than five times that of the previous Dragon space plane. It looks quite large and spectacular. This is the Hercules transport spacecraft. It took the aerospace industry group less than half a year to develop a new device responsible for space transportation. Its transportation capacity is 10 times that of the Dragon. And its internal cargo space has increased 10 times. It can carry up to 10 space containers, and bring a full 2,000 tons of minerals back to the Blue Star. One trip is equivalent to 10 round trips of the Dragon, which means that energy consumption will increase a lot, but it will be slightly less than 10 times, so it can save a small amount of transportation costs. Today is the day of the first flight of Hercules. Two beams of light with an effective power of over 150,000 kW hit the two turtle backs of the transport spacecraft. First, charge, then slowly lift it off. As the height continues to increase, the light energy dissipated by the air will decrease. Energy utilization will increase. That is, energy supply will become increasingly abundant. After entering the space environment, the parallel light lens under Xing Yuan Group's photovoltaic array only needs one end to provide sufficient light energy. In the process of returning to the blue star, a full 2,000 tons of minerals need to be carried. So the power required for landing is quite huge. More than 200 Starpy 2 high thrust ion engines are needed to explode the most powerful thrust, maximum thrust 20 tons. It can resist the influence of gravity and land steadily on the ground landing site. It needs to be supplied with nearly 1 million kilowatts of power to barely be enough. At this time, up to four energy supply light beams are needed to hit the back of the Hercules at the same time. 
coupled with its own aerodynamic structure that increases resistance, so that it can fall to the ground smoothly at zero speed. Perfect. The first test flight went perfectly. Hercules brought five space containers back to the ground with ease and without any problems. The second trip brought eight containers, which could be carried. The third trip simply brought ten containers and conducted a full load transportation test. Although it achieved a successful landing, the power reserve of the spacecraft itself was reduced by less than 5%. If it persists for 10 seconds at most, the engine power will be insufficient and the thrust will drop off a cliff, falling down, then accelerating towards the ground. That is, if the power redundancy is insufficient, the heartbeat will drop. Experts came up with four solutions to the problem. First, reduce the weight of the spacecraft, reduce the structural strength, and find ways to reduce the weight by about 100 tons. But this will bring about the problem of reduced firmness and reduced service life of the spacecraft. Second, to increase energy reserves, just use another 50 tons of superconducting capacitors, which can significantly extend the duration of the maximum power. The disadvantage is that superconducting capacitors are too expensive, which will increase the cost by hundreds of millions. Third, carry one less space container and only carry nine containers at a time, which means the cargo capacity is reduced to 1,800 tons only 90% of the design specification. Fourth, once again optimize the shape of the spacecraft and increase the driving area. When landing, it will land at a high speed of 300 meters slash second at an altitude of 30,000 meters to 5,000 meters. It will decelerate at full speed for the last 5,000 meters and reduce the speed to zero in more than 30 seconds. The process is thrilling and involves a lot of danger. Once the operation is improper and mistakes are made, the ship may be destroyed and people will be killed. However, the advantage is that the modification cost is low and the load index will not shrink. After some heated discussion, experts do not want to reduce the carrying capacity indicators, nor do they want to increase the manufacturing cost of the spacecraft. So they combine Plan 1 and Plan 4, reducing the empty weight of the Hercules spacecraft by 50 tons. A new large space container with a capacity of 500 tons has been designed. One can hold 2.5 containers, but it can save 12.5 tons of weight. Four can save 50 tons of weight. The goal of reducing the weight of the Hercules transport spacecraft by 100 tons has been achieved when it is fully loaded. The shape of the spacecraft is further optimized to increase the driving area by about 50%, which greatly increases the wind resistance during landing. As the landing speed increases, the resistance will also increase exponentially, thus greatly saving energy. On the morning of April 18th, the improved Hercules transport spacecraft conducted a full load transport test. Success. This trial was very successful. The Hercules, which was fully loaded with minerals and landed on the ground landing site, actually still had 25% of its power reserve, allowing the engine to explode at full power for about 50 seconds. Although it was still not long, it was completely enough. Then starting from the 19th, this proven Hercules transport spacecraft was engaged in intense space and ground transportation work. It made as many as 10 trips a day on average to bring 20,000 tons of lunar minerals to the surface of the Blue Star. Moreover, the spacecraft manufacturing assembly line of the Aerospace Industry Group is also operating at full capacity and is working hard to produce the new Hercules transport spacecraft. The goal is to assemble and manufacture one ship in half a month, 10 days, or 5 days so as to it will meet the rapidly growing need for space transportation capabilities and solve the current dilemma of lunar mining companies that have piles of or but cannot transport it away. April 25th. An ordinary day. 8 a.m. After breakfast, 35-year-old pilot Peng Chunlong took two assistants and entered the cockpit of the Hercules transport spacecraft to begin today's transport mission. In fact, he never thought that he would suddenly change his job from a fighter pilot to a pilot of a space transport spaceship or a flight officer, suddenly leaving the sky of the blue star and entering the sea of stars. With this extremely sudden change, all he wanted to say was tie pants. It's so damn cool. And it's very exciting. Especially when you control the transport spacecraft and fall downwards like a free fall, reaching a speed of 300 meters slash second. The fear, excitement, and excitement make people want to scream. In addition, he can get a mission subsidy of 5,000 yuan for every time he runs a space transportation mission. He is allowed to run up to five times a day, which is an income of 25,000 yuan. There is no need to pay taxes. After one year, it is just the subsidy income, which is more than 5 million. 
This is a much higher salary than being a pilot in the Air Force. And it is also the reason why he is full of motivation every day. He can still be with his wife and children. And no longer spend too much time apart. The safety is also very high. And his family no longer has to worry about him. Scared. All in all. Everything is good, and he is very satisfied with this new job. If possible. He hoped that his son could take over from him and become a spaceship pilot in the future. He could fly any spaceship. The era of interstellar navigation had begun. The future would be infinitely bright and beautiful. And the fate of countless people would be the same. With changes, everyone's development path has become extremely broad, with almost no upper limit. It may not be impossible for everyone to become a billionaire. Wear protective clothing. Fasten your seat belt. And check the system parameters of the spacecraft and the status of the uplink cargo, Peng Chunlong said. The system parameters of the spacecraft are normal. The upstream cargo has been secured and there is no problem. Assistant Feng Wudong and Lu Gongjia said. Command center. Hercules 1 is ready. Please take off. Peng Chunlong said into the headset. You can take off. Then two golden light pillars shot down. The engine starts. The spaceship takes off. In just 10 minutes, we enter the deep and vast space. Throw the uplink cargo from the two containers toward the Tiandong space station. Then throw the two empty large containers towards the moon at high speed. Then start catching those floating space containers filled with lunar ore. Just catch four in a row. During this busy process, through the glass porthole of the spacecraft, Peng Chunlong saw that there were hundreds of Dragon and Xing Yuan in space, which were also engaged in the same transportation work. A very busy space scene. Then I saw dozens or hundreds of light yellow energy supply light beams coming from various angles, crisscrossing horizontally and vertically, as dense as a forest, and constantly providing energy. Although it felt a bit overwhelming, I could still cope with it. Busy and orderly, lively and lively. All this is pleasing to the eye and full of joy and pride in the heart. The space container has been captured and can return, Assistant Feng Wodong said. Go back, Peng Chunlong said. Immediately the transport spacecraft began to descend in altitude. 400 kilometers above the ground. 300 kilometers. 200 kilometers. The landing was smooth. However, at an altitude of more than 180 kilometers, there were two basketball-sized objects with a unique appearance and a stealth design. They did not even have solar panels or Starlink satellites. For some reason, they suddenly lowered their altitude and headed towards Hercules 1, which was performing a fixed landing procedure. The transport spaceship number one hit it accurately, with a relative speed of more than 7.6 kilometers per second. Boom! Boom! Two loud bangs. The spacecraft shook violently. Two large holes were opened in the belly of the ship. Two space containers were penetrated. And a large amount of lunar minerals were thrown out. A large number of beeping alarms sounded. And many subsystems malfunctioned. Peng Chulong's face changed drastically. And he broke out in cold sweat. He quickly reported the situation to the ground command center. Hercules 1 encountered an unknown space impact. Multiple system failures. Power loss of 23%. And the risk of falling out of control. Chapter 174 Space Jump Cleanup Plan. Danger. The situation is extremely dangerous. If only the spacecraft itself had an accident. The biggest losses would be only the three pilots and controllers. Peng Chun Long would pay for it personally. This is not a big loss. Everyone is destined to die. If he dies in the line of duty due to this accident, the country will compensate him. And his wife can if you remarry. Your son will receive certain care when he grows up. And you don't have to worry about his future. He has nothing to worry about. But Hercules 1 weighs nearly 3,000 tons. There are many people moving on the ground below. If it were to fall freely at this height, the destructive power would be comparable to that of a miniature nuclear bomb. It could completely destroy the landing site and create a big hole in the ground. Such a situation must never be allowed to occur. The command and control center on the ground also issued instructions to protect the spacecraft with all its strength. Even if it falls into the sea, it cannot fall to the ground. Hercules 1 crew, this is the most critical situation. This moment will definitely be recorded in the history of aerospace development. History will give a fair evaluation to any decision you make. Abandoning the spacecraft is not allowed. There are people and construction facilities underneath the spacecraft. The consequences of smashing it down would be disastrous. Now I give you three options. First, find a way to maintain control and continue to execute the landing procedure until it lands on the ground. If the first option is not possible, 
then find a way to move the spacecraft over the high seas and descend to a certain level. After reaching the height, you can parachute to survive, which is allowed. Thirdly, if the spacecraft is difficult to control and has lost control, please open the cargo hold of the spacecraft. Release all space containers. Release all the moon ore and reduce the destructive power on the ground as much as possible. Then find a way to escape. Please make the most appropriate choice based on the status and situation of the spacecraft. As long as you avoid heavy losses, you will be heroes who have made great contributions and will be commended, said a leader at the Command and Control Center. Command Center. I am Peng Chunlong. At this time, Peng Chunlong said, the attitude of the spacecraft has returned to stable. The power output is stable and it can be controlled normally. I will try to continue landing and try my best to bring the spacecraft back to the ground. But I need to ensure sufficient energy supply. Okay. No problem. I'll ask Xing Yuan group to add two more energy supply light beams. The leader nodded. Immediately, two more yellow light beams hit the body of Hercules 1. The total energy supply power exceeded 1 million kW, which was completely enough. Although about 10% of the more than 200 ion engines on the spacecraft have malfunctioned and cannot work normally. The other engines not only work as usual, but can also be flexibly controlled, showing extremely high reliability. Each ion engine, they are all highly independent and can be controlled online. The power supply has backup wires. Even if part of the line is cut off, the backup line will come into play immediately. All in all, in terms of power system, the reliability of Hercules 1 is very high, far exceeding other systems. So with sufficient energy supply, the spacecraft with two big holes in its abdomen was still very stable and landed at the landing site on the ground. Although hundreds of tons of lunar minerals were lost. Although the two large holes that penetrated the belly of the spacecraft looked shocking. It was a miracle that it did not crash directly. But in the end, there was still a near miss. And the spacecraft and pilot crew were saved, proving the high reliability of the Hercules. Of course, the calm response of Peng Chunlong and others is worthy of commendation and praise and it deserves to become a benchmark and model for all drivers to learn from. Therefore, when Peng Chunlong and three other people, soaked in sweat, stepped off the spacecraft, they received extremely warm applause. Papa Papa! Well done! A first-class meritorious person cannot escape. If it is made into a movie, it will definitely be well-received and well-received. The ground staff commented enviously. But for the senior leaders of the aerospace industry group, the preliminary investigation report on the accidental impact of Hercules 1 was released and placed in front of them. After reading it roughly, boom, the conference table was hammered hard. The leader, Zhao Chanhong, said with a livid face, It was space's Starlink satellite that caused the trouble again. If it collides with each other, it can be explained as a coincidence. Can two consecutive precise impacts be explained by coincidence? A spacecraft of nearly 3,000 tons what will be the consequences once the free fall hits us? Do you still want to continue to pretend to be confused and treat us as idiots? He hammered the table twice more. Enough. The Starlink satellites all over low Earth orbit can no longer turn a blind eye to these space junks. If an impact accident like today happens for the first time, there will be a second one. The second time and the third time. They only lost two satellites worth hundreds of thousands. And we've lost hundreds of millions. We cannot afford such consumption. And the threat to the ground is also very great, unless most of the space is cleared rubbish. Otherwise, we won't be able to use our Hercules transport spacecraft with confidence. I have already lost my tolerance for Starlink satellites. The existence of these space junks are potential traps that may hit our spacecraft at any time. Using laser weapons to destroy these junks is the only choice we have to make. Otherwise, don't expect our universe development to proceed smoothly. General Manager Yuan Winba also said, Chief Expert Long Younghao said, then our experts will write a report on recommendations for cleaning up space debris and give it to the superiors for reference. Then send a copy to the military to see what the instructions above are. Okay, it's best to start writing the report now. And we all sign to express our position. Zhao Chanlong said. That's right. We all signed. Our steps to conquer the stars and the sea must not be stopped by a group of junk satellites. Soon! The report, Recommendations for Cleaning Up Space Debris was submitted to the superiors on the same day, and it attracted great attention. And a special meeting was held for discussion. Representatives of the military were also present. But? Senior officials have disagreements over how to deal with the more than 40,000 junk-like Starlink satellites in low-Earth orbit. 
although everyone is eager to use the simplest and crudest means to solve this problem. And the newly established Space Force also said that it can easily do it. Space Company is a private company, not an official organization. And no matter how accidents are caused, it is just an accident. If if the Chinese military takes action, it will definitely lead to passive public opinion, overwhelming hype, and even lead to the occurrence of an arms race in space. The order in low Earth orbit will become even more chaotic. Those who collide with each other will only affect China. The country has more energy and brings greater consumption. Therefore, even if it is very disgusting, it is not possible to clean it up directly, and the official cannot give up. So who is more suitable to do it? Space is a private company. We are also looking for a private company to cooperate with us to implement the space debris cleanup plan. No one can find fault with the private sector against the private sector. The current space environment is still in a state of disordered development. There are no unified laws and regulations. In this case, no matter how big the trouble is caused by private companies, we will not take the blame. Besides, space company has produced so much garbage, which has brought huge risks. In order to eliminate risks and avoid losses, whatever our private companies do is reasonable and beneficial to the development of the aerospace industry around the world. A big leader said, "Everyone nodded and thought this method was very good, but here comes the problem: which domestic private company would be better suited to serve as this starting point and tool? It must not only have sufficient technical strength, but also must have the means to quickly remove space debris. After searching around." It seems that there is only one such private company in the country, Xingyuan Group. Several leaders have objections to this situation. Xingyuan Group is already very powerful. If it obtains the authority to clean up space junk again, will it seriously expand in the future and even cause hidden dangers? But even if there are hidden dangers, the densely packed tens of thousands of Starlink satellites have reached the point where they must be disposed of. This is the top priority at the moment. It is a stumbling block that must be removed. So on April 28th, Suong City Industrial Park, in the president's office of the Xingyuan Group headquarters building, Li Xingyang received a call on his cell phone. It was Zhao Chonghong from the Aerospace Industry Group. Swipe to answer. Leader Zhao, is there something wrong? Li Xingyang asked. Xiao Li, you should know about the accidental collision of Hercules one a few days ago. Do you have some understanding of this matter? I know. This is very weird. Yes. Our experts believe that this is most likely a man-made attack, very similar to the attack on the Guanghan Palace base on the moon. If we don't take countermeasures, there will only be more and more such attacks in the future. So this time we couldn't bear it anymore and formulated a space junk cleanup plan to clean up all the space junk in low Earth orbit and leave no one behind. However, who will specifically implement this plan? After discussion, we believe that your Xingyuan group is more suitable for Xiao Li. So I entrust you with this task. I wonder if you can do it. And are you sure you can do it well? Hear this. In the office, no one noticed that Li Xingyang had a look of ecstasy on his face. His mouth almost reached behind his ears, and he could hardly contain the excitement in his heart. This project is a bit troublesome and difficult. He still looked hesitant, but changed his words again. But the tasks assigned to me by the leader must be completed satisfactorily and neatly. No space debris can be left behind. I don't think there is a big problem. Okay, then I'm relieved. Shall we? Do your best. Don't be afraid of making this matter a big deal. Don't be pressured. Just do it boldly. We are all on your side, and we are your strongest backing. Xiao Chanlong said, "Yeah, I understand." The two ended the call. After putting down the phone, in the president's office, there was a burst of uncontrollable laughter. Chapter 175: Efficient Destruction. Steel horses protest. After receiving authorization to clean up space debris, privately, Li Xingyang was so happy that he couldn't help but smile from ear to ear. It's not an exaggeration to describe it as pie in the sky, an extremely rare opportunity. Li Xingyang wanted to say thank you to Iron Horse. If it weren't for his Starlink system, it would be too harmful to low Earth orbit. Tens of thousands of junk satellites, all of which are potential traffic collision objects, would have caused people's death long ago. I couldn't bear it. Otherwise, there wouldn't be such a good opportunity to fall on the head of Xingyuan Group. That being the case, Li Xingyang is not polite. A group of personnel were immediately convened, and a new department called the Space Garbage Processing Department was established, with a technical director named Xiao Jingsheng as the head of the department. Then, with great fanfare, Xingyuan Group's 
space junk cleanup plan was announced to the media, allowing experts to explain the hazards of space junk, introduce the changes in the quantity of space junk in recent years, and draw conclusions about the status of Azure Star. The neighborhood was already densely covered with all kinds of garbage. It was extremely crowded and had to be disposed of. It creates a very anxious atmosphere. Not only did they promote it on domestic media platforms, but they also spent some money to make foreign public opinion aware of Xing Yuan Group's space debris cleanup plan, highlighting the necessity of the plan and its huge benefits to all mankind. As for the means of eliminating space debris, high-energy lasers are the main method. Xing Yuan Group will develop a special energy relay satellite that can emit high-energy lasers and then use the tens of thousands of degrees of high temperature generated by laser irradiation to evaporate the space debris. For those large and heavy space junk, Laser ablation can be used to reverse it, causing it to change its orbit and continuously lower its altitude until it falls into the atmosphere and burns up. Xing Yuan Group will bear all the costs of cleaning up space debris. We want to restore a clean and clear space to all mankind. We need to allow space enthusiasts around the world to get rid of the interference of space junk and find the celestial objects they really care about. Etc. Etc. There are so many benefits and no downsides. Regarding this plan of Xing Yuan Group, most environmentally friendly people from all over the world expressed support and welcome, and had no objections. The majority of astronomy enthusiasts also strongly praised and raised their hands to support. They are concerned about the increasing number of space junk. They are all very disgusting attitudes. Since Xing Yuan Group has the ability and methods to solve this problem, it should act quickly to help all mankind clean up space. Actually, Today's global public opinion structure has undergone very big changes. Although the Western media still has a lot of say, the time when they can call the shots and criticize others has passed. Their credibility has long been ruined, and they can only influence 30% of the world's population, exerting a greater influence on thinking. The remaining 70% of the public opinion market is occupied by newly emerging media, including the Huawei International News Channel and some popular Huawei apps. They generally pursue objectivity and truth becoming the mainstream of global public opinion, and gradually gaining a certain authority. The most important thing is that Li Xingyang, a young entrepreneur who is only 28 years old this year, is an idol worshipped by countless young people around the world. Some of his legendary entrepreneurial stories have been exaggerated by the media and become familiar to countless people. Every step of his rise is familiar to them, analyzed and studied by countless experts. There are dozens of related books on success. The most popular among them is why I was slapped in the face by Mr. Lee, written by Zhang Daolong. It is said that the global sales have exceeded 30 million copies, and the copyright fees have made a lot of money. Full, even most young people in the West have only one word of admiration for an outstanding person like Li Xingyang. They have a very good impression of him, and even regard him as an idol to learn and worship. As for women all over the world, not to mention, they all have a dream of marrying Li Xingyang, not to mention their affection for him. Therefore, when Li Xingyang suddenly showed that he wanted to protect the environment of the Blue Star, clean up space junk, and spend his own money to do this good thing that is beneficial to the public welfare. The public support he received was so high that it was somewhat beyond Li Xingyang's expectation. The support rate is estimated to be over 90%, regardless of whether it is domestic or foreign. The comment areas of relevant news are filled with voices of approval and praise. Li Xingyang must be smacked up from our country. Only we have the high quality to clean up space and help humans clean up garbage for free. No. No. Li Xingyang should apply to immigrate to our island country. A high quality world citizen like him should come and settle in our island country. Our Lion City is also very good. It is the first choice for high quality world citizens. And the tax rate for the rich is very low. Mr. Li should come to us. Perhaps only the most beautiful woman in our curry country. Plus a generous dowry can allow Li Xingyang to return to his real mother country. Why doesn't he consider visiting our curry country? Why doesn't he consider investing in us? Li Xingyang is too homely. Until now, he has never been to a country other than China. He has never really seen the world. If this continues, his vision will become narrower. Fortunately, he has shown the characteristics of a world citizen. On the one hand, he finally knows that he has done something good for all mankind. And maybe after a while, he will consider visiting us and giving a few speeches. Is there no value for us in France to visit? Li Xingyang is not a qualified citizen of Azure Star. He can see the moon with his eyes, but he doesn't care about our glorious and great country at all. 
Chariot Country Nietzsche Yuan Group's energy very much. Why don't you consider cooperating with us? If Star Source Group is willing to come to Chariot Country to develop, one plus one will definitely be far greater than two, and it will burst out with unimaginable energy. The Chariot Kingdom has weakened, and we, Mao Xiong, are more valuable for cooperation. Xing Yuan Group has cooperated with us several times. This cooperative relationship should be deepened in an all-round way. Moreover, our girl will let Li Xingyang stay here to develop. Charm. From the comments of countless foreign netizens, we can see that they all extended a lot of olive branches, and they all praised and spoke highly of Li Xingyang's achievements, and few of them spoke ill of him. The only dissatisfaction is that Li Xingyang is too homely. The world is so big, but he doesn't like to go out and travel to other countries in the world. He is not interested in their country at all. This is very bad, and shows a very narrow-mindedness. Fortunately, he finally made some welcome changes. I began to have a sense of global citizenship and took the initiative to help clean up space debris. In the next step, will there be more plans that are beneficial to all mankind? Will you consider visiting their country? I wonder where his first stop will be. Will he have plans to invest in foreign countries? And will he abandon his narrow thinking and truly regard himself as a blue star person? Not just a Chinese citizen. In short, everything is worth looking forward to. Sooner or later, Xing Yuan Group will become an international enterprise and bring huge benefits to all mankind. But amid countless compliments and praises, the Iron Horse of Space Company, after learning about Xing Yuan Group's space garbage cleanup plan, still made such a big splash that everyone knew about it. He very keenly smelled a bit of something bad and immediately made people aware of it. I made a phone call to the person in charge of the Human Resources Department of Xing Yuan Group and sent several written emails to make serious representations. The meaning expressed by Iron Horse is very clear. Star Source Group's Space Debris Cleanup Plan must not harm the interests of Space Company and must not destroy even one Starlink satellite. Once a Starlink satellite is destroyed, even if there is only one, Space the company will take countermeasures to make Xing Yuan Group pay the price. In short, it is a warning plus a threat, and even requires the cancellation of the so-called space debris cleanup plan. Action must be taken after consultation at the national level and the formulation of space behavior regulations. Otherwise, Xing Yuan Group will become a target of suppression. Face these warnings and threats. Li Xingyang didn't take it to heart. After laughing, he still went his own way. Soon, on May 5th, the first energy relay satellite with the ability to clean up space debris was sent into a low-Earth orbit of about 1,000 kilometers. The cleaning work began that day, firing out beams of high-energy lasers, maximum power 100,000 kilowatts. All threatening space jumped larger than 10 millimeters in size was included in the cleaning scope. A total of more than 30,000 large and small garbage were cleaned that day, most of which was directly evaporated into a gaseous state under the irradiation of high-energy lasers. On May 6th, more than 50,000 rubbish were collected. On the 8th, the high-threat space junk in medium and high orbits was almost completely cleaned up. The results were very significant. Some stubborn junk that had existed for decades also became history. Global public opinion was very exciting. The space junk problem has really been solved. Xing Yuan Group is so awesome. But starting on May 9th, the energy relay satellites turned their guns and aimed at space junk in low and medium orbits. They efficiently cleaned up space junk at a rate of nearly 100,000 pieces per day. Some people noticed that something was wrong. The scrap Starlink satellites of Space Company are also being cleaned up. On May 10th, more than a dozen working Starlink satellites that were not scrapped were also destroyed by lasers, causing their functions to be affected to a certain extent. On the 11th, Starlink satellites became a priority. In one day, more than 1,000 satellites were destroyed and all of them were in normal working condition and were treated as space junk. If this trend continues, it is estimated that within a month at most, the star chain system that Iron Horse spent tens of billions of dollars to build will be completely destroyed, and not a single star will be left. The Steel Horse can't sit still. Immediately, people issued strong protests and negotiated, requiring Xing Yuan Group to stop space debris cleanup operations, immediately stop space weapon attacks, and stop destroying valuable assets belonging to Space Company. Xing Yuan Group, your real purpose is to destroy the global Starlink system that I have finally built. This is a shameless and illegal attack. We must stop the cleanup operation immediately and compensate for the losses. Otherwise, we will take all means to retaliate. We have the ability to make Xing Yuan Group pay the price. 
Stop. This will not bring you any benefit. It will only lead to greater disaster. Faced with this extremely harsh representation, the Star Source group ignored them. And on May 12th, they treated nearly 2,000 Starlink satellites as space junk, completely destroyed them with lasers, and cleared a large safe area. Chapter 176 The Desperate Steel Horse In space, under the strike of high-energy laser, one after another, the Starlink satellites evaporated directly into a gaseous state. Not even slag was left. According to the efficiency of destroying two or three per minute, it won't be long before all these porcelain tools in space will be destroyed. The space company was severely beaten to the core. It took many years and tens of billions of dollars to build the Starlink system, the company's important profit tool, and just disposed of it as garbage. It was like leaving nothing behind. Stern warnings are useless. Asking for cooperation is useless. It promised to standardize the use of low Earth orbit, reduce the risk of collisions, and ensure that similar collisions will not happen again. It is hoped that Xing Yuan Group will show mercy. But? Useless. The more than 40,000 Starlink satellites are all classified into the category of space junk. Since they are garbage, they will naturally be dealt with and must be eradicated without leaving any behind. In the face of such destruction efficiency, even if Iron Horse orders the replenishment of Starlink satellites, at most one or two hundred satellites can be replenished into space a day and the speed at which they can be destroyed by lasers is more than 10 times the replenishment speed. Not to mention the cost. The cost of irradiation is tens of dollars at most. While a Starlink satellite costs hundreds of thousands of dollars, the cost is tens of thousands times different. In front of the real space hooligans, the Starlink satellites were like cute little friends, being punched to pieces one by one, without the ability to fight back. Iron Horse was so angry that he vomited blood and smashed things in the office. This was the first time he was bullied like this. This was an unprecedented experience. What to do? After finding the experts of the company and discussing it, three response plans were proposed. One is to use laser against laser. Send a 10-ton laser satellite into space with a rocket. Then aim at the energy relay satellite of Xingyuan Group. And then launch a 200 kW power level laser to kill the satellite. Energy relay satellite. Even if they shine on each other, they will die together. However, The cost of this solution exceeds 1 billion US dollars, which is relatively expensive. The second option is to ask the military to help launch two or three anti-satellite missiles to kill the energy relay satellite of the star source group. The cost does not exceed 100 million knives. However, there is a risk of attack failure, and Xing Yuan group satellites can also use lasers to intercept missiles, which may not necessarily achieve the goal. Instead, it will cause a huge space brawl, causing both sides to lose. But as long as the space energy facilities of Xing Yuan Group are still there, they can relaunch spacecraft and quickly occupy space at a very low cost. However, the ugly country cannot restore the infrastructure in space without spending hundreds of billions of dollars. Even if we cannot fight a war of attrition, we cannot fight it. We can only let space company come up with a way to deal with it. Iron Horse and the experts really thought of a low-cost and relatively reliable method. There is nothing new in this plan. In fact, it is still a tactic of fighting in space. That is to say, let the Falcon rockets send dozens of Starlink satellites into space. The surfaces of these satellites must be painted with a laser reflective coating or covered with a layer of glass, and then lined up in a neat queue, all heading towards the satellite. An energy relay satellite crashed into it and launched a suicide attack. Even if the first few Starlink satellites are burned by lasers, the dozens behind them will always keep getting closer and finally achieve their goal with a bang. The cost does not exceed $50 million. The energy relay satellite is equivalent to or even cheaper than the Xing Yuan Group's energy relay satellite. It is completely worth the exchange. Repeat the same method again. Use this method to crash the Xing Yuan Group's light sail reflector. Kill their photovoltaic array. And completely destroy the Xing Yuan Group's space energy facilities. Ha ha ha. Although this will cost billions to tens of billions of dollars. It is very worthwhile because space company will have the opportunity to replace the position of Xing Yuan Group and also build a set of space energy facilities belonging to space company. By then, every year huge profits worth tens of billions of dollars belong to a steel horse. Think of this. Iron Horse became excited, with an evil smile on his face, seeing a huge business opportunity. Ha ha! Xing Yuan Group, you forced me to do this! Since you want to fight, then I will fight you to the end! Laser weapons are not without their weaknesses. High-speed impact is the way to go. This rare opportunity was given to me by you. 
So don't blame me for being rude. Then Iron Horse, with great enthusiasm, wanted to invest in the space bumper car business. To create a bright future for space company. To drive Xing Yuan Group into bankruptcy. And to knock the big cake of space energy into me. Come into the arms of the steel horse. Do it. Do it. Let's see who is more powerful. See who can have the last laugh. On May 15th, a Falcon rocket took off, carrying 60 modified Starlink satellites named Victory Boxer into space. Then turn on the Hall electric thruster engine and head straight for the energy relay satellite. In the ground control center, watching the live broadcast on the big screen, Iron Horse held his hands, flushed on his face, smiled at the corners of his mouth, and could not suppress the excitement in his heart. Close. Getting closer. 800 kilometers. 500 kilometers. 300 kilometers. In a few dozen seconds, the collision he was most looking forward to would take place. This wonderful space bumper car would soon stage a wonderful KO in which the little man defeated the big man. The energy relay satellite has not responded yet. And it seems that it has not yet noticed the incoming Starlink satellite. Okay. Very good. It means approaching silently and then launching the most fatal blow. The top assassin is nothing more than this. The distance is close to within 200 kilometers. Stable. Iron Horse tapped his fingers on the table, narrowed his eyes slightly, and already felt stable in his heart. The probability of a successful attack had increased to more than 80%. But at this moment, the energy relay satellite of the Star Source Group suddenly started its ion engine and made a large maneuver to avoid it. Then a dazzling laser beam mixed with red light came, with a power of 100,000 kilowatts. Even if the lenses and coatings on the surface of Starlink satellites can reflect 99.9%, .9%, the remaining 0.1% is enough to heat and burn them. The dozens of Victory Boxer Starlink satellites in front were successively destroyed by lasers. However, the 40 or so remaining ones still gave the Iron Horse the last glimmer of hope. But there was a glimmer of hope. On the energy relay satellite, an electromagnetic cannon was used to suddenly fire a string of bullets with tracer trajectories accurately hitting the remaining Starlink satellites, breaking them into pieces, and then under the irradiation of high-power laser. These fragments evaporated into gaseous state, leaving no residue. Even a piece of debris as large as one centimeter could not get close to the energy relay satellite, let alone cause any damage. Inside the ground control center, the steel horse's eyes widened, and he stood up with a look of difficulty accepting it. How? How could this become like this? Isn't it the only attack method like laser? Why can it also fire bullets and carry conventional attack weapons? Rogue. This is cheating and acting rogue. It doesn't follow the rules at all. Let alone fair competition. I don't accept it. I can't accept this kind of cheating. Protest. We must continue to protest and hold a press conference to expose the insidious behavior of the Star Source Group. They are militarizing space and threatening the safety of all mankind. Iron Horse couldn't accept such a result. And his face flushed with anger like a gambler who lost his money. He was so angry. But his press conference has not yet been held. The other side. However, Xing Yuan Group has already held a press conference, invited hundreds of domestic and foreign reporters, and produced conclusive video evidence, recording in detail how space companies Starlink satellite launched a premeditated space attack. The evidence of the collision and the final failure was so abundant that it caused an uproar among reporters. Later, Xiao Jingxing, the head of Xing Yuan Group's Space Waste Cleanup Department announced, Xing Yuan Group will increase the number of garbage cleaning satellites deployed in space from 1 to 10. In the next two days, all Starlink satellites in space will be destroyed. In addition, if space company continues to launch Starlink satellites, it will launch a strike during the rocket launch process and will not allow any garbage to enter space, threatening the asset security of Star Source Group. This statement has just been made. The 10 energy relay satellites that had been deployed in space launched a massacre of the remaining Starlink satellites. More than 20,000 of them were destroyed in one day. The Starlink system basically collapsed and became history. But this time, few people in the global public opinion criticized. And most of them were gloating. After all, who allowed space company to be caught in a sneak attack without saying anything? And evidence was collected. And it was caught? Isn't this what it deserves? What's more, the reputation of the Starlink system is already bad. Astronomy enthusiasts complained that it was not useful for ordinary people because it could not afford it. It was used to mess up some small countries. But it had a miraculous effect. Now it has finally been cleaned up. And tens of thousands of space junk have disappeared. 
everyone clapped their hands and praised Xing Yuan Group for its good work. Space Company Headquarters. Collapsed. At this moment, the Iron Horse's face was filled with defeat, and he was on the verge of collapse. Trap! It turns out this was a trap that had been set for me a long time ago. I stepped in without hesitation, but just fell into their hands and found an excuse to take action. Xing Yuan Group, you are so despicable. You are just bastards. Your insidiousness made me look like a brainless idiot and gave me the illusion that I would win. My Starlink is over. And my space career is over. No. This is absolutely not okay. I am a great steel horse. I cannot lose the opportunity to enter the universe. And I cannot be restricted in the space for survival and development. Go to China. I will go to China now to go to Xing Yuan Group to apologize and admit my mistakes. And to seek cooperation opportunities. Even if I kneel down and surrender to Li Xingyang, I cannot be blocked on the ground. Iron Horse made the decision to go to China immediately. Chapter 177 Extreme Humiliation On the morning of May 17th, Suong City, Industrial Park, Xing Yuan Group Headquarters, Iron Horse and a group of people came here non-stop from Laocho, who was thousands of miles away. There was a look of gloom and frustration on his face. Occasionally squeeze out a forced smile. There is absolutely no high-spiritedness and high self-confidence in the past. There was just a high level of nervousness and extreme uneasiness. After several rounds of confrontation, Iron Horse realized, Xing Yuan Group is not easy to mess with. It is also a lawless and unscrupulous existence. It has also become a pair of extremely powerful white gloves. And its capabilities are even better than those of Space Company. Be stronger. Encountering such an opponent, Iron Horse could only admit defeat. It was useless to try to expand the situation. With the technical capabilities of Space Company, it could not hurt Xing Yuan Group in the slightest. But Star Source Group could strangle Iron Horse. The throat allows none of the rocket payloads launched by his company to enter space, and are even locked to the ground. Since then, they have no chance to meet the stars and the sea. The grand blueprints and plans in his mind have all come to nothing. And then investors cancel investment. Investors are selling their stocks one after another. Space Company which has no leaks to cut, can only end up bankrupt and delisted. This is something Iron Horse simply cannot accept. He also doesn't want to be a loser or a pauper. I don't want to be deprived of my dreams and lose the right to conquer the stars and the sea. That's right. Although Iron Horse is greedy, lustful, likes to brag, and has various problems, he does have pursuits and dreams. His previous dreams of building cars, cheap rockets, and Starlink have all come true. He is also very confident that his dream of immigrating to an alien planet will be realized successfully. Who knew that something like this would happen? The Xing Yuan group has risen rapidly and is so powerful that he has lamented many times in private. God is so unfair. People like Li Xingyang are supposed to be ugly people. So why do they appear in China? Alas, God is too partial and favors China too much. Forget it. Stop thinking about it. Since they had applied for a visit appointment in advance. Tiang Ma and the other group entered the Xing Yuan Group headquarters building under the guidance of the staff. Then entered the elevator and pressed the button on the 28th floor. Exited the elevator. A relatively large conference room. Iron Horse met Li Xingyang, who was less than 30 years old and had risen at the speed of light in the past few years. He had never relied on the energy of the financial market, but only relied on his own ability and talent to build this huge foundation. He also held the Xing Yuan Group. 100% of the shares, with a personal net worth of at least $1 trillion. A super evil young man. Mr. Lee, please make a plan and look forward to it for a long time. The two parties shook hands, and Iron Horse spoke in less than standard Chinese. Hello. Facing this senior in the technology circle, Li Xingyang just said calmly, say a few words. The two sides sat on opposite sides of the conference table and officially began negotiations. Mr. Lee. I lost the space competition this time. Starlink satellites do have certain hidden dangers and were treated as space junk by your company. I have no objection. You can admit it. You can only do it if you are not as good as others. So you Chinese people also have a saying. No fighting. No acquaintance. No fighting. No cooperation. I think this is an opportunity for the two companies to improve relations and establish cooperation. The infinitely vast solar system can fully accommodate the cooperation between our two companies. When, Mr. Lee, I come here with sincerity this time. I am willing to put aside my grudges and give up the demand for compensation. I only hope to achieve win-win cooperation with Xing Yuan Group. 
I don't know if Mr. Lee agrees to turn the hostility into friendship and coexist peacefully with Space Company. Reach cooperation and achieve win-win results? Iron Horse smiled with sincerity and cooperation. You know that he didn't even ask for compensation. Is this sincerity enough? And don't hit the smiling person. Chinese people have always valued peace. And win-win cooperation is the most talked about. He is now completely following the Chinese thinking. And does not talk about competition. Zero-sum games. Etc. Which are too cruel and barbaric. When it comes to things. We only talk about win-win. Which should be able to reach the other party's heart. And lead to a happy ending. Iron Horse thought so beautifully in his heart. Cooperation is not impossible. Li Xingyang said calmly. However. In the space field. Xing Yuan Group has several conditions and thresholds for companies with strong technical capabilities that may have commercial competition. If they are unwilling to abide by these conditions, it may be difficult to achieve the so-called win-win situation. What are the conditions? Mr. Lee? Iron Horse asked quickly. The main thing is three things. It won't be too harsh. First, space company is not allowed to get involved in the field of space energy and cannot compete with the core business of Xing Yuan Group. Second, the space company headquarters needs to be moved to China and must become a company in China. Among the employees and executives in the company, the proportion of Chinese must not be less than 50%, and Chinese must hold no less than 35% of shares. Third, the main markets that space company operates can only be China, Canada, Europe and other places. At least 50% of the profits earned must be used to invest in China. If this is not possible, the energy price provided by Xing Yuan Group to Space Company will be about twice as high, and it will not be able to enjoy the cheapest energy supply service. After Li Xingyang finished speaking, Iron Horse couldn't help but pick his ears, wondering if he heard correctly. What are these three conditions? Not being allowed to enter the field of space energy means giving up the most promising career in competition, and can only eat the leftovers donated by Xing Yuan Group. How much charity will be given depends on Li Xingyang's mood. The second article is a letter of nomination. Try to get the trust of Xing Yuan Group. Only space company can be regarded as a Chinese company. Only when the proportion of Chinese employees and executives is high enough can it be worthy of trust. If you want to do something in the future things that harm the interests of China are stared at by so many Chinese people. And then, they are reported in private. Any ulterior plots and plans will be difficult to hide. Which is equivalent to a state of transparency. I wonder how much is in the belly of his iron horse. A bowl of powder will tell you clearly. The third item is that even space companies' future corporate profits have been arranged. He wants to spend like crazy and spend more on girls. At least half of the profits must be invested in China. If he can't do it, Xing Yuan Group will if energy prices are raised. There will be a way for him to cough up profits anyway. Humiliation. Iron Horse and others felt extremely humiliated. This is not an equal and win-win cooperation. It is clearly recruiting an obedient dog. In this world, it is estimated that only the Curry country would offer such crazy cooperation conditions. Li Xingyang was simply possessed by the Curry people and learned their negotiation style. But even if these three conditions are so excessive and unacceptable, dignity will be trampled into the soil. But the strange thing is that Iron Horse's heart is actually inclined to agree to cooperate. Because this kind of cooperation is still profitable. For example, if a solar-powered passenger plane that can replace traditional passenger planes is introduced to the Western market, it will immediately seize countless civil aviation markets and earn hundreds of billions of dollars a year. For example, space launch services powered by light beams can earn tens of billions of dollars a year. There are also lunar mining, space mining, etc. As long as space companies are qualified to participate, they can get a share of the pie and make a lot of profits. What's more, they have been given an unlimited development platform. Even if they can only get a small piece of the pie, it is much more promising and the benefits are much greater than developing on the Blue Star. That is to say, being a dog for the Xing Yuan Group is a very promising job. But it is not very good looking. And you will be subject to many restrictions and constraints. And even be called a traitor. But as long as he doesn't care about these, he will still be popular and drink well. And he will always be a good person. Winner in life. But, in space company, Iron Horse alone has the final say and his shareholding is less than 10%. The majority of investors and stockholders will never allow his steel horse to become a dog, as long as he dares to nod in agreement. He will kill himself with dozens of bullets in the back tomorrow. Those congressmen would also clamor for his life. He will only be shouted at and beaten by everyone. 
and he will become a national traitor that everyone wants to kill. He must not take the step of being a dog. It doesn't matter if the company collapses. He cannot make fun of his own life. Boom. Boom. He hammered the conference table twice. Stood up extremely angrily and said, Humiliation. Mr. Lee, you are doing the most serious humiliation to me and my company. Please forgive me for not accepting it. It's such a pity. I came here with sincerity and cooperation and took the most friendly attitude. But I was treated like this. I thought too much of you. You don't even have the most basic courtesy and just want to be condescending. Show your arrogance. Mr. Lee, you will regret it. You underestimated the technical strength of Space Company and the major innovation capabilities of our country. We will definitely catch up soon. I swear, you will soon pay the price for your arrogance. And deeply regretful. Come on. Let's get out of this damn place. After some talk, Iron Horse left with his people, cursing all the way. Judging from his performance, anyone could see that the two parties in this negotiation failed to achieve results. And the talks completely collapsed. The competition and grievances between the two companies. I am afraid it will continue. And the confrontation will even become more intense. Sit on the chair. Watching their leaving figures. Li Xingyang was a little confused. If we couldn't reach an agreement, we couldn't reach an agreement. Why was he so excited? As for arrogance, am I really arrogant? The three conditions for cooperation I have given are already quite good. Once announced, foreign companies that want to cooperate will probably line up in a long queue, and they may even be reluctant to do so. Li Xingyang didn't take the harsh words from the iron horse to heart. Ha ha. If words worked, he would want to talk all day long. But competition between companies ultimately depends on hard power. And he will not be afraid of challenges from any force in this regard. Chapter 178 Interstellar Mining Spaceship Late May This morning, Suong City Industrial Park Inside a newly built large factory that was recently put into use, Li Xingyang came for an inspection. He attaches great importance to this factory. He comes to inspect it from time to time and personally guides the work. He attaches much higher importance to it than other factories. It was said that this was a factory that produced some kind of products. He was so interested in it that he even came here again and again. He also personally participated in the design work and became the chief designer who played a leading role. Interstellar mining ship. And it is specially designed to operate in space for a long time. It can go to the asteroid belt where a large number of meteorites are distributed. And push. Capture and mine space meteorites back one by one. The maximum output power is 5 million kW. The maximum capture capacity is 1 million tons. The maximum maintenance capacity in space is 3 years. The maximum operating distance is 1 billion kilometers. Controlled by interstellar navigators and quantum communicators. As for the model of this interstellar mining spacecraft, it was named John Tianhao by Li Xingyang to commemorate John Yuantian's 80 years of mining in space. Li Xingyang has a very deep memory of space mining in his mind. He even knows the structure of the mining spacecraft well, and has unique insights. He is confident to design an interstellar mining spacecraft with the most reasonable structure, the most complete functions, and the most comfortable living conditions. Inside the mining ship factory, standing in front of this spaceship that looks like a snail and only has a basic frame built, the construction completion rate is less than 15%. However, with the efficiency and speed of this assembly, it can be produced off the production line and appear in the world within half a year at most. In front of. The interstellar navigator has been successfully developed. The quantum communicator has also successfully produced a set of laboratory samples. But it can be used in actual production in life. Over at the Super Reflective Materials Factory. The first star ring light sail reflector, referred to as star ring reflector, is under intense development. After all the above equipment is ready. When the Jontian, interstellar mining spacecraft comes off the production line. It can carry multiple space miners. With the support of ultra-long-distance light beam energy supply technology, it can go to the asteroid belt for activities. Or it can transport some objects 10 meters away from the blue star. High-value meteorites within a range of 100 million kilometers are dragged to the vicinity of Azure Star. And then cut, processed, and transported to the ground. Bringing greater economic benefits to Xing Yuan Group. But the problem came immediately. Didn't Li Xingyang say before that apart from the space energy industry, he is not interested in other industries, including the huge cake of space mining? He can give it all away and will not monopolize all the benefits. Why is he going back on his word now? Developing a mining spaceship. 
and preparing to bring over some high-value space meteorites? Why is he not keeping his word? Abandoning his promise? And still trying to steal the cake? That's right. Li Xingyang has made corresponding promises not to enter into industries, such as space, mining on a large scale. But this does not mean that he will not engage in any mining. Nor does it mean that he will set limits on himself and lose the flexibility of action. And we also need to see the financial difficulties that Xing Yuan Group is in now. 500 billion. Now the money Xing Yuan Group owes to banks has increased to 500 billion. And it is still expanding its liabilities at a rate of 2 billion yuan per day. The purpose is to ensure the business expansion speed of Xing Yuan Group and ensure the construction of space energy facilities to keep up with the energy needs of various space activities. And such rapid expansion will obviously continue for a very long time. By the end of this year, the money Xing Yuan Group owes to banks is expected to exceed the 1 trillion mark, including players of the previous game. Galaxy Energy Tycoon They have recharged and invested more than 200 billion. At the end of the year, Xing Yuan Group's total liabilities will exceed 1.2 trillion. Considering the profitability of Xing Yuan Group, under normal circumstances, it is impossible to reduce this debt and fulfill the promise of giving players at least 10 times the return. There is no possibility of paying back the money in the short term. No way. This won't work. Although borrowing money is a necessary measure for the expansion of Xing Yuan Group, no one wants to owe so much money, especially for Li Xingyang. It would be fine if he owed hundreds of billions. But if it exceeded 1 trillion, he would feel a bit stressed and would not be able to sleep well. Indeed, in this era, it is the uncle who owes money. And the more he owes, the safer he is. But it would be a bit naive of you to really hold such an idea. Because the bank has never been a so-called vulnerable group. There is always a way for you to repay the loan with interest. Not to mention that in the loan contract, the bank has the right to withdraw the loan at any time. What if, at the most critical moment of Xing Yuan Group's development, the bank suddenly came to the rescue, urging repayment, and then sealing up the factory if the money was not repaid? Would Li Xingyang be dumbfounded? Even if the bank is unlikely to do this, Li Xingyang does not dare to gamble. Because once huge interests are involved, human nature should never be tested. Not many people can withstand the test. Well, even if Li Xingyang is right to worry, but a new problem came again. Can we make so much money by mining in space or going to the asteroid belt to catch meteorites? Can we even pay off the trillions of corporate debts? Is space mining really so profitable? Why are the bosses of the tens of thousands of Chinese mining companies that go to the moon to mine? But none of them have really made a fortune. Not even the first billionaire has been born. It doesn't seem to be extremely profitable. It's just that just a few billionaires were born. Is Li Xingyang too optimistic? Uh-huh. Of course Li Xingyang would not do anything that he was not sure about. The wealth opportunities contained in space are far from being as simple as people imagine. But far beyond imagination. Inside the meteorite research office of the spacecraft manufacturing plant. Facing a holographic projection device. Mr. Li, in cooperation with the National Astronomical Observation Bureau, we have locked the comet number 1973 by 6. Based on its orbit analysis, in about two months, the comet's distance from our blue star will shrink to within 6.6 .6 astronomical units, i.e. 1 billion kilometers, and then continue to pull in. After six months, it will be less than two astronomical units from the blue star, and it will not be farther and farther away from us until 12 months later, exceeding 1 billion kilometers. In other words, we have a 10-month operating window. This comet is not large, but has a high density, weighing about 600,000 tons. Experts estimate that it contains 13,000 tons of platinum, 1,500 tons of silver, and 300 tons of gold, based on the current platinum content on the Azure Star. Calculating the prices of gold, silver, and other metals, the value of this comet is about 6 trillion yuan. Once it is successfully captured by our mining spacecraft, the financial situation of Xing Yuan Group will be improved immediately. Meteorite research expert Han Bujo said to Li Xingyang excitedly. Chapter 179 Platinum Miner Plan A space comet worth 6 trillion yuan? Is this data true or false? Is it something that experts just made up to deliberately arouse people's expectations and excitement? How could a mere space meteorite or comet be so exaggerated that it could be worth tens of trillions if you just mess with it? But it's true. There are many magical things about meteorites or comets in space. The cores of some meteorites and comets are entirely composed of precious metal elements, containing high amounts of gold and silver often accompanied by copper, iron, nickel, cobalt and other metals. 
which are like pieces of high-altitude metal, high-grade space minerals, as long as such special meteorites are captured. They can bring a large amount of wealth and even cause violent fluctuations in the market price of precious metals. Unleashing Yang's Brain Memory John Yuan Tian made little money in the first few decades of his 80-year space mining career. Until one day, the mining spacecraft he controlled luckily captured a meteorite rich in gallium and germanium elements, with a content of about 5,000 tons. And then he made it, became a rich man, earned his first pot of gold, and has been out of control since then. And it is different from mining on the surface of the moon. It is really possible to win big prizes and suddenly become rich by catching space meteorites. Because there are many special meteorites in space. For example, those with high gold and silver elements. Some contain high amounts of rare earth metals. Some contain a lot of diamonds. Most of the components are stainless steel, i.e. nickel iron alloy. There are also cobalt, platinum, tungsten, uranium, molybdenum and so on. The reasons for the formation of these meteorites are more complex. Some are enriched in heavy elements and supernova explosions. Some wander from other galaxies. And some are ancient meteorites that existed at the beginning of the universe. Or even flew out after the collision and explosion of two neutron stars. Shards and so on. But no matter how it was formed. These space meteorites or comets are like space blind boxes. The probability of finding high value treasures is very high. If you catch one at random, it will be worth hundreds of billions or trillions. It is really not an exaggeration. Scientists predict the first rich man with a net worth of 10 trillion is most likely an entrepreneur engaged in the space meteorite mining industry because the Golden Mountain and Ean Mountain exist among the meteorites in the empty interstellar space. How could Li Xingyang be willing to miss such an opportunity to make a fortune even if he promised not to enter the space mining industry? There is a platinum comet worth 6 trillion yuan. Getting closer and closer. And Xing Yuan Group just happens to have another if you let this Golden Mountain pass by without taking action if you capture the technical capabilities. This is definitely a fool's behavior. You will only be ridiculed and ridiculed. And it will only make others easier. What's more, Li Xingyang doesn't think this belongs to the space mining industry. This is clearly a space fishing industry and a blind box gambling. As long as the bet is right, it will be so surprising that it will be crazy. Good. Li Xingyang nodded and said, this 1973 by 6 comet is a miracle for Xingyuan Group to get out of debt management. It can effectively curb the expansion of our balance sheet and bring sufficient cash flow. Even though this platinum comet only brought three, the net income of trillions is enough for us to pay off bank loans and then fulfill the investment commitments to investors according to the tenfold return standard and realize all debts are cleared at once. We will never owe anyone money again. That's the only way. Xingyuan Group is in the healthiest state of development. Pay off the bank loan in one lump sum. Then cash in 10 times the return to all investing players. This is the change in the financial statements of Xing Yuan Group that is expected to be brought about by the 1973 by 6 comet. And we must strive to capture the comet within this year and clear all liabilities. Instead of being like many domestic real estate companies and even many local governments, which have reached the point of insolvency, there are also many housing slaves who have been burdened with mortgage loans for 20 or 30 years because of the burden of mortgage loans. They will not be able to live in the next 20 to 30 years. How can the national economy improve if there is little spending power? But there are still countless economic experts who are vigorously advocating to expand liabilities and let banks spend more money. As if the money does not have to be repaid and there will be no cost. Reducing the financial leverage and steady development. Accumulation has become the phenomenon they most disdain and look down upon. Which is simply unbelievable. Anyway. Li Xingyang will never allow Xing Yuan Group to rely on a large amount of debt to develop normally. This is an extremely unhealthy development path destined to be unsustainable. It is to exchange overdraft for temporary prosperity. Therefore, the Platinum Comet in space is the magic medicine that makes financial statements healthy and the savior that eliminates huge debts. It must be captured. If 11973 by 6 Comet is not enough, serious liabilities will arise next year and the year after. Then find a way to capture a few more space meteorites and open a few more space blind boxes. Even if there is a certain probability that you won't win the big prize. If you catch a few more times, you will definitely be able to catch big fish. In this way, there is no need to worry about the unhealthy capital chain of the group. After all, currently only one company, Xingyuan Group, has such space fishing capabilities. 
even if more mining companies have to be allowed to join in a few years. But in the past few years, no matter how much money Xingyuan Group spends on its crazy expansion, it will not accumulate too much debt. And it is possible to have positive cash flow. Because of this, Li Xingyang attaches great importance to this project and places it as a high priority. Mr. Li, in order to complete the Platinum Miner Plan, this year and monetize the Comet 1973x6, in addition to speeding up the construction of the John Tian mining spacecraft, I think the pilots and professional miners on the ship must also start recruiting personnel. After training, they must master a lot of relevant knowledge and skills in less than half a year. The first star ring reflector must be manufactured as soon as possible, and the light energy reserve in the main energy channel must be increased. We need to complete it's a lot of work. Ding Xiaowan, the person in charge of the spacecraft factory, said that he had been excited for a while when he knew the contents of the Platinum Miner plan before, but now he sees more of the difficulties before him and sees a lot of hardships. Don't worry. You just need to do what you are doing and build a Jantian as soon as possible. The personnel will be trained and all the supporting equipment will be in place. In the next few months, Xing Yuan Group's mission in space will be we will also find ways to increase the number of photovoltaic arrays to 100 to meet the needs of all space activities. As long as we work hard and do not delay, all our plans and tasks will be completed, and we will receive full year-end bonuses this year. Li Xingyang cheered everyone up. It's Mr. Li. Even if we work overtime every day, we won't be held back. I will definitely be able to drag the Platinum Comet over this year, and then divide it and sell it. Mr. Li. I want to apply to become a space miner and work on the Jantian. I want to deal with Platinum Comets. Is that possible? I also really want to be a space miner and participate in the implementation of this plan. Although it may be dangerous, it is something that can honor our ancestors. Yes, it can bring trillions of dollars in revenue to the group. This life is so exciting and exciting. All the employees said one after another that even some technical directors and senior executives were ready to make a move. Their face is full of emotion. Li Xingyang said that they all have opportunities. As long as they pass selection and training and meet the requirements, they will all have the opportunity to become the heroes of the group and become the pioneers of interstellar adventure that attract worldwide attention. Chapter 180 New Space Materials End of May Near Tiangong Space Station A special spherical space factory with a maximum size of about 30 meters has been officially put into use some time ago. This space factory is a simple factory for purifying substances. It is not a synthetic factory that can synthesize complex compounds or new materials. It cannot bring about some exciting nanomaterials and high-tech materials with special physical and chemical properties, or new substances that have never existed before, etc. Only have the ability to purify substances. However, in the recent period, this purification plant has purified more than 2,000 tons of substances with a daily output of about 200 tons and nearly 100 types. There is elemental silicon in it. There are rare earth metals. There are photoresist materials. Today, after purifying all the 200 tons of aluminum oxide reflective materials produced by the Xingyuan Group's Super Reflective Factory, a Xingyuan space transport aircraft landed with this batch of reflective materials. Longqiu landing site in Suong City. In the afternoon, in the industrial park, Inside the reflector assembly factory attached to the reflective material factory, Li Xingyang came over for an inspection. Put on a dust suit in the ultra clean and dust free factory building. Walking in front of this large trumpet shaped device with a thick end and a thin end, workers are precisely assembling it. The ultra high purity reflective lenses that have just arrived are carefully affixed piece by piece. The surface of the inner wall of the device is very slow, and precision instruments are constantly used to measure and correct errors. It is estimated that not much can be applied in a day. This device is the star ring reflector. It can also be called a star ring accelerator. Its working principle is similar to that of a trumpet-shaped downlight. But the large end receives the incoming light beams from all directions. And then reflects the long and continuously narrowing internal tube wall. And finally emits the light beam in an infinitely close to parallel state. Even if it is a billion kilometers away, the cross section of the beam can be increased from one square meter to 1,000 square meters at most. And most of it can still be received by the mining spacecraft. And it can achieve accurate and continuous irradiation with minimal errors. To be honest, it is very difficult to manufacture. Hi. You have to work slowly and carefully. However, when Li Xingyang came to inspect this time, 
What he was most interested in was not the manufacturing progress of the first star ring reflector, but the changes that ultra-high purity reflective materials may bring. Because Nanny Bing, who was previously responsible for the research and development of reflective materials, told him that when the purity of reflective materials increases to more than 11 nines, its light reflectivity will also increase. From the current 6 nines, it will be improved to 7 nines. That is, 99.99999% light reflectivity. This data is incredible. It seems like a slight improvement, but it means that the capacity of the main energy channel can be increased by as much as 10 times on the current basis. This is an order of magnitude improvement. This time, Nanny Bing temporarily put down her chip company's affairs and ran over, standing next to Li Xingyang to accompany him during the inspection. Li Xingyang asked her, Chief Engineer Nan, after the reflection test of this batch of ultra-high purity reflective materials, did they really reach a reflectivity of seven nines? Is it more than the previous limit? I am not in charge of these projects now, but it is as I expected. After purification in the space factory, the purity of the reflective material has been increased to 18 nines which means that there are less than 100,000 impurity atoms in one mole of material. The impact is very small. The tester told me that the reflectivity of high-purity aluminum oxide is close to 99.999995%. Close to 8 nines. If some improvements can be made in the future, the purity and polishing accuracy will be improved. To reduce the impact of surface dust, etc., I think it is entirely possible to achieve 8 nines. And this is not the final limit. Nanny Bing held his hands and said, Eight nines? That's a dreamlike technology. But there is no need to pursue such high standards for the time being. The second main energy road will only be made of seven nines of reflective materials. It will not affect the construction speed of the main energy road. Li Xingyong said, I understand, Mr. Li. Our factory has entered a state of high mobilization. And there are overtime arrangements every day. So it will not hold back the company. Lai Ju. The person in charge of the reflective material factory said confidently, making Li Xingyong nod. By the way, give me a few hundred yuan for the reflective lenses that have been purified by the space factory. I want to use them in the photolithography machines of my chip factory. It should improve the yield rate of the chips by two or three points. Shall Lai? Yes. No problem. At this time, Nanny Bing spoke to Lai Jun. It seemed to be a discussion tone. But in fact it was almost like asking to take her own things. Because this Lai Jun was the apprentice she brought out and received her key cultivation. Otherwise the reflective material factory the person in charge. It is not his turn to rely on the army. Sister Nan. Aunt Nan. A few hundred tablets are too many. I will give you one hundred tablets at most. If more is not enough. Mr. Li is here. Please let me go. Lai Yuan cupped his hands and begged for mercy with a wry smile on his face. Although Nanny Bing was his master and the bull who helped recommend him, he was still a little afraid of this aunt. She liked to toss too much and was quite out of touch. She often took risks. She comes up with some fantastic ideas. After working with her for a long time, I can't stand her much. Humph. Forget it. I'll just take 100 lenses for the time being. If I don't have enough, I'll have to ask you for them. Don't be sad. They only cost a few hundred yuan at most. They won't affect the group's project progress. Mr. Li also supports me. Right. Nanny Bing turned to look at Li Xingyang and let the pressure come to him. As long as it doesn't affect the progress of other projects. Of course, I have no objection. Li Xingyang had to make a statement. But he couldn't help but ask. Chief Engineer Nan, your chip factory seems to have been in operation for more than a year. I wonder how the chip research is going. Can we create high-performance chips? Do you have the chip? It's not more than a year. It's almost two years. Nanny Bing corrected him. My handsome boss. You also own half of the shares of Xingyuan Bingyun Chip Company. But you don't seem to care about the life and death of the company at all. You have never inspected it once. My help are your subordinates, who have made great contributions to solving problems are like being exiled. And they have never received your care again. Uh huh. What a terrible and realistic boss. Her tone was full of deep resentment. As if she was accusing someone. Sweat. Li Xingyang sweated profusely and had to say, Chief Engineer Nan, I am still paying attention to your chip factory, but I don't know what chips you are researching and to what extent you have researched the problem. No good news has been said to me, so I still forget it if I don't interfere with you. If this is really inappropriate, I will go to your chip factory in two days to inspect it and encourage the employees. It seems it's all my fault. 
I'm usually too devoted to my work. I can't blame you for not going. But, Nanny Bing grabbed his hand and said, Don't say you'll go there in two days. Go to my chip factory now and have a look. It's been almost two years. It's time for you to see some of the results. Chief Engineer Nan, are you in such a hurry? Li Xingyang said helplessly. But with her pulling her like this, he could only make sure this time and go to the Xingyuan Bingyun Chip Manufacturing Factory. Chapter 181 Equivalent to One Nanometer Chip Xingyuan Bingyun Chip Factory This factory, built with an investment of more than 30 billion yuan, is also in the industrial park, not far from the reflective material factory. It only takes three or four minutes to take the park sightseeing bus. He was led by Nanny Bing into the interior of the chip factory. Also put on anti-static and dust-free white dustproof clothing. In a laboratory filled with various types of equipment. On the shelf of a white workbench. There are many disc-like wafers. As well as unpackaged chip particles placed in transparent square boxes. The corresponding chip manufacturing process is also marked on the box. Li Xingyang saw these numbers and letters. 130 nanometers. 65 nanometers. 45 nanometers. 28 nanometers. 14 nanometers. 10 nanometers. And the surface of the transparent box on the far right is marked with 7 nanometers characters. There is a black block shaped object in the box the size of an adult fingernail. Li Xingyang's eyes lit up. And he couldn't help but ask. Chief Engineer Nan. Has your chip factory successfully manufactured a 7 nanometers process chip? In less than 2 years. You have achieved this level? He pointed his finger. Looking at the box on the far right. I was very surprised. In fact, excluding the time for raising funds, factory construction, and equipment debugging, the time Nanny Bing led people to actually develop the chip was only one year at most. The scary thing is that she led the R&D staff to study hard and push the chip manufacturing process to 7 nanometers. In just one year, she completed the technological exploration process of some domestic chip companies for more than 30 years. It is simply incredible. If it is true, the speed of this technological breakthrough is unparalleled in the country and can only be described as terrifying. 7 nanometers is a tacit statement in the industry. In fact, it is a deep optimization based on 14 nanometers chip technology. The smallest photolithography line width is greater than 10 nanometers. Calling it a 10 nanometers chip is a bit unworthy of the name. The main reason the reason is that after trying to increase its transistor density, it has become equivalent to an equivalent 7 nanometer chip. So its real name should be equivalent 7 nanometer process chip dot. Nanny Bing held her hands and explained to Li Xingyang. That's pretty good too, Li Xingyang said. The most advanced chips in China are said to be equivalent to 3 nanometers. Right. There is not much difference between the most advanced chips in foreign countries, which are equivalent to 2 nanometers. You can achieve 7 nanometers in 2 years, which is not much. It's an achievement that I can't compare to personally. And the chips used most by Xingyuan Group are 28 nanometers processed chips. I don't think you need to continue studying. I can place some chip orders to your factory to achieve positive income first. Let's make some profits and survive. Mr. Lee, at present, domestic equivalent 3 nanometers processed chips have not yet achieved mass production. And the yield rate is only just over 1%. The most advanced ones are actually 5 nanometers chips. But the yield rate is only about 25%. If I continue to study with such a low yield rate, I can quickly produce 5 nanometer and 3 nanometer chips to stir up domestic public opinion. But there is no need. My star source Bing Yun does not need to engage in this kind of image project, Nanny Bing said. As for the 28 nanometer chip orders, our company can undertake some of them. But this market is seriously saturated in China. The competition is fierce. And there is not much profit at all. If I want to do it, I still want to increase research and development efforts. Continue to attack high-end chips and eat the most profitable piece of cake. Making high-end chips? Li Xingyang looked at her and said, I don't object to your decision. But high-end chips are technically difficult and require a lot of funds. Does your company have sufficient R&D funds? Is it enough talented people? How long will it take? How long does it take to achieve a breakthrough? Do you have the confidence to grab high-end chip boundary orders from companies like Washington International? Of course I am willing to provide you with some help. But Xing Yuan Group's demand for high-end chips is not very large. You still have to rely on yourself to win orders. It is very difficult in all aspects. You should think about it again. Li Xingyang expressed tactfully that he hoped she would consider carefully or even give up. 
it would be best to start with 28 nanometers, survive, and then break through to high end. Slowly, aim at high end from the beginning. This is a bit too ambitious. Mr. Lee, you know my character very well. No matter what you do, if you want to do it, you must do your best and be the first in the industry. Nanny Bing turned to look at him with a firm light in her eyes. I might as well tell you, Mr. Lee, that I plan to lead the technical staff of Xing Yuan Bing Yuan to develop a high-end chips equivalent to a one nanometer process must be mass-produced with a yield rate of no less than 10%. The performance must be the best in the world. The most powerful technical strength must be used to win a large number of chip foundry orders. Not only that, Nanny Bing continued, I don't need Mr. Lee to provide order support or inject funds. There is only one condition, which is that I hope to obtain some high-end space materials through the relationship with Xing Yuan Group, such as ultra-high purity silicon, high-quality purity photoresist, some high-purity rare metals, etc. are used in chip development. As long as these basic materials meet my needs, I am at least 70-80% to 80 sure that I can develop equivalent products within a year and a half. One nanometer process chip. Look at how confident and sure she is. Li Xingyang was shocked. In one and a half years, we made a chip equivalent to a one nanometer process and became the first in the world. How is this possible? You must know that this is not a big cabbage. And the difficulty is not even the slightest. Blind self-confidence. Chief Engineer Nan is very capable. But this problem of blind self-confidence is getting bigger and bigger. Mr. Lee, you don't believe it? Seeing the disbelief on his face, Nan Ebing drew a smile on his lips and said, How about we make a bet? Bet? What to bet on? Li Xingyang asked. Just bet on whether I can do it. Nanny Bing smiled and said, If my company makes a one nanometer chip in the next year and a half, you have to agree to a condition and agree to lend me something you own if I can't do it. What do you want? You can ask for anything as punishment for talking big to me. I'll lend you something I have on me. What do you want to borrow? Li Xingyang didn't know what her intention was. He thought for a moment and said, Chief Engineer Nan, Let's forget this bet. It doesn't matter if it takes one and a half years, or two or three years, as long as we can make a chip. That'll be fine. I believe you should be able to do it. No. The two of us have to take a gamble. Otherwise, I won't have the motivation to invest in it. I'm almost 42 this year, and I don't have so much time. Before I turn 44, I want to see if my life has changed. Hope. Nanny Bing suddenly came over in two steps stretched out his hand to pull Li Xingyang's clothes, and said into his eyes. What shone in her eyes was a kind of anxiety and urgency that was difficult to hide, as well as a certain unspeakable desire. Change! Chief Engineer Nan, what do you want to change? Li Xingyang asked secretly, full of doubts in his heart. But looking at her like this, asking directly would definitely lead to no results. As for this bet, Li Xingyang could vaguely see that Nan Yibing didn't want to bet with him. But it's a gamble with herself. Otherwise, she doesn't need to be so eager for something that can obviously be done slowly. How about it? My handsome boss? How about giving me some face and taking a gamble? Nanny Bing released her grip on his clothes and continued to ask. This? What are you? A grown man? Talking about? Even if you lose, you won't lose anything. It's settled anyway. You go. I have to work overtime now. Nanny Bing said. Then Li Xingyang left the factory in a daze. In the laboratory. Call up the surveillance screen through the computer and watch Li Xingyang's back gradually disappear. Nanny Bing sat on the office chair, narrowed her eyes, and calmed down the turmoil in her heart. In fact, she was not sure enough about this bet. It was only a 50 to 50 outcome at most. But she did put tremendous pressure on herself in this way, trying to force out her full potential and use the next steps. Crazy work replaces the increasing anxiety and suffering in my heart. She murmured to herself. The loan owed to the bank is expected to exceed 50 billion yuan soon. But there is no ability to repay it. The bank is only willing to continue lending because of the face of Xing Yuan Group. There is still a certain gap in talent. And we must recruit a group of high-level chip talents with high salaries. But there are also advantages. The world's most sophisticated EUV lithography machine is in my factory. The world's purest silicon wafers, rare metal materials, photoresists, etc. are all available immediately. In terms of materials and equipment and other hardware, we already have world-class chip development conditions. What is left to compare is just people's ingenuity. In this regard, my team will not be worse than anyone else. One and a half years is a bit tight. 
I have to stay in the factory and work overtime every day. And I have to win. I have to convince the handsome boss. And then I can borrow things from him. I have a chance. For the sake of the future half my life will be more exciting. And from this moment on, I will fight tooth and nail. Nanny Bing opened her eyes. Her eyes burning with fighting spirit. Then she cheered up and continued to work. Chapter 182 Campus Rumors June The weather is getting hotter and hotter. And people on the streets are wearing cooler clothes. June is also the graduation season of the university. It is the day when seniors and seniors are about to leave campus and officially enter the society. The carefree youth has reached its last stop. Therefore, we have to seize this last opportunity, show off the last youthful vitality, and stage carnivals one after another in this not-too-hot summer to make up for some regrets. Therefore, in various university campuses in June, most graduation parties and summer concerts will be held, which are very lively and filled with the atmosphere of youthful hormones and love. After all, this is the season for young people. This evening, on the campus of Suang University of Science and Technology, in the gymnasium, the sound of rock music came. I always look forward to summer evenings when it rains. The singing cicadas woke up the stars, and the moonlight was very cool. This is how I recall my first confession. Embarrass me. On the stage, Su Zexu, who was wearing a colorful shirt, devoted himself wholeheartedly to the performance, taking dynamic steps and waving his arms, driving the audience to great joy. The first day I existed. Breath easy on the first day. The ankles standing on the ground feel real because of you. The first day I existed. I can fly for the first time. In fast-paced rock, Su Zexu jumped hard and jumped more than half a meter into the air. He was extremely excited and the atmosphere at the scene reached a climax. Brother Zay is such a man. Brother Zay is such a man. Brother Zay sings another song. There were also many people cheering him off the court. Both boys and girls. Under the strong request of fans, Su Zexu sang seven songs in one breath, and his voice was a little overwhelmed. However, in order to give the singers and bands behind him a chance to perform and avoid causing their dissatisfaction, Su Zexu still listened to the audience's reluctance bowed and left the stage. In fact, Su Zexa felt that it was okay for him to sing the ten capitals, but doing so was too offending, and he still had to leave some leeway as a human being. Rest area behind the stage. Brother Zay, your singing skills are getting better and better, and you can arouse the emotions of the audience. Your ability is no worse than some third and fourth rate singers. Last time, an entertainment company wanted to sign our real man band, and the signing fee was three million. When it comes to 5 million, it shouldn't be a big problem. Brother Zay, how about we sign a contract and take us to the entertainment industry? It's quite easy to make money in this industry. Guitarist Sun Gang came next to Su Zexu who was drinking water. While flattering him, he asked him if he had any idea of entering the entertainment industry. So that the Zay Real Man band, which was just for fun, could turn into a professional and commercial band. Then make lots and lots of money. After hearing Sun Gang's words, he looked full of yearning. Su Zexu rolled his eyes at him and said, Can you, kid, have some potential? Didn't you read that contract? The company gets 80%, and our band gets 20% with so many mouths. It's a proper slave contract. But you are still interested? Can you? Don't have any backbone. Don't think about picking bones. We real men are all meat eaters. We can't do useless things. But the rules of the industry are like this. Some bands can't even get 20%. Only 10%. Sun Gang said, Go away. You are a disgrace to the real men band. Don't talk to me. I don't like people who are willing to be slaves. Su Zexu waved his hand and pushed him aside impatiently. Hello everyone. Is Su Zexu here? At this time, a soft voice sounded at the door, making everyone look up. And their eyes couldn't help but light up. Girl. One is wearing a pink plaid JK suit. She has a petite figure, a fair baby face, and a slightly flat and well-developed chest. But she still gives people a very soft and cute feeling. It's so white and tender that you can pinch the water out of it. She was holding a bottle of ice black tea drink in her hand. After hearing her say someone's name, there was a sudden cry. Damn it. We're looking for Brother Zay again. This is already the eighth girl. I think the quality is better than the previous ones. But she is a little bit younger. It's so dry. So dry so bad. 
So 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 brother Zay, this girl is really good. Don't make any more choices. Just nod in agreement. The teammates all shouted with envy and jealousy. Suzek who also glanced at the girl at the door, then stood up and walked towards her. Although according to his aesthetic standards. This girl could be rated as a 7. In the past, if such a girl came to him, he would jump up with excitement. But there is not much turmoil in his heart now. Just a trace of joy at most. Because this is the 8th girl who has taken the initiative to find him. Since the campus art party at the end of March. Suzaksu has not only become more famous, but also received priority in choosing a mate. Several girls have taken the initiative to confess to him. But the first 7 they were all politely rejected by him. But there was nothing he could do. There were three tanks inside, two with pimples on their faces, two that were ugly, and none of them had a face value of more than five points. Suzexa really had no physical impulse towards them. Plus he I have no idea of falling in love yet, so I can only reject their confession. But today this girl is indeed very good. I don't deny that Suzexu was a little cautious, but considering that the other party may not be here to express his feelings, he still has to stay calm. In the hallway of the corridor. Su Zexa brought the girl to this place where no one passed by, then held his hands and asked her, Tell me, what do you want from me? I am Chen Yingying from the Department of Foreign Languages. I am 18 years old this year. The girl blushed to the back of her ears. After lowering her head and introducing herself, she raised her head and summoned up the courage to say, Well, that's Su Zexu. I think you are quite handsome on the stage and your singing is not bad. I, I am quite I admire you. Su Zexu, can you be my man? Although she was very shy, Chen Yingying still expressed her meaning very well and raised her chin to look at Su Zexu. She was quite sure of winning him. On the one hand, the woman was chasing the man's veil. And on the other hand, with her own conditions, she was completely, she was worthy of this boy and she didn't think she would be rejected. Of course, Su Zexu rejected the confessions of seven girls. Chen Yingying also knew this. But after she got a little understanding of the situations of those who failed to confess, she immediately became more confident, because her external conditions were obviously much better than theirs. Not a level. Ha uh ha. -huh. After I successfully confessed my love, and the two of them got together smoothly. When those roommates in the dormitory showed off their love for their boyfriends in front of me, I would have a way to fight back and be very face-saving. As for Sue's ex's dark history, she also knew about it, but it was just that he had been a licking dog of a certain goddess. This was not a shortcoming, but an advantage. If the two of them were together, he would cherish and care about her as much as he would kneel down and lick the goddess. That is also a very happy and lucky thing. Therefore, with these good expectations, Chen Yingying made careful preparations and secretly vowed to hit the target with one hit and achieve immediate success. Only, faced with this lovely girl's act of confession, looking at the ice black tea she handed to him. As long as Su Zexa reaches out and takes it, he can have a sweet campus love, even play poker and do something shameless. To be honest, Su Zexu is looking forward to these. He is not a monk, and he does not have desires and impulses. A young man of 18 or 19 years old, who is not a very energetic person. The Shueling girl in front of me is really good. Heartbeat. To be honest, Su Zexu was a little moved. But after a while, he did not take the bottle of ice black tea, but thought for a while and said, That Chenying, we just met for the first time, and we didn't know each other very well. We suddenly became boyfriend and girlfriend. This development is a bit fast. In this way, let's first add a friend and get to know each other for a few days. If I also have a crush on you, how about we get together? If after getting to know you, you feel that I am not very good and you don't like me anymore. Then make a normal friend and everyone will be safe. How about a little? Hear this. The smile on Chen Yingying's face quickly dissipated. She retracted her hand and said displeased. Why? Am I not worthy of you? It's worthy. I just think it's a bit too fast. Su Zexu explained. Love comes so quickly. And it is no longer love if it takes its time. Once you get to know each other better. And your shortcomings are exposed. It will be difficult to develop. What you said is just an excuse. Just an excuse. I muster up the courage to give it to you. If you confess your love and you think I'm good, 
Then you should agree instead of declining with these words and hurting my face. Chen Yingying said with an ugly face. I don't mean anything like this. It's just that I have been hurt by others and want to be cautious. That's enough. Stop making these excuses. Chen Yingying interrupted him and said, I'll give you 30 seconds to think about it. Do you agree or not? You only have one chance. Or do you choose to miss it and regret it in the future? Pressure. Chen Yingying put a lot of pressure on him. This, Su Zexa fell into a tangle. But after thinking about it for about 20 seconds, he still bowed to the girl and said, I'm sorry. Thank you for your love. But I am not worthy of you. I think I will definitely regret missing this fate in the future. But I really can't agree. Moreover, this girl has a bit of a strong attitude and is not as cute as she looks. This is why Su Zexa doesn't want to agree to her. Shocked. Shen Yingying couldn't help but be stunned. She didn't expect to be rejected again. She couldn't stand it anymore and couldn't accept it at all. She immediately stamped her feet and said angrily, Su Zexu, you are not a handsome guy. And you are not a particularly rich second generation. You used to kneel down and lick a girl's dog. Someone likes you. That's great. Even if you don't accept it gratefully, what right do you have to refuse me? These words made Su Zexu's head spin. And he had to retort seriously. Sister, what you said makes no sense. Everyone has the right to refuse. You are a bit too self-righteous. Ha ha. Licking dogs are eager to be loved. They will not refuse like you. Your refusal is not reasonable at all. Damn it. I'm not a licker anymore. I haven't been for a long time. I, Su Zexu, am a real man. Su Zexu cursed. And this girl's poisonous tongue almost pissed him off. Of course I believe you are not a licker. Chen Yingying's words surprised Su Zexu. But the next sentence made him vomit blood and run away. You should be a gay now. The recent rumors about you should be true. You don't like girls now. But you become a gay. Gay? Otherwise, why would you be in a band with a group of boys all day long? It's really a men's band. It should be a gay band. Right? In this extremely mean mockery. Boom. Su Zexu was about to explode and his eyes were red. Rumor? Why are rumors about me popping up again and slandering myself as gay? Which bastard did it? Chapter 183 Investigate the Truth I can't bear it. Su Zexu really couldn't bear it anymore. Because this isn't the first time. Last semester, his dog-licking past was exposed and he became a celebrity on campus. As a result, he changed from the respected Brother Zay to the ridiculed Ozawa. To this day, he still doesn't know who did it. There were only a few potential suspects. However, this matter has passed. Moreover, his history of licking dogs is indeed true and is not a rumor. Suzexu did not care too much about it and then changed himself by forming a campus band to make himself better, thus turning the situation around. Everyone stereotype of him. And he did it. Through dozens of stage performances, Brother Zay's real man band has become somewhat famous, and even has a small number of fans. And an entertainment company is willing to sign a contract to train him. There are seven or eight girls who have confessed to him in a row, although most of them are of average quality. But no matter what, everything is developing for the better. His name is Brother Zay is back. All the hard work was not in vain. But this good situation only lasted for a few days. And rumors against him appeared again. This time it's even more extreme. He actually said that he was gay. The purpose of forming the band was to be gay. His sexual orientation changed. And he suddenly became interested in men. Bad. It's really unscrupulous and bad. Suzexu is not going to endure it anymore. No matter how much price and energy he has to pay this time. He must find out the mastermind behind spreading rumors and smearing him. And then impose the most severe sanctions to make the other party pay a heavy price. Anyway, he, Suzexu, wants to fight the rumor mongers to the end and will not allow them to escape and scathe. But to uncover the culprit, this must be a big project. And it would be difficult for him to do it alone. We must ask a large number of brothers to help. So at noon the next day, Suzexu spent his own money to invite more than 30 brothers with whom he usually had good relationships, gathered for a meal, and discussed countermeasures with them. There are roommates here. There are classmates in the class. There are bandmates. There are golfers who play basketball together. And there are a large number of people in Wanjiang who are usually very loyal. So it is absolutely reliable to ask them for help. On the dinner table, after hearing Su Zexu explain the campus rumors against him, all the brothers were quite surprised and filled with indignation. This rumor spread by girls is so bad. 
A real man like Brother Zay has actually become gay? Some girls are so boring. Just because Brother Zay doesn't want to fall in love. They use such malicious rumors to slander Brother Zay. Even I am tempted, said Li Shuqin, the keyboard player in the band. I guess it was done by the girls who confessed their love to Brother Zay before. They failed to confess their love and felt that they lost face. So they used this method to make amends. Today's little fairies are too powerful and too narrow-minded. The ones who refuse their confession are gays. Those who take the initiative to break up with them are scumbags. And they will pour all kinds of dirty water on men anyway. Then what should we do? I think the best way to dispel this rumor is for Brother Zay to quickly find a girl to break off his single relationship. Prove that he is not gay. And investigate the person behind the scenes. It is useless to refute the rumors with great fanfare. Only Brother Zay has a girlfriend. Facts can break those boring rumors. Roommate Shen Hongfei said. That's right. Brother Zay, you should get out of singles as soon as possible. The girl who came to you yesterday is very good. It's better to just follow her and don't be too picky. Lu Guan, the drummer in the band, took a sip of beer and said, No, that girl's poisonous tongue can make people angry to death. I still want to live for a few more years. Su Zexu shook his head and said, Brothers, please don't worry about me finding a partner for now. The most important thing is to find out who is behind the rumors about me. I have a vague guess that this man behind the scenes has been targeting me. I don't know what he wants to do in the future. He will definitely attack me again. I cannot remain passive. I must let him show his true colors and make him pay the price. Brothers, please do me a favor. After you go back, start your respective relationships and investigate and analyze the clues. I believe that we have so many with everyone's hard work. We will be able to find out the person who spread rumors about me. Su Zexu also promised that after the event is completed, he will treat the brothers to a meal and even take them to Longfeng Yuting KTV to see the world. Look at Su Zexu's resolute attitude. He seemed determined to find out the mastermind behind the scenes. All the brothers had no choice but to express their willingness to help him. Even if they were looking for a needle in a haystack, they had to fish it out. Several days followed. Su Zexu and dozens of his brothers took action collectively and launched a vigorous investigation. Some of them tried to find ways to get into the girl's inner circle and use their girlfriend's connections to inquire about the girl's public opinion dynamics and investigate the original source of the rumors. Some use AI technology to study discussion posts on the Suang University of Science and Technology Campus Forum, especially posts about Su Zexu, and analyze each message to find out the source of the rumors. Of course, there are also some who take stupid measures and actually use the investigation funds given by Su Zexu to collect clues with prizes. A valuable clue will be given ranging from 200 to 500 yuan. There are also those who stand on the roadside handing out leaflets and questionnaires and even encourage girls with knowledge to report and will be given a reward of about 1,000 yuan. Anyway, under the combined effect of these methods, they may be highly technical, have a strong espionage atmosphere, or may be simple and crude. Suzexu also spent no less than 50,000 yuan in real money. All the clues point to the girls' dormitory and building 8 of the school. They also accurately targeted the area between the 3rd and 5th floors and used big data for analysis. Most of the rumors about Suzexu being gay were spread from the girls' dormitories on these floors. It's just that the man behind the scenes was too cunning. He discovered that Suzexu was spending money to conduct a high-profile investigation and actually took a lot of interference actions and released a lot of bait and false information, making it impossible to pinpoint a specific person. They also made an anonymous report to the school and ordered Su Zexu and others to stop this illegal behavior of invading girls' privacy, which resulted in the subsequent investigation having to be stopped. However, this convinced Su Zexu that the mastermind behind the rumors and slander was in the girls' dormitory between the third and fifth floors of the eight dormitory buildings. After using the elimination method, the two most suspected figures were even identified. One is Lu Xiaowen, an old classmate from high school. One is Wu Ximin, a college classmate. The two of them are the most suspected, and they both live in Building 8. Lu Xiaowen lives in Dormitory 421, and Wu Ximin lives in Dormitory 306. They are very close to each other, and they may be the masterminds behind the scenes. Lu Xiaowen, an old high school classmate, is even more suspected, because Su Zexu knows that this top student is actually quite gossipy in private. As for his classmate Wu Ximin, she is aloof and proud, and should disdain to do such slanderous things, and would not even think about it. 
give her a motive for why she did this. The probability that Lu Xiaowen is the rumor maker behind the scenes is 70%. The probability that Wu Ximin is the rumor monger is 30%. Everyone else was excluded. It was one of them. Su Zexu was very sure. But? The school no longer allows him to continue the in-depth investigation. If you ask directly in WeChat, you won't get any results. You will only be denied. The investigation into the truth is stuck at the last step. What to do? Just when everyone was at a loss. Brother Zay, I have a good idea. It will definitely work. At this time, teammate Sun Gang rolled his eyes and thought of a clever plan. What method can you tell me? Su Zexu asked. Confess your love to them directly. Sun Gang said. I've seen it a long time ago. Your old high school classmate and deputy monitor, we were all interested in you. Brother Zay, but they don't want to take the initiative. They are all waiting for you to confess their feelings. Brother Zay, but Brother Zay, they focus on the band all day long and are not interested in women. So they are anxious and use this method to put pressure on you so that you have to find a female supporter to eliminate the suspicion of being gay. The trick is indeed a bit sinister. But Brother Zay, you can choose to use the trick. Pretend to confess. And then find a way to trick the other person. I think girls who fall into love brain are likely to have a lower IQ. And then make a confession. Behind the scenes the black hand will be found out now. After listening to Sun Gang's words, Su Zexu was speechless and rolled his eyes wildly. He must have watched too many bloody love TV dramas. The man behind the scenes did so many things just to force him to confess his love? This brain circuit is too weird. I hate the rumor maker to the core. And it would be better if I don't give him a lesson. How can I have a so-called love with the other person? However, many brothers believe Sun Gang's suggestion and encourage Su Zexu to try it. I think it's a good idea. Girls' minds are different from ours. Maybe Sun Gang's guess is the only truth. Otherwise, I really can't think of the motive for spreading rumors about you. Brother Zay. Lu Xiaowen is so beautiful. Brother Zay. You are totally worthy of it. If the confession is successful, Brother Zay will win the beauty. And the rumors will be self-defeating. Even if Lu Xiaowen is the mastermind behind the scenes, there is no need to worry about it anymore. From now on, let's show affection every day. If the confession fails, it will prove that she is most likely not. The mastermind behind the scenes can try to confess his love to Deputy Squad Leader Wu again. Wu Ximin is also very beautiful. She is a goddess in the eyes of many buddies. If Brother Zay can win, it will be like smoke rising from the ancestral graves, let alone whether she did it. Brother Zay, I think there is no need to continue the investigation. After all, it is not a big deal. Winning the goddess is more important. You should prepare a confession. If you successfully get out of singles, not only will the rumors be disproven, but also in the next few years of college. You get it so cool. These friends and brothers all showed wretched smiles like animals. And they no longer cared about investigating the truth. After all, it was a trivial matter. As long as they could win over the goddess girl and live a happy life, they would be misunderstood. How? As long as you are happy. You are really happy. Get out of here. My name, Su Zexu, will remain pure for the rest of my life. How can I allow others to slander and slander me? Su Zexu glared at these animals. However, although Sun Gang's bad idea is a bit bad, it is not a solution. As long as it is used properly, it might be possible to find out the real culprit. It is not difficult to create a romantic confession scene. The last time he organized a confession for his brother-in-law, his sister almost fainted with happiness. Yes, just do this and your brother-in-law should be willing to help him. A brilliant idea popped up in Suzex's mind. Chapter 184 Confession Light Pillar Take advantage of the situation. Suzex had decided to try it once and lure the snake out of the hole by confessing his love. Then he asked Lucio Wen, an old high school classmate, whether she was the one behind the rumors about him. It's just that Suzex vowed not to be a liquor again. He once confessed to a goddess but was rejected miserably knowing that it is useless to take the initiative to confess. Women are not pursued, but attracted by their own excellence. If you are not good enough, don't do anything to win the beauty. Daydream. After these painful realizations, Su Zexa decided that he would never take the initiative again. Even if he took the initiative, he must have a good impression of each other and be 100% sure before taking action. He must not act foolishly. If you are moved and foolishly charge, the consequences of failure are will be a nightmare. Su Zexu never wants to experience it again. So before taking action. In the micro chat. 
Su Zexu discussed with Lu Xiaowen. This afternoon. Lu Xiaowen, I want to ask you for a favor. Say it. Lu Xiaowen on the other end of the phone replied. Can you be my girlfriend? Of course, it's a temporary impersonation. I recently spread rumors that I'm gay. You know this too. After taking some time, Su Zexu explained. Pretending to be your girlfriend? Originally, Lu Xiaowen was quite happy when she saw the beginning of this sentence. With a calculated smile on her lips. But the word, pretend, at the end made her pout it again. And most of her interest dissipated. And she said, What does this do to me? What are the benefits? And can finding a fake female supporter eliminate the rumors? If you don't please diligently every day, and don't frequently interact intimately to show your affection, doubters will still continue to doubt. In many aspects, you have to fake it and make it real. I have made a great sacrifice. What can you do to compensate me? What compensation do you want? Su Zexu asked. Simple. You will keep me warm from the cold from time to time. Have milk tea every now and then. Treat me to dinner every day. And all kinds of romantic little surprises. If I encounter any trouble, you will appear in front of me as soon as possible. Lu Xiaowen said for more than 10 times in a row article. And there may be some additions later. Because she only thought of this much for the time being. Old classmate, I only asked you to pretend to be my girl. Why do you have to impose so many obligations on me? So many requirements. Not just a real boyfriend, but even a dog licking are difficult to fulfill. Right? Su Zexu, he said helplessly. When asking for help, you have to show sincerity. And you can't show any flaws in the eyes of others. I haven't been in love yet. If my innocent reputation comes into play, the partners I find in the future will be second-hand goods and will not be valued and cherished. I have paid the prices high. Okay? Lu Xiaowen said. Forget it. I can't do what you asked for. Only a licking dog can do it. I'll go find Chen Yingying and try. Maybe she will consider it. Su Zexu said. Can't find it. Lu Xiaowen seemed a little panicked and said. That Chen Yingying is no longer single. Some people saw her with a senior and even checked into a house outside the school. It's too late for you to turn around. Really? How do you know so much? Lu Xiaowen. You are a know-it-all on campus. I have reason to suspect that you are the one who has been spreading rumors to slander me. Su Zexu said with an ugly face. It's not me. I'm not that boring. And it's not good for me. You misunderstood me too deeply. Lu Xiaowen tried his best to explain. That's enough, Lu Xiaowen. Are you willing to help me with this favor? If not, forget it. I'll go ask Wu Xinin. She might help me with this favor. And she won't put as many conditions as you do. Su Zexu said. Wait. I agree. I am willing to sacrifice and pretend to be your female support. Lu Xiaowen had to say in the WeChat. Are you sure? You don't want me to treat you to dinner and milk tea every day. You don't need me to serve you like a dog. Su Zexu asked. Having taken the initiative. No. It's okay if you treat me occasionally and show some concern for me. My requirements are not high. But there is a small condition. You must be sincere and make all the girls in the school envious of me. Lu Xiaowen. What conditions? Su Zexu asked. You have to give me a romantic confession ceremony. Confess your love to me in public. It has to be new and surprising. It can't be too cliche. As long as it satisfies me. I'll pretend to be in love with you. It doesn't matter if we have a good relationship. You should know that we girls attach great importance to rituals. And I am no exception. You should prepare well. And you also need a confession to wash away the rumors on you. Right? From this point of view, our pursuit is the same yes. Lu Xiaowen said. Okay. I will make good preparations. Su Zexu nodded. But he felt very dissatisfied in his heart. He was even more convinced that the man behind the rumors and tormenting him was Lu Xiaowen. Because not only does she know herself very well, but she also controls her plans very well. As if she wants to defeat him, and even wants to train herself to be a dog licker again. This made Su Zexu extremely disgusted, and he didn't want to do this at all. He also couldn't understand the thinking of a girl like Lu Xiaowen. If she wanted to fall in love, just have a simple and ordinary relationship. Why does she have to make so many calculations? If she really had some thoughts about him, she could just say it directly. So why bother with it? So many twists and turns. And even trying every possible way to torment yourself? To be honest, he doesn't like this kind of girl. Even if Lu Xiaowen is a treasure girl with good looks and temperament, it's not worth changing his principles of life. He had sworn a long time ago 
that he would never be a slave to any woman, and he would never give his heart and soul to anyone again. The person he loves most can only be himself. But this time, in order to find out the mastermind behind the scenes, to teach someone the most profound lesson possible, this time he has to endure the humiliation and bear the burden, just for the truth to come out. So the next few days, Sue's Exo led a group of brothers to make a series of preparations in a rather mysterious way. June 15th, 8.30 p.m. Suan University of Science and Technology. Downstairs are the eight girls' dormitories. In the woods next to it. Holding a walkie-talkie device in his hand. Wearing new clothes and a new hairstyle. Suze Exu, who was much more handsome than usual, looked at the dormitory building in front of him and couldn't help but take a deep breath. Then he picked up the walkie-talkie and said, Brothers, let's start. Okay. Okay. It has been prepared for a long time. A reply came over the intercom. Suze Exu nodded and took out his mobile phone. The time came to 8.29, less than a minute away. He walked out of the grove and walked to the road at the main entrance of the dormitory. Facing the dormitory, suddenly, a pink halo of light was cast in the night sky above, enclosing dormitory building number 8 in front of him. This aperture is heart-shaped. While surrounding the dormitory building, it is still beating and flashing. Like a beating red heart, this unusually magical scene was immediately noticed by passers-by and people in the dormitory building. Immediately, a large number of girls screamed. Ah! Ah! Heart-shaped circle of light. This building is surrounded. Confess your love. Someone is confessing your love. Oh my god! This is so cool! How can it still be like this? Who wants to confess to me? I agree. No matter who he is. I agree. Passers-by gathered one after another. The girls in the eight dormitories were all agitated and talking about who would be the lucky one to confess tonight. They all showed expressions of envy and expectation, hoping that the lucky one would be them. In the 421 dormitory of Building 8, Lu Xiaowen was applying a facial mask and planning to go to bed early tonight. He noticed the pink light wall outside the window, and his heart beat faster. Surprise? Could this be the surprise confession Su Zexu had prepared for himself? Doesn't he have too much energy? He actually found a way to obtain the confession light pillar that only appeared once and left a deep impression on countless people. In Dormitory 306, Building 8, Wu Ximin, who was dealing with some class affairs, felt quite agitated. The semester had come to an end, but there were many class affairs to be dealt with. She had to sort out review materials and urge every student in the class to study hard and avoid failing the exam. Science, but as the squad leader, Su Zexu did nothing and became a hands-off shopkeeper. Although he often invited her to drink milk tea and often said good things to make her mouth curl up, she realized that she was so busy that she had no time to rest. Two, a man's mouth is a liar. But at this moment, notice movement outside the window. When she got up and walked to the window, Wu Xinin's heart beat faster when she saw the familiar figure standing at the door of the dormitory. Her face turned red, and she felt extremely strong expectations. Are you preparing this for me? I didn't expect that Su Zexu is not very handsome. But he is quite romantic. And he is also good at coaxing people. Should I consider agreeing? Wu Xinin was thinking wildly and even had the urge to run downstairs and stand in front of the boy. However, when Wu Ximin, wearing a white shirt and holding a microphone in his hand, said the first sentence, he fell into a sluggish state as if he had fallen into an ice cave. Is Lu Xiaowen here? Please go downstairs. I have a song I want to sing to you and something I want to say to you. Through the audio equipment, these words reached the ears of every girl in the eight dormitory buildings. Screams rang out in dormitory 421. Xiaowen, I'm here to find you. Someone wants to confess to you. Xiaowen, go quickly. Get down quickly. Yes, don't keep the other party waiting too long. Several female roommates screamed and urged Lu Xiaowen. And they were all extremely envious. I have to change into something nicer and put on some light makeup. Lu Xiaowen fell into a state of panic. Quickly took off the mask on his face opened the wardrobe and rummaged for suitable clothes, and even wanted to put on makeup to appear in a better image. Stop fooling around. It's too late. The boys are leaving. Under the urging of her roommates, Lu Xiaowen only took two or three minutes to change into a white lace dress. She didn't even have time to put on makeup or change shoes. So she trotted all the way downstairs. At about 8.35, she walked out of the dormitory building, appeared in Suzex's sight, 
and walked quickly towards him. Classmate Lu Xiaowen, please don't move. But Su Zexu waved his hand to stop her and said, Please stand where you are and don't move. Wait five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. The pink heart-shaped aperture shot down from the night sky above her head seemed to be following Su Zexu's command. It first shrank and became smaller, and then accurately enveloped Lu Xiaowen, leaving her alone in the aperture. At the same time, another beam of red light also hit Su Zexu's body, showing the outline of a red rose at his feet, with the petals facing Lu Xiaowen in front of him. This magical scene made many screams, and some girls even shed tears. They were all so romantic. Classmate Lu Xiaowen, next, I will sing you a song that represents my feelings. I may not sing it well. So please forgive me. Su Zexu finished speaking. Dang dang. A burst of accompaniment came from the nearby grove. And all members of Zeev's real man band appeared. They were surrounded by roses. At least 999 in number. Which caused countless screams. First time meeting you. The futility of lovesickness is revealed. But the waves in my heart are rising. Only then did I realize that I fell in love with you. I decided to have the courage. Show my feelings. I think you are so beautiful like a fairy. I can turn into a nebula and hold you high. I want to chat. Sing and play games with you every day. Su Zexu sang a confession song. Can I? He didn't use too many singing skills. But many people were fascinated and clapped their hands. Smiling like an ant. The atmosphere at the scene became more and more romantic and warm. One song ends. Su Zexu took the initiative to walk towards Lu Xiaowen. With an extra rose in his hand. And the outline of the rose under his feet also moved. Walking up to Lu Xiaowen, Su Zexu, who was much more handsome than before, looked at her affectionately and said, Lu Xiaowen, you were my classmate for three years in high school. You are a beauty that I never noticed. After I went to college, I saw a different side of you. You are smart, cheerful, and lively, just like a beautiful elf. I admit that I have fallen in love with you. Now, can you be my girlfriend? Su Zexu handed the rose to her. Although I was extremely excited, Lu Xiaowen still hesitated slightly and took the rose, nodded and said, Okay, your performance is barely up to standard. You have to cherish me. Success? Hug each other. Kiss each other. Seeing Lu Xiaowen nodding, a wolf howl sounded, followed by all kinds of booing. Amidst all the cheers, Su Zexu had no choice but to enter the circle of red hearts, hug Lu Xiaowen, and kissed her twice on the face. Kiss me on the lips. It's not enough. You have to be small mouth to small mouth. That's right. Do it faster. Do it faster. At the request of onlookers, Su Zexu's face was full of embarrassment. He wanted to give his first kiss to his real girlfriend. Did he give it away just because of a few words of heckles? However, Lu Xiaowen in his arms closed his eyes, looking like he was letting him take what he wanted, and slowly approached him, which made Su Zexu's heart beat faster, and he couldn't help but want to close his eyes. Suddenly, the distance from Lu Xiaowen's lips may only be three centimeters. Something hit Su Zexu's body, interrupting the two of them. Su Zexu turned around and was shocked. Wu Xinin appeared next to her, her face full of tears and her eyes filled with endless resentment. She shouted at herself, Su Zexu, do your work yourself. I won't do it for you. Then she wiped the corners of her eyes, turned around and trotted back to the dormitory. I saw papers scattered on the ground beside my feet. I heard the discussion around me. The confession had to be called to an end, and everyone left with unfulfilled feelings. Su Zexu took Lu Xiaowen's hand and went to the back of the school. He found an empty rest pavilion, sat down, and chatted for a while. I don't know what's going on with Wu Ximin. She and I are usually just friends, but I didn't expect her to suddenly become like this. Su Zexu explained. A sharp pain came. Lu Xiaowen twisted the flesh around his waist, glared at him and said, you are not allowed to have any contact with her in the future. It is best not to talk to her. Why? I have nothing to do with her. And we are not really boyfriend and girlfriend. Su Zexu was puzzled. You have confessed like this today. And it is true even if it is not true. You can forget it if I suffer a little loss. So that was he mean. You have to stay away from her. Lu Xiaowen said. Wait. That's not what I said before. Su Zexu was anxious. We had agreed before that we had been pretending to be boyfriend and girlfriend for a while. Why did you suddenly act rogue? I almost kissed you just now. I gave you my innocence. And you still want to be irresponsible? 
Am I not good enough for you? Don't you have feelings? Okay. In this situation, it can only be a fake show. If you really do it, don't you just want to complete the kiss by dragging me here? Come on. It will be easier for you. Lucio Wing closed his eyes again. Su Zexu almost laughed in anger. He didn't expect Lucio Wing's routine to be so simple and crude. He couldn't even think of getting out of the car as soon as he got in the car. You can make it up if you want to. But let me ask you. Are you the one who often spreads rumors and slanders me behind my back? If you admit it, I won't care. If you refuse to admit it, then the two of us will never admit it. It's a fake boyfriend-girlfriend relationship. I won't let you make it real. And I will have to explain this misunderstanding to Wu Ming tomorrow. Tzu Zexu said. Yes, I did it. I admit it. I have hinted it many times before. I also said that many boys are chasing me. But you just don't take any action. I want to have a sweet love plan in college. It's been delayed until now. It's all your fault. If you hadn't forced me to be like this, how could I have taken those measures against you? Lu Xiaowen admitted his account openly. And even said, I paid for those seven ugly girls to confess to you. Jin Yingying's appearance shocked me. And I almost fell over. I can't do this in the future. It's a dangerous move. After hearing these words, Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Su Zexu suddenly laughed, then pushed Lu Xiaowen aside, stood up and glared at her with blazing eyes. Lu Xiaowen, you finally admitted it. If I hadn't chosen to follow my plan, you would have beaten me to death. Do you admit it? Do you think you have one now, and your goal has finally been achieved? Wrong. The moment you admit it, you have completely lost. I have prepared so much. Not to surprise you, but to find out the truth, I will teach you a lesson. For a self-righteous and unscrupulous woman like you, I, Su Zexu, will never consider it even if I am a bachelor for the rest of my life. After saying that, he left with a cold face. Zexu, I have been a good girl since I was a child. My father told me not to fall in love in college and told me to be reserved. I am actually a very rebellious character at heart and I yearn for love very much. But you have never taken the initiative to confess your feelings. How can you still do you want my girl to take the initiative? Lu Xiaowen panicked and felt extremely bad. He quickly took Su Zex's hand and explained. Go away! Just be your good girl. I'm not interested in playing with you. Su Zexu slapped her hand away and left. Chapter 185 Shura Field Brother Zay becomes a boss. The truth is revealed. The man behind the scenes was finally found out. But Su Zexu was not particularly happy or relieved. Nor did he have any sense of accomplishment. Only great sadness. He didn't know what was wrong with girls nowadays. Or that there was something wrong with him. He insisted on the principle of not taking the initiative to lick the dog inappropriately. But it was so difficult, and he was so severely targeted. In the end, he and Lu Xiaowen could only end up with a lose-lose situation. There is still a lot of mess to deal with. It's simply not worth the game. Lu Xiaowen is pretty good. If she doesn't play so many tricks, and is more normal and sincere, it would be good to be a boyfriend and girlfriend with her. She is also a goddess in the eyes of many people. It's not bad to be with her. But she is too controlling. She is strong. Loves to be smart. Always wants to be in the upper hand. And still claims that she is a good girl. She is clearly a little devil. Compared with her. Although Wu Simin is arrogant and unforgiving. She is actually very easy to coax. Not very scheming. And has a strong sense of responsibility. She has made great contributions to the class. She is actually more qualified than me. After being the squad leader, after a year of contact, I found that this girl is pretty good. No, I have to explain it to her tomorrow and coax her. I don't ask for her forgiveness. And I don't want to cause trouble that even ordinary friends can't do. Without her help as the deputy monitor, I don't have time to deal with it. Those messy class affairs. That's right. Even at this time, what Su Zexu was thinking about was not to find a girl to fall in love with. And he did not consider the idea of taking Wu Simin. Because Su Zexu was really afraid. Falling in love was too troublesome. And there were few normal women. He I still prefer to play music. Play ball. And do some simple and happy things. And avoid love or anything like that. Even if I will regret it in the future. The next morning. Class E. Department of Energy. After taking two professional classes. On the way after class. Wusi mean. Come here. Let's talk for a while. And give me a chance to listen to my explanation. Last night's confession was actually a plan I made against Lu Xiaowen. You should know that I have been looking for the person behind the rumors about me. 
Lu Xiaowen's suspicion, very big. Su Zexu explained. I won't listen. I won't listen. Wu Ximin, whose eyes were red and swollen and in poor condition, couldn't listen to any explanation. She shook her head repeatedly and quickened her pace, not wanting to talk to this man at all. Wu Ximin, I have investigated the situation clearly. The person who spread rumors about me is Lu Xiaowen. She confessed everything last night. My plan was successful. After I scolded her, we have nothing to do with her. I am actually still single now. Status. Su Zexa turned up the volume, causing many passers-by who heard it to show surprised expressions. They ate a big melon. The romantic confession that shocked the whole school last night and caused huge repercussions on the internet. Will they break up today? Isn't this too fast? I won't listen. I won't listen. Wu Ximin still shook his head, as if he didn't hear it, and closed his heart. Wu Ximin! Su Zexu had no choice but to hold her hand and go to the nearby forest. Ignoring her struggle, he dragged her hard. Let me go! Let me go! Wu Ximin shouted loudly, which attracted the attention of many people. Seeing how beautiful she was, several boys came over and wanted to do something brave. She is my girlfriend! And we had a little conflict. Su Zexu had no choice but to explain. In order to dispel their suspicions, he had to hold Wu Ximin in his arms, gritted his teeth towards her lips, lowered his head and kissed her, thus ending his first kiss. Although Wu Ximin was still resisting, perhaps due to surprise, the resistance was not strong, which made the boys feel heartbroken and gave up their plans to act bravely, and left one after another. Out of the corner of my eye, I watched them all leave. Only then did Su Zexa let go of the woman. Snapped. Got a solid slap. What are you doing? You are acting like a hooligan and committing a crime. Wu Ximin blushed and said angrily, wishing to slap her a few more times. I just want you to wake up. Are you awake now? Can you listen to my explanation? Su Zexu said. Is there any explanation? You are already a woman. Why don't you want to be in two different situations? Wu Ximin looked at him with disdain. I'm not treading both boats. The actual situation is like this. It took Su Zexu nearly an hour. His mouth was dry. To explain the situation clearly. And Wu Ximin gradually listened and understood the cause and effect of everything. Surprise. Wu Ximin was very surprised and asked. You prepared your confession carefully. Put in so much effort. And finally succeeded in confessing. Instead of going out to check out a room at night. You broke up. Is this true or false? It was not true from the beginning. Let me show you the chat history between me and Lu Xiaowen. In order to get rid of the rumors, I originally wanted to ask her to help her pretend to be my girlfriend. Su Zexu handed over his mobile phone and showed her the chat history. Wu Ximin took the phone and looked through it. Her face finally looked much better, and most of her sadness was gone. I don't know why I feel a little excited and happy in my heart. I can be a fake girlfriend. Why don't you ask me for help? Is Lu Xiaowen more suitable than me? Wu Ximin pouted still very dissatisfied. You are my classmate. You usually look up but don't look down. If you are too embarrassed, your flaws will be exposed easily. You are not suitable for this job like Lucio Wynn. Su Zexu explained. What's so embarrassing? It's not like there are no couples in the same class. And there's no need to pretend to be lovers. If you confess your love to me, and if you impress me, then we'll be a real couple together. I'll suffer a little loss, and you can take advantage of me. Wu Ximin raised her eyebrows slightly. The chin said, Why do you have the same tone as Lu Xiaowen? Are all you women like this? Su Zexu spread his hand speechlessly. I don't care. You made me cry all night, and you just took away my first kiss. You must be responsible for me. Have a romantic confession, and cut off the relationship with Lu Xiaowen. You can only treat me like this in the future. Hello, girl. Only if you do this. Will I forgive you and reluctantly treat you as my man? Wu Ximin said fiercely and somewhat willfully, Auntie, I'm not ready to fall in love yet. I prefer to be alone. Can you please stop doing this? Su Zexu smiled bitterly and begged for mercy. Okay, then I'll call the police immediately, saying that you have been indecent and obscene to me, and prepare to use the sewing machine for a few months. Wu Ximin took out her mobile phone. Su Zexu's heart skipped a beat, and he suddenly felt cold. It's over. She caught it. The crime of obscenity could be big or small. If it got serious, not only would he be put on the record, but the school would also expel him. He couldn't bear the consequences. He could only say with a frustrated look, 
sister-in-law. I, Suzexu, am in your hands. If you feel that falling in love is boring that day, just kick me out quickly. Ha uh ha. -huh. Prepare to be trapped by me for the rest of your life. Wu Simin smiled proudly, feeling extremely happy. Ha ha. This guy finally fell into his hands. Although he is not very good, he has a sweet mouth and good talent. His family background is also good. He is very good at making people happy. I have to stimulate his dog licking attribute and let him do everything possible to pamper him. I want to create romantic surprises from time to time and become one of the happiest women. Think of this. Wu Simin hugged his arm and walked out of the woods. She smiled sweetly and said, Let's go drink milk tea. Oh, let's go. Su Zexu was held by her like this. His expression was stiff, and he forced a smile. Just walked out of the woods. Several girls walked towards me. The one at the front was Lucio Wen, who had red eyes and didn't seem to have slept well last night. The ones next to her were her roommates. Zexu, listen to my explanation. I have a crush on you. Lu Xiaowen, who was looking for Su Zexu everywhere, was about to give a good explanation when he saw him, but suddenly saw Wu Ximin holding his arm and leaning closely beside him. Lu Xiaowen suddenly got stuck and prepared his words. He completely forgot about it and stared at the two of them blankly. Lu Xiaowen, I'm dating my boyfriend. Please don't disturb our world of two. Okay? Wu Ximin raised her chin, revealing her swan-like neck, and said in a show-off manner, Wusi Mean, let go of your hand quickly and don't harass my boyfriend. Lu Xiaowen glared and walked towards her. Why are you not convinced? Lu Xiaowen, you have already lost and are completely eliminated. Zexu has explained it clearly to me. He will not accept a woman like you who is smart but is misled by her cleverness. Wusi Mean said tit for tat without fear. I'm not out. Zexu proposed breaking up. But I didn't agree. We are still a couple. And I will change myself. Zexu, can you give me a chance to change my ways? Lu Xiaowen did not make a fuss, but walked to Su Zexu's right hand, hugged his right arm, and pleaded hard. Lu Xiaowen, do you want to be shameless? Stop harassing my boyfriend. Wu Ximin yelled anxiously. She didn't expect that Lu Xiaowen was so shameless that he would do something like cheating on her face to face. But no matter how she cursed, Lu Xiaowen remained indifferent. He just looked at Su Zexu infatuatedly with tears in his eyes, and took the trouble to explain everything. She was sandwiched between two girls, one on the left and the other on the right. They were both beauties with good looks and temperament. They attracted curious and envious glances from passers-by and even exclaimed. They then took photos and uploaded them to the internet, which is destined to trigger a new wave of discussion. Su Zexu felt his scalp numb and extremely tormented. Although this was a classic scene that could only appear in some harem animations and could not happen in reality, at this moment, he was experiencing it personally. It was like a scene in a Shura field. And Lu Xiaowen behaved very smartly and rationally. Although Wu Ximin kept swearing, he did not resort to violence and was very restrained. As a result, the three of them walked side by side, looking quite harmonious, which stunned countless teachers and students. Su Zexu was also instantly cleansed of his reputation as a dog licker and a faggot, causing a sensation in Suang University of Science and Technology and became the Harem Harmony Boss, worshipped by countless boys. Chapter 186 A Market Worth Tens of Billions June 18th Sunday morning, Suong City, Xuan Jiangnan Villa area. Su Zexa left school and came here for a visit. Today is Father's Day. Although we usually have a lot of phone calls and see each other frequently, it is necessary to take advantage of this holiday to buy some gifts for my father Su Jianzhou. It is necessary to care for him. Secondly, I looked at my elder sister Su Rong. She was already three months pregnant and her belly started to show that she was pregnant. The fetus was very healthy and the pregnancy test showed that it was a boy. This made Su Zexu even more ecstatic. So he also bought some gifts and gifts for her. Supplements. Please take care of me. Sister. Of course. Another important reason is that he became a big celebrity in the school and fell into the Shura field with Lu Xiaowen and Wu Ximin every day. This was a blessing in the eyes of others. But he was very irritable and had to leave the school. Let your ears quiet for a while. But the real reason is that Su Zexu discovered a big business opportunity and wanted to discuss it with his brother-in-law Li Xingyang and ask for his thoughts and opinions. That is the confession light beam service. The live video of his confession to Lucio when a few days ago has become very popular on the internet. 
it has been on the hot search and has tens of millions of clicks. Because the effect of the confession light beam is indeed so cool and romantic. Not only the girls are discussing it enthusiastically, but also the majority of people. The boys are also ready to make a move. This led to Sue's ex of being asked by countless people in school how he obtained the confession light pillar and what his relationship was with the Xingyuan group. There are even speculations that Sue's ex's identity may be very complicated. He is definitely not an ordinary second generation rich man. Sue's ex is very tight lipped and tight lipped. He can't get the answer no matter what. On the contrary, he is inscrutable and cannot be messed with. He must be fawning. The feeling of pleasing. In addition, there are also many boys from well off families who, in order to express their feelings to the girl they have a crush on, or to leave no regrets before graduation, privately find or contact Sue Zexu and offer to purchase the confession light beam service. The price is negotiable, ranging from 35,000 to 35,000. It's not a problem. The one who bid the highest even increased the price to 1 million in order to win the goddess. Sue Zexu almost nodded and agreed. It's an exaggeration for a really rich second generation to chase girls. He can't compare at all. It's beyond his imagination. But no matter how much money he wants to make, Suzexa doesn't have to say it. And his brother-in-law Li Xingyang has the final say. Regardless of how much it costs to purchase a confession light beam service, Suzexa will earn a little agency fee at most. And the big head has nothing to do with him. Even so, Suzexu still wanted to discuss it with his brother-in-law and ask him if he was interested in this aspect in the living room of the villa. Dad, happy Father's Day. This is the high-quality Longjing tea I bought for you. You can drink it on a regular basis. Sister, I bought some small toys for my future nephew and also bought you donkey hide gelatin cake to nourish the body. You can eat this with confidence. I bought two portions of the tonic passed down by our ancestors. Mom, you also have it. One portion. Then make up for it. Brother-in-law, I don't know what to give you. This massage pillow has high reviews online. You can try it and see if it works. Sue's ex had distributed the gifts in large and small packages one by one. Basically everyone had something. Okay, you are becoming more and more sensible. You don't need me to teach you how to deal with the world anymore. Su Jianshou was very pleased. Son, you don't have the financial ability now. So don't spend money randomly. Mom Yuli said. Ozawa, don't listen to mom. You earn money just to spend it. Family ties are far more important than money. You can ask me to reimburse you for buying these gifts. Su Rong habitually touched her belly and leaned back slightly. Said boldly, Sister, don't be like this. I want to become a self-reliant man. You must not act like a brother-in-law to harm me. My brother-in-law will also be unhappy. Su Zexu said with a wry smile and looked at Li Xingyang's expression next to him. Li Xingyang waved his hand and said, There is nothing a family can't help. As long as you. Su Zexu, have the ability and can convince everyone. I will give you a chance. If you don't have the ability and can't convince everyone, then no amount of support will be of any use. The main thing is to look at yourself. These words made Su's father and Su's mother sigh in relief. Su Zexu also nodded repeatedly, saying that he would work hard and grow as a person and in everything he does. At noon, the dishes on the table were very rich. They also opened a bottle of high-end red wine, and everyone had a drink. They didn't want to drink too much, but wanted to be healthy. Of course, Su Rong didn't drink a drop of it because the doctor said that for the sake of the fetus, she couldn't drink alcohol. The food tastes delicious. After chatting about some common topics, brother-in-law, there is something I want to discuss with you. Su Zexa couldn't help but express his thoughts and his experiences in school. There were many rich second-generation students who were willing to spend money to buy the confession light beam service. The highest bidder actually offered one million. In order to pursue the girl I like is willing to do whatever it takes. Brother-in-law, I think there are huge business opportunities here. On the one hand, many girls are into this and are eager for such romance. In addition, many young people are willing to spend money to create such surprises. Getting true love is more important in their eyes. I did some statistics and found that in just two days, more than 50 people asked me where to buy advertising light beam services. The minimum bid was 10,000, and the common bid was 30,000 to 50,000. This shows that the average psychological price of these people is between 30,000 and 50,000. And there are 3,000 universities in China. If each school has 100 such students, it will be a campus confession market of 9 billion to 15 billion. If the demand for confession in society is also included, 
I think the launch of advertisements after Guangzhou's service. It's no problem to earn 20 to 30 billion. I think this area is very promising. Brother-in-law, what do you think? Su Zexo looked at Li Xingyang and asked. Su Jianzhou, Yu Li, and Su Rong also pricked up their ears and became very interested. Li Xingyang stopped his chopsticks and fell into thinking and weighing. The confession light beam service was actually launched by Zhan Yuatian in the Red Star Federation. In order to make more money, he had the idea of this market. However, at the stage of the development of the Red Star Federation, true love is extremely rare. The marriage rate is very low. More than 90% of babies are cultivated from in vitro cultivation chambers, also called artificial wombs, and the government-level low-end population production line. This solves the problem of low fertility rate. Of course, there are young men and women falling in love, but the proportion is not high, and they are reluctant to spend money. Therefore, even if Sean Yuantian's confession light beam effect is extremely beautiful and cool in design, the service fee charged is not high, and he cannot earn much in a year. Money. Now listening to Sue Zex's introduction. It seems that the advertising light pillar service is quite popular in Azure Star. His school alone has dozens of potential customers, which is indeed good. However, a floating relay weighing 30 tons consumes nearly 10,000 kilowatt hours of electricity for one hour suspended at high altitude. In addition to the loss of equipment, personnel wages, etc., if it is used to provide advertising services, the minimum cost will be tens of thousands of yuan. The service fee charge must not be less than 30,000 yuan per time. Otherwise, it will be unprofitable. But most potential users can only afford to pay 30,000 to 50,000 yuan. If the price is higher, they will give up and give up. Now is the period of rapid expansion of Xing Yuan Group. There are many usage scenarios for floating relays. Sometimes they are in a state of exhaustion and the profits they bring are also very good. In comparison, the advertising light pillar service makes less money and has a short duration. The order is not too many. Tasteless. Li Xingyang wanted to describe it as tasteless. But, for Li Xingyang, no matter how small the market is, it is still a market, and mosquito meat is still meat, especially for the advertising light pillar service. Tens of billions per year are indeed not much, and Xing Yuan Group dismisses them. But it is enough to support a small and medium-sized related company, and then gradually become the opponent of Xing Yuan Group. Such a living space must not be occupied by any potential opponent. After thinking about it, Li Xingyang said to Su Zexu, Oz, I'll give you a task. You can lead someone to investigate how many young people are willing to buy the confession light beam service. If it is further divided into high-end customized services and mid-range standard services, how big of a market can we develop with low-end order sharing services? We can even build a website and take some orders in advance. If the order volume is large enough, I will ask the technicians to develop a lightweight float specially used for expressing love. Relays. Reducing the cost of service. Let's do this. I will give you full authority to develop this business and give you an opportunity to exercise your abilities. If you make money, after excluding all costs, you only need to hand over 70% of the net profit. And the rest is your commission. Whether you make more or less, you have to control it yourself. Li Xingyang said, then took a sip of red wine and listened to his words. Su Jianzhou, Yuli and Su Zexu immediately looked at each other and saw the excitement in each other's eyes. Su Rong was also very happy and said immediately, Chiza, what are you doing standing still? Thank you brother-in-law quickly. Brother-in-law, thank you for giving me this opportunity. Su Zexu stood up, picked up his wine glass, saluted Li Xingyang, and said, Brother-in-law, the 30% profit share is too high. I don't want even 10% of the profit. I will hand over all the profits. This training opportunity is more precious than anything else. Many people ask for it. No, I can't be greedy and ask for any share. Just give me a salary of 3,000 yuan is enough. Wide awake. Su Zexu acted very sober at this moment. Even though he was so excited that he wanted to jump up, he was still extremely humble and low-key. He was even a little worried and panicked. He thought that after catching this good deck of cards, he could not screw it up no matter what. He must come up with something beautiful. Beautiful results. Yes, I'm very satisfied with your modesty and stability. It shouldn't be a big problem to hand over the project to you. Don't refuse the profit share. The emperor has many hungry soldiers. How can I have the motivation to work with a monthly salary of 3,000? That's how it's settled. No need to discuss it further. Li Xingyang said in a tone 
that did not allow any more words to be said. Okay. Thank you. Brother-in-law. I will definitely do a good job. I will strive to gain unanimous recognition and affirmation from everyone. Su Zexu stood up again and promised again and again. The next day, Suang University of Science and Technology. Back to campus. When Su Zexu gathered dozens of brothers and friends together and announced with high spirits that he would start a business from today, he would establish a company and launch a professional and customized confession light beam service. And he would do it this summer. Brush it. The way all his friends and brothers looked at him suddenly changed. The actress Wu Simin suddenly became very considerate and gentle. And her arrogant and arrogant character disappeared. Lu Xiaowen, an old classmate, also changed and became reasonable. He volunteered to become his assistant secretary. He was very diligent and neat. He no longer argued and had conflicts with Wu Simin every day. He no longer fought and said that he only wanted to accompany Su Zexu in his entrepreneurial endeavors. Whether she can be accepted in the future depends on her performance, which puts a lot of pressure on Wu Simin. There are also obvious changes in people and things in all aspects. To describe it in one sentence, everyone Suze meets in this world seems to be a good person. This made Su Zexu feel that Monk Jammer was confused. He didn't know where the news leaked. He had obviously kept a low profile on purpose. But there were some things that didn't need to be made very clear. As long as he released some key information, Normal people could reason and analyze it. It also announced that he, Su Zexu, had become the real boss of Zijis. No one dared to look down on him anymore and just wanted to hug him. Chapter 187 Sadvera End of June Universities across the country are starting their summer vacations one after another. After receiving the invitation and consent of her brother Li Xingyang, the 18-year-old girl Vera once again moved into the villa in Xuanjiangnan, where she could often live with her brother again. This is something Vera is very happy and looking forward to. Although she lived a very comfortable life on the campus of Suang University of Science and Technology, her roommates took great care of her, making her feel like a family member. Her classmates and teachers also liked to take care of her, and she did not suffer any discrimination. Wouldn't mind her darker skin tone. In April this year, her father Li Shengming took her to the police station, took the paternity test report, and successfully applied for a Chinese identity card for her. Her name was Li Weila, and she became a full-fledged Chinese citizen. This happened this year. What makes her most happy and proud is that she loves and recognizes the land beneath her feet even more, because she also belongs here, and she can live long-term and legally in this highly developed and civilized country without having to. I am worried that I will be deported back to the Philippines one day. This made Vera's heart drop. In this way, he has the identity of a Chinese citizen. Recently, I stayed in my brother's villa again putting these two good things together. She should be more cheerful and lively. She doesn't have to be quiet and timid all the time and can be more cheerful and confident. But recently, Vera has not been very lively. Instead, she has a sad face. Her eyes are full of worry. She is in a daze from time to time. And occasionally she secretly cries in the middle of the night. What happened? Vera, who was supposed to be relaxed and happy, who was supposed to spend two months of summer vacation without any worries, why did she fall into something wrong? Something happened to Grandpa Freeman. The entire tribe and family suffered huge changes. Just a few days ago, Vera tried to make a video call to her relatives and friends back home in the Philippines to check on her grandfather's health. Vera was brought up by her grandfather since she was a child. She has a very deep relationship. It is impossible to come here just because of her. When I arrived in the paradise-like place of China, I forgot about my grandfather. She would still make long-distance calls to her grandfather every one or two weeks to ask him to take care of himself. But the calls I had made before were all voice calls. And I could only hear his voice but not see his person. However, Grandpa Freeman on the phone was normal, full of energy, and seemed to be doing well. But calculating the time, it was already two years ago. She had not seen her grandfather for more than two years. So she proposed to make a video call to see if her grandfather looked older. Her request was rejected by her grandfather. The reason was that the signal was unstable. The internet speed was slow. And making voice calls was okay. I made many excuses. But she couldn't bear Vera's repeated requests and her excuses were exposed many times. So on June 20th, the two parties made a video call. Shocked. Then Vera was stunned. Grandfather Freeman lost weight. At least 50 pounds. And became a wizened old man. My grandfather's big villa disappeared and turned into a shabby iron shack where at least a dozen people lived crowded together. 
My grandfather and others were also dressed in tatters and unkempt, like beggars. Moreover, they were all skinny and malnourished, and some of the uncles had many wounds on their bodies. None of the bodyguards with guns disappeared. Vera immediately asked, What is going on? How did they all become like this? An uncle named Terry explained to her the family's experiences and changes in the past two years. To briefly summarize, the family's copper mine was occupied, and it was the warlord Ollie who did it. They were all reduced to slave miners and had to do heavy labor every day. More than 20 of the more than 300 members of the Molito family have died due to mining accidents or diseases. If it were not for their value and knowing how to use mining equipment, none of them would survive. But even so, under the crazy exploitation and oppression of the warlord Ollie, in order to obtain more copper mines and continue to wage war, their labor intensity will only increase until they are all consumed. Even my grandfather Freeman, who is nearly 80 years old, has to work. Doesn't anyone care about this? Since you can use the internet, why not record some videos and let the United Nations take charge? I can help you. Such barbaric and cruel things should not exist in this world. Vera said very angrily. This is the Philippines, a corner that no one pays attention to, except for the mineral resources here. No one wants to care about the affairs here. Uncle Terry shook his head and said, Vera, you are too young. This world is very cruel. As long as you live a good life in China, that's fine. We wish you a happy and peaceful life. But don't go back to Tembi again. Ah, you have no ability to change anything. You will only be hurt. Stay in China and live peacefully. Don't worry about us. You are all my family. How can I watch you live in H, L? What can I do to help you? Vera shed tears. She very much wants to help these relatives get out of trouble. No longer suffer hardships. And no longer face threats to their lives. But she is only 18 years old. Has no resources. No strength. She can't do anything. She could only feel deep powerlessness and pain. Vera, don't worry about us. This is our destiny. At this time, Grandfather Freeman looked at her with cloudy eyes and said tremblingly, Remember my words. Don't come back. Never come back. You don't belong in this chaotic land. You should live in heaven. Then there was noise and chaos on the other side of the video. Uncle Terry hurriedly hung up the video call, not knowing what had happened. It's also been since this video call. I can no longer contact my grandfather. Vera is also in sadness, anxiety, and pain every day. She wants to rescue the suffering relatives in her hometown immediately, but she has no ability to save people. Apart from pain, helplessness, and suffering, she really can't do anything. And she is unwilling to speak out and ask others to help her, because she has no obligation to help her. She could only internally consume herself every day, hiding in bed and crying every day, getting more and more haggard every day. Until that day, her brother Li Xingyang saw the clues and abnormalities, called her to the study on the second floor, and asked, Vera, have you encountered any trouble or difficulty recently? You have been listless and worried all day long. Look, tell me, what happened? Brother, I'm fine. Vera forced a smile and said, No, you have something. And it's not a trivial matter. Tell me, regardless of whether I can help you or not, you should tell me the situation first instead of holding it in your heart every day and destroying yourself. Li Xingyang said seriously, Brother, can you buy me a plane ticket? I want to go back to the Philippines. I want to rescue my grandfather and the others. I can't enjoy it alone in China. I don't care about their life or death. Even if I die accidentally, I won't be able to enjoy it alone. I don't want to live in guilt every day. Vera broke down and cried and began to explain the situation. Chapter 188 A Bold Idea I heard what my sister Vera told me about the situation. Stop crying. There's no point in crying. I'll think of a solution. Li Xingyang advised and then fell into thinking. Some common sense information about the Philippines comes to mind. Philippines, also called Africa. Area is 30 million square kilometers. The population is about 1.5 billion, slightly larger than that of China, and it is still growing rapidly. It is the continent with the fastest growing population in the world. Productivity is relatively backward, and most areas are very poor. But development is not slow, and it is also the place with the fastest economic growth. It is rich in mineral resources, most of which are distributed, and has huge reserves of gold, cobalt ore, iron ore, bauxite, and diamonds. There are many countries and nomadic tribes, 
and many places retain primitive social culture and customs. The chief of the tribe can marry hundreds of wives and occupy most of the female resources. The ordinary male members of the tribe have no sense of family and no great sense of responsibility. It is difficult to leave offspring. Or they may go around flirting with girls or run away after getting pregnant due to their traditional culture. If China's female resources are monopolized by a few people, most men will probably adopt this strategy. When you lose the qualifications and rights to have a spouse, what about the so-called obligations? There are also warlords everywhere. Religious conflicts are serious. Military conflicts and coups often occur. The public security environment is terrible. And the crime rate is high. Most countries and regions can only be described with a messy word. And this land is a paradise for foreign mercenaries. It is a paradise for many terrorist forces. It is a place where all kinds of terrible diseases are rampant. The most amazing thing is that the number of countries in the Philippines has been increasing. In a few decades, it has increased from 20 to 30 countries to more than 50. This is also the reason why wars in the Philippines are too frequent in other continents. There is no such problem because the number of countries and their territorial boundaries are basically fixed, which is a prerequisite for ensuring long-term peace. However, the Philippines has always been in the midst of drastic changes. The overall chaotic environment is expected to last for many years. And it is difficult to see the possibility of long-term peace and stability because there are too many barrels of explosives. Unless a fierce man like Qin Shi Huang appears from heaven, unifies this continent, and carries out reforms similar to that of writing books and riding cars in the same track, we will have an extremely bright future. However, this unreliable idea can only be considered, okay, at most. But, he looked at his sister Vera, who was standing in front of her, crying sadly, thinking of the strength that Xing Yuan group has now. As for the Philippines, where the situation is too serious, a few hundred mercenaries can actually wreak havoc everywhere and change the president of some countries at any time. Most countries do not even have the ability to maintain basic order. If Li Xingyang is willing, he can send hundreds of professional bodyguards there and invest some resources in the Philippines. He can quickly become a big boss and even secretly dominate a country. It is not difficult at all. The strength of Xing Yuan group is more active than there is no problem that the mercenary forces in the Philippines can be hundreds of times stronger. Those mercenaries are very cool. And there is no reason for Xing Yuan group to be worse. Of course, Li Xingyang will not do anything that will cause harmony. He will never do it openly and with great fanfare. He will not impact the existing international order environment. At most, he will invest resources and make some commercial arrangements. If you want to make some achievements in the non-commercial field, you need to find a suitable and trustworthy local agent. But looking at Vera standing in front of him, for some reason, a bold idea popped up in his head again, which even made him feel more and more feasible. The more he thought about it, the more excited he became. Because if this was the case, several in the next few years, even if Xing Yuan group is envied by countless interest groups and becomes the target of public criticism, it can still use this trump card to prevent them from making rash moves or even having thoughts. Wonderful. It can only be described in one word. However, the Vera in front of her was only 18 years old and still studying in school, so she could not undertake such an arduous task. Moreover, she had adapted to and liked life in China and might not be willing to return to the Philippines. So I shook my head. Li Xingyang said to her, Tambia, don't go back to that place. It's too unsafe. If you go, you will be a sheep in the wolf's mouth, and your life will be caught. Just continue studying in peace. As for your grandfather and the others, Li Xingyang thought for a while and said, I have two solutions here. First, send someone to contact the warlord Ailey and give him a ransom to let your grandfather and family relatives go. I will pay the money. One, the maximum price per person is 100,000 yuan. And two to 300 people is equivalent to 20 to 30 million yuan which should be enough to satisfy that Aeoli's appetite. The second option is to hire reputable mercenaries to rescue your grandfather's family. It is estimated to cost about 50 million. But I will pay for it. After the rescue, they will be relocated to a neighboring country. The risk is in the process of rescuing people. There is a high possibility of accidental injury and manslaughter. And there is a certain danger. Faced with these two options, Vera's choice surprised Li Xingyang because she rejected them all. On the one hand, she doesn't want to spend her brother's money. Secondly, my grandfather's copper mine can dig out tens of thousands of tons of high-grade refined copper, or a year, which is worth hundreds of millions. 
with such huge interests. It is impossible for the warlord Aeli to let go of Melito, who knows how to use mining equipment. Even if the members of the family hide in neighboring countries, they will find ways to catch them back, unless they go to a place where Aeoli's tentacles can't reach, such as leaving the Philippines. But this is impossible. The Melito family has a large number of people. Those who can take root and survive in the Philippines cannot escape outside the Philippines. No solution. The problem has become somewhat unsolvable. It is impossible for Li Xingyang to settle the entire Melito family. Even if he has the ability, he does not have such a big obligation. The only way to solve the problem once and for all is to face the difficulties head on. Solve the source of the problem. The warlord Ali and help Vera's grandfather get back the minerals. Only in this way can the problem be solved satisfactorily without leaving any hidden dangers. But even so, Li Xingyang still has a solution. Vera, I have one last plan. It doesn't cost anything. There is only one problem that you need to overcome. Can you do it? Li Xingyang said seriously. Brother, what do I need to overcome? Vera asked, killing, through a screen, tens of thousands of miles away, using high-energy lasers to kill those who have caused you pain and made you hate them very much. Can you do it? Li Xingyang looked at her and said, In fact, he didn't want to give this simple and kind-hearted girl such a difficult problem. But this was indeed the only way. And this is her trouble. And she can only solve it with her own hands. Killing? Ending the lives of those bad guys? Vera hesitated for a few seconds. But kindness and weakness could not save her grandfather and the others. Only coldness and ruthlessness could protect the people she cherished. So she bit her lip and nodded. I can do it. Those beasts should disappear. Seeing the decisive look on her face, Li Xingyang nodded and suddenly felt that this sister might have great training value and might really be of great help to him. After the rescue plan was finalized, that night, at an altitude of 30,000 meters, a special floating relay headed straight for the country of Tambia, Philippines, tens of thousands of kilometers away at a speed exceeding the speed of sound, and soon arrived above the Lumwa mining area. Chapter 189 Generating Power 100 Million KW Time has entered the hotter month of July, but it also starts this month. Li Xingyang Xingyuan Group seems to have pressed an accelerator button and entered a stage of rapid development. The first is the construction of space photovoltaic arrays, and another wave of crazy construction work has been carried out. The number suddenly increased from more than 50 to a full 100, allowing Azure Star's sun-synchronous orbit of more than 1,800 kilometers to reach an almost saturated state. It is impossible to add more photovoltaic arrays because if the density is too high, collision accidents are prone to occur. This expansion work only took more than three months to prepare the preliminary materials, hoarding countless super photovoltaic panels and supporting equipment, and building the truss structure for more than a month in June. During the crazy construction in July, it took just over 20 days to complete the laying of nearly 50 million square meters of super photovoltaic panels on more than 40 photovoltaic arrays, which is equivalent to an area of 50 square kilometers with an average of 2 square meters completed per day. It is more than 1,000 kilometers long and uses a large number of space robots and astronauts working in space. The construction process is extremely efficient. It is like a busy space construction site. The changes every day are simply staggering. To the end of July, 100 photovoltaic arrays in space are all in place. When people on the blue star look up at the sky, they will find the behind the square red halo. There is a discontinuous ring like a string of pearls, with a hundred of them, big pearls, and each pearl represents a photovoltaic array. They can receive sunlight 24 hours a day. Each one can generate 1 million kW of power, multiplied by the number of 100 seats. That is a generating power of 100 million kW. According to statistics, in China today, the total installed capacity of all domestic power generation facilities has reached 3.5 billion kW. However, the install capacity is not equal to the actual power generation capacity. China's electricity consumption last year was just over 13 trillion kilowatt hours, equivalent to 1.5 billion kW of power generation equipment. It was generating electricity all the time. That is, the average power consumption was 1.5 billion kW. That is, the current power generation capacity of Xingyuan Group Space Energy Facilities has reached January 15th of China's average total power consumption. This is quite an incredible figure. With the power of a private enterprise, it can achieve a space power generation capacity of 100 million kW. 
which can definitely be described as awesome. What is even more surprising is that more than 70% of such a huge space power generation capacity has been effectively utilized. The excess power can also be injected into the main energy channels in the form of light energy for storage. The comprehensive energy utilization efficiency is expected to exceed 90%, and the proportion of waste is very low. Among them, lunar mining activities will consume about 35 million kW, and now more than 1.8 million tons of minerals can be sent to the surface of the Blue Star every day. The Space City project that has already begun construction will consume about 10 million kW and transport nearly 500,000 tons of materials into space every day. The number of solar passenger aircraft put into use in China's civil aviation market has now increased to 100. They are all working non-stop all day long, running an average of 5 to 8 flights a day. And the daily flight frequency is 2 or 3 times that of traditional aircraft. Therefore, it needs to consume about 10 million kW of power. There are also usage scenarios such as space factories, light show advertisements, and citywide concerts, which will also consume tens of millions of kW of power. That is to say, the power generation power that is temporarily in a relatively idle state is only about 30 million kW. But as the amount of lunar or mine from the moon continues to increase exponentially, with solar passenger aircraft, they are rapidly engulfing the civil aviation and high-speed rail passenger markets with the accelerated construction of space cities and space factories. It is estimated that the 30 million kW of idle power generation will not be fully utilized until the end of the year. It may be three or four months at the earliest, and there may even be an issue of insufficient energy supply. Until then, there are only two solutions. The first is to quickly start building the second main energy road and supporting power generation facilities to increase the total power generation to more than 1 billion kW as soon as possible. The second method is to increase the area of photovoltaic arrays without increasing the number of photovoltaic arrays. For example, increasing the area from 1.1 million square meters to 2.2 million square meters means doubling the power generation capacity. The disadvantage is that photovoltaic the larger the base array, the lower the flexibility, and it is difficult to adjust the attitude. Therefore, it is better not to increase the area significantly without increasing the area. Moreover, the cost increase will be relatively large, and the price slash performance ratio is not high. But, after all 100 space photovoltaic arrays are in place, for Xingyu and Group, at least this year, there is no need to worry too much about insufficient energy supply. There is no problem in ensuring that it is barely enough. Through the sale of electricity, Xingyu and Group's daily electricity sales revenue has now reached a record high of 1 billion yuan, exceeding the profit from the sale of super photovoltaic panels and second only to the revenue from superconducting materials, has become one of the three major income pillars of Xingyu and Group, and is developing towards the core business pillar. When the power generation power of space energy facilities in the future increases to 1 billion kW or 10 billion kW, income from electricity sales will definitely become the main source of revenue for the group, and it will be easy to earn tens of billions every day. However, this refers to the main revenue generator in the group's normal business. If some side projects are also included in the statistics, the position of the main moneymaker may not be preserved. Take, for example, the space meteorite fishing industry. And this time, Han Bujo, an expert from the Space Meteorite Research Laboratory of Xingyuan Group, and others have been paying close attention to the 1973 by 6 Platinum Comet, which has entered the range of less than 1 billion kilometers from the Blue Star, and getting closer, in about three months, it will be close to about 600 million kilometers. At this time, Comet 1973 by 6 will accelerate to a more suitable speed and maintain an orbit with the smallest angle with Azure Star. If at this time, the star source group the mining spacecraft can approach the comet, then cast a net to catch it and drag it. Not only can it save a lot of effort, but it can also significantly shorten the time to bring it to the vicinity of the blue star. It can be called the golden window period. Although other timings can achieve the goal, they are not so time-saving and labor-saving. Therefore, Li Xingyang hopes that the employees of the group will work overtime and strive to assemble the ring reflector within a month and send it into space. Then before the end of September, the mining spacecraft, Jontian, will be built, and various trainings for the miners and pilot crew will be completed, and all preparations will be made for the first space fishing mission. Finally, in early October, the mining spacecraft officially took off, entered space, accelerated to a speed of about 800 kilometers per second, 
and headed straight for the 1973x6 Comet. It took about 10 days to arrive, operate it, and then took about a month to drag it back. In this way, the debt problem of Xing Yuan Group will be completely resolved before the end of 2028 and will not be delayed until the next year. So the biggest question is, can the construction of the Star Ring Reflector and the Jiantian mining spacecraft be completed ahead of schedule and set off on a space fishing mission in early October? Mr. Lee, the assembly progress of the Star Ring Reflector has reached 70%, and the completion degree of the mining spacecraft has reached 82%. Both are much faster than the scheduled progress. We are even sure that they will be completed in mid-September, and we will go there in late September. Execute the mission and bring Comet 1973x6 to the vicinity of the Blue Star before the end of November. And cut it up and sell it cleanly in December. Expert Han Bujo Road. Okay. Then follow this rhythm and steps. Next. Every employee must enter an efficient working state and do their best to complete the work of each node in advance. Li Xingyang clapped his hands and said. Chapter 190 Real-Time Quantum Communication. Soon. Time has entered the fiery month of August. This month is generally also the peak of electricity consumption in China. On the one hand, the outdoor temperature is often above 40 degrees Celsius. Whether at home or at work, the air conditioner must be turned on all day long, which greatly increases the power consumption of people's daily life. Second, China's industrial production is also in full swing. There are many customer orders to be completed. Assembly lines need to be operated at full capacity. And industrial electricity consumption is also increasing significantly. Today, China has entered the era of electric vehicles. There are few fuel vehicles on the road, and they are basically on the verge of being eliminated. No matter what model, all are electrified, and this trend is unstoppable. But the problem is that electricity consumption has increased significantly. In the past, hundreds of millions of tons of crude oil were imported every year, and more than half of it was consumed by fuel vehicles. Now electricity is used, and the annual electricity consumption is trillions of kilowatt hours. It has significantly increased the burden on China's power grid. There may even be power shortages in some areas, affecting residents' lives and factory production, and taking into account the unexpected situation that power supply may be insufficient. Avoid factory shutdowns. On August 5th, a floating relay used for power generation by Xingyuan Group dragged a superconducting wire more than 30,000 meters long and rose to an altitude of 30,000 meters. Although this wire was made of nanoplastics, the wires in the insulated SH. I can withstand huge pulling force. But in order to avoid breaking, a set of small fan reverse thrust devices will be installed every 1,000 meters in the wire segment. The thrust generated can offset the self-weight of the wires, which avoids the wires from being broken. The problem of having too much self-respect and being unable to bear it. Through this superconducting wire more than 30,000 meters long, the floating relay used for power generation can generate power of 100,000 kW to 300,000 kW, which can be transmitted to the ground with almost zero loss, solving the hidden danger of power shortage that Xingyuan Group may face. If one floating relay for power generation is not enough, it can be increased to 5 or 10 units, which is no problem at all. In short, as a company operating in the energy field, Xingyuan Group is unlikely to encounter the problem of energy shortage just like a cook is least likely to starve to death, and under the premise of sufficient supply of energy and materials. In August, Xing Yuan Group's more than 100,000 employees worked hard in nearly three shifts, and were in high spirits. Work efficiency was constantly improving. The technicians also used their subjective initiative to integrate various state-of-the-art technologies, are applied to improve production efficiency, such as AI technology, the latest 6G technology, intelligent robotics, advanced 3D printing technology, etc., by making improvements in management methods. While improving production efficiency, workers will be more relaxed and work less overtime. As for the Platinum Miner Plan, that Li Xingyang attaches great importance to, the efficiency improvement is naturally the fastest, even significantly exceeding expectations. On August 20th, the final assembly of the high-precision reflective pipe, the core component of the star ring reflector, was completed, and the test performance met the standards. On the 23rd, the core component of the larger ring reflector was successfully sent into space through an aerospace industry group's Hercules transport spacecraft. On the 24th, the assembly of the flare mouth, reflective component, and the flare tail, slender pipe of the star ring reflector began. On the 28th, 
the complete star ring reflector was assembled. The diameter of the bell mouth is 50 meters. The total length of the pipeline is about 500 meters. And the diameter of the end launch port is only 1 meter. It can be said to be a large device. The maximum light energy power it can collect and emit can reach more than 100 million kW. The internal light loss rate is less than 1,000. It can also accurately transmit light energy up to 1 billion kilometers away and ensure that the illumination target position error does not exceed 100 meters. It can also make relatively rapid adjustments within a small range of angles. The development cost of one is about 5 billion, which is not very expensive and is equivalent to five energy relay satellites. But judging from the role it plays, the star ring reflector far exceeds the energy relay satellite in many aspects and can even replace the role of the energy relay satellite. Why are energy relay satellites used in large numbers instead of satellites? Ring reflector? The reasons are naturally manifold. 1. The energy relay satellite is small and flexible, has a wide radiation range, and can supply energy to multiple space devices at the same time. The star ring reflector is large and rotates slowly, and can only take care of one target. Second, the energy relay satellite can receive light beams from all directions, and the large bell mouth of the star ring reflector can receive light energy from one surface at most. Finally, the energy supply range of energy relay satellites is between 0 and 1 million kW covering most user usage scenarios. The energy supply range of star ring reflectors is generally not less than 5 million kW and can reach up to hundreds of millions of kW. Within the solar system, there are not many usage scenarios for power consumption exceeding 5 million kW. They can only play the best role in energy main roads, large spaceships, and interstellar immigration spacecraft, especially interstellar immigration spacecraft, which means that they can go to other places. Development within the star system greatly expands the living space of mankind. But the era of interstellar migration seems too far away at present. It is estimated that it will be at least 50 to hundreds of years before humans will set their sights on other stars. This means that the star ring reflector, or accelerator, can only play a supporting role for the time being and cannot become one of the protagonists. August 30th. In a space orbit of more than 10,000 kilometers, the complete star ring reflector began a series of functional tests. There is a beam of radiation test. There are actual error measurement tests. There are light diffusivity measurement tests, etc. When a beam of light emitted by this star ring reflector spanned a distance of hundreds of millions of kilometers and more than half an hour later, it accurately hit a scrapped rover on Mars, proving that its accuracy was fully up to standard. The last important function has also begun testing. As long as this function is easy to use and reliable, it can be officially put into use. The Platinum Miner Project is at least half successful. Just wait for the final assembly of the Jontian mining spacecraft to roll off the assembly line. This function is also extremely important and is the prerequisite for freely carrying out various interstellar development activities in the future. Quantum Communication Technology The full name is Unilateral Real-Time Quantum Entanglement Communication Technology. The principle of quantum entanglement is used to allow the star ring reflector to emit a large number of photons in an entangled state as long as these photons are received by a spacecraft or other space devices, as long as the photons at the receiving end are changed due to artificial interference. The star ring reflects the device will know instantly because the photons at this end have changed in synchrony. Therefore, the user in spacecraft can transmit its own coordinates, time, meaningful coded information, or send distress signals, etc. One-way communication cannot conduct two-way communication because the transmission speed of information cannot exceed that of light. Only by allowing the entangled photons to cover the distance between the two in advance can one-sided communication be achieved. It is enough to be able to communicate unilaterally. The situation in space is very complicated and the risks are high. It is even more necessary to send valuable information to the blue star in real time so that we can take action to deal with it. The situation on the blue star will have to be delayed for several seconds. It takes dozens of days, or even months to be known to the crew through traditional communication methods. There is a certain lag, but this problem is not too big. Since we have ventured into space, we should focus on the work at hand. Less watching less news and watching videos and listening more to music is a good thing for the crew. In the control hall, Duan Wu Chung, the group's communication technology expert, said, Two-way real-time quantum communication is actually not impossible. Just let the spacecraft in space continue to send entangled photons. But it is too troublesome, and it is difficult to keep the communication light aimed. The farther the distance, the worse the signal. Damn. 
it's great to be able to pass alone. Li Xingyang held his hands and said, Soon! In space. The star ring reflector emits a tiny ultraviolet beam to a space device at a greater distance. The beam is generated and emitted by the quantum communicator. Testing of quantum communication function completed. If one-sided communication is successful, even if the distance is millions of kilometers, information can be transmitted with zero delay. The average rate is 0.5 kilobytes per second. And the fastest is 1 kilobyte. This is completely enough. The technician said excitedly. Okay. Great. Quantum communication is within our reach. Although it is physically impossible to break the speed of light barrier. At the information level, we did break through the limit of the speed of light in a slightly clumsy way. It's a pity that it's difficult to achieve dual connectivity. Otherwise it would be even more revolutionary. With this technology, no matter what situation the mining spacecraft encounters, it will not be blinded and can make the most timely response at any time. Amid swarm applause, every expert and technician was very excited and high-fived each other and slapped each other on the shoulders. Li Xingyang also nodded. The star ring reflector is progressing smoothly and has been put into service before September. As for the mining spacecraft, good news has been spreading frequently in the past few days. It is almost ready to be officially offline. With only a few quarters left, the work needs to be completed. If you really want to hurry up, it seems that you can start early in mid-September. However, you can't eat hot tofu in a hurry, and it's easy to make mistakes when you're busy, and you have to see how the crew is preparing. Chapter 191 Captain Zhang Jianxiong September 3rd Huagua Ashi Province Jiuquan City In the desolate Gobi Desert Training base for astronauts and space activities personnel This was originally the most mysterious area in China With the highest level of confidentiality And the most difficult for ordinary people to enter If you wander around the base You will probably be arrested by soldiers for questioning But now The base's confidentiality level has been lowered And ordinary people can visit it at will you can even pay to sign up and participate in space training. After getting the certificate, you will be qualified to enter space activities. Last year, nearly 50,000 people participated in training at the base. This year it is expected to exceed 150,000. And next year it is likely to exceed 300,000. Before 2026, at this base, the Chinese Space Administration has trained less than 100 astronauts in total in the past 40 to 50 years. Whether they have entered space or not. The cost of cultivating them exceeds hundreds of millions, which is far more than their weight in gold. Naturally, they will attach great importance to these precious pimples and strictly keep them secret and protected. But what now? Tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of people need to be trained a year. So there is no need to keep it too secretive, as it doesn't make much sense. As for the difficulty of the training courses, it has also been greatly reduced. In the past, only academic masters could pass. Now. As long as the physical fitness is up to standard, the cultural test and skills test are probably not much more difficult than taking the driver's license test. That is to say, in just one or two years, the threshold for becoming an astronaut or space activity personnel has changed from elite to popular. And there is not much threshold. Early this morning, the training base was in the VIP campus with the best training conditions. On the long track that circles the school, Zhang Jianxiong, 42 years old this year, a middle-aged man with a Chinese character face, is leading dozens of team members for 5-kilometer long-distance running training. After running in the morning, I had breakfast. In the morning, there are training courses for various scientific theory courses. The courses are intensive and have many knowledge points. You must keep in mind that not many students can get excellent scores in the exam, but Zhang Jianxiong can score more than 80 points in every course. In the afternoon, physical exercise continued including muscle exercises, anti-vertigo exercises, weight-bearing training, simulated weightlessness training in swimming pools, etc. Although Zhang Jianxiong is over 40, his physical fitness is not worse than that of young people due to his good habit of exercising all year round. And he has also learned more than 10 in boxing for many years. Few people were his opponents. In the evening, there were still two scientific theory classes to attend. But after returning to the dormitory and taking a shower, most students, including Zhang Jianxiong, did not go to bed until at least 10.30. It was repeated the next day. There is only a half-day break on Sunday. This kind of study and training has lasted for three months. And the training progress is already halfway through. In about two months, 
Zhang Jianxiong and other students will be able to graduate. After taking the final exam and getting a passing score, they will be allowed to enter space, get qualified for a variety of space careers. At 10.30 p.m., today's learning task is completed. Just before lying down to sleep, Zhang Jianxiong picked up his cell phone, called his parents at home, and talked about some topics. In addition to caring about the health of the elderly, he is also very concerned about the study and living conditions of his 14-year-old son Zhang Haitao. When he heard the sound of the TV playing on the other side of the phone, Zhang Jianxiong knew that his son had not gone to bed at such a late hour and was still watching TV. The two old men could not control it and it was difficult to call him. Zhang Jianxiong asked him to answer the phone. Ask him to go to bed quickly. He has to go to school tomorrow. If he sleeps too late, he will not be able to get up in the morning. I don't need you to worry about it. I'll fall asleep after watching it for a while. You can just make money outside. Anyway, I don't have money. His son John Hidehouse said with a rebellious attitude. Why are you talking to me? If I were in front of you, I would have beaten you by now. John Jinxiong said with bulging veins on his forehead. Beat me. You can beat me as you like. When you come back from a business trip, you can control me as much as you want. Anyway, I can't see you a few times a year. And my mother is gone. I usually can play whatever I want. I'll do whatever I want when you come back. Be obedient. His son John Hidehouse said in a childlike tone. Are you still angry about my divorce from your mother? John Jinxiong said helplessly. I've explained to you. I was running a boat outside to make money. But your mother cheated on me with another man and had a child with someone else. She betrayed me and the family. She cheated on me with that wild man. If you sit on my head and shit, it shouldn't be me you hate. That's right. Zhang Jianxiong's previous job was as a seaman. He worked at sea for nearly 20 years. Due to his outstanding ability, he became a captain at the age of 30, with an annual salary of millions. Although he spent most of the year at sea with his family, there is less gathering and more separation. But a good income and remuneration can maintain a reasonably happy family. But he didn't expect that the age, Lish joke. Captain Lao Huang was at sea for 18 months. And his wife gave birth to a big fat boy for him. What happened to him? Last year, his 36-year-old wife cheated on him while he was at sea. I wanted to go home early and give her a surprise. But found that she had a big belly and gave myself a surprise. Then there were lawsuits, divorces, and property divisions. After almost a year of struggle, he also lost his job as a captain and finally managed to straighten out his life. I also found that in my early 40s, I was standing at a crossroads in my life, facing a serious midlife crisis. My son, who had been raised by his ex-wife since childhood, was not close to me, was disobedient to discipline, had difficulty communicating, and was very rebellious. Only by changing a job, spending more time with his parents and son, and communicating more can his son understand him better. Instead of leaning towards his mother, wanting to live with her, and complaining about him even though his mother has cheated on him. But such a job is difficult to find. The salary is not high, and it cannot maintain a relatively high standard of living. It happened that some time ago, Xing Yuan Group was recruiting special talents from the society. He gave it a try and passed the test. His 10 years of experience as a captain gave him an experience advantage and made him stand out. In addition, he has leadership skills, is the oldest, and works the hardest. So there is not much controversy. The reason why he was appointed captain is that his surname is Zhang Jinxiong, and the mother of the boss Li Xingyang is also surnamed Zhang. They are all from Suang City, and there may be relatives among them, which is also the reason why the position of captain fell into his hands. It's a bit off, but no matter what, after Zhang Jinxiong found this new job, it was different from the job he expected to stay in Suang City. On the third day after joining the job, he came all the way to Jiuquan City and left home for another business trip. He really wanted to spend time with his family, but he really didn't want to miss this opportunity. So he came over anyway. It is natural for a son without parental discipline to become more and more rebellious and disobedient. Son, I'm going to pick a star from the sky in a while. If you are sensible and obedient, I will give you a stone from the star. If you are not obedient, the first thing I will do when I get home after my business trip is to take you get your butt smashed. You are already a 14-year-old little adult. You can have your own ideas, but you'd better be smart and listen more to your grandparents. Zhang Jianxiong warned again. Oh, I see. Zhang Haitao yawned. 
Not sure if he heard it. The two ended the call. Why? Zhang Jianxiong, who was sitting by the bed, shook his head helplessly and sighed. The next day, September 4th, the group sent a high-level representative over and brought two big pieces of news. First, the completion rate of the mining spacecraft, John Tian, has reached 100%, and it can take off at any time for testing. As long as there are no major hidden dangers, it can set sail and start performing space fishing missions. So the pressure came on Zhang Jianxiong and other 50 trainees who participated in relevant training. The high-level representatives asked them, is it possible to complete all training courses and advance within 10 days? and then conduct an assessment to select 30 people from 50 people to participate in the implementation of the Platinum Miner Plan, and around September 20th, control the mining spacecraft and head straight for the 1973 by 6 Platinum Comet to execute the plan in advance? I listened to what this representative said. John Jinxiong and other 50 students' eyes suddenly shone with excitement. I think there is no problem. There is no need for further training. We have already learned a lot of knowledge. The only difference is practice. Participating in one mission is definitely more effective than training for three to five years. Yes, we are ready and ready to go at any time. Stop wasting time and go catch big fish in advance. All the students were very excited and excited. And they were all gearing up and couldn't wait. Chapter 192 officially set off. I saw that all the students were impatient. The next day, with the active cooperation of the astronaut training base, a medium difficulty final exam started in advance. 50 students all took part in 12 physical fitness tests and 8 scientific theory tests, totaling 20 items in total. This is still the result of streamlining the questions. It's also relatively simple. The assessment results will be released on the same day. All projects received passing marks. And there were only 10 students with outstanding performance. They are Zhang Jinxiong, Chun Yu, Wang Chong, Du Chong, Liang Yifeng, Xiao Guilong, Li Xianfeng, Xiao Biqing. Yu Hao and Lin Yuanjia. The other 40 students have more or less passed a few courses. They have not received passing marks and cannot be issued a certificate of completion. Logically speaking, they cannot enter space and must continue training for a period of time. The leader of the training base also suggested that after another month of good training, as long as the number of qualified people reaches 30, they can form a team to go to space. However, after Li Xingyang learned about this situation, he said, there are only 10 qualified people. Let them serve as the core of the team and lead 20 less skilled rookies. In addition, the ground command center can also provide remote technical support. It is not necessary for each crew member to be excellent. Some rookies and soy sauce personnel are allowed to exist, as long as the whole team is reliable. Not to mention the growth rate of learning by doing is much faster. As long as you don't give up learning, you will become excellent. I think they can go on missions in space. Got this reply? The leaders of the training base were speechless and shook their heads, but they still approved the graduation applications of the top 30 students. After all, none of these guys were afraid of death. They were willing to bear all the consequences. They could sign life and death certificates, so there was no way they could stop them. On the morning of September 6th, on a light passenger plane, Zhang Jinxiong and other 30 quasi-crew members returned to Suong City and the group's headquarters. At 2 o'clock in the afternoon, Longqiu landing site. On a newly built concrete landing platform, a giant device that looks like a snail is docked quietly. Its maximum length is about 100 meters. Its height is about 80 meters. And the diameter of the hemispherical snail SH. L at the front is about 60 meters. Two thick and long metal pillars extend from the tail. With two movable ring type hooks at the end. The hollow round holes of the metal pillars can release two cables that are as thick as an adult's wrist and can withstand tens of thousands of tons of tension. At the bottom, you can see the existence of a large number of ion engine nozzles, and they are all new third-generation high-thrust ion engines, each with a maximum thrust of 100 tons. If you count them carefully, there are as many as 150 of them. The empty weight of this special spacecraft is approximately 2,500 tons. The maximum weight does not exceed 5,500 tons. Is it too many engines? Not much. It can be said to be just right. After all, if there is not enough thrust, how can those space meteorites weighing tens of thousands of tons, hundreds of thousands of tons, or even millions of tons be dragged? Come to the mining spacecraft with John Tian, written on the side of the hull. Zhang Jianxiong and other 30 prospective crew members did not have time to sigh or sigh. 
so they were asked to change into work clothes inside the ship and enter the interior of the spacecraft. On the same day, they began to familiarize themselves with all the equipment in the spacecraft. The next day, there was a huge roar at the Longchio landing site. Under the illumination of multiple golden light beams, the Jontian slowly lifted into the air, levitated, adjusted its flight attitude, and tested the reliability of the flight control system. September 8, the mining spacecraft Jontian entered the weightless environment of space and became familiar with the working scenes in space. It targeted the space container sent from the moon and carried out dozens of fishing experiments, all of which were successful. Until September 15, after a meeting and discussion, the top management of Xingyuan Group decided today as the day when the Jontian will officially set off. Because there is no need to continue testing, there is basically no problem. The crew members are also very well integrated and perform very well. Continuing training is just a waste of precious time and increases some muscle memory. 10 o'clock in the morning. Longqiu landing site. At the departure ceremony, Boss Li Xingyang delivered a speech. The purpose of this expedition of the Jontian, to put it elegantly, is for dreams and hopes. To take a key step to conquer the stars and the sea, and is a major event that will definitely be recorded in the history of human civilization. But to put it in a more down-to-earth way, the mission of the Jontian this time is for resources and wealth. But I don't think this is something to be embarrassed about. In life, apart from money and love, the most important thing you pursue is a very small proportion of other things. And in order to live a better life, for the country's GDP to be higher, for yourself and your family live a happier life, go out on the war battle and run for endless resources and wealth. Bring resources and hope to Azure Star. Your mission is extremely glorious and correct. There is no doubt that everyone will be proud of you. John Tian, let's go! Boss Li Xingyang gave the order. Multiple golden light beams shone down. A buzzing sound sounded. Hundreds of ion engines started at the same time. The smoke and dust stirred up were overwhelming, covering a large area. Fortunately, the empty John Tian ascended very quickly. After more than 20 minutes, it reached space more than 300 kilometers above the ground, then maintained a static and suspended state, and with the help of aerospace transport aircraft, supplied various materials. Among them, more than 300 tons of fresh water need to be replenished. More than 100 tons of various types of food need to be replenished. More than 100 tons of other daily necessities. The largest amount is the ionization working fluid, which needs to be supplemented by more than 2,000 tons, plus high-strength trawls, cables and other supplies. A total of more than 3,000 tons of supplies were added, making the Jontian the largest and heaviest human ship in space. However, it is not known how long this record can be maintained. In the process of replenishing supplies, in the control cockpit inside the Jontian, Chun Yu, who holds the position of chief deputy, talked about a lighter topic in order to relieve everyone's tension. Brothers, I have discovered how a man can become outstanding and how he can achieve success as quickly as possible. I have personally tested it, and it is effective. And I guarantee that it will work with a high probability. These words attracted the attention of all the crew members, who all wanted to hear what he could say. That means having no woman in your heart and drawing your sword to the god of nature, Chin Yu said with a smile. I was dumped by my girlfriend of eight years, and I joined the Xingyuan group not long after. The captain was cheated on by his wife, and at the age of 42, he can still show such strength that we are convinced. Our second officer Wang Chang, who has been a dog licker for 10 years, but still has no results. And once he wakes up, he is recognized as a test taker. And the 10 people who pass the exam at the astronaut training base are all single. Brothers, don't these examples support my conclusion? What? These words immediately aroused heated discussion among everyone, with some nodding and some shaking their heads. It does make sense. Without women, Learning efficiency can be improved a lot. I worry every day that the female supporter will take advantage of me while I'm away. This takes up a lot of my energy. It seems that it would be better to separate. I have been single for 30 years, but I was ranked 29th in the exam and almost didn't get selected. However, if we talked about female votes, I might not even be selected in the first round. There are 30 men here, and 16 of them have no partners. I wonder if we will become more popular if we come back with that platinum comet and become the heroes of all mankind. Okay, stop chatting. Cheer up and do your job well, Captain Zhang Jianxiong said with a serious smile. Yes. Chapter 193 Successful Fishing A few hours later, 
supplies have been replenished. The weight of the Jantian increased to more than 5,500 tons, reaching full load, but more than 40 tons became the working fluid for acceleration and deceleration. Then adjust the direction, and with a power supply of light sail reflectors, photovoltaic arrays and energy relay satellites, it will rush towards the 1973 by 6 Platinum Comet, about 700 million kilometers away, in a certain direction. The light power received and effectively used by Jantian reaches 1 million kilowatts which can propel a mining spacecraft weighing more than 5,000 tons at an acceleration of more than 1 g. The plasma flow ejected by the engine exceeds 3,000 km per second. This is it is still a high consumption mode that pursues maximum thrust without saving working fluid. More than three hours later, the speed of Jontian exceeds 100 km per second. According to the acceleration and distance formula, Jontian has crossed the moon's orbit and traveled 500,000 km away. At this time, the irradiation accuracy of conventional light beam energy supply has begun to decline, and the light diffusion rate has increased significantly, making it difficult to maintain. It's time for the halo reflector to come in handy. So the several energy supply light beams were first withdrawn, and then the light beams were shot to the large trumpet-shaped entrance of the star ring reflector. Through the convergent reflection pipe hundreds of meters long, they converged into a slender and straight light beam, and then were shot accurately. On the snail's back of the Jantian, at this time, the Jantian exited the violent acceleration stage. Most of the ion engines were shut down. Only a few dozen special engines emitted a blue light and produced about 500 tons of thrust, allowing the Jantian to slowly accelerate at an acceleration of 0.1 g. Forward, these dozen special engines can accelerate the ion flow to 5,000 km per second in medium and low thrust modes and have huge specific impulses thus greatly saving working fluid and avoiding insufficient supply. Because the energy that the Jantian can obtain is unlimited, but the working fluid it carries is limited. This has become a limiting factor. However, after capturing the 1973 by 6 Platinum Comet, Jantian can directly use the material on the comet as a working fluid to propel the mining spacecraft. Although the solid working fluid is not easy to use, it can indeed be used, but the ionization rate is lower than it's just too small. That is to say, as long as you arrive and come into contact with the 1973 Platinum Comet, you don't have to worry about running out of working fluid. And you don't have to worry even if it is almost used up. In the deep and endless dark space, Jontian mining spacecraft. In the control cockpit, looking at the screen in front of me, I felt the microgravity under my feet. In fact, this was not gravity, but simulated gravity brought by 0.1 g acceleration. However, Captain Zhang Jinxiong felt that this mission was much easier and more comfortable than he imagined. It was not the same as the space station. Like the astronauts, it is not very convenient to eat, bathe or go to the toilet. It may be difficult for ordinary people to adapt. However, with the power supply of the star ring reflector, the microgravity on the Jantian will always exist. It will accelerate to more than 800 kilometers per second in about five days. And then the acceleration will be reduced to 0.05 g and continue sailing. In five days, the maximum speed of the spacecraft will exceed 1,000 km per second, reaching an unimaginable high speed. The last five days were a process of constant deceleration, reducing the speed with a negative acceleration of 0.15 to 0.25 g. The crew living area in the Jantian only needs to be rotated 180 degrees to be in a microgravity environment again. That's right. The crew living area is a spherical rotatable area, although it is only 20 meters in diameter and the internal space is like a submarine cabin. It seems quite small after accommodating 30 crew members. However, it can still be adapted, at least in a microgravity environment, which is the same as on the ground. There is not much difference between work and life, and it is definitely much better than a completely weightless space station. I don't know when artificial gravity technology will achieve a breakthrough. But using the simplest acceleration and deceleration principles, we have this experience, which shows that as long as there is unlimited energy, almost anything can be obtained using both clever and clumsy methods. One crew member sighed. Currently, the group space energy facilities have only collected 100 million kW of power generation. Compared with the total radiation power of the sun, it is simply negligible. If the group can collect hundreds of billions of kW of power, let alone a platinum comet, even a dwarf planet with a diameter of thousands of kilometers. We can also drag it. We just need multiple mining spacecraft to pull hard together. 
Yes. The value of a platinum comet is several trillion. But the diameter of this comet is only more than 800 meters. If it is a planet with a diameter of more than 800 kilometers, I wonder how much it would be worth. Hundreds trillion should be no problem. And there are many such dwarf planets in our solar system. Right. There are Ceres, Vesta, Pallas, Callisto, Callisto, etc. But these dwarf planets contain more light elements and a lot of water ice. So they are not necessarily very valuable. Said crew member Yu Hao. Water resources in space are valuable. Right. Another crew member said. Bring these water ice resources to the moon. Mars. To space cities. And even to the desert areas of our blue star that are the most water scarce. We can sell them for at least 100 yuan a ton. One trip of ours if you pull 100 million tons. You will get 10 billion in revenue. Isn't this called making a profit? Yes. Water ice resources are also very precious resources and can be sold at high prices. Whether it is industry, agriculture, or daily life, our human lives are inseparable from water. The demand in all aspects is very large. And it contains considerable business opportunities. So what about the hydrogen in Jupiter's atmosphere? It is said that more than 80% of the composition of Jupiter is hydrogen. And the same is true for Saturn. Their hydrogen content is so high, and the weight is hundreds of times that of the blue star. If such huge hydrogen resources are exploited, can we use it to sell it at a suitable price? Crew member Xiao Beeching asked. Hydrogen has a wide range of uses. It can be used as a raw material in industry to reduce various metal and non-metal oxides to obtain various raw materials and water. If hydrogen is transported to the moon and Mars, it can replace the role of water, using hydrogen to generate a large amount of water. It can also be consumed as fuel, or to replenish hydrogen for hydrogen fuel cells. This is also a green energy with a wide range of uses and great effects. However, hydrogen is not easy to store, has low safety, and is still some way away from mature utilization. But as technology improves, these problems will definitely be solved. Well, there is no need to argue anymore. No matter what materials and resources they are, they are all valuable. The difference is only the quantity and price, but it will not affect its own value. The mission of us interstellar miners is to humankind, we will mine whatever is scarce and needed, so that mankind can get out of the plight of scarcity and gain great wealth and resources. Only in this way will our mission be accomplished, Captain Zhang Jianxiong said, ending the debate. Soon, the expedited voyage, which lasted 10 days, was over. Then enter the deceleration stage. The distance to Comet 1973 by 6 Platinum is also getting closer. 100 million kilometers, 50 million kilometers, 20 million kilometers. Only the last 5 million kilometers remain. The Platinum Comet with a small tail appeared in the surveillance screen of the Jiantian. Zhang Jinxiong and others can already see that the meteorite, which is more than 800 meters in diameter, has a pitted surface with silver and light golden luster, confirming that it has a very high metal content, a solid and stable structure, and an internal metal core. It is estimated that there are even very few non-metallic impurities, and it is easy to smelt a large amount of the precious metal platinum comet, which is worthy of its name. It also drags dozens of small meteorites at its tail, ranging from a few meters to tens of meters in diameter. Experts speculate that these meteorites should be stripped from the main structure of the platinum comet. The content of precious elements is not high, and the total weight does not exceed 3 meters, thousand tons, and contains a small amount of water ice resources. We capture the big meteorites and use the small meteorites to replenish the working medium. We pack them all, big and small. The whole family needs to be neat and tidy. First mate Chin Yu said excitedly. And the other crew members all agreed and thought this arrangement was good and very important. The distance between the two sides is less than 1 million kilometers. The Jiantian, which had decelerated to less than 50 kilometers per second, began a period of violent deceleration under the power of the light beam. It quickly dropped to zero and even accelerated in reverse. It was in the same direction as the platinum comet and the speed was also higher. Be consistent. After another day passed, October 2nd, the distance between the two sides narrowed to less than 5,000 meters, and the crew members could clearly see the size, shape and surface pits of the platinum meteorite with their naked eyes. However, the working fluid in the Jontian's working fluid cabin has dropped to more than 500 tons, with only one quarter left, and must be replenished. The space work boat is dispatched. First catch small meteorites and replenish the working medium for the spacecraft. 
Captain Zhang Jianxiong gave an order. For single pilot ellipsoid shaped spacecraft are dispatched. Each carried a small net and headed straight for the small meteorite behind the main comet. They then launched the net bag and quickly covered it. Meteorites with a diameter of less than 50 meters could not escape the clutches. As for the energy supply, John Tian can launch four 5,000 kW low power energy supply light beams. Then, small meteorites, like fish, were captured and dragged over by the spacecraft. If they are less than 3 meters in diameter, they can be directly thrown into the raw material processing channel and crushed. If it is directly larger than 3 meters, it will be caught with high energy laser first, and then put into the processing channel for crushing. This work continued for nearly a day. John Tian successfully replenished about 3,000 tons of solid powder working fluid, and also obtained about 200 kilograms of gold. This was separated during the screening process of the working fluid, but only single phase gold could be obtained. And chemical separation is not yet available. Ability. So there are a lot of platinum, silver, copper, nickel and other elements that can only be wasted. But it doesn't matter. The main body of the platinum comet is still there. As long as they drag this big guy back, their mission will be completed. So after supplementing the quality, throw out the big trawl and start catching the big fish. Zhang Jianxiong gave another order. Wow. A giant net was released by the spacecraft. For small spaceships. Each holding a corner. Spread out to cover the platinum comet. The diameter of the giant net's net bag was thousands of meters. And the length of the thick cable was 10 kilometers long. Which was completely sufficient. A few hours later. The main body of the platinum comet was caught successfully. The command and control center on the blue star side suddenly erupted in enthusiastic cheers. And the staff stood up and applauded with extremely excited faces. The Zhantian has captured the Platinum Comet and is about to return. Please increase the power supply. We want to return with the Comet, Captain Zhang Jianxiong said. Okay. The energy supply power of the Star Ring Reflector has been increased to 5 million kW. It is expected to be delivered in half an hour. Please be prepared. The technicians do some work. In space, the number of beams of light that hit the bell mouth of the Star Ring Reflector increased instantly and finally ended up as an extremely bright and thin red beam, heading straight for the Jantian. Chapter 194 worth 10 trillion. Half an hour later, the red beam, which spanned a distance of about 600 million kilometers, accurately hit the snail sh, l-shaped back of the Jantian, with an error of no more than 10 meters. The Jantian, which has received sufficient energy supply, has made some preparations and sent the planned return route to the command and control center on the Azure Star in advance so that the star ring reflector can follow the return route. Time and acceleration. Data to achieve accurate energy supply. Subsequently, the 150 high-thrust ion engines at the bottom of the Jontian entered explosive working mode at the same time, all ejecting blue-purple tail flames, generating a huge pulling force of 15,000 tons. This pulling force not only causes the Jontian to start to accelerate, it also pulls the platinum comet weighing about 600,000 tons and changes its speed and navigation direction along with it. However, because the combined mass of the spacecraft and the comet is too large, even if the pulling force is very considerable, the overall acceleration is only 0.0025 g, which is very weak. Under such acceleration, if you sail continuously for one day, the overall speed will only increase by 2.16 km per second, counting the comet's original speed of 28 km per second. It is estimated that after three months, it will be difficult to accelerate to 300 kilometers per second, and it will not be able to reach the vicinity of the blue star. However, the most valuable thing about a platinum comet is only its metal core. Most of the material in the outer SH. L is worthless and useless. It has little value, and will only slow down the speed. So during the return journey, the crew of the Jontian will control the spacecraft to process the platinum comet in advance. Dig out and cut out the inorganic salts. Silicates water ice and other substances, and then crush them it is then introduced into the working fluid cabin to replenish the working fluid for the Jantian, and is finally ejected by the engine in the form of ions. The four spaceships can mine 30 tons at a time and can make 50 trips a day, processing a total of 6,000 tons of low-value materials, all of which are consumed as reverse thrust media. The reason why they are not thrown away directly is because it will bring the problem of space junk. That is, the mass of the platinum comet decreases by 1% every day. The engine thrust is basically unchanged and even enters the extreme explosive state. And the thrust is increased by another 
The premise is that excessive consumption of working fluid is not concerned. So one goes down, and the other goes up. Acceleration is improving every day, and speed is increasing faster and faster. 20 days later. October 22nd. The overall speed of Jontian and the Platinum Comet has been increased to about 110 km per second. It can travel nearly 10 million kilometers in one day, and is expected to arrive near the Blue Star in 50 days. But not enough. This speed is still far from enough. We have to continue accelerating and strive to reach the vicinity of Azure Star within 30 days, without having to consider how to slow down. At that time, Xing Yuan Group will send dozens of aerospace transport aircraft to assist in violent deceleration and achieve the final big break. After receiving the instructions from the headquarters, the crew members on the Jantian immediately increased the workload of the spacecraft. The low-value cometary material processed every day increased to more than 8,000 tons. If a small amount of metal material was excavated, it would be crushed. It was screened out and transferred to the spacecraft warehouse. Within a few days, it exceeded 1,500 tons, filling the warehouse. Then it had to occupy two-thirds of the working fluid cabin as a temporary warehouse. It is expected to accommodate a total of 3,500 tons of high-value minerals. Another 20 days passed. November 21st. The mass of the Platinum Comet has been reduced to just over 300,000 tons. And it cannot be divided any further. Because what is left is almost all metal alloys with very few non-metallic components. It has also become more difficult to physically divide it using a robotic arm. No need to make divisions. Then using various component analysis equipment to analyze the metal core. The proportion of the main components is as follows. Nickel element 37.5%. Iron 18.6%. Platinum element 9.8%. Copper element 4.9%. Silver element 2.7%. Gold element 0.6%. Rare earth elements 0.3%. Silicon, oxygen, carbon and other low value elements content 20%. Then calculate based on the metal prices on the blue star. More than 110,000 tons of nickel, the raw material for stainless steel, is worth 100,000 per ton and can be sold for more than 11 billion. More than 55,000 tons of iron are worth 1,000 yuan per ton and can be sold for more than 55 million yuan. About 30,000 tons of platinum element has a market price of 300 yuan per gram and a ton price of 300 million yuan, with a total value of 9 trillion yuan. About 15,000 tons of copper with a market price of 60,000 yuan per ton, is worth about 900 million. About 8,000 tons of silver have a market price of 3 yuan per gram, 3 million yuan per ton, and a value of approximately 24 billion. About 1,800 tons of gold. The market price is 500 yuan per gram, 500 million yuan per ton. The total value of gold is about 0.9 trillion. The remaining approximately 900 tons of rare earths and other elements are worth around 500 million which is negligible. In addition, the crew of the Jantian collected 3,500 tons of minerals and several tons of gold. The values of the above minerals are all added together. It actually reached 9.95 trillion. There is absolutely no problem in saying it is 10 trillion. This is much more than the experts initially estimated. The amount of platinum contained in the comet has doubled. It can be seen that the experts' estimate is obviously conservative. This platinum comet is indeed a real one. Platinum Comet Xing Yuan Group has opened a super big blind box. And the income it can earn is obviously more than originally imagined. This is the excitement of the space fishing mining industry. Because there will really be surprises beyond surprises. At this time, the combined speed of John Tian and Platinum Comet has increased to more than 230 kilometers per second. And it can cover nearly 20 million kilometers in one day. At this moment, the distance between the spacecraft and the comet and the blue star has shrunk to less than 250 million kilometers and it is still accelerating slowly. It is expected to arrive near the Blue Star in 10 days, and it must be prepared to violently slow down. Xing Yuan Group also dispatched a large number of aerospace transport aircraft and energy relay satellites in advance to a position about 10 million kilometers away from the Blue Star, and was fully prepared to respond. As soon as the Platinum Comet arrived, they would swarm up. Violent braking will force it to decelerate to zero within two days, which means preparing for millions of tons of pulling force. This is a big challenge for Xing Yuan Group. But it is not a big problem. It is also very worthwhile. Because it is a platinum comet worth about 10 trillion. November 28th. There is still about 100 million kilometers to go. The Jantian. 
towing the 1973 by 6 Platinum Comet, will be able to reach the vicinity of the Blue Star. Of course, it is not aiming at the Blue Star. Even if the brakes are not slowed down in time, it will still be far away from the Blue Star. The last 1 million kilometers passed by. There is no risk of hitting the Blue Star. After all, once it hits the Blue Star, the destruction of mankind is possible. Even so, after the distance has been reduced to this extent, space agencies from various countries all reacted. They used various sensors and equipment to notice the existence of the Jantian and the Platinum Comet, and then calculated their orbital parameters. They suddenly broke out in a cold sweat. What does Xing Yuan Group want to do? Why did they suddenly send a spaceship to pull a large meteorite over? Although judging from the current orbit, the probability of collision is very low. But if the star source group does something and causes the meteorite to turn around, all mankind will be in danger. Therefore, after the space agencies of various countries expressed serious concerns and protests, and then exposed it through the media, it immediately attracted the attention of global public opinion and caused huge panic. Netizens around the world were having heated discussions and speculating on what the star source group wanted to do. Chapter 195 Amazing Wealth Global Excitement Netizens have made various speculations and many conspiracy theories have emerged. What does the Xingyuan group want to do? Plan to kill most of the human race and then implement corporate rule? With a speed of more than 200 kilometers per second and a weight of hundreds of thousands of tons. Once it hits the blue star, it will have an explosion equivalent of several billion tons. No worse than the meteorite that wiped out the dinosaurs. Is this a form of extortion by the Xingyuan group? Asking countries around the world to pay money? If the Xingyuan group does not meet its requirements, it will directly come over to them. Even if they don't ask for money, they will definitely make other demands. If you don't agree, it will all be over. This is a threat that is more powerful than nuclear deterrence. And the power of the impact is much more terrifying than nuclear weapons. Because nuclear weapons all over the world explode together. It is impossible to destroy mankind. But the meteorite strike of the star source group can certainly do it. It's better to agree to the conditions proposed by Xingyuan group. Whether it's money or other requirements. Agree to them all. I don't want to die or leave this wonderful world. Yes, it is better to surrender to Xingyuan group. Our country's governance is so bad. It is better to let a company manage us. At least Xingyuan group has a lot of energy and countless resources. I call on Xingyuan group to take over our land is full of despair and corruption said a netizen from a small country? These are international public opinions. Netizens in China are generally relatively calm and do not believe that the meteorite will turn a corner and hit the blue star. The possibility is zero. What they speculated more about was what kind of big move did the Xingyuan group want to unleash with such a big fanfare? Didn't Xingyuan group say that it would not enter the space mining industry? Why did it break its promise and bring a large meteorite here? I think this is not an ordinary space meteorite but a special meteorite with huge economic value. Although the revenue of Xingyuan Group's various businesses can earn several billions a day, this meteorite is worth at least hundreds of billions or tens of millions. The concept of 100 million is worthy of the Xingyuan Group's costly actions. I guessed it. This must be a very high-value meteorite, which is full of diamonds, gold and the like. Then the return on investment of game players will be paid as soon as possible. The past few years have been the expansion period of Xingyuan Group and the debt it is getting bigger and bigger, and there is no hope of fulfilling the promise. But Brother Xing is not willing to keep investors waiting for a long time. Brother Xing, there is no need for this. We are not in a hurry. If we really can't realize the return of funds, then allocate some shares to us. Just okay. We are very patient in investing, and we are focused on the long-term future of Xing Yuan Group. Yeah, that's the bad thing about Brother Xing. He always doesn't want to owe others anything. He never accepts equity investment or financing. He doesn't want to enjoy the convenience brought by the modern financial industry. He doesn't add any leverage. I can only say that he has this kind of old farmer mentality. It's too outdated and needs to be changed. Indeed, if Xing Yuan Group is willing to go public, it will immediately become a company with a market value of over 10 trillion and then use this money to carry out commercial expansion, not to mention the stars in the solar system. Dozens of surrounding stars can also occupy and develop. You're right. Brother Xing's pattern has not been opened yet. We can only see this one star in the solar system. In fact, there are more than 200 billion stars in the Milky Way alone. It would take a 100,000 years to occupy them all. Instead of thinking about monopolizing instead of one sun, consider touching the entire Milky Way. 
or even more galaxies. November 29th. Morning. Xing Yuan Group Headquarters Building. In the President's Office. Li Xingyang received a call. The call came from Zhao Chonghong, the leader of the aerospace industry group, with a hint of inciting an accusation. Xiao Li, your company sent a spacecraft to capture the 1973 by 6 comet. Why didn't you notify our space agency in advance? Without even saying a word. They dragged something weighing hundreds of thousands of tons over and put it there. Countries around the world are frightened. The leaders of our space agencies received dozens of calls and finally dispelled the concerns of space agencies of various countries. However, we are still kept in the dark and know nothing about this matter. Li, can you explain to me what is going on? Faced with the questioning of leader Zhao, it's just to get some high-value minerals back. It's the same nature as going to the moon for mining. It's nothing surprising and not a big deal. So I don't want to do it in a big way so that everyone knows about it. And I don't want to disturb the work and work of the leaders. Rest. I just didn't expect to scare some foreigners. I think it's all a fuss, and I have never seen the world. Fortunately, Leader Zhao, you have not been influenced by them, and have not compromised our country's demeanor, as a great country, and a powerful aerospace country. Li Xingyang flattered him twice. That's enough. Stop being sloppy. Tell me truthfully what's going on. Astronomers say that Comet 1973 by 6 contains a large amount of platinum, which may be worth trillions. Good guy. Your star source the group secretly captured this comet? Xiao Li, tell me honestly, how much money did you make from this one? Do you want to be alone again? This is not possible. Xiao Li, although the solar system is big, it should belong to the living space of all mankind does not only belong to the Xingyuan group. Now that the public reaction is so great, how do you think it will end? How can we dispel everyone's fear and doubts? Zhao Chanlong said, Leader Zhao, I have to correct you. First of all, Space is an unclaimed land. It is not a living space for all mankind. Only those who have the ability to enter space are qualified to be masters. This may not be correct. But it is it's the truth. Li Xingyang said. As for the public response, as long as the official issues an authoritative announcement to refute the rumors, the heat will subside in a few days. So I hope you, Leader Zhao, can help with this matter and explain it more. And wait until the comet comes back to slow down. Once the brakes are applied, the online rumors will disappear. It's just a matter of a few days. Xiao Li, you are creating a problem and asking us to help wipe your ass. Of course we can help, but you have to tell me the truth. How much is the Comet 1973 by 6 captured by your company? Tell me, are you going to get rich? Xiao Li, I have no other meaning. I just want to evaluate that if catching meteorites and comets is particularly profitable. Our aerospace industry group will also do it to alleviate the more serious debt problem. Zhao Chanlong said. It's okay to answer this question. But I have to confirm first. The country's 10-year tax-free policy for the space mining industry should also apply to the capture of comets and meteorites. No matter how much they are worth. I don't have to pay taxes. Right. Li Xingyang asked. Xiao Li. You are a very good person. And you will not let go of the eagle until you see the rabbit. Zhao Chonghong didn't know whether to laugh or cry. So he still had to call his superiors and inquire. More than an hour later, I received instructions from the top leaders. Space minerals involving huge value do not need to pay taxes. But they must be transparent and subject to certain supervision. And the official has the right of first refusal. Zhao Chonghong relayed this instruction. Expecting that it would arouse Li Xingyang's displeasure and make him feel unhappy. Unexpectedly, Li Xingyang said, the country enjoys the right of first refusal. There is no problem at all. But I am worried that the country does not have the strength to buy it. You may not be able to afford it. Ha uh ha. -huh. Zhao Chonghong smiled and said with a chuckle. Zhao Li, if the country can't buy it, then who else can buy it? The money printing machine is in the hands of the country. As long as it is something of value. Hundreds of billions can be printed. In exchange, these banknotes are valuable. And with the current size of our country, they will not cause much inflation. But the market value of this comet is estimated to be around 10 trillion. Li Xingyong said. The country prints so much money for me. And if I spend it all in a short time, it will definitely cause big fluctuations in prices. Right. I just don't sell it at the market price. But sell it at a 50% discount. With 5 trillion yuan. It is estimated that the country you can't take it out. Right. Hack. Zhao Chonghong couldn't help but swore and said with a red face, 
If that's the case, then you really can't afford it. Shaoli, it's wrong for you to eat alone. Space meteorites. The aerospace industry group also has to organize manpower to catch them. You must provide convenience and agree to cooperate. Our country is burdened with a huge debt. Its development has been restricted over the years. And its hands are tied. We dare not increase the debt too much. And do not want to leave a mess for future generations that is difficult to clean up. But as long as more by capturing some high-value meteorites, the debt problem may be solved. We also want to be like your Xingyuan group. Travel lightly and develop quickly. Xiaoli can help. Otherwise, we can only consider building our own space energy facilities. I can help. Energy is provided for free. And technical support can be provided. However, I will share 30% of the income from the meteorite. When this business becomes unprofitable, I will not take the share and will only charge the electricity fee. Li Xingyun said. Xiaoli, you are charging us taxes in reverse. 30% is too high. Zhao Chonghong frowned. If it doesn't work, forget it. Just wait for another two or three years. As long as Xingyuan Group is not short of money at all, I will be more generous here. How about we discuss this here and discuss it carefully in a few days? Xiaoli, don't be in a hurry when talking about cooperation. You can bargain and discuss it carefully. I think as long as both parties are sincere, we can definitely negotiate a cooperation. Well, that's what I mean too. Let's discuss it over there and have a good talk in a few days. Both parties ended the call. Three days later, a negotiating delegation sent by the Ministry of Science and Technology and the Space Administration arrived in Suong City and negotiated with Xingyuan Group for a whole day, successfully reaching a number of cooperations on space meteorite fishing. The specific terms of cooperation have not been made public. In short, both parties have obtained the results they wanted and made certain concessions. It can be described as everyone is happy. At this time, John Tian and the Platinum Comet are less than 20 million kilometers away from the Blue Star and are expected to arrive within two days. Precision detection equipment and satellites from various countries around the world conducted various detections on the Platinum Comet, allowing top scientists to study and analyze it. They actually came up with a rough composition ratio and estimated the Platinum Comet. Comet specific value. 10 trillion soft girl coins or $2 trillion, or 2.5 trillion euros. The extremely accurate estimate is mainly due to the fact that the metal core of the platinum comet has been exposed, and the distance is very close. It is not difficult to obtain accurate data using equipment such as high-precision spectrometers, and 10 trillion, which is more than the annual GDP of 90% of the countries in the world, is an unimaginable and astonishing wealth. Even the wealth of the world's richest man cannot reach this value. Then, Countries around the world have gone crazy and have made representations one after another, asking Xingyuan Group to share its wealth. Global public opinion has also exploded, and people are discussing more enthusiastically, focusing all their attention on space. Put it on the Jantian, that is about to return and the Platinum Comet worth 10 trillion. Chapter 196 The Hero of All Mankind December 2nd, 2028 In Space the Jontian dragging the 1973 by 6 Platinum Comet has entered the terminal deceleration stage. But at this time, there was not much working fluid left in the working fluid cabin of the Jontian. And it was difficult to replenish it. It could only work in a low thrust state. And the deceleration effect was weak. Fortunately, the dozens of air and space transport aircraft and multiple energy relay satellites responsible for the response at this time successfully achieved rendezvous with the Jontian and maintained the same speed. Immediately, the aerospace transport aircraft fired out anchor cables one after another, piercing into the interior of the 1973 by 6 Platinum Comet to ensure that it was strong enough and would not fall off. Then, with the energy supplied by the accompanying energy relay satellite, they pulled hard together and violently decelerated, including the energy relay satellites responsible for energy supply. They are also connected to the trawl through a rope, erupting hundreds of tons of pulling force and playing a certain role. The main energy channel near the Azure Star plays a major role in energy supply. The nearly 3 billion kilowatt hours of stored light energy is expected to be used for deceleration to ensure a sufficient supply of energy. The total pulling force exceeds 500,000 tons. In just one day, the speed of the Platinum Comet was reduced to less than 100 kilometers per second. But the storage speed is still huge. And when it reaches the range of 1 million kilometers from the Blue Star, it is about to pass by the Blue Star or even escape, 
and all the efforts will be in vain. Fortunately, Xing Yuan group was well prepared. At the point where they were about to pass each other, five space blocking nets were set up in succession. They were all woven with high strength nylon materials, which were not only lightweight, but could also withstand huge impacts. Of course, the five way net is very light and does not have a good deceleration effect. However, these blocking nets extend a large number of elastic ropes, and a large number of simple reverse thrust rockets are hung on the ends, which can generate huge thrust in the reverse direction. A second batch of dozens of aerospace transport aircraft and transport spaceships were also prepared. They all pulled on the ropes and swarmed forward to help slow down. The total pulling force exceeded 1 million tons. In short, after a lot of effort and cost, December 4th, around 8 a.m., the Jantian and the metal core of the Platinum Comet not only arrived at the Lagrange point less than 100,000 kilometers away from the Blue Star, but also began the work of segmenting the comet, using high-energy lasers to cut it into pieces, and then pass through the space the space transport aircraft and transport spaceships are transported to the space factory for processing. And there is no need to send them to the Blue Star ground for processing. Only the final high-purity nickel, iron, platinum, gold, silver, copper, rare earth and other metal products need to be sent to the ground for sale and enter the industrial and general consumer markets. As for the specific sales, Li Xingyang has already made arrangements. Among them, nickel, iron, copper, rare earth metals, etc., will all be sold to the state at 60% of the market price. This matter has been negotiated. And then only the money and goods will be paid gold and silver, two metals that can be used as hard currency, are all sold to the treasury at 70% of the market price. In the end, nearly 30,000 tons of platinum, one-third of which was sold to the state at half the market price, was mainly used for industrial purposes. Even the country cannot afford the remaining 20,000 tons of platinum, so Xingyuan Group can only handle the liquidation by itself, no matter what method is used. But this is an amount of 20,000 tons not 200 tons or 2,000 tons, even if it is sold at half the market price of 150 yuan per gram, multiplied by 20,000 tons. That is 3 trillion yuan, equivalent to 1 60th of China's GDP, and equivalent to 1 20th of the annual consumption data of Chinese people. But if calculated based on the median per capita consumption, more than 1.4 billion Chinese people would have to spend one month's worth of living expenses to buy up all this platinum metal. Obviously this is unrealistic. And this thing cannot be eaten or drunk. And has limited uses. No one will have nothing to do and spend money to buy so much platinum. What to do? Li Xingyang thought of three ways. The first is to take advantage of the fact that the public attention is still high and let the crew of the Jiantian conduct a global live broadcast to sell goods. Consumers, both domestic and foreign, can buy it at a price of 150 yuan per gram. If the purchase amount is more than 1 kilogram, the price is only 100 yuan per gram. The second is to cooperate with banks to issue a large number of platinum commemorative coins. Each coin weighs 45 grams and has a face value of 5,000 yuan. It is well made and can be used as currency or for collection. The bank can recycle it at the original price at any time without worrying about depreciation. It is very suitable for those who customers who like to store large amounts of money at home. But banknotes are easily damaged. Platinum coins do not have this problem. The third is to launch a variety of platinum peripheral products such as platinum-plated cars, airplanes, platinum dinner plates, water cups, commemorative figures, etc. Anyway, as long as they can be sold, we can produce any product, and the price can also be negotiated. It is not impossible to descend further. There is no way. There is too much platinum obtained this time, which is equivalent to the total output of mankind for 40 or 50 years. A price collapse is inevitable. If the mining spacecraft gets another platinum meteorite over time, the already collapsed platinum, the metal market, may collapse again and even tend to become a cabbage. But no matter what, at this stage, Xing Yuan Group has no choice but to rack its brains and monetize all the platinum metal it has on hand. This is a top priority. So it started on December 5th, in space about 100,000 kilometers away from the surface of the Blue Star. The crew of the Jantian, who started the global live broadcast, started their live broadcast selling goods. Soon, viewers exceed 100 million. Audiences exceed 500 million. The audience exceeded the 1 billion mark. And the growth rate slowed down. Be surprised. Zhang Jianxiong, Chun Yu, Wang Chang and other crew members were very surprised. 
They did not expect that so many viewers would flood into the live broadcast room. To describe it as open to all mankind is not an exaggeration. They have all become the new top internet celebrities. He also became a hero for all mankind because of their feet this time. The stocks of all aerospace-related companies in China have soared more than 10 times. In a short period of time, more than 100 trillion hot money has poured into the aerospace industry, which means that the national economy is about to be revitalized. And the trend of conservatism has been was swept away. There are countless countries abroad that have formulated strategies to enter space. Even if they do not have the technical strength, they can still find ways to get a share of the pie through cooperation, teamwork, etc. They must not fall behind in this new era with the influx of hot money. It is also in the trillions level. In short, when everyone realizes that space contains countless wealth and opportunities, and that it is really possible to get rich in one day, the energy that will burst out will be unimaginable. A new wave of space gold rush has begun. And the momentum has begun. And no one can stop it. In this sense, Zhang Jianxiong, Chun Yu, Wang Chong and other crew members are the openers of the new era. They are indeed heroes of all mankind. They are well deserved. And their stories will surely be recorded in the history books of human civilization. And each of them has become a rich man. Xing Yuan Group has awarded each of them a bonus of 100 million. The country has made the bonus tax free and awarded them the honorary title of Chinese adventure pioneer. It can be said that they have gained both fame and fortune. They will become famous figures in their respective genealogies, bringing glory to their ancestors. Cool? This kind of harvest of fame and fortune can only be described with one word, pleasant. However, Zhang Jianxiong and others did not get carried away. They were very cooperative with the live broadcast sales task assigned to them by the group. They acted very enthusiastically and lively in front of the camera, telling all kinds of interesting things they experienced in space. Whenever the global audience heard when I am in a good mood, I will sell goods at the right time, and I have a good grasp of the rhythm. Let's learn about platinum necklaces platinum commemorative coins and various platinum products. Anyone can buy them. The price is calculated in soft sister coins. If you buy less, it will only cost 150 yuan per gram. If you buy more, it will only cost 100 per gram. It is absolutely genuine. It's absolutely worth the money. It's impossible to buy it at this price on Azure Star. And it can't even be purchased at the cost. Why are you still hesitating? Hurry up and place an order to buy it. Zhang Jinxiong said in his rich voice. Yes, there are many concerns in the barrage that platinum may depreciate in the future. Absolutely not. There may be only one platinum comet in the entire solar system. There may be a second one. But it is very difficult to find. It takes a lot of luck. And platinum is widely used and has a high value. Even if the holding amount increases by another million tons, there will still be no serious depreciation. Chun Yu, the first mate, said with assurance. Everyone, buy with confidence. I can guarantee you that the currencies of all countries in the world may depreciate in the future. Only precious metal resources such as platinum will never depreciate as long as they are held in your hands. Because in the solar system, gold, silver, platinum, etc., the content of the elements is not high, and it is difficult to obtain them. With the development of the economy, in the future, the annual income of each of us will easily exceed 300,000. 500,000, or 1 million. By then, let alone 100 yuan per gram of platinum. That is you can easily buy a house worth 100,000 yuan per square meter. And the price is unlikely to fall. From now on, everyone will have to pay at least 50 yuan to eat a bowl of noodles in a restaurant. Do you still have to worry about the price of platinum metal falling? I think the price may rise. The second officer, Wang Chong, tried his best to deceive. And the audience was stunned for a while among more than a billion viewers, in a community in Suong City. When he saw the familiar face in the live video, 14-year-old Zhang Haitao opened his eyes wide and said in surprise, Dad, he actually appeared on TV and became a hero for all mankind. I also I thought he was going to be a sailor again. But unexpectedly, he became the captain of a spaceship. Although he is still often away from home, I feel that he is now qualified to be my idol. I also saw in the video that my father Zhang Jinxiong raised a piece of raw stone in his hand and said excitedly that it was a star for his son. Zhang Haitao's eyes wet and he immediately decided to study hard, be obedient and sensible, and never mess with anyone again. Dad was angry and stopped fighting with him. And the other side, in a certain house in a certain city, 
a woman about 40 years old, was taking a little girl with her. After seeing the middle-aged man in the video, she saw his high-spirited look, and the milk bottle in her hand dropped to the ground with a clang, stood up and leaned in front of the video. Tears fell and said, Husband, I was wrong. I shouldn't have divorced you. My life now is not good at all. It was only after the divorce that I realized how good you are. I want to remarry you. I want to come back to you. Can you give me another chance? When the first mate Ching Yu and the second mate Wang Chan appeared in the live video, an account appeared in the barrage each with comments like, I was wrong. Can we get back together and give me another chance? I regret that I lost you. This time I will take the initiative to get you back. Okay. In other words, hoping to attract the attention of the anchor. Because these contents were viewed too frequently and were automatically banned by the system. Chin Yu and Wang Chan did not realize that they, who only focused on selling goods, would actually have women regretting and crying for them in a corner of the blue star. Chapter 197 Clear All Debts A few days later, December 10th, the Platinum Comet has been divided and about half of it has been processed by the Space Factory. And the rest will be processed within a few days. As for sales, the remaining 20,000 tons of platinum metal, although the crew of the Jantian worked hard to sell it on the live broadcast, only more than 5,000 tons were sold in more than 5 days. Sales will get worse later. The total sales volume is about 600 billion. And the purchase ratio of domestic and foreign consumers is half and half. This sales data is actually very good. Exceeding the sales volume of Tmall 11. It cannot be described as bleak. But the total amount of platinum is too much. The remaining 15,000 tons may end up in my own hands. However, on December 11th, after some negotiations with the leaders of several domestic banking institutions, all the remaining platinum metal was disposed of, sold to these banks at a low price of 100 yuan per gram. They will launch a platinum digital coin in addition to the platinum commemorative coin, which will have an encryption chip embedded inside to turn it into a platinum coin digital wallet. The initial deposit, the amount of deposit is 10,000 yuan in digital currency, which can be increased to a maximum of 100,000, and the minimum amount is zero. These platinum digital wallets can transfer funds to each other and can also be used for mobile payments on buses and subways. They can also be used in environments without network signals, even in the most backward areas, because it contains a full 50 grams of platinum metal, a total weight of about 65 grams. The platinum coin digital wallet can be directly used as a precious metal currency with a purchasing power of about 10,000 yuan. In this way, such a platinum coin can meet all usage scenarios at the same time is waterproof and fireproof, can be used all over the world, is lighter than a mobile phone, and will not leak personal information. It is simply perfect. If each of the 1.4 billion people in the country holds one, that would be a consumption of 7,000 tons of platinum. If extended to the world, it would be no problem to use up all 15,000 tons. So done. All have been cashed out. In addition, it is tax-free. So how much money is sold means how much money is received. So how much did Li Xingyang earn from this one? And was it enough to pay off all his debts? The specific accounting process will not be given, excluding the tens of billions of costs incurred in implementing the Platinum Miner Plan. This time, Xing Yuan Group's net income was 4.18 trillion. He immediately repaid the sum of principal and interest 985 billion owed to Industrial and Commercial Bank of China, leaving 3.195 trillion yuan. Let the financial staff do the work. A ding-dong sound. After this debt is paid off, Tang Chanyong, the president of the Industrial and Commercial Bank of China, immediately called and said in a very regretful tone, Mr. Li, I have never urged your group to repay money once. I have only borrowed money according to requests. And the interest rates are very low. Why rush to repay this money? Mr. Li, there is really no need to do this. This makes me very hurt. This it means that Mr. Li, you don't trust me very much and you don't believe in the strength and service level of ICBC. Mr. Lee, you can raise any opinions you have. As long as we can trust each other unconditionally, we can change whatever you say. Well, I have no objection to your bank. I just don't want to owe so much money. Too much debt leverage is not good, and it is also a risk to the bank. Everyone will be happy if the money is paid back. In the future, everyone will still cooperate, no matter whether it is saving money or borrowing money. How about giving priority to your bank? Li Xingyang said without missing a beat. Hey, Mr. Li, can you tell us about the next wave of expansion plans of Xingyuan Group? Will there be greater demand for borrowing money? 
Mr. Lee, I will give you the bottom line this time. The next wave of expansion will not affect you in group. No matter how big the expansion is, no matter how big the borrowing demand is, whether it is 3 trillion, 5 trillion, or 10 trillion, our bank will cover it all. It will still be the most preferential interest rate and conditions that no other bank can provide. Mr. Lee, we have us with the bank as your group's backing. No matter how fast it expands, there will be no problem. We have countless ammunition to help support it. Tang Chongyong still refused to give up. He hoped that Xing Yuan group could expand. He hoped that Mr. Lee would rise and not be too stable. He had discussed it many times with Mr. Gu from the headquarters and believed that radical expansion was the most fatal thing for Xing Yuan group. If Li Xingyang keeps this style unchanged, Xing Yuan group, with its debts growing larger and larger in another 20 or 30 years, will definitely encounter an extremely difficult crisis. I just didn't expect that Mr. Li was actually very stable and conservative, and even brought back a high-value meteorite from space, which made him and Boss Gu's wishful thinking come to nothing. And they both sighed helplessly in private. We will look at this later. There is not much demand for borrowing money at the moment. When the need arises, I will definitely continue to borrow money. Li Xingyang said ha ha and ended the call. Then, there is the return on investment from the players of the game. Galaxy, Energy Tycoon, which has all been cashed out to them. The total investment amount of players was 211.26 billion, and the highest was close to 250 billion. However, due to various reasons, some players withdrew their investment. Naturally, these players could not get 10 times the return. So you only need to pay 2.1126 trillion yuan. This made Li Xingyang feel a little sad. But he still asked the financial staff to pay it all. Because the investment of game players did play a huge role and cannot be ignored. Without these players with the funds contributed, it is impossible for Xing Yuan Group to go so smoothly in the early stage. After the players' investment returns are realized, there is still a cash flow of 1.0824 trillion. And Xing Yuan Group has passed the period of rapid expansion. And now the daily overspend is about 3 billion, which is enough cash to consume for a year, even if the construction of the second energy main road starts next year. And multiple light energy collection converters need to be installed about 30 million kilometers away from the sun. It will not bring about a big increase in expenses, because the costs in all aspects, it has dropped significantly. The cost of expansion is no longer huge, but the rate of return will increase significantly, almost to the point of huge profits. Even later, Xing Yuan Group will be less short of money and almost no longer need to borrow money from banks. Building energy facilities near the sun can increase the light energy density hundreds of times. The super photovoltaic panel area only needs 1%, and the comprehensive cost is only one-fifth of the photovoltaic array. As long as the electricity can be sold, the payback period will be shortened to one about a month or so. If this is not a hugely profitable industry, then there will be no hugely profitable industry and the road ahead will only get smoother. Li Xingyang sighed secretly. The other side. After all the ten times return on investment that Xing Yuan Group gave to the players has been realized. The players who received the money did not cheer with joy, but instead lamented one by one. Brother Xing, why are you in such a hurry? It has only been less than three years, and you can't wait to cash in the rewards. We have never pressed you. Why are you in such a hurry? Brother Xing, I treat you as a brother but you treat me as an investor and use money to humiliate me. I won't say any more. My heart is broken. I'm going to have two glasses of wine tonight to heal my broken heart. I also want to have a drink. I regard Brother Xing as my most trustworthy brother, but he slapped me in the face with two million yuan and broke off the brotherhood with me. He was afraid that if he owed me anything again, I would be hurt by Brother Xing too. It's clear. Brothers, can you stop going to Versailles? Ten times the return. What kind of investment can you make now to get such a high return within three years? This is cheap and good, but you are greedy. Brother Xing doesn't recognize people like you. Brothers are normal. I really want to give myself a few slaps now. I regret that I listened to my wife and withdrew the 50,000 yuan invested in Xing Yuan Group. My 500,000 yuan is gone. I want a divorce now. And I also want to get a divorce again. I want to ask, does Xing Yuan Group still accept investment? I am willing to invest all my savings. This netizen said with great regret. Stop dreaming. Now Xing Yuan Group is not short of money at all. It doesn't need any investment. It can be used to speculate in stocks. In the aerospace field, it is easy to get returns of three to five times. Hand on province. In a community in Xenon City. 
since the ding dong. After receiving a mobile phone text message notification that 100 million yuan has been credited to the bank card, Zhang Xiangfeng behaved very calmly. Not too excited, even a little disappointed, and also had the idea that Brother Sheng is not a good friend. It has only been less than three years. But after waiting for five, eight or even ten years, Zhang Xiangfeng, they all felt that there was no problem and they could definitely afford to wait. However, Brother Xing was too impatient and sent them all away as investment players as if to distance themselves from each other. He was a bit unkind and did not regard them as brothers. Brother Xing, for you, I am willing to spend all my money to support you. But you are so eager to terminate the cooperative relationship. Brother Xing, this is really inappropriate and too realistic. We hand on Hans never care about anything in return. We only hope that I will treat you after you show your heart and soul to me. You can also show your heart and soul to me in the future. Hey, Brother Xing doesn't treat me as a brother after all. Zhang Xiangfeng sighed repeatedly, very frustrated, giving the impression that he did not make a profit of 100 million, but lost a billion. Husband, our family should be considered a real middle-class family now, and we have completely achieved financial freedom. Right. At this time, the wife came over. With a smile on her face, she held his arm tenderly and said, Husband, I think based on our family's conditions, it would be better to buy a larger villa to live in, and then buy a car worth about one million. We will buy a luxury car and let our two children go to a better aristocratic school in the future, and they should integrate into the life of a relatively upper-class circle. Otherwise, even if they suddenly become rich in the eyes of others, they will not be able to keep so much wealth. You only have such a small amount of money, and you are so rich, you still have to enter the upper-class society. After all the facilities such as villas, luxury cars, famous schools, etc. are complete, my 100 million will probably be spent. You only think about consumption and cannot enter the upper-class society. It will only become a stepping stone for the upper-class. Zhang Xiangfeng said with a side glance at her. Husband, I've done the math. It only costs about 10 million at most to integrate into the local upper class. It's really not expensive, the woman explained. What kind of upper class society there is in the local area is, at best, a group of local cowards. Not much better than the sudden riches. Zhang Xiangfeng shook his head, held his hands and said, That's enough. Don't say any more. The wave of the great era has arrived, and a new round of shuffling has begun. Everyone has the opportunity to change their destiny. The 100 million in my hand is not it's a lot, but it's enough to start a business. And I still have millions of active fans. My entrepreneurial advantages are greater than ordinary people. Going overseas to start a business is the best choice for me. I don't want this opportunity. I will miss it. When I earn 1 billion or 10 billion, you will talk about the upper class again. Now it is a complete joke. Okay, hubby, I support you in starting a business. The woman pursed her lips. But seeing that the man was so motivated, she still expressed her support. If Zhang Xiangfeng had proposed starting a business a year or two ago, she would have firmly opposed it. But times have changed. The trend has changed. And now she will only give firm support and be prepared to endure hardships together and strive to become a real upper class through entrepreneurship. Chapter 198 Son is Born The India of Best Friends All debts were paid off. A big stone fell to the ground in my heart. From now on, the development of Xingyuan Group will no longer have any weaknesses and will not be manipulated by any means. Li Xingyang's move to pay off debts early released trillions of wealth, which obviously stimulated economic vitality and was also learned and used by many companies. In fact, there is nothing to learn from this kind of old farmer conservatism. But today Xingyuan Group the influence is so great that no matter what decision is made, it will trigger a wave of followers and serve as a banner. So Fang Yujin's Tianlong Space Transportation Company also announced that it would pay off all debts and remove financial leverage within three years. Wang Wafu's Baimindi Company also suddenly took out 300 billion in cash flow and returned it to banks or investors, saying that it would control the scale of corporate debt to less than 20% of the asset value. Although Huayap Company does not have much cash, it also announced that it will only pay back money and not borrow money in the next three years and it will learn from Xing Yuan Group's zero-debt strategy. After this trend took shape, many experts and bosses in the domestic financial industry and investment circles cursed and became angry. Xing Yuan Group is just a rat droppings, ruining the whole pot of porridge. If you don't lend money, 
and I don't raise funds. How can the national economy develop if the financial industry is not developed? Our country cannot become a developed country and will only operate inefficiently. Xing Yuan Group is a cancer that has ruined the atmosphere. This is a form of lying down. I hope the relevant departments can take care of it. Any stranger who is willing to lend you money is a great philanthropist. Forget it if you are not grateful. You will burn bridges across rivers. Xing Yuan Group is being ungrateful. The voices of these experts were quickly ridiculed by netizens. They thought they were anxious. But don't be anxious. What will make them even more anxious is yet to come. People nowadays are not so easily fooled. In the future, everyone will find a job. We will only give priority to zero debt companies like Xing Yuan Group. Rather than going to companies where capital is playing the drum and passing the flower game. No one is doing this anymore. Those big experts are in disgrace. But in recent times, Li Xingyang did not pay attention to these developments on the internet. He also put the group affairs aside for the time being. He took several days to stay with Su Rong, caring and caring for her, and showed his good manly side in every aspect. Because Su Rong is going to give birth in the next few days. The due date is December 18th. And the baby in her belly is already full term, waiting to be born into this world. Considering that he was a boy, Li Xingyang had already thought of his name and called him Li Haoyi. If you have a second son, then consider calling him Li Hao, or Li Haoyu, or something like that. If there are daughters, the first one will be called Li Feng Yu, the second one will be called Li Feng Ling, and the third one, Li Feng, will have the character Phoenix in her name anyway. As for what kind of delivery method to choose, Su Rong plans to give birth naturally because it is better for the child, although it will cause more pain. But on December 18th, Su Rong had no intention of giving birth. After waiting for another two days, there was still no movement. After a checkup at the hospital, it was discovered that the child was suffering from mild hypoxia and insufficient amniotic fluid. He was not qualified for a normal delivery and could only consider a cesarean section. Li Xingyang agreed to sign because the longer it was delayed, the greater the risk would be, which would be bad for both adults and children. Su Rong also nodded helplessly, although she was very reluctant. After all, once the cesarean section was performed, she would have to wait at least two years. That is, three years before she could give birth to the second child, and six years before she could give birth to the third child. By then, she she is over 35 years old. So don't think about fourth and fifth children. There is a high probability that she will not be able to complete the tasks assigned to her by her boyfriend. What to do? Do you really want to find a helper to help you? You have to take the initiative to find it. Otherwise, if the male god goes to find wild food by himself, the initiative will not be in his hands. And Shilio's performance is quite good, and he has already got it. A little approval from her. Why? Maybe I shouldn't be too greedy, and should be smarter and more knowledgeable. The male god is a man like the sun, and cannot be kept to himself. Some troubles have to be faced after all. After these complicated thoughts flashed through her mind, Su Rong nodded and signed. At 9 o'clock in the evening on December 20th, she was pushed into the delivery room. More than an hour later, the operating room door opens. Mr. Lee, the operation went very smoothly. Mother and child are safe. The child weighs seven pounds and six tails and is very healthy. The nurse held a child in her hand and said to Li Xingyang, Okay, okay. Li Xingyang reached out and hugged the child. He was quite excited when he saw that the child's facial features were about 60 or 70% similar to his own. He was even more happy. A sense of closeness connected by blood arose. He couldn't help but say, My child! This is my child! Our Li family has a daughter! And I have become a grandfather! Li Shuming also smiled from ear to ear. Give me a hug! Hold the baby for a while! Zhang Huying, the mother, reached out to take the baby, showed a kind smile, and said to Yuli next to her, My dear! Do you see how handsome this kid is? He will definitely be a handsome guy in the future. Will also be a qualified successor. Su Rong's contribution is huge. And our Li family will not treat her badly. Yes. Yuli nodded. At this time, the operating room door opened again. Su Rong was pushed out. With an intravenous drip on her hand. Her face and lips were a little pale. Her eyes were widened. And she couldn't say anything because the anesthesia effect had not completely worn off. Sister is out. My dear daughter. Are you okay? Su Zexu and Su Jianzhou worriedly approached the operating bed and asked the doctor about various situations. After the doctor repeatedly said that there was nothing wrong, he reluctantly relaxed. 
Li Xingyang also turned his attention from the child to Su Rong, held her hand, put the child next to her, and said a lot of thoughtful words. In the hospital's intensive care unit, Su Rong stayed there for seven days. The first three days were very difficult. The incision was so painful that she couldn't eat yet. She had to press an analgesic stick from time to time to relieve the pain. She also had to massage her legs to avoid poor blood flow. It was also quite difficult for the family members responsible for taking care of her because of the suffering, but also worried about outsiders. I didn't hire a caregiver. On the fourth day, I finally recovered a lot. I had the urinary catheter and analgesic stick removed, and I could get out of bed and walk around. On the fifth day, the pain was gone, and breast milk came back. But on the sixth day, in order to pass the milk and remove the lump, the nurses needed Su Rong for another day. She screamed in pain and finally realized how difficult it is to become a mother until the morning of December 28th. Completed discharge procedures. Su Rong also put on clothes that were not easy to breathe. Then everyone got in the car and finally left the maternity and child care hospital. Li Xingyang donated 50 million to thank the doctors and nurses at the hospital for their hard work. On the morning of December 29th, in a villa on the waterfront in Jiangmen, after learning that Li Xingyang was pregnant with a son, many people came to visit today, have close relatives. There are senior executives subordinate to the group. There are also some business partners and friends, etc. They all brought a generous gift. And some even wanted to book a baby kiss with Li Xingyang. But they were all declined. Several of Su Rong's best friends also came over today. In the confinement room on the second floor of the villa. I saw Li Howie sleeping soundly in the cradle. Xiao Yulin said with an envious look. Rong Rong, you are so impressive. You gave birth to the eldest son of the Li family all at once. Now your position is really stable. No one can challenge you. Su Rong smiled and said, Lin Lin, everyone likes to have daughters now. They say that daughters are carrying little cotton padded jackets. And sons have to worry a lot. Didn't you also say that after you gave birth to a daughter to your husband, your husband's family would you are so pampered. And your husband treats you better. So why do you need to envy me? Xiao Yulin shook her head and said, It's different. There's no comparison. My husband's family is just an ordinary family. Of course, it's better to have a daughter. For people like Ron Ron, having a son can consolidate your status and be a great contributor. You're exaggerating. It's not like I have a throne to inherit in my family. It's just that the business is going well. Su Ron raised her chin slightly and looked at her son in the cradle, saying something like Versailles. Xiao Yulin was moved in her heart and said, Ron Ron, my daughter is less than one year old now and is only a few months older than Hao Hao. How about we arrange a baby marriage for them and start cultivating their relationship from a young age? In this way, she will know the basics and grow up. Then I will not be deceived by scheming girls. And my daughter is very beautiful and worthy of your Hao Hao. These words made Han Ming Yu, who is also pregnant next to her, say, Romro, if I give birth to a daughter in a few months, I will also order a baby for Hao Hao and kiss her. My daughter will definitely look good too. If it were a son, he would be Hao Hao's little follower and be responsible for protecting his safety. I would let my son learn from his father and become the best security captain. But I asked the doctor who took the B ultrasound and he said the probability is that it's a daughter. That's right. Han Mingyu is now with the bodyguard Captain Zhang Liangbo. Su Rong succeeded in bringing them together. In fact, Zhang Liangbo was not very attracted to Han Mingyu at first. He prefers the Ziajibu type. But a straight man cannot stand up to women. Despite the man's pursuit, and Han Mingyu as active pursuit, the two got together and soon had a child. Han Mingyu was about to become a mother. No matter how popular my son is, he can't be a scumbag. The best I can do is to order one for him. Right? Su Rong said helplessly. A baby kiss does not mean a final engagement. Anyway, fair competition. Your Hao Hao can choose whichever he likes. Xiao Yulin said. She was very confident in her daughter. As long as she is carefully cultivated, she will become a great beauty in the future. Li Hao was so fascinated that he would not marry anyone other than his own daughter. Competition is competition. My daughter is not afraid of competition. Han Mingyu touched her belly and said tit for tat. But if my son is more philanthropic, what should I do if I have both? The question Su Rong asked immediately stumped the two best friends. After a long time, Xiao Yulin said, Anyway, I won't let my daughter give up. But I will make trouble for you, Rong Rong. It's your fault that a son doesn't teach his mother well. 
It's because you didn't teach him well. Yes. Roro. How How is still a blank slate now. Don't teach him to be a scumbag. Let him learn to see a girl's inner self and talent. And not be fooled by the surface. Han Ming Yu said. Ha ha. Yeah yeah. Can I take this to mean that you are scared and don't have much confidence in your daughter's appearance? Xiao Yulin said with a proud smile. No. I have a million confidence in my daughter. I just want her to be internally competitive in addition to her appearance. She can't just be good on the outside. The two immediately started arguing. Neither of them willing to show weakness. Okay. Let's not talk about this anymore. Do you know how Ning Yachi is doing recently? She just sent me a lot of messages. Saying that she wanted to come and see me and my children. Do you want to agree? Although her relationship with us is a little tense. She has been my best friend for so many years after all. And she has apologized to me several times. Saying that she was a little impulsive that time. Su Rong asked her two best friends that she was more inclined to ease her relationship with Ning Yaching. After all, it is rare to have a few good friends and confidants in life. Don't, don't let her come here. Han Mingyu shook her head and said, This woman's thinking is very twisted, and she is unwilling to make do with it. If she is allowed to come over, I don't know what she will do. Now we have four best friends, and she is the only one who is not married and has no children. She and we are no longer women on the same level. And she has not made any progress so far. Yes, Rongrong. If you ask her to come over, she will only focus on your boyfriend. Xiao Yulin said. I heard from my husband that Ning Yaqing had three boyfriends this year. All of whom were employees of Xing Yuan Group. But she cheated on the first one. The second one privately checked her room opening records. And directly dumped her. The third one had reached the point of discussing marriage. But Ning Yaqing was unwilling to go for a premarital checkup. And then she also fell out. Now she is on the lightning protection list of the Xing Yuan Group's dating community. No male employee is willing to be friends with her. Her reputation is completely ruined. But she will never grow. She will only become more hostile to others. So we must be on guard against her. Is Yaqing in such a miserable state now? Su Rong shook her head in surprise. In fact, Ning Yaqing was the most beautiful and goddess-like among them. She didn't expect her to be so bad at playing cards. It was simply embarrassing. Forget it. Just stay away from her from now on. Just pretend that you don't have this best friend anymore. Chapter 199 Zhou Yunping's Happy Life In the blink of an eye, time has entered January 2029. It's a brand new year again. In recent days, Li Xingyang has resumed going to work at the group headquarters to handle many matters. However, he usually goes to work at 10 in the morning and gets off work at 4 in the afternoon. He will not stay in the company for too long. Even if he has a meeting, it will end within half an hour which improves the efficiency of meetings. Efficiency. Then he got off work early and returned to his villa in Shui and Jiangnan. He hugged and teased his son Li Haoi. He really liked him and was a loving father. Two lives are human beings. Maybe Li Xingyang doesn't feel too special. But Zhang Yuan Tian is too aware of the importance of his descendants to him. There is no trust that can exceed the bond of blood. Even if he is cheated in the future, it proves that the bond of blood is not very reliable. John Yuantian still will not regret it. Because the meat rotted in his own pot. And it will not become someone else's wedding dress. Or even fall into the hands of his opponent. Which is the most difficult to accept. Moreover, the warmth of family and the loveliness of children are also a source of happiness. Li Xingyang really feels it. Because there is a warm place that makes him look forward to going back early every day. More than the pursuit and struggle of his career. This was impossible before. But now the status of family in his heart has improved a lot. Li Xingyang feels that he has a weakness again. His family is his weakness and his children are his concern. But he is willing to have such a weakness. Those who are completely carefree are indeed chic and no one can control them. But they have no roots. They are just duckweeds. They have enviable freedom. But they cannot become towering trees. The mainstream of history and the protagonists of human evolution. They can only be spectators and witnesses. Not sit on the card table. Therefore, Li Xingyang feels that children are still very important. They must be well cultivated and given more care so that they can become excellent heirs. They must not be completely left to women to educate. Therefore, Li Xingyang's father's role is very qualified and he can definitely be called a good father. Of course, Li Xingyang also played the role of a good man and gave her a lot of compensation for Su Rong, who had made great contributions and sacrificed a lot. For example, her brother Su Zexu founded the Confession Light Service Company in just six months after its establishment. 
It received more than 80,000 orders and earned nearly 2 billion in net profit. In Rome's name, give her a guarantee. There are also top quality jewelry worth hundreds of thousands and millions. High-end cosmetic tonics. Vacation villa on Cheongya Island. Private luxury light-powered airliner. Etc. Etc. Give whatever you want. And many of them are surprises given by Li Xingyang on his own initiative. Which makes Su Rong feel happy and entangled. She becomes greedy and wants to monopolize this love. But she knows that this is impossible. It can be said that it was joy and pain. Thinking that I could delay it for a day. And then push Xiao Lu out after a while. After all, she was still in confinement. On the morning of January 8th. Superconducting Materials Factory. At the strong invitation of Zhou Yiping. The person in charge of the factory. Li Xingyang came over for an inspection today and listened to his work report. Mr. Li, the superconducting material factory has been expanded to the 8th branch. The average daily production capacity of each factory is about 1,000 tons. The total daily output is 8,000 tons. The production cost has dropped to about 300 yuan per kilogram. The external selling price is 1,000 yuan per kilogram. Half of the production capacity is absorbed internally by the group and the other half is sold externally. However, the supply is still in short supply. The orders have been scheduled for five years. Several more branch factories may need to be built. There is no way. The uses of superconducting materials are too wide. Inseparable from every aspect. Zhou Yiping introduced the situation. There is no extra land for us to use in the industrial park. Right. We can only set up branch factories in surrounding cities. Right. Li Xingyang asked. Yes. Director Dong said that there is still land. We can allocate idle land from Wuxi District and Longqiu District nearby. You can also stay in the industrial park if you want. The Municipal Planning Bureau has designed a layered factory for us. There are with two or three floors and one underground floor. The floor area ratio is increased by three to four times, which is equivalent to three or four factories. It also saves construction costs. The city suggested that we build this kind of multi-story factory, Zhou Yinping said. They are so stubborn that they are reluctant to let us go. The branch factory doesn't want us to go to other places to build it. And they are unwilling to take any part of the pie. It will probably cause a lot of dissatisfaction. Li Xingyang shook his head. However, last year, one company of Xingyuan Group paid more than 630 billion yuan in taxes to this city. It is entirely possible that it will exceed 1 trillion yuan this year. It is not an exaggeration to describe it as the god of wealth. Of course, it is impossible to let go of us. We'll only find ways to hold her tighter and tighter. I think so too. Mr. Li, if Xing Yuan Group leaves and moves away, the city's fiscal revenue is estimated to be cut in half. We cannot afford the loss. The leaders will live in a very tight life. And their wages and benefits will be reduced a lot. Zhou Yuping nodding in agreement. That's fine. If you tie it up a little firmer, you'll get the most support. You don't have to worry about something bad happening. Mr. Li, Besides the matter of increasing the branch factory, I actually have a personal matter that I want to tell you. Zhou Yiping said with a change of words. You say, Mr. Li, I am one of the first group veterans to follow you. Although I almost made some big mistakes. Mr. Li, you have always trusted me and never had any doubts. You also let me work as a superconducting material factory. As the general person in charge, my annual salary has been increased to 50 million. I am very grateful to you. Mr. Lee. But the most grateful thing is that Mr. Lee took the initiative to help me solve the problem of my partner and arranged for me to go to the bear country and find my wife. Elena also fulfilled my parents' wish and gave me three children in two years. I have a son and a pair of beautiful twin daughters. I now live a very happy and contented life every day. And I am very grateful every day. Mr. Lee. I want to repay Mr. Lee well through hard work. Zhou Yuping said from the bottom of his heart with red eyes. What he said was true. Not a single lie. If he had not met Mr. Li and joined Xing Yuan Group a few years ago, it would be difficult for him to imagine what kind of life he would have lived, what kind of life he would embrace, let alone whether he would be able to get married and have children and fulfill his parents' expectations and wishes. Fortunately, he was lucky. He met Mr. Li and joined Xing Yuan Group. Although as a veteran of the group, he did not receive any share options or the like, he was still very satisfied because Mr. Lee gave him a lifetime employment contract. As long as he doesn't make a big mistake, he can work until he retires at the age of 65. In the future, he can also arrange for his children to continue working for the group. 
which is equivalent to a super long-term guarantee, which is no worse than some stock options. In addition, the group also has an entrepreneurial support plan. If some executives are unwilling to work and want to start a business, the group will not only provide entrepreneurial financial support, but also provide various conveniences. The model is similar to the Xingyun Bingyun Chip Company. But so far, there are not many executives who have chosen to start a business. Only three or five. And most of them are still willing to continue serving the group. After all, the risks of starting a business are very high. Even if they succeed in the early stage and are famous for a while, there is no long-term success. Once the protection and favors are used up, you have to rely on yourself for everything. And you are as tired as a dog. And you can't make much more money. Almost all the executives who chose to start a business regret it. But there is no turning back. Okay. Don't be so nauseous. Talk about it quickly if you have something to say. Don't worry about mother-in-law and mother-in-law. Li Xingyang waved his hands and got goosebumps all over his body. Mr. Li, Alina and I have been together for almost three years. We have three children and got the certificate. But there has never been a formal wedding. As you know, women are most looking forward to taking wedding photos and a wedding. I wanted to have a wedding ceremony like this and leave the most beautiful memories of my youth. In October last year, I went to take wedding photos with her. The wedding was planned to be held on January 28th. I wanted to make it grand and romantic. And I planned to spend several hundred dollars. One, in terms of guests, several leaders in the city have agreed to attend. Mr. Lee, I hope you can also attend my wedding. Because without Mr. Lee's arrangements, it would be impossible for me and Elena to get together. Zhou Yuping took out a VIP invitation letter from his pocket and handed it to the boss Li Xingyang. He felt a little uneasy. The boss was a busy man, and he didn't know if he could spare time to give him face. He had to add, Mr. Lee, if the time is not easy to arrange, I can adjust the wedding time. As long as you can go. That's it. There is still some time. Li Xingyang reached out and took the invitation, which made him sigh in relief. But then he heard Li Xingyang say, Old Zhou, if you want to hold a wedding, I have some ideas that can achieve better results. There is no need to spend money on a wedding company. In this way, I will send someone to organize a group wedding and arrange for 500 pairs of employees to get married together. You and your Elena will be counted as one of the couples. The group will reimburse the expenses. I will attend this wedding and host it as a wedding ceremony. As a human being, I will witness your happiness. Group wedding? 500 couples? This? This is a bit too much. Can Alina and I be reduced to supporting roles? Zhou Yuping looked embarrassed. He still wanted to hold an individual wedding. So that Elena became the single most beautiful heroine. When there are many people, it is lively and festive. The group wedding I designed is to have the best effect when there are many people. I will introduce you to a few general links. Li Xingyang talked eloquently and seemed to be very experienced in holding wedding ceremonies. He spoke eloquently. Of course, all these experiences came from John Yuanyan's soul. You must know that in the Red Star Federation, he made a lot of money by holding wedding ceremonies. The market in this area is really big and profitable. Even if the marriage rate in the Red Star Federation is very low. Listen to what the boss has to say. Hearing keywords such as sun oath, rainbow wedding, diamond synthesis, and meteor blessing. And listening to the scenes described in Mr. Lee's words. Zhou Yuping's eyes lit up. And he became more and more excited. He clapped his hands and said in admiration. Mr. Lee. The Sun Witness wedding you envisioned is so creative. It is much better than the old routines of those wedding companies. It is extremely romantic. I think Elena will be happy. Mr. Lee who fainted. I agreed to participate in this collective wedding. I canceled the order from that wedding company. I don't need the hundreds of thousands of deposits. If you want to choose, just choose the best one. Okay, this matter is settled. There are still 20 days, which is enough time to make relevant arrangements. Li Xingyang nodded and was looking forward to it. Because the wedding ceremony service he was about to launch was the last daily life-related service in John Yuentian's soul, compared with the previously launched advertising services, citywide concert services, and confession light beam services. What really makes money, and makes John Yuantian a lot of money, is wedding ceremony services. Although this is not a big deal, it should not be underestimated. It is closely related to people's lives, and can greatly enhance the influence of Xing Yuan group, the penetration of power, and living customs. Its significance is comparable to Wanli Company's Double Eleven Single Shopping Festival, which can create a trend symbol 
and guide a certain trend. Li Xingyang naturally attaches great importance to this work and plans to personally handle this work and must do it to perfection in order to maximize social influence. Chapter 200 The Sun Witnesses the Wedding The following few days, Li Xingyang issued multiple instructions. Hundreds of capable personnel were transferred from the group. Several scientific research projects were issued, requiring technicians to succeed within half a month, especially the synthesis of artificial diamonds. Young man Su Zexu's confession light service company also participated in this project, which made Su Zexu excitedly exclaim, Brother-in-law, you are so good at it. No wonder women all over the world want to marry you. Do your job well. I also heard that you have an unclear relationship with the two girls in the school. You are quite powerful in enjoying the blessing of being together. Li Xingyang patted him on the shoulder. It's unfair. Brother-in-law, it was the two of them who forced themselves to be by my side. I had no intention of falling in love. Those women are too troublesome. It's easier to be single. Okay. Don't explain. Just work hard. If you are familiar with the wedding ceremony business, your company can also provide this service in the future. And it will be no problem to increase revenue by billions a year. Li Xingyong said. You are my brother-in-law. I will watch and learn from you. In fact, I don't have a woman in my heart. I just want to make money and learn from your excellent entrepreneurial qualities. Brother-in-law, Su Zexu smiled flatteringly. And all kinds of flattery that made people's skin crawl. At the same time, starting January 10th, the group has officially announced that it will hold a collective wedding event. Among the more than 100,000 employees of Xing Yuan Group, all those who have reached the marriageable age have a partner and are about to get the wedding certificate or even those who have already received the certificate but want to hold a replacement wedding ceremony. Anyone can apply to participate. The cost of the wedding ceremony is reimbursed by the group. There are only 500 pairs available. Relevant relatives and friends can also come to congratulate and have a banquet. All hidden dangers and contradictions must be eliminated. If any nonsense occurs, the group will deal with it seriously. In short, Certain rules and regulations have been set up, and employees must consider them carefully before applying. Even so, in a very short period of time, more than 8,000 employees applied for registration and competed for the 500 places. It can be described as very enthusiastic. There were also discussions in private. I heard that this collective wedding will have a lot of highlights and creativity. Mr. Lee is personally responsible for organizing it. He will also serve as the wedding master of ceremonies, preside over the wedding, and send blessings to the newlyweds. This alone makes it worth signing up. Leave an impression on Mr. Lee. Who doesn't want the blessings from Mr. Lee? I'll sign up too. I don't have a partner yet. But with Mr. Lee's blessing, I suddenly want to get married. Or I might as well find a local leftover girl to be with. What I'm most looking forward to is what new tricks Mr. Lee will come up with. I guess it will be different from a traditional wedding. Mr. Lee is so good at playing and understands women's thoughts so well. He was the one who created the beam of light for confession before. It is said that the success rate of confession has increased by at least 50%. Nowadays, boys do not use light beams to confess their love. Girls will feel that they are insincere, not romantic at all. And the probability of being rejected is very high. I wonder what the wedding ceremony planned by Mr. Lee will be like. Will it raise the threshold for marriage and the threshold for women? If the effect is too good, it will probably cause many male netizens to criticize, saying that women today can't do it. It's all gone. Yes, I am also looking forward to it, but also worried. I hope the effect will be better, but I don't want it to be too good. Otherwise, I will be under a lot of pressure from public opinion, and many netizens will blame our group for the decline in marriage rates. Hey, if anything is as beautiful as the forest wind, it will be destroyed. It's because we are too good, because there are too many employees who signed up. After some screening, a random lottery was conducted among the 3,000 employees, and 400 places were randomly selected. As for the other 100 places, they were directly arranged and designated by Li Xingyang without participating in the lottery. Most of them were senior executives and subordinates who were close to him, such as Zhou Yuping, and the bodyguards around him. Their lifelong events naturally had to be prioritized. January 18th. There are still 10 days left before the mass wedding is held. All preparatory work is being carried out intensively and is progressing very smoothly. In the afternoon, inside the villa in Jiangan, Xuan, in the confinement room on the second floor, Li Xingyang, who had finished work, said to Su Rong, who was breastfeeding her child, Su Rong, 
I see that your confinement period is almost over, and your body has recovered well. Why don't you also attend the group wedding? I will give you the seat position of the bride. No. I don't want a group wedding. I want an individual wedding. Su Rong shook her head and refused. Looked at the man and said, Goddess, you still owe me two surprises. But a group wedding cannot be counted as one. Only an individual wedding counts. I don't want to be one in 500 heroines. Even if it's not enough to stand in the seat position. What I want is to be unique. In my heart, it's enough that you are unique. Besides, the Sun Witness wedding is more suitable for a group wedding and has the best effect. Do you really not think about it? Li Xingyang asked, wanting to save trouble. Don't think about it. Huh? Su Rong pouted and turned her head away. A little angry. She felt that the male god was starting to treat her a little perfunctory. She had not even finished her confinement. So it was appropriate for her, the quasi-proprietress of a group, to participate in a group wedding. Have you considered her feelings? Okay. Forget it. I'll hold a separate wedding with you in the future. Li Xingyang could only say. Soon. The time came on January 28th. The day of the collective wedding of Xingyuan group employees. After many days of preparation and publicity. This collective wedding attracted a lot of public attention and attracted a lot of media reports. Many self-media practitioners also poured in and started a full live broadcast to witness the wedding. The number of live broadcast viewers soon exceeded 10 million. And the audience was mainly female. Isn't it just a wedding? What's so strange about this? Are you paying so much attention to it? We must know that the weddings of some entertainment stars, even if they are specially held in foreign castles or tropical islands, the scene is huge and tens of millions of funds are spent. They still cannot attract such a big attention. Xing Yuan Group, how can it attract so many attentions? In fact, there is no other reason. Just because this is the Xing Yuan Group, just because the national husband Li Xingyang will appear at the scene and serve as the host of the wedding, just relying on these two points. It is no problem to attract an audience of 50 million. And the audience is mainly female. This is the influence formed by Xing Yuan Group plus Li Xingyang now. Even if they do nothing, just say a few words, they will attract countless attention. It's 6 o'clock in the morning, and it's still dark. But in the large dressing room, 500 brides had done their makeup in advance, put on holy white wedding dresses, and looked their most beautiful. They were ready to welcome the happiest moment in life, all full of expectations. The other side, in the dressing room where the groom was, there were a total of 500 grooms, all dressed in Chinese attire and wearing red flowers on their chests. They were all ready. Of course, there were also a few straight grooms sitting on chairs, dozing off to make up for the lack of sleep. If their wives saw the scene, they would definitely get complained. However, the male compatriots present were very understanding and even helped to free up chairs and take turns to rest for a while. After all, this a wedding cannot be completed in a short time. It will take at least a day, which will definitely make people very tired. At this time, the dressing room door opened. Several staff members came in, holding a stack of A4 papers in their hands. The leader, Su Zexu, distributed these papers to the grooms and said, Dear grooms, this is the flow chart and precautions for today's wedding. Please take good care of yourself. Take a look and understand each step of the process in advance so that you know it well and you must keep it confidential. The bride does not have this process sheet. They just want to enjoy the surprise process. So they must keep it confidential. Su Zexa kept emphasizing. I know. Zhou Yuping took the Sun Witness Wedding Flow Sheet and scanned the contents carefully. The wedding was divided into two parts and eight links. The two parts are the Sacred Vow, part in the morning and the Joyful Celebration, part in the afternoon. During the Holy Vow, in the morning, the brides will put on their holy white wedding dresses and experience the four links of getting to know each other, sun vow, rainbow wedding ceremony, and diamond synthesis together with the grooms. Interlocking, deepening step by step. The sense of ritual is overwhelming, focusing on the sacredness of marriage. After lunch, in the joyful celebration, part of the afternoon, the bride and groom will put on the traditional wedding clothes, phoenix crowns and harems. In the atmosphere of the red wedding and the sincere blessings of relatives and friends, they will experience couple talents, blessings of relatives and friends, the four links of blessings from meteors, and red envelopes like rain focus on a festive occasion, as lively and happy as possible. However, weddings are not allowed. Civility and courtesy are required, and all unreasonable behavior is rejected. After reading this flow chart, 
Excited? All the grooms were very excited. Luo Xiaoxing, a member of the Hengxing planning team, couldn't help but said, The boss is really thoughtful. It needs to be romantic and romantic. And it needs to be festive and festive. Both aspects are taken into account. There are both white wedding dresses and red wedding dresses, which is equivalent to a Western-style wedding. It's a perfect blend with a traditional wedding. And there's no conflict at all. So you can't fault it. Li Jianyang next to him said. Yes. The morning was extremely sacred. And the afternoon was extremely lively and festive. If I were the bride, I would be extremely moved and happy. I'm looking forward to their performance. Colleague Lucien nodded and said. Gao. Mr. Li is Gao. We have considered all aspects. In fact, my fiancé is reluctant to participate in this collective wedding. She doesn't want to be squeezed in among a group of brides. But she will be full of surprises soon. And joy. Leaving unforgettable memories. Chen Xingfu also said, My wife is also dissatisfied with this point and wants a separate wedding. But she will soon have no objection. By the way, I would like to ask, Does this diamond synthesis process require synthetic diamonds to be synthesized on site? Does our group have this technology now? Asked a groom. Artificial diamond synthesis technology has been around for a long time, at least for decades, and the cost has been very low. However, the diamond synthesis equipment used in today's wedding must be able to quickly synthesize diamonds in a relatively short period of time. The ability to produce 1,000 diamonds. I wonder if there is any breakthrough in this technology. Another groom with a technical background said, You don't have to worry about this. I happen to be involved in the research and development of diamond synthesis equipment. I not only conquered the rapid synthesis technology, but also used carbon dioxide in the air as raw material to create diamonds out of thin air. It is much more advanced than you think. The groom's calm words immediately put everyone at ease. Then everyone cheered up, arranged their clothes, looked their best, and looked forward to the sun witnessing the official arrival of the wedding. Chapter 201 Sacred Ceremony Happy Tears 8 in the morning The wedding ceremony is about to begin. In the dressing room, Chi Min stood in front of the full-length glass mirror, looking at herself in a white holy wedding dress and heavy makeup. She couldn't help but sigh. Maybe this is the moment when you look your best and most beautiful. Maybe after today, your youthful appearance will go downhill, and you will never be able to go back to the past. At least at this moment, you can show your perfect side to your heart's content, even if he is almost 30 years old. In fact, Chi Min has never been too cold about marriage. She feels that it doesn't matter whether she marries someone or not, as long as she lives a happy life. However, her parents and family did not agree, and they often urged her to get married, instilling various views that made her anxious. So she had to go on some blind dates. By chance, at a social gathering, she met Luo Xiaoxing, who was two years younger than her. She felt that this boy was quite interesting. He was very focused on his own affairs. He was in a thinking state most of the time, and had no interest in chatting up girls. So Chi Min took the initiative to chat with him for a few words, all of which were topics that Luo Xiaoxing was interested in. He introduced to her the advantages and disadvantages of various solar orbits. But Chi Min listened with interest and found this boy very interesting. After a while, the two became boyfriend and girlfriend. And in most cases, Chi Min takes the initiative. After establishing a relationship and even moving in together, as she got to know the man better, Chi Min discovered that Luo Xiaoxing's shortcomings may be as numerous as the stars in the sky, such as being slovenly, not knowing how to dress up, not liking to do housework, and being chauvinistic. However, strengths are like the sun. As long as he shows his strengths, he will not see any shortcomings. After getting along for a long time, she felt that she loved this man. It might not be very deep, but this man really entered her heart and made her willing to pay for him. It's just that when it comes to getting married, Chi Min and Luo Xiaoxing are not particularly anxious, and they both enjoy their current relationship status. However, their parents are urging them every day, so they have to put it on the agenda. It happened that Xing Yuan group held this group wedding event. Luo Xiaoxing signed up, and the boss Li Xingyang directly gave him an indicator. And then, there was Chi Min in wedding dress. Like most girls, Chi Min also looks forward to a beautiful wedding like a fairy tale. She wants to be a heroine who receives countless blessings in Indy and she wants to be the happiest woman amid romantic vows and commitments. It's just a collective wedding of 500 couples. And it's not bad for her to get 1% of the attention, even though it was the group's boss and national husband Li Xingyang who presided over this collective wedding. 
It only added a certain amount of excitement. To be honest, Qi Min didn't have high expectations. They even discussed with Luo Xiaoxing privately that they would have to hold a separate wedding after the year to make up for the shortcomings. But Luo Xiaoxing reluctantly agreed. Are you ready? Brides? You can come out. The grooms are here to pick you up. A female staff member said. Then the brides walked out of the building in order. I saw hundreds of floats, driven by the grooms, parked at the edge of the red carpet, stopped in front of the corresponding brides, picked them up one by one, and then circled the whole city. If the road if it's not smooth, just turn on the bottom engine and fly directly into the sky, becoming a flying car, and you don't have to worry about safety issues. There are 20 light-powered flying cars responsible for ensuring safety throughout the entire process. If any flying car has insufficient power, it will be replaced. Replenish power to ensure everything is safe. This move alone has calmed many brides, and even made them unable to help but marvel. The hundreds of flying cars in the sky also attracted the attention of countless citizens, who stopped to watch. After a lap around the city, the flying car landed on the ground, drove a little further, and arrived at a place called Sun Square. The square covers an area of nearly 100,000 square meters. After temporary transformation, it can accommodate at least tens of thousands of live audiences. When the vehicle arrived inside the square, the bride and groom got off the car one after another and stood in several rows. Suddenly, more than 20 golden light pillars shot down, surrounding the square in the middle, and the surrounding area was illuminated by a golden light. The scene was very shocking, and a certain sacred atmosphere was generated, causing many exclamations and screams. It also announces the official start of the wedding ceremony. Boss Li Xingyang stood on the stage above with a microphone in hand. In the next four links, to save time, the acquaintance part is mainly divided into 500 small pieces on a giant screen, and 500 VCR short videos are played at the same time, reviewing every moment of the acquaintance of 500 new couples in the past, which lasts about half an hour. The newlyweds who put on wireless headphones can hear the sound of their own video. The VCR with certain touching content can still make the bride and groom shed tears. The second solar oath session. Grooms will make a three-minute love vow in front of the bride. The content is not fixed. It can be a promise to be good to his wife for the rest of his life. Or he can share the joys and sorrows. Be single-minded. And never cheat. Etc. But the length is only three minutes. These vows of love will then be encoded into discontinuous light signals and emitted towards the sun with greater power. After these signals reach the sun, they may be amplified by the sun and spread throughout the universe. It may also enter the interior of the sun and be preserved for a long time. Of course, there is a high probability that it will be destroyed by the solar magnetic field and become a meaningless signal. However, the ritual sense of this link is indeed very sacred, especially the moment when the bride and groom press the signal transmission button together. A bunch of bright thin lines shot towards the sun, and the slightly more sentimental women at the scene couldn't help but shed tears. After the sun oath was launched, after waiting for more than 10 minutes, the sun responded. Several colorful rainbow light beams fell from the sky overhead, streaking across the sky and extending far into the distance. The wedding has entered the third stage of rainbow wedding ceremony, which means that the sun has received the vow information of the couple and responded, especially giving a rainbow light beam as a witness and blessing to their union, which made many emotional the bride and female guests shed tears. In the fourth step, diamond synthesis, a special hexadecahedral device in the middle of the square will use carbon dioxide in the air as raw material to quickly synthesize batches of artificial diamonds, which will then be processed on-site and embedded into the wedding rings of the newlyweds, as a symbol that they already have a partner. In this session, Li Xingyang, who was the wedding host, said a very classic saying, The rings on the hands of the bride and groom originally did not have diamonds, but as long as there is love and support each other for a lifetime. The synthesis furnace can generate diamonds out of thin air. And your lives will get better and better. And you will become happier and happier. Going from having nothing to gaining everything is the miracle of love. In order to protect the sanctity of this love, I ask you not to give up easily or betray each other. When you have conflicts and disagreements, look at this diamond of love and look for a better solution. If the love between you disappears, it is no longer there. I hope you can return the diamond. We will destroy it and return it to nothingness. Love is sacred, not a game of house. If you are willing to protect the sacredness, please take good care of each other and keep it well. That diamond, if 30 or 50 years from now, 
you still love and care about each other deeply. Even if someone offers you a sky-high price to buy your diamond, you will refuse. After hearing these words, stroking the one-carat synthetic diamond with a hint of warmth that had just been set in the ring on his finger, Chi Min wiped the corners of his eyes and asked Luo Xiaoxing in front of him, I will keep this diamond for the rest of my life. What about you? Diamonds are not valuable. But this diamond is given the name of love. I will keep it forever until I die. Luo Xiaoxing said solemnly. Chi Min nodded, her tears falling even more fiercely. And she was not the most exaggerated bride. Some brides were already crying so hard that they almost lost consciousness. For example, Zhou Yunping's wife Arena couldn't stop crying when faced with Zhou Yunping's affectionate confession. The other side, Husband, your boss is so good, isn't he? He has stepped on our women's hearts every step of the way. And he has grasped our women's mentality very well. No matter every aspect is very romantic. It is very in line with our wishes. And it also makes me happy. I cried all my makeup. Xiao Yulin sighed while wiping the corners of her eyes with a tissue. I think it's okay. Mr. Li is a god in my heart. There's nothing he can't do. Her husband Lu Weixin said. Hey, I'm so envious of Su Rong. She can even take down a man like Mr. Li. I think it's okay if she doesn't get exposed from today on. Once her identity is exposed, I don't know how many women will be jealous and hated. Xiao Yulin sighed. Road. Lin Lin. I just sent a message to Rong Rong and took a lot of videos to show her. At this time, Han Mingyu came over with a mobile phone and said, Look, Rong Rong is very regretful now. Not only has she missed a lot of romance and surprises, but her boyfriend is also being targeted by more women. She feels pressure now. Extremely big. Rong Rong did make a mistake. This was originally a good opportunity for her to consolidate her position and officially appear in the public eye. But she still didn't play this card. Xiao Yulin said, Yes, the collective wedding has only been held for half a day. The joyful celebration in the afternoon will be more lively and exciting. Su Rong may regret it even more. Han Mingyu said, This is indeed the case. Had a quick lunch. During the wedding ceremony in the afternoon, the brides all put on phoenix crowns and harems. And the grooms all put on their wedding clothes. During the couple's talent show, there were some who could sing, some who could dance, and some who could play the piano. There were so many great talents, and everyone seemed to have their own special skills. Even those with no talent can still participate in some interesting games or programs and still make everyone laugh. The blessings from relatives and friends are a major scene of comparison. Some relatives send large red envelopes. Some give milk powder and diapers. And some give cars and houses. Each one more exaggerated than the other. Then dozens of meteors with red tail flames flew down from the sky. But they were slow and had light beams to power them. So they were obviously not real meteors. After these slow flying shooting stars reached a height of more than 10 meters above the sun plaza, they suddenly opened the belly hatch. And countless red envelopes, colorful candies, and square gift boxes were dropped one after another, landing on the crowd of relatives and friends. Middle. This is the final. Red envelopes like rain. Blink. However, in this rain of red envelopes, candies, and gifts, the most valuable and most hotly contested ones are not the individual red envelopes, but the 500 bouquets of roses that the brides got in the morning. As long as the girl who grabs these bouquets, it means that you will get a good match and happiness. So it is naturally the most popular. In a villa on the south bank of the river, through the live video broadcast, I saw red envelopes raining down and countless people scrambling for them. Su Rong felt a little sour and felt even worse. This kind of group wedding feels quite good and has a sense of ceremony. I shouldn't refuse my boyfriend. An individual wedding may not be so lively and festive. Oh, I made a mistake. I really made a mistake this time. Of course, Su Rong just felt that she had made a mistake and did not regret it too much. At most, she felt uncomfortable for a while. But for the other women who were also watching the live broadcast, their mood could not be summed up by just the word. Uncomfortable. For example, Ming Yaqing is still experiencing ups and downs in her relationship. For example, Ming Yufei is suffering from love but cannot help it. For example, there is a beautiful boss of an entertainment company in the imperial capital. Or the other woman in the corner. Some of them were heartbroken. Some were in tears. And some were envious and jealous. They staged a show of all living beings which had a great impact on at least hundreds of millions of domestic women and brought huge public repercussions. 
Chapter 202 Strong Response Guidance of the Atmosphere The mass wedding of Xingyuan group brought a huge response. Far beyond expectations. It has impacted at least three aspects. First, compared with the Sun Witness wedding of Xingyuan group, no matter in terms of connotation or implication, no matter the sense of ceremony or the spectacular scene, no matter what it is, other forms of weddings are weak. So if they want to get married, they will only consider the sun to witness the wedding. They will not consider Western-style weddings or traditional weddings, which cannot meet their needs. The second impact is the sun witness wedding of Xing Yuan group. The 500 couples are all getting married with zero betrothal gift. That is, the woman will not ask the man to pay a set of the betrothal gift, and the man will not ask for any betrothal gift. The woman will not be asked to give back even half of the dowry. At most, during the blessings from relatives and friends, it depends on how much the relatives and friends of the man's and the woman's families will contribute to the gift. Generally speaking, the relatives and friends of the man's side will contribute more. But if the relatives and friends of the woman's side compare, if you want to save face, the gifts you give will not be less than those given by the man. At least they should be basically equal and cannot be looked down upon. This kind of change and reform is unacceptable to some netizens, and they have great opinions. If you marry someone with zero betrothal gift, would you be cherished by a man? This is simply nonsense. Not to mention 3 to 5 million. We still want 188,000. This is a violation of the rules of Xing Yuan group. No matter how many gifts you receive from relatives and friends, most of these favors still have to be returned and cannot replace the role of betrothal gifts. The rules passed down by our ancestors are all useful. Marriage is not brought together by love alone. It is more about the cooperation between men and women based on the economic foundation. Without this foundation, no matter how perfect love is, it will be a failure. In the short term, this thing won't be enough to make a living. Yes, love is sacred, but marriage is always real. Don't confuse the two. These views on the internet have received a lot of support. They feel that Xing Yuan group has given very wrong guidance this time. It is not the behavior of a gentleman and will mislead many young people into the wrong path. A marriage with only love and no material things is absolutely impossible. In other words, it is impossible without the betrothal gift component. However, a discovery made by some netizens immediately brought a lot of anxiety and shock. That was the mass wedding of Xing Yuan group. Among the 500 brides, 99 were foreign brides with blonde hair, blue eyes, and fair skin, accounting for nearly one-fifth. Incredible. This ratio is a bit scary. You must know that the employees of Xing Yuan group are very high quality and sought after people in the marriage market. You don't have to worry about finding girls from your own country. What happened? They ended up hooking up with so many foreign girls, accounting for nearly one-fifth. This means that 20% of the country's outstanding boys, so many high-quality marriage partners, have been seduced by those foreign fairies. I also noticed that in the past few years, the number of young foreign women has been increasing. In order to stay in China, they will do whatever it takes to find a Chinese man to marry. And they don't know what happened. The Chinese men they selected were all hardworking, family-oriented, and crazy about their wives. It seemed that all of them were potential good men. There were only a few scumbags, and they were simply unlucky. However, they are often hurt by scumbag men, and they seem to be less discerning in finding a partner than these ignorant foreign girls. What exactly is the problem? Under the pressure of various public opinions, on January 30th, Xing Yuan Group officially launched the Sun Witness Wedding Service planning to build multiple sun plazas in the country that can accept orders for wedding ceremony services and launch the Looking for the Light of True Love activity to find 99 pairs of true love across the country. All couples are welcome to share their love stories. For the selected couples, Xing Yuan Group will hold a free party for them. The sun witnesses the wedding, encouraging them to carry out their love to the end. And such events are held every year to find more light of true love. Xing Yuan Group also issued a formal response to the criticism and doubts about bride price. Love is sacred, and marriage is absolutely sacred. If anyone wants to deny the sacredness and replace this sacredness with vulgar money and real materials, then marriage will be a luxury that only belongs to a few people. There are no benefits, but only disadvantages for most people. The increasingly low marriage rate and fertility rate have proven this. If you only pursue material things, but not the sanctity of love, you will not be happy even if you have a marriage. It is just an empty sh. L. There will be no willingness to pay for each other. Only self-interest. 
and the divorce rate will be higher and higher. It's time to give up those dregs and backward ideas and build a family full of love. Survival in this era is not difficult, and there are many opportunities. As long as you work hard and restrain excessive desires, anyone can keep their happiness. We will adhere to the principle of zero bride price and will not waver. We do not allow the sanctity of love to be tainted by money. We hope that all the destined people in the world will come together because of love. And everything else is secondary factors. As for our upcoming sun witness wedding service, the fee is 99,000 yuan per couple, which is relatively high. However, we have a major discount. If the couple is willing to sign a lifelong hand-in-hand -hand guarantee, the wedding fee will be you can get a 50% discount, which only costs 50,000 yuan. But after signing the guarantee, if you get divorced in the future and violate the promise, the party who made the mistake or filed for divorce will have to pay another 50,000 yuan. Otherwise, we the right to sue. You might call this a loyalty clause dot. After the announcement of Xing Yuan Group, it immediately received support from many netizens. My brother Xing has a very correct outlook on things and sees the essence of the problem. Although love is ethereal, it is the soul of marriage and the spiritual support. Without love, no matter how much material you have, it will not bring happiness and it will just be a walking dead. It's too beautiful, too idealistic. This is fighting against the cruel reality, but I still firmly support Xing Yuan Group. Yes, Although after signing the loyalty clause, you have to pay 50,000, which is a bit expensive, but I think it's worth it. Most netizens expressed support and thought it was a good deal. However, there are also a few voices who are very dissatisfied. They cannot accept even the loyalty terms, let alone zero bride price. They vigorously criticize Xing Yuan group on the internet, scold them bloody, and call on everyone to boycott, preferring to choose a traditional wedding. Consider the sun witnessing the wedding clouds. It has even created a lot of momentum and seems to be getting more and more support. But not until February 1st. Relevant organizations took action and issued an announcement to vigorously promote the Sun Witness wedding model and build hundreds of Sun plazas across the country to meet the wedding needs of millions of couples. In addition, a subsidy of 30,000 yuan per couple is given to newlyweds who participate in Sun Witness weddings, which means that they only need to spend 20,000 yuan to participate in Sun Witness weddings. The threshold is greatly lowered and completely within the affordability range. A series of measures came down. The direction of the wind was successfully reversed. There were countless cheers online. If you win, the era of bride price is over and the sanctity of marriage is back. Some people won't give up. But it doesn't matter. I can't stand the initiative of foreign ladies. Brother Xing has done a great thing this time. Thank you, Brother Xing. Long live, Brother Xing. Honestly, I have been planning to settle down for a long time. I have been settling down for many years. I have saved more than 5 million in savings. However, I am only 38 years old and have more than half of my life left. The long loneliness is very difficult. After thinking about it, I still want to find something. A partner is better. But of course, the premise is that the partner can pay for me, does not need to make any money, and is a good wife and mother. Brother is awesome. I have just saved less than 2 million. Since you don't want to lie down anymore, brother, I have to find one. Our future is still very bright. My children will live in a world full of hope and a happy world. He deserves to be in this world. Originally, I wanted to continue to lie flat. But unexpectedly the group leader suddenly said that he had found a partner. And then disbanded the lying flat group. I had no choice but to get up and continue to fight and continue to roll. I just didn't know the strength of the king of rolls back then. Are you still there? So many scroll kings are coming back to the world. I feel trembling. Chapter 203 The Sun Family is officially established. February 2nd, the 19th day of the 12th lunar month. More than 100,000 employees of Xingyuan Group have begun taking vacations in batches. The most anticipated year-end bonuses were also distributed to them in advance. As the group's finances are extremely healthy, this year's year-end bonus is also very generous. A total of 135,000 employees received a year-end bonus of 80 billion renminbi. The per capita bonus is as much as 592,600 yuan. Many senior technical staff have received bonuses worth millions. Even new employees who have joined recently have received bonuses of no less than 100,000 yuan. Cool. For the employees of Xingyuan Group, although it has been quite hard to work overtime in the past year, this moment is the happiest and happiest moment. And their recognition and loyalty to the group has also been gradually improved. 
There are countless envious and jealous voices on the internet. My boss made hundreds of millions this year. But the year-end bonus he gave me was only 100,000. My boss got several more villas and more than a dozen luxury cars. I worked hard. And almost all the results belong to my boss. The company I work for has the best results this year. But the year-end bonuses are not as high as last year. The boss said that the profits should be reserved for next year for expansion. I think they are getting more and more stingy. And I just want to take advantage of the good times. Make more money for yourself. Forget it. I'm going to start a business overseas. There's no point in working for others. No matter how much the boss earns. He won't be willing to give out more. Not every boss is as generous as Brother Shing. I also plan to start a business together with a few brothers. There are many opportunities now. There are countless outlets. And the time for wealth reshuffle has come again. Now except for those high-paying positions. No job is attractive. And the number of civil servants and teachers is getting higher and higher. They come less and less. That's right. Not many people are taking the civil service exam now. And some civil servants have even resigned and gone to work. This era is constantly changing. And there is no iron rice bowl that will always be popular. These changes are all brought about by Brother Xing. We want to thank Brother Xing. The next period of time. For Li Xingyang. He plans to take a good rest and relax. Put aside many of the group's affairs for the time being. Spend more time with his children and family. Visit relatives and manage and consolidate relationships within the family. After all, his family is called the Sun family. In this case, a family must have a general structure, and the internal structure and rules must be certain. It must look like a big family. So during this period, Li Xingyang has been busy with this matter and made many arrangements. For example, I contacted relevant organizations and found a place not far from Suong City, surrounded by mountains and rivers. With beautiful scenery, I plan to permanently purchase 150 acres of land at a price of 15 billion yuan, and then build a sun manor as a solar power plant. This kind of land purchase in the family's core residence is generally not supported. But Xingyu and group is too important, and there are many abandoned villages in backward mountainous areas, so it is easy to take out 150 acres of land. Moreover, Li Xingyang is willing to pay 300 million yuan in property tax every year. Therefore, the land purchase application was quickly approved, and the construction of the Sun Manor can begin after a while. And within the family, Li Xingyang determined the identities of family members, divided them into three levels, and awarded them different badges and uniforms, which has the feel of a feudal hierarchy. There are seven core family members in total, including Li Xingyang himself, his father Li Shuming, his mother Zhang Huying, Su Rong, his son Li Haoyi, his eldest aunt Li Yuechiong, and his second aunt Li Yushu. They all enjoy corresponding rights and treatment. Of course, they also have their own responsibilities and division of labor. For example, the mother Zhang Huying controls the family. In terms of internal financial power, the aunt Li Yuechiong is responsible for human relations and dealing with all kinds of people. It is said that the father Li Shengming has also entered many leadership circles and knows many leaders. These connections are necessary and can bring help. There are more than 10 subcore members of the family. There are uncles Zhang Zhengliang and Zhang Jingxin. Su Rong's parents Su Jianzhou and Yuli. The husband of the eldest aunt and the second aunt. And other relatives. Finally, there are more than 20 peripheral members of the family. For example, the children of aunts and uncles. Uncles and uncles. And Su Rong's younger brother Su Zexu. Etc. All have the status of peripheral members of the Sun family. And can also enjoy some benefits and be given priority in some development opportunities. Is this arrangement necessary and meaningful? These family members and relatives are given a more formal identity and status, and they can be allocated some rights and resources. If in the future, each of them becomes swollen and arrogant, and relies on the family's strength to do evil and wanton outside, ruining the reputation of the Sun family, even being yelled at and beaten by everyone, arousing countless anger, wouldn't it do more harm than good? Li Xingyang has naturally considered this issue, and has also set up relevant management and punishment agencies. He has set at least hundreds of rules and established a punishment mechanism. If anyone behaves too absurdly, even if it is a core member of the family, there is also the possibility of being abolished, and there will never be any mercy. Such historical lessons abound, and as long as a family has good family tradition, perfect rules, and attaches great importance to education, it is easy to pass it on for more than 801,000 years. 
In ancient times, there were many thousand-year-old families, which are better than feudal families. The history of the dynasty is still long, which proves that it is relatively easy for a family to continue for a long time. As long as you learn the good advantages, find ways to overcome the weaknesses, and add the wisdom of modern people, you can create a long-lasting and prosperous family. The Sun family is not too difficult. February 12th, New Year's Eve, Building 38, Jiosong Tianha Villa District, Suong City. This is a villa of more than 800 square meters that Li Xingyang spent more than 50 million yuan to buy for his parents. In the luxurious hall on the first floor, the first family gathering of the Sun family was officially held. Nearly 50 core, subcore and peripheral members, as well as relatives and friends who do not yet have family status. A total of about 100 people sat at two giant long dining tables, enjoying the food and chatting about some topics. It can be said to be very lively. At this time, Zhang Yuan Hao, the son of his uncle Zhang Zhengyang, Li Xingyang's cousin, who is in his 30s this year, holds a six or seven year old boy in his hand. He walks up to Li Xingyang and says, Xingyang, this is my son Jun. Xian is in the second grade of elementary school this year, and his grades are among the best in the class. He is a good young boy with the potential to be well cultivated. Xingyang, I wonder if he can also become a peripheral member of the family, so that he can contribute better to the family in the future. Zhang Yuanhao was quite uneasy and glanced at his wife, who was not far away. She was constantly signaling to cheer him up. Cousin, there is no problem in letting your son become a peripheral member of the family. However, you are a little too anxious as the virtue of a gentleman will decline in the third generation and be eliminated in the fifth generation. In this way, as long as this child has a good character and is admitted to the second degree if he has a certain ability and responsibility in a college that has a good score, he will become a peripheral member of the Sun family. If he has outstanding ability and outstanding performance and can be further promoted to a subcore member, I will give him some opportunities to prove himself. Cousin, these thresholds it's not too high. Can you accept it? Yes, not too high or too high. My son will definitely meet the requirements and I will train him well. Son, hurry up and say thank you. Uncle, Zhang Yuanhao said excitedly and asked his son to politely thank him. We are all a family. There is no need to be so polite. Li Xingyang waved his hand. The long dining table is located at the edge. Su Zexu was holding a mobile phone in his hand and was chatting on WeChat with a female ticket holder Wu Simin. He frowned from time to time, or buried himself in typing quickly, or whispered voice messages, not caring about eating the delicious dishes on the table, looking very anxious, because Wu Simin was giving him an ultimatum, asking him to get rid of Lu Xiaowen, expel her from the company, and never have contact with Lu Xiaowen again. If he couldn't do it, break up. I've had enough of this situation, and I don't want to endure it anymore. In short, if there is me, there will be no Lucio win. And if there is Lucio win, there will be no me. It's up to you, Wu Simin said. Auntie, this Chinese New Year party, can you please calm down? I'm having a family dinner at my brother-in-law's house. And I haven't even toasted him properly yet. Can you please stop causing trouble for me? Su Zexu said helplessly. No, Lucio win's question cannot be left until the Chinese New Year. You have to make a choice for me immediately. Should you choose me or her? Lu Xiaowen's workability is quite good. He is indeed a real academic master. I am very good at using it. Auntie, please stop making trouble. I only have you in my heart. Then Lu Xiaowen is just a tool. But Lu Xiaowen sent me all the pictures of you and her renting a room. How can I trust you? Didn't I explain this before? On that business trip, the hotel room was not enough. So we could only get a double room. She and I slept in separate beds. Then Lu Xiaowen is deliberately planning and following you every day. Sooner or later he will climb into your bed. It will be a matter of time before you cheat. Or you have already cheated. Don't think of me as a fool. Forget it. Do whatever you like. I'm going to toast my brother-in-law. Su Zexu simply ignored her. If she wanted to break up, just break up. He really didn't have the energy to coax her. It was more important to have a good relationship with his brother-in-law. Su Zexu, you scumbag. I want to break up with you. Wu Simin was furious and sent a lot of messages, criticizing him for being a scumbag. However, Su Zexu muted his cell phone, held the wine glass, walked up to his brother-in-law Li Xingyang, and said with a smile, Brother-in-law, I want to toast you. 
My confession light company has made more than 3 billion yuan this year. And it has a lot of business. I am too busy. Some experts say that if my company is listed, the market value will be at least 100 billion. Brother-in-law, these are your gifts. I really don't know how to repay them. Anyway, I drank all the wine. You can do whatever you want. He was flattering like crazy and had prepared at least a few thousand words of manuscript. However, after talking for a while, the phone in his pocket kept ringing. And there was a ding 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 micro chat video call application. Times. But it still kept ringing. Interrupting him repeatedly. Xiao Su. Please stop flattering me. It's enough. I'd better answer your call. Li Xingyang had to say. I'm sorry. Brother-in-law. I'll handle this matter right away. Su Zexo looked ugly. Swiped to answer the video. And said to Wu Xinin on the other side of the video. Didn't you say we broke up? Why are you still harassing me? Su Zexu, you bastard, you human being. Wu Xinin on the other side of the video was also very angry. However, she inadvertently glanced away and saw the handsome side face not far from Su Zexu. She suddenly felt that it was very familiar. She had seen it in many places. And she thought of the mysterious figure behind Su Zexu. Relationship. And the brother-in-law he just talked about. Right? Lighting flashed in Wu Xinin's mind. Then most of the anger dissipated. And he said with a gentle look, Zexu, I'm sorry. I was angry just now. Now I have calmed down. Breaking up is just an angry word. Don't take it seriously. And after school starts, I will also go to your company to help you okay. My ability is no worse than that Lucio win. Why are you so reasonable? Su Zexu was very surprised. Did the sun come out in the west? Subconsciously, he turned around and saw that his brother-in-law was not far behind him. He must have entered the camera just now, and was accidentally seen by Wu Ximin. Oops. He quickly switched the video to a voice call, walked to a corner, and gave a stern warning. Wu Ximin! No matter what you just saw, you must not tell anyone. Otherwise we will break up. I know. I understand the rules. And I swear I won't talk nonsense. Wu Ximin promised again and again, and became extremely sensible. Chapter 2 for the actions of the Iron Horse Due to the good economic development in the past year, with a growth rate of more than 10%, the total GDP exceeded the 200 trillion mark, and the per capita income has also increased significantly. Coupled with the substantial appreciation of the exchange rate, the per capita GDP has reached 28,600 US dollars, close to 30,000 US dollars. If it continues to develop according to the current trend, it will definitely exceed 30,000 US dollars in 2029, entering the ranks of developed countries several years ahead of schedule. Although this per capita GDP data does not have much reference significance, and the proportion of workers earning more than 10,000 yuan a month is still not high, the most important thing is to inspire the confidence of the people, making everyone more optimistic about the future and more willing to spend money. So those who don't have a house dare to take out a loan to buy a house. Those who don't have a car are willing to buy a car. Spending hundreds of dollars on a restaurant meal once in a while is not a big deal. And when people are willing to consume, economic data in all aspects will be better. Jobs will increase. And it will be easier for college students to find jobs after graduation. Everything is changing for the better. However, during this spring festival holiday this year, there are two main things that netizens are talking about and discussing enthusiastically. First, CCTV carefully prepared the spring festival gala for the year of the rooster. It deliberately increased the number of sketches and crosstalks and had plenty of laughs. However, in terms of ratings, it was still surpassed by Xing Yuan groups. Citywide New Year's Eve concert. Once again, the Spring Festival Gala was suppressed. Because Xing Yuan group does not follow martial ethics, it actually built a large floating platform to allow singers to sing hundreds of meters in the air, with even cooler lighting and fireworks display effects. It is normal for the number of spectators to exceed the Spring Festival Gala. Secondly, at this citywide New Year's Eve concert, Queen Mu Chinin sang a soulful song, Light Chaser, written and composed by herself, which aroused a huge response. There are a few lyrics in it like this, I can follow you. No matter whether you will look back, I can wait at that intersection. No matter whether you will pass by, your love is like that light. Warm, but I can't touch it. See the meaning of these lyrics. Look at the look of Queen Mu Chinin, who is so devoted that she even sheds tears. Countless netizens couldn't help but ridicule. I didn't expect that the national diva also has such a side. Which man is worthy of our queen thinking so much? 
He is as humble as a licking dog. Other than our Xing brother. Who else has the ability to make our Dima fall into such great sadness? Xing brother is really committing a heinous crime. If it's brother Xing. That makes perfect sense. And to be honest, I don't think Mu Qingyin is good enough for brother Xing. The entertainment industry is a big mess. Not many rich people marry celebrities now. Brother Xing is sure. Such women will not be considered. Who said my goddess is not worthy of Li Xingyang? I think she is completely worthy. Li Xingyang just has a few bad money. Nothing special. My goddess is only marrying him. And she will suffer a big loss. A mentally retarded person said Fen said extremely unhappy. Yes. Yes. You are right. Everything you said is right. Other netizens did not argue with these fan groups. The first family gathering is over. I spent two more days with my parents. February 15th. The third day of the first lunar month. Li Xingyang returned to the villa in Shui and Jiangnan. He planned to stay in the villa for the next few days to truly relax. Spend a few days with his children. And ignore everything else if he could. What's more? There is basically nothing else to do. Everything that needs to be dealt with has been dealt with. And all the relatives have seen it. And finally the ears can be cleared up. Mr. God. What is going on between you and that Muchin? There are people making fun of you and her on the internet. Some people say that you are having an affair with Muchin. You have already taken care of her. Is there such a thing? Thing? Not long after returning to the villa, Su Rong couldn't restrain her curiosity and had to pull Li Xingyang's arm and ask, Can you please stop asking such childish questions? Don't you know who I sleep with every day? Just make a random guess. Has being pregnant for three years really made you stupid? You should read less online. Li Xingyang said angrily with a straight face. He didn't want to be the target of ridicule and bear those gossipy looks. But he didn't expect that people around him were like this. My God, I don't blame you. What I mean is that since Mu Qingyin likes you so much, if you are also interested, you might as well take this woman in. Mom has investigated Mu Qingyin's background. His family background is clean. There are no scandals. He is a good candidate, Su Rong said. Li Xingyang looked at her in surprise. It was like meeting him for the first time. Shaking his head, he said, Are you serious? Or are you trying to deceive me by using retreat as an opportunity to advance? Is this like your way of dealing with others? Of course I am serious. Why are you lying to me? During this time, I have figured it out. Mom is right. The Sun family has a big business. It is not enough to rely on only two or three direct heirs. The risk is too great. I the birth of Hao Hao was another cesarean section. We can't get pregnant with a second child right away. There's nothing we can do about recruiting two women to come in and help. Su Rong explained. When you said this, your eyes were not looking at me. Your eyes were wandering. And there was a strong unwillingness in your tone. Was it my mother who asked you to say this insincerely? I know you. But you personally do not have such a high level of consciousness. Li Xingyang folded his hands and shook his head in amusement. Mr. God, you understand me so well. Su Rong frowned, lowered her head and pinched her fingers, and said with mist in her eyes, Goddess, I can't share you with other women. It's too difficult. I just want to take over everything about you, so that you only have me in your heart. But your mother called me over in private, did some ideological work several times, told many ancient stories, and persuaded me to be a virtuous queen. And I agreed. But it was really difficult to do it. My heart is like a knife. But my reason tells me that this is not possible. I still have to give in. It is impossible to occupy your love. Woo woo. Said. She whimpered quietly. You are just a stupid woman. Li Xingyang had no choice but to hold her in his arms and comfort her for a while. But he couldn't guarantee that there would only be one of her. Because this was unrealistic. Two or three children were definitely not enough and there was no in vitro cultivation method. Technology. Otherwise, this would not be a problem that would make people tangled and sad. After crying for a while, Su Rong wiped her tears and returned to normal. She raised her head and asked solemnly, My God, you and that Mu Qingyin really have nothing to do with each other. Right? You didn't hide it from me and were looking for other women outside. Right? No. I've already said it once. Can you stop asking? Li Xingyang frowned and said displeased. Okay, I believe you. My God, as long as you don't hide it from me and find another woman, then I can accept it and won't object anymore. Su Rong said, suddenly clapped her hands and said, Xiao Lu, come out. From now on, 
My male idol will need your help to take care of me. In the sound of footsteps, Lu Meishao wore a white slim-fitting skirt, a pair of slender legs wrapped in flesh-colored pantyhose, and delicate makeup. After seeing Li Xingyang, a blush appeared on her pretty face, which made her feel quite shy. Hello, master, and madam. Lu Meishao put her hands on her waist and squatted slightly to salute. How did you come here? It's Chinese New Year. Don't you have to go back to your hometown to celebrate the New Year? Li Xingyang said in surprise when he saw her. She was arranged by my mother, and I to stay here. She can help take care of the villa's hygiene. And she can also take care of Era. She is too lonely alone. My dear, I'm a little self-independent. You won't get angry with me. Are you angry? Su Rong said cautiously. Quite uneasy. You have arranged it so thoughtfully and properly. What else can I say? Li Xingyang spread his hands and said with a helpless smile, Humph, now you are satisfied. You have been looking forward to this day for a long time. Su Rong suddenly pouted and said with strong jealousy in her heart, Master, young mistress, I will do my duty well. Lu Meishao lowered her head and said very meekly, but her pink lips outlined an imperceptible arc, and her heart was filled with ecstasy. Done! After waiting so much and enduring the suffering for so long, at this moment, I finally achieved the right result. It's not easy. It's really not easy. She did not go home for the new year this year, which made her parents extremely dissatisfied. They called and nagged her every day, and the blind date with a net worth of over 100 million also harassed her. Lu Mengxiao knew what her parents meant and hoped that she would marry the billionaire. That way I can help my brother more and improve life at home. Faced with these pressures, Lu Meishao simply showed off to her family, saying that she fell in love with a man and vowed to be with this man. Even if she was a mistress with no status, she would never give up. Even if she was 35 years old, at the age of 40, she has already cut off her retreat. Her parents were shocked and immediately scolded her bloody and said they would send someone to kidnap her back to her hometown. But Lu Mengxiao's words immediately silenced them and no longer objected. Lu Mengxiao said, the man I love is 28 years old, tall and handsome, with a net worth of hundreds of billions, no matter what conditions he has. He is countless times better than that 40-year-old fat pig, and I am more than 60% sure. Don't you support me? Support. Her family is obviously supportive. Even if they don't say it verbally, they still ask how it's going and we chat every day, whether they are successful or not. They even have to help make suggestions. Fortunately, today my dream has finally come true and all the hardships have come to an end. The future will definitely get better and better. I don't know why, but I feel like crying. The other side. Laocho country across the ocean. Iron Horse's space company has made another big move recently. This time Iron Horse was very smart. Very low-key. Fully absorbed the previous lessons. And sees what he thought was an excellent opportunity. Because this period coincides with the Chinese Lunar New Year. More than half of the employees of Xingyuan Group have gone home for the holidays, making it difficult to respond in time. Li Xingyang, the boss of Xingyuan Group, is also enjoying the blessings of the people at the moment. He is intoxicated in the gentle countryside. He can be said to be numb and careless, drunk and dreaming, and has lost his previous vigilance. It can be said that Iron Horse was really smart this time, and his IQ was on the line. He played a good card like a qualified opponent. And this time Space Company did not launch a high-cost rocket. Instead, a light-powered aerospace plane was also used. When this aircraft takes off, it uses high-energy microwave transmitting equipment fixed on the ground to aim at the belly of the aerospace aircraft and supply energy to it. When the aerospace aircraft rises to an altitude of more than 20,000 meters, the ground energy supply equipment stops working, while the suspended airship at an altitude of 20,000 meters, connected to the ground through cables, continues to emit light beams to supply energy to the belly of the aerospace aircraft until the aerospace plane rose to an ultra-high altitude of more than 60,000 meters. As long as the spacecraft reaches an altitude of more than 60,000 meters, it means that more than 70% of the fuel consumption is saved, and the payload that can be carried will be greatly increased. The comprehensive transportation cost is only one-tenth of the Falcon recyclable rocket, and it can make five or six trips a day transporting more than 10 tons of materials each time. So take advantage of this precious strategic window period. In just over half a month, Iron Horse's space company has sent nearly a thousand tons of materials into space. In addition to building a small photovoltaic array with a power of 80,000 kW, 
a small triangular energy trunk road, was also built to store light energy. That's right. This series of actions of Iron Horse are based on the model of Xingyuan Group, which is plagiarized as it is, and is about to take shape, in at most half a month. Space companies' space energy facilities will be officially put into use. So is Iron Horse really playing this time? Xingyuan Group really knows nothing about it, is indifferent to it, and won't take any countermeasures? Chapter 205 Destroy All February 18th Waterfront Jiangnan Villa In the office on the second floor, a video conference is taking place. Mr. Lee, the construction progress of space companies' space energy facilities has exceeded 60% and is still under rapid construction. I think it is time to take decisive response. Otherwise, a competitor will appear in our group and steal our market. Share. Let's do it. Mr. Lee, we can't bear it anymore. Space company is plagiarizing us nakedly. The superconducting capacitors used in their aerospace aircraft and the super photovoltaic panels used in the photovoltaic array were all purchased through smuggling channels. It is completely illegal and ineligible to use without purchasing a license. Yes, our group superconducting materials and super photovoltaic panels are prohibited from being sold to foreign countries. I don't know what traders took them out of the country and ran into the hands of the Iron Horse. Otherwise, Space Company's aerospace plane would not have been built. The power generation efficiency of the photovoltaic array will not exceed 30%, and a larger area must be laid. Everything is difficult at the beginning. Now through the light energy space plane, Space Company's space launch cost has been reduced to one-tenth. Once the first batch of space energy facilities are built and the power generation exceeds 100,000 kW, they can be put into operation use it to further reduce the cost of space launches. Be at the same level of competition as us. And then rapidly expand the scale. This is absolutely unacceptable. Mr. Lee, we must destroy their space energy facilities immediately. The sooner the better. Yes, we have absolutely legitimate reasons. First, Space Company shamelessly plagiarized our patents. Second, illegally used our Xingyuan Group superconducting materials and super photovoltaic products. Third, created space junk, which has caused serious space problems. The congestion problem cannot be solved unless it is completely cleared up. During a video conference, many senior executives of the group were very excited and angry, shouting and killing each other, even more anxious than the boss Li Xingyang. That's right. Xing Yuan Group is always under control of every move of Iron Horse Space Company and does not relax its vigilance. It even knows nothing about it and is indifferent because currently among Western countries or countries around the world, there is only one company that has the technology, sufficient funds, and a lot of talent that can pose a challenge to the Star Source Group. Space Company, the company's boss, Iron Horse, is not someone to be underestimated. He is a smart man an outstanding figure, and he is very active and unyielding. He will not give up if he sets his sights on the goal. Most of the projects he does are successful. Yes, they belong to a very small number of people who can achieve success. Although he likes to brag and has created more than a dozen gourd babies, these are minor shortcomings and cannot negate the threat level of his character. Not long after this, Iron Horse made a comeback and learned to keep a low profile. It must be said that his resilience is also worthy of recognition and admiration. In short, this is a qualified opponent. He fights repeatedly and never gives up. He comes back again and again and is difficult to defeat completely. After all, he also represents a country and the hope of the entire Western world. More than one billion Westerners, the people will not allow him to fail. So, what should Li Xingyang do? How should he respond? Moreover, Li Xingyang was quite surprised by the unanimous shouting and killing of the group executives. This means that Zing Xinjiang Group wants to monopolize the development goal of solar energy. And these executives are very clear about and agree with it, and extremely supportive. Seeing the emergence of potential competitors, they were even more anxious than their boss Li Xingyang, shouting and killing, and wanted to take immediate action. Each of them had a very tough attitude, which seemed to affect their vital interests. But they were all just they are just paid workers. However, Li Xingyang is still very satisfied with their performance. But the specific response strategy cannot be too rough. Even if you want to launch a strike, you must be polite before attacking. You must have sufficient reasons before taking action. And you must choose the most appropriate one. Opportunity. Of course, this does not mean that Li Xingyang is not anxious at all and will sit back and watch his opponent grow bigger. But this challenge is too childish and cannot be considered a big trouble at all. 
There are several ways to solve it. Li Xingyang plans to use a more reliable combination of punches to deal with it. So the next few days, Li Xingyang first greeted Leader Zhao of the Aerospace Industry Group and explained the situation. I reported it to the relevant agencies again and hoped that the authorities would take some actions to strictly investigate and curb the illegal export of superconducting materials and super photovoltaic panels. I also hope that the relevant agencies can take action to stop the illegal space construction activities of Steel Horse Space Company, which has already affected when it comes to the normal operation of Xing Yuan Group's space energy facilities. It is best to dismantle them all. But to Li Xingyang's disappointment, the relevant agency said that they cannot control foreign companies. And space is a public space for all mankind. If any action is taken, there will be a lot of criticism. And against? So, have no choice. February 20th. Li Xingyang had no choice but to ask Liu Xiaoyan from the Human Resources Department to send multiple emails to the space company across the ocean and make multiple phone calls to negotiate and ask the company to stop the infringement immediately. Superconducting materials and super photovoltaic panels are not allowed to be used without purchase permission. And Xing Yuan Group Space Energy Solutions are not allowed to be copied without paying patent fees. Moreover, the company's emerging energy main channel has a small amount of overlap with the Xing Yuan Group's energy main channel, which will cause conflicts and interference and must be cancelled immediately. Otherwise, the Xing Yuan Group has the right to take decisive response actions. In the face of these serious representations, the space company ignored me and continued to go its own way. There was no reply to emails, and I couldn't get through after many phone calls. One of them actually didn't respond or take any notice of me. After the incident was reported to the media, it was ridiculed by Western netizens. Hey! Space belongs to everyone. We can use it however we want. You have copied so many of our technology patents. What will happen if we copy two of them? Ha! Soon we will also have our own space energy facilities. And we will take back the sun that belongs to all mankind. Xing Yuan Group, you can't be arrogant for much longer. We will take back everything that belongs to us soon. We will never lose in this space colonization race. We must take back at least 80% of the resources of the moon and the land of Mars. You only deserve a little. If you don't accept it, then do it in space. Do you have the guts? You'd better be obedient and give up most of the moon mines. Otherwise, we will go to the moon with baseball bats and drive you away like a baseball. I practice rugby. I can use my body to knock them away and make them obediently hand over the mine. There are also high-value meteorites in space. They are all ours. They can't catch any of them. Because the names of those meteorites were given by our scientists. They already have owners. They all belong to us. You are not qualified. Get involved. That's right. At the moment when the name is given, those space resources are owned by the owner. This has been said since ancient times. Don't you agree with this principle? The speeches of these foreign netizens are more tough and arrogant than the last. As if they have already won a victory. No matter what resources are in space, they will take them back at least 80%. If they do not give them back, they will take tough actions. The violent expulsion was simply unabashed and contemptuous. The Xing Yuan group negotiated for many days, but did not receive a suitable response. Instead, it continued to delay time and speed up the frequency of space launches. Until February 28th, space companies' space energy facilities have been basically completed. The satellites responsible for relay energy supply were also launched through rockets. Steel Horse also held a grand press conference, facing thousands of reporters. He smiled brightly, announced, Space Company's endless energy facility will be officially put into use today. From now on, the free world will also enter the era of cheap energy and cheap space exploration. After all the hardships, we finally succeeded in making a comeback. We are not too far behind. I will use our institutional advantages to raise $10 trillion and catch up as quickly as possible. I swear that we will never lose in this competition to monopolize the sun. Victory must belong to us, Iron Horse said impassionately. Bang, bang, bang. The reporters applauded one after another. Their palms turned red, and they were all extremely excited. But at this moment, a large number of light beams lit up in space, causing many fires to flicker. A reporter suddenly exclaimed, Our energy satellite seems to have been destroyed. A beam of light hit us, and the signal was interrupted. Not good. Look at the screen. Everyone. The photovoltaic array has also been hit. The main energy channel is out. And it seems to be finished. Oh. No. I can't see anything on the surveillance screen anymore. 
It's over. In just two minutes. It's all over. Xing Yuan Group issued a statement saying that our main energy channel is blocking their way and has infringed on intellectual property rights. That villain bastard wants to destroy our hopes. Hearing the bad news, standing on the stage, Steel Horse, who was originally full of joy, felt that his vision went dark. His chest felt tight, and he almost vomited blood. Ruthless. Xing Yuan Group is so ruthless that it doesn't take action sooner or later. But just when he invested tens of billions, and the space energy facility was about to be completed. When he was about to pretend to celebrate, he suddenly gave him a big sap. He also deliberately pretended to be helpless and extremely weak, paralyzing his nerves and making him lose his guard, thinking that the other party would only protest and not take action. But who knew that he suddenly got a big surprise? All the efforts were in vain, giving him the slightest hope of success, and then kicking him into the bottomless abyss. Shameless. It's so shameless. Xing Yuan Group, just wait. I, Iron Horse, will never finish with you. Chapter 206 Fierce Confrontation Space's space energy facility was destroyed. The Steel Horse was so angry that he wanted to vomit blood. Western public opinion was also in an uproar. Fiercely criticized and accused Xing Yuan Group. However, Xing Yuan Group held a press conference in advance, summoned hundreds of reporters, launched an attack in advance, took advantage of the public opinion and pointed out three crimes of space company. One is blatant plagiarism of Xing Yuan Group's plan. The second is to illegally purchase superconducting materials and super photovoltaic panels and use them without permission to purchase. The third is to create space junk. The energy main channel established has a small overlap with the energy main channel of Xing Yuan Group, which is suspected of malicious interference. Xiao Yinchi, the spokesperson of Xing Yuan Group, said with red eyes, We have done our best! Manager Liu from the Human Resources Department sent more than a hundred emails to Space Company and made dozens of phone calls to protest and negotiate, but was ignored by the other party. Xing Yuan, the legitimate interests of the group have been violated repeatedly, but the perpetrators ignored it and continued to infringe regardless. Is this what a large company should do? We have used all the negotiation methods that should be adopted. We just want to sit down and discuss and solve this problem, but we have not received a response. Instead, we have been maliciously ridiculed and humiliated. Our efforts to solve the problem have been rewarded with disrespect doesn't matter. We only have deep powerlessness. We have no choice but to take slightly drastic actions to defend our legitimate interests. In the face of bullying in space, we cannot tolerate it forever. Space is very big. We always have an open and cooperative attitude and are willing to cooperate with anyone. The company cooperates with goodwill toward all collaborators, but rejects overbearing behavior and we always have the right to take legitimate defense. This good-looking female spokesperson named Xiao Yinchi introduced the causes and consequences of everything, and introduced the efforts made by Xing Yuan Group to solve the problem. But they all failed. The consequences today are all caused by Space Company. Wrong. Xing Yuan Group is the biggest victim. Moreover, this beautiful spokesperson was extremely aggrieved and sad during the introduction of the situation. She cried so hard that the reporters present especially the male reporters, wanted to go up and comfort her and lend their broad chests. As for the report, it naturally supports the views of the beautiful spokesperson, siding with the Star Source Group, and denounced space companies' greedy, shameless, and offline behavior. Most readers and viewers around the world also feel that the Star Source Group is too talkative. Oh, I was bullied so miserably. Space company is simply not a toy and must be condemned and punished. When these news spread to the West, Countless old and ugly netizens were stunned. We were the ones who were beaten. And we were the ones who burned the space facilities to ashes. But we are still the ones who were wrong. As long as the tears of a beautiful woman fall, can the relationship between who is the bully and who is the weak be reversed? The Xing Yuan group is so shameless. This is clearly confusing right and wrong. The bad guys will file the complaint first. Oh no. Not only was our space property brutally destroyed, but we also lost the public quarrel. We should recruit more beautiful spokespersons and learn how to cry. How could this happen? We lost tens of billions of dollars. We fell into an evil trap. But were defeated by a woman's tears. Can this world be okay? Where is fairness and justice? Countless Western netizens have fallen into a state of doubting life. They did not expect that they would lose even in quarrels and quarrels. The support they received from public opinion was always difficult to gain the upper hand. That is to say, the method of exerting public pressure on Xing Yuan Group failed. 
and most people in the world sided with Xing Yuan Group. However, Iron Horse did not give up and continued to negotiate with Xing Yuan Group. He made several phone calls and sent multiple emails, mainly expressing three demands. One, apologize and Xing Yuan Group will immediately pay compensation of 100 billion US dollars, not a penny less. Second, space companies' efforts to enter space development must no longer be restricted or undermined, especially in space energy facilities. Space company has vowed to occupy market share and not allow Star Source Group to seek an absolute monopoly. Third, the export of superconducting materials and super photovoltaic panel products must not be restricted. Space companies are also eligible to purchase them and must provide technical authorization and must not continue to monopolize them. Of course, these demands of Iron Horse are not caused by brain problems or daydreams. He dares to speak like this, so he naturally has the reason and confidence to say so. There are no less severe warnings and threats. Iron Horse issued a statement saying, Space Company is about to launch a space counterattack and has received sufficient support, and more than 1 billion people are on his side. If the Star Source Group does not make a compromise, it will not apologize and compensate and provide technology. What awaits Xing Yuan Group will definitely be extremely serious consequences. It will be a huge failure. Everything that Xing Yuan Group has built before will be in vain. And the losses will be extremely heavy. I suggest that Xing Yuan Group make the right choice. Don't regard this as a threat. But Space Company has the ability to retaliate. If you don't want to lose both sides, making concessions and compromises is the only right choice. Xing Yuan Group and that young man don't make the same mistake again and again. And don't underestimate our strength. You are just a company, and you cannot cover the sky of the blue star. This is an ultimatum. If we still don't agree to our demands, we can only take the most extreme measures to defend our legitimate interests. It's better to give in. Hand over technology. Pay compensation. Give up space for development. And don't stand on the opposite side of all mankind. The crackdown may start tomorrow. Do you want to continue the confrontation? Xing Yuan Group. I will give you one last chance to consider. Will you compromise? Iron Horse's tone became stronger and stronger. His words became more severe every time. And he exerted extreme pressure. However, the response from Xing Yuan Group has always been neither salty nor mild. Or it is just repeating the same old tune without any intention of compromise. Faced with the Iron Horse's ultimatum, he only responded with four words. Bring the horse over here. His angry face was distorted. And he was extremely annoyed. Since warnings and threats have no effect, retaliation can only be launched. So in the early morning of March 10th, at the same time, hundreds of missile devices were launched into space, heading straight for the Star Source Group Space Energy Facilities. However, before it got close, it was discovered by the Energy Relay Satellite in advance. Dozens of high-energy beams lit up at the same time. In just two or three seconds, all the warheads were burned and evaporated into a gaseous state. Seeing that the missiles were ineffective, some high-power density laser beams lit up on the ground, destroying one or two energy relay satellites. But before they had time to rejoice, those energy relay satellites released hundreds of thousands of KW power. The beam of light hit the ground and accurately destroyed the laser source. Multiple rounds of competition. In space, there are at least thousands of star source groups energy relay satellites and each one has the ability to destroy ground facilities. However, Iron Horse found that the chips in his hands were getting smaller and smaller. He had run out of missiles. The power of ground lasers was far inferior to that of space lasers. Even if he planned to throw a few nuclear bombs into space, they would probably not be able to fly out of the atmosphere and would be destroyed in advance. Destroy. Defeated. Only half a night of competition. Iron Horse exhausted all the cards in his hand and paid a heavy price. Xing Yuan Group was almost unscathed. His threats and intimidation suddenly became a ridiculous joke. On the morning of March 11th, inside the office, Iron Horse slumped on the chair helplessly. His eyes were dull. His face was filled with despair. And he murmured to himself, It's over. I was defeated so easily, with almost no power to fight back. The most terrifying thing is that Xing Yuan Group dares to launch a counterattack. It is obviously just a company. How dare they? They are not qualified to defend or fight back. It's done. I'm completely done. At this time, the office door opened, and a subordinate came in with a panicked expression. Boss, Xing Yuan Group sent an email, asking us to issue an apology and surrender statement within two hours. Otherwise, our factory will be destroyed. 
The R&D center and fixed facilities have reduced all our company's assets to nothing. Boss, what should we do? What? Iron Horse almost fell off his chair. Chapter 207 Giving in and lowering prices. Apology and surrender? Otherwise, destroy your company and destroy all its assets? At this moment, the Xingyuan group finally showed its most domineering and powerful side, forcing Iron Horse to the point of despair. At this time, only then did Iron Horse truly realize that he had provoked the wrong opponent. Xingyuan group was not easy to deal with at all. On the surface, they pretended to be as innocent and cute as a little white rabbit. But in reality, the nearly a thousand energy relay satellites in space can all be used to launch fatal destruction and strikes. Not just for outputting mild light energy. Moreover, the Xingyuan Group Space Energy Facilities can collect hundreds of millions of kW of light energy, which can not only be used in the commercial field. If it is used to attack competitors, Iron Horse will have thousands of nuclear bombs in its hands, and it will not be the Xingyuan Group. The opponent will only be destroyed on the ground or in the atmosphere. Unlimited Energy Plus High Energy Light Beam Xing Yuan Group already has the ability to reduce dimensionality and strike. No weapons and equipment on the ground can pose a challenge to Xing Yuan Group. Only by entering space can we compete fairly with Xing Yuan Group. And this road has been blocked by Xing Yuan Group. Anyone who dares to challenge its space energy dominance will not end up much better than Space Company and can only be locked to the ground. However, Xing Yuan Group is very good at pretending to be pitiful to gain sympathy. It has clearly blocked the development path of others, but still pretends to be bullied and violated. It is very good at public opinion wars and portrays itself as a brave dragon slaying man. The steel horse became that evil dragon. It's obvious that I'm the brave one. Okay? Iron Horse was unable to complain and was depressed and vomited blood. However, the reputation of his space company was not very good before. What he did was no different than a dragon. It is not the fault of others for not receiving enough sympathy and support from public opinion. There were even countless people gloating about his misfortune. What to do? What to do now? Do we really have to apologize? Surrender? And endure huge humiliation? We still have to continue to be tough and maintain our character. Even if we lose countless assets, we will never back down and surrender. The worst is to start from scratch and start all over again. The problem is that Iron Horse is just a businessman. He had dreams. And he also had the tenacity to accomplish something. But he couldn't bear this outcome if he were to become a pauper, go bankrupt with nothing, and have to bear countless debts. In this capitalist country like Laocho, without capital and money, it means losing everything and can only live in H. L. Several of his women will leave him. There are more than a dozen gourd babies with no one to support them. And they don't know what kind of life they will face. Cannot imagine? Iron Horse did not dare to imagine any further. He only knew that once the Star Source Group's blow came and assets worth hundreds of billions of dollars were destroyed, he would definitely fall into the abyss and there would be no possibility of rising again. Because if he wanted to re-establish all this is impossible without spending a trillion dollars. It's down. It's down. Even if he encounters countless scoldings and has his spine poked by countless netizens. He has only one way to surrender. So only an hour later, Iron Horse faced the camera, forced a smile and issued an apology statement. Xing Yuan Group, my good brother Mr. Li, there is a misunderstanding. This is completely a misunderstanding. I admit that Space Company has made some unacceptable mistakes, such as plagiarizing patents, illegally using Xing Yuan Group products, and interfering with Xing Yuan Group. I would like to apologize for the space facilities of Xing Yuan Group. We will also abide by business rules in the future and carry out various space exploration activities as permitted by the rules. In addition, I will leave for China immediately to discuss with Xing Yuan Group negotiate cooperation. This time, no matter what cooperation condition Xing Yuan Group offers, I will consider accepting it. I am ready to compromise. Mr. Li, please don't doubt my sincerity. I have given up some projects in plan. I just hope that Xing Yuan Group will provide a path for cooperation. After this statement was released, it was extremely low key and there was no fanfare. However, Western public opinion was still in an uproar. They all realized that the steel horse had given up and withered, causing countless scoldings. Xing Yuan Group was quite satisfied with this statement. It agreed to Iron Horse's request to visit and prepared a contract to recruit doglegs. It was more than 70% sure that it could conquer the fierce horse Iron Horse and make it no longer possible. Threatening. The other side. Xing Yuan Group headquarters. In the president's office. During the day today. 
Li Xingyang's mobile phone received multiple calls. A call came from a special agency. There was a call from the military. There were also calls from some big guys. The meanings expressed are similar. That is, the performance of Xing Yuan group this time was a little too much. Very inappropriate. Too intense and tough. Etc. Which caused a lot of trouble. Besides, energy relay satellites can only be used for energy supply. Why do they suddenly have considerable destructive power? Can you explain this problem? If Xing Yuan group continues to develop like this, what kind of big tricks will it come up with in the future? Will it one day master the energy utilization method that will destroy the world and bring some hidden dangers? In order to avoid hidden dangers, it is better to include it in supervision and not to abuse it at will. Faced with these voices, Li Xingyang tried his best to explain and expressed his agreement to accept supervision. He spent a lot of time and effort to dispel their concerns, but he didn't know whether his goal was achieved. Xiao Li, you are indeed a little impulsive this time. In fact, I personally very much support your actions. It is enough to have a set of space energy facilities. If foreign competitors catch up, destroying them is simple but most effective. The only way to deal with this is that it brings a lot of pressure from public opinion. And there are many voices of opposition. Moreover, Xing Yuan Group plans to have a monopoly on space energy. Not only other countries, but also within our country. There are many voices of criticism. But I didn't expect that your Xing Yuan group would have such a powerful attack method. No. Xiao Li, this has violated the taboo of some interest groups. Because they don't want to become the second space company. Xiao Li, this time it shouldn't be so extreme. Zhao Chanhong said on the phone. Old Zhao, if I don't even have the right to self-defense, wouldn't all my space energy facilities be destroyed? Do we have to wait for huge losses before we can officially fight back? What kind of bullshit logic is this? Li Xingyang Road. You are right. But the losses of Xing Yuan Group are too small. How can you stop some people's mouths? You have already given people an excuse to make trouble. You want to nationalize Xing Yuan Group or let state-owned enterprises take shares. The voice of if it happens more than three times. Be prepared to give up some of your shares and control. There is not much room for you to make mistakes. Zhao Chanhong issued a warning. This. Li Xingyang frowned and was silent for a moment. Then thought for a while and said. Old Zhao, thank you for the reminder. Let's do this. Starting from tomorrow, the energy price provided by Xing Yuan Group to Aerospace Industry Group will be reduced to 50 cents per kilowatt hour, and priority will be given to the benefits of the price reduction. As for other institutions and companies, they will wait for the establishment of the second energy main road before they can enjoy the energy price reduction services. Lao Zhao, let me express my opinion here. The only purpose of Xing Yuan Group to enter the space energy field is to provide sufficient and cheap energy. If the services in this area are not good and the price remains high for a long time, then Xing Yuan Group will it is not qualified to occupy a monopoly position and block other people's financial paths. Moreover, the price of 0.5 cents is just the beginning. In the next few years, the energy price of Xing Yuan Group will drop every year. The cost of various space activities will continue to decrease, and the service level will be improved. Strive for everyone's approval. Li Xingyang looked solemn and made some guarantees. Reducing the electricity bill to 50 cents? Yes, this is okay. Zhao Chanhan on the other end of the phone suddenly beamed with joy and nodded repeatedly. The electricity bill was reduced by half. This means that the net profit that the aerospace industry group can earn from participating in various space activities will increase by at least 10 billion this year. This is extremely impressive numbers. It can block the malice of many Zhang Yuyu. Xiao Li, work hard. Don't do too many unnecessary things. Just do your job well. As long as the energy provided by Xing Yuan Group is abundant and cheap, it proves the excellence of Xing Yuan Group. I think anyone can choose if nothing goes wrong and you can't find an excuse to attack. This is the best way to go, Zhao Chanlong said. Yes, I know. Lao Zhao. Li Xingyang nodded. And the two ended the call. Put down the phone. Sitting on the office chair squinting slightly, placing his palms on the desk, tapping his fingertips on the table regularly, murmuring, Is it enough to just do your job? Ha uh ha. -huh. I can't see. I don't have any growth. A giant beast with fangs and claws. No matter how well made it is, it's still just a piece of meat in the eyes of some people. At this time, a pair of soft and cool jade hands were placed on his temples, massaging and massaging them to relieve his fatigue and headache. Li Xingyang opened his eyes looking at Lu Meishao, who was standing next to her in an oil outfit 
and with a graceful figure, and looking at her thoughtfulness and skillful massage techniques. I had to admit that after this woman became his personal assistant, no matter whether she was serving tea or water, she was when it comes to running errands. She is no worse than Su Rung before. She is more gentle and submissive, and has a strong heart. She is able to ignore the criticism and contempt of other female employees. She is not even moved by Ming Yufei's harsh sarcasm. This is a woman with a strong will that is not easily shaken. Li Xingyang was quite impressed. However, she is still in the investigation period, and Li Xingyang will not give her too many benefits, and she does not have a status or anything like that yet. Master, Iron Horse will arrive at Su Han tomorrow morning. Should I meet him in the morning or arrange to meet him in the afternoon? Lu Meishao asked. Let's arrange to see him in the afternoon. Okay. Chapter 208 Energy Comprador Steel Horse on the afternoon of March 13th, Industrial Park, Xing Yuan Group Headquarters Building, in the large conference room on the 28th floor, Iron Horse came here again with a few assistants. But the mentality is completely different. Last time, he was still a little energetic and arrogant. He didn't think that Xing Yuan Group was so great. He always felt that he would have a chance to catch up and even surpass Xing Yuan Group in the field of space energy. Not to mention monopolizing the entire sun at least also have to monopolize half. But at this moment, the dream was shattered. The reality is too cold and cruel. Xing Yuan group didn't play according to the routine at all. So Iron Horse had no choice but to admit defeat. There was a sound of footsteps. Iron Horse quickly stood up and walked to the door. When he saw Li Xingyang's figure, he immediately stretched out his hand, smiled and said extremely enthusiastically, Great Mr. Li, I am Xiaoma. I am so happy to meet you. What happened before was completely a misunderstanding. I feel very sorry. But from now on, my space company will be the closest partner of Xing Yuan Group. There will no longer be any business competition. Only complimentary advantages. Just like brothers. The steel horse talks endlessly, is extremely flattering, and tries his best to flatter everyone. The Chinese woman next to him, who was responsible for translating for him, looked constipated and doubtful about life. But she had to complete her work. It was very painful. And some inherent pride in her heart was completely destroyed. Don't be impatient. Xiaoma, let's go into the conference room and sit down to discuss the specific cooperation. As long as everyone is sincere in cooperating, we will definitely get a mutually satisfactory result. Li Xingyang patted the iron horse on the shoulder and said kindly. Well, iron horse nodded repeatedly, already half relieved. Subsequently, the conference room door is closed. The cooperation negotiations between the two parties lasted for more than three hours. They discussed many aspects. The atmosphere was always relaxed and pleasant. There were no conflicts or quarrels. Specific cooperation was quickly negotiated and the strategy was signed. Cooperation agreement can only be described as extremely smooth because Iron Horse didn't make any struggle. He agreed to all the cooperation terms given by Li Xingyang almost without thinking. The core ones are the five. One. The headquarters of Space Company was transferred to China. 2. Among the senior executives and core technical personnel of Space Company, the proportion of Chinese shall not be less than 50%, and the share held by Chinese shall not be less than 35%. Third, The market scope of Space Company's operations is mainly limited to Laochou, Cannabis and Europe. The profits earned every year are not allowed to be used for core technology research and development but can be used for extravagant consumption and increase shareholder dividends. Fourth, space companies' supply chain should shift to purchasing large quantities of parts and equipment from China, with a proportion not less than 50%. Fifth, if a rival to Star Source Group appears again in the field of space energy, space company must help to kill it, and any means of competition can be adopted. These terms above, Iron Horse agreed to all of them, almost without thinking, without entanglement or hesitation and was extremely obedient. By the way, couldn't he see what these terms actually meant? Iron Horse is not a fool. Of course, he knows that once he agrees to these terms, his space company will completely lose the opportunity to enter the space energy industry and will become a dog of Xingyuan Group, with restrictions on everything except bones and dog food. Don't think about anything else. And once the relationship with Xingyuan Group breaks out again, it will be over in minutes, and it will not even have the ability to struggle. To put it more bluntly, after signing this cooperation contract, Iron Horse became a notorious energy comprador and became a lackey of Xingyuan Group. In the future, 
his loyalty to Xing Yuan group will exceed his loyalty to his own motherland. In the future, he will only stand unconditionally on the side of Xing Yuan group. In the future, he is destined to be the number one national thief in Lao Chao's country that everyone shouts about and punishes. Is it worth it? Is it necessary to go to this step? Worth. Iron Horse felt that it was very worthwhile. And he was willing to risk everything on this. Even if he is reduced to a low status bitch and is called pony by young people younger than him. It's not that he has no self esteem or shame. It's that he doesn't want to endure hardship anymore and might as well just lie down comfortably. In fact, he realized from the beginning that it was not feasible to engage in physical industry in Lao Cho country. The costs in all aspects were too high and the environment for starting a business was very harsh. If the environment for many projects were changed to China, he would have long ago successful. Just like his new energy vehicles, he persisted for so many years just because Lao Chao's financial market is developed and financing is easy to expand the market value and inflate bubbles. However, the actual project progress is always delayed again and again, or is stuck at the mass production mark. Many simple projects' industrial parts actually require manual polishing. If all the production links of his company were moved to China, he would have taken off long ago and his achievements would have been 10 times what they are today. Let's not get to the point of being an energy comprador today. In the final analysis, it is really not his own problem. It is not a crime of war, but Lao Chao's industrial base and talent quality. It is too stretched, which makes him desperate. Now he has no energy to catch up. After all, he is over 50 years old. I really can't use it anymore. It would be good to simply lie down and be an energy comprador, with the help of China's cheap and efficient supply chain, and the ready-made energy provided by Xing Yuan Group. We can develop solar passenger aircraft, space tourism, space medical and other projects. It is easy to make hundreds of billions of dollars a year without wasting money and struggling to develop technology to catch up with the gap. It will not be possible to achieve results in a decade or two. Never mind. Being an energy comprador is too good. And lying down is too comfortable. He has been struggling for so many years. And he can't do it anymore. It's time to enjoy life and stop thinking about bringing up those pig teammates. He really can't do it. Li Xingyang was quite surprised to see Iron Horse being so open-minded and cheerful. And asked him several questions. For example, if he suddenly becomes an energy comprador, will his company's shareholders and investors accept it? Congressman, do you accept this? Can the people accept it? Will they pull out a gun and blow his head off? No problem. I have a way to deal with them. Iron Horse smiled slightly and said, Shareholders and investors want nothing more than profit dividends. After reaching a cooperation with Xing Yuan Group, as long as they see enough benefits, they will not have any objections, the congressman. On the other hand, they want feeding them with benefits and giving them some fear will quickly change their attitudes. As for ordinary people, their opposition is meaningless and cannot affect the overall situation. They are the most insignificant factor. Oh, all right. Li Xingyang nodded and immediately felt relieved. Chapter 209 Golden Orbit After successfully taking over the loser Iron Horse, on the same day, Xing Yuan Group issued a news announcement, introducing the negotiation situation with Space Company, and announced that it had reached a number of cooperations. The grievances between the two parties have been resolved and there are no longer any conflicts. From now on, they will be good partners who rely on each other. As for the specific terms of cooperation, they have not been made public. Anyway, the grievances and conflicts are gone. The world is peaceful, and everyone has a bright future. To such dramatic results, netizens in China generally believe that Iron Horse must have given in, been tamed, and was forced to sign an alliance under the city. From now on, he could only be willing to become a subordinate and dare not get involved in the space energy field. Western netizens tend to believe that Xing Yuan Group gave in and was forced to agree to cooperate. Iron Horse successfully defended its interests and dignity, bankrupting Xing Yuan Group's conspiracy and ambitions, and had to give up some of its interests. Iron Horse fought such a big victory. Anyway, it was a thrilling victory, enough to make a wonderful business war movie for other countries and companies around the world. There is only envy. I am very envious of Iron Horse and his space company. Because once a cooperation is reached with Xing Yuan Group, the benefits will be unimaginable. For example, cheap space launch services, light-powered airliners, lunar mining, space fishing and mining, etc. No matter what they are involved in, it means unimaginable benefits. 
opportunities to make a fortune, and success in seizing the opportunity. The previous cooperation partners, with Xing Yuan Group, were all domestic enterprises in China. They had no idea of expanding overseas and rejected all cooperation applications from foreign companies. But they didn't expect that this mouthful of head soup would actually be drunk by Iron Horse's space company. They could only watch helplessly, making people envious and jealous. Even if one day in the future, the cooperation between Xing Yuan Group and Space Company is exposed, everyone will know that Space Company has become a loser company, and Steel Horse is actually an energy comprador that everyone reviled. The truth is shocking. Even so, around the world, there are still countless companies crying and wanting to cooperate with Xing Yuan Group. There are also countless foreign bosses who want to become energy compradors. The most painful thing for them is that they wanted to be a dog but failed. And they wanted to be an energy comprador but were rejected. The steel horse is still the object of their envy and jealousy. And this world is just as a certain writer said, facing the Xing Yuan group that controls space energy. The world is full of beings who want to be dogs and those who want to be dogs but cannot. After this episode, look at the time. It is already mid-March 2029. It's time to get back to the most important things. We can't waste time anymore. We must take action immediately. What is the most important thing? Why are you so anxious? It seems like you can't wait any longer. Energy main road. It's time to start building the second main energy channel. Supporting space power generation facilities must be deployed as soon as possible to bring power generation to meet the needs of various space production and construction activities. That's right. Since the time has entered 2029, various space activities have increased exponentially. And Xing Yuan Group's hundreds of millions of kW of space power generation has become insufficient again. For lunar mining alone, the demand for space energy, mainly for transportation, has increased to more than 80 million kW. However, because it cannot provide so much energy, there is a problem of large amounts of ore piling up and unable to be transported. Intense construction of space city. The number of space factories has increased to more than 10. The number of light-powered passenger planes used in the atmosphere of Azure Star has increased from about 100 to nearly 300. And the energy demand has also increased several times. All aspects of needs are combined. It is concluded that unless Xing Yuan Group increases the power generation power of space energy facilities to more than 180 million kW, it will not be enough at all. And various space activities will be restricted and restricted and will fall into a bottleneck state. Therefore, the expansion of space energy facilities is urgent and cannot be delayed. It is a top priority. Fortunately, Li Xingyang was also prepared. Starting March 15th, with the help of multiple transport spacecraft with a carrying capacity of more than 1,000 tons. The core components of 33 light sail reflectors and multiple star ring reflectors were transported to space and assembled. Then through its own power system, it is transferred to a circular orbit about 155 million kilometers away from the sun, basically parallel to the orbit of the blue star around the sun, and then evenly dispersed, ensuring that the closest straight line distance to the blue star is not less than 1 million kilometers but it will not be greater than 10 million kilometers, thus facilitating the utilization of light energy. After continuous fine adjustments, this energy main road is expected to be officially put into use in three months. At the same time, also with the help of transport spacecraft with a load capacity of more than 1,000 tons, light energy collection converters weighing up to 480 tons were also sent into space and then headed straight for the sun through their own power systems. When it reaches an orbital position about 30 million kilometers away from the sun, it will be fixed. Unfold all the super photovoltaic panels. Enter the full power generation state. And then convert the electric energy into high energy short waves. And finally converge through the star ring reflector. In a straight state, it can be emitted and finally introduced into the main energy channel. Or it can be used directly. The power generation power of a light energy collection converter is about 1 million kW which is equivalent to the power generation power of a photovoltaic array. Only 100 units can generate 100 million kW of power. In the golden orbit about 30 million kilometers from the sun, at least millions or tens of millions of light energy collection converters that are not particularly large can be deployed, densely packed into the orbit, as long as there are no collisions. Xing Yuan Group, in the command and control hall, looking at the big screen, the light sail reflectors have spread out and are heading to their respective orbital positions. We saw as many as 150 light energy collection converters speeding towards the sun, and are expected to reach the golden orbit in half a month. Along with these light energy collecting converters, 
there are six star ring reflectors. These ring reflectors will receive the light energy sent by the light energy collecting converters at the outer orbit position 1 million kilometers away from the golden orbit. Finally, it is sent to the main energy channel near the blue star or directly to the place where energy is needed. At a location 30 million kilometers away from the sun, the density of light energy is high, but it will not burn out photovoltaic panels and equipment. The concentration of high energy particles in the sun is high, but it is not difficult to be deflected by electromagnetic deflectors. So the damage to equipment is low, has a long service life, and is the area with the highest comprehensive cost performance. It is very appropriate to describe it as a golden track. As long as you seize this track, you will have the best opportunity and have incomparable advantages. Li Jianong, a member of the Hengxing planning team, held his hands. Actually, our second energy main road is also a golden track. Luo Xiaoxing added, This main energy road is close to the blue star and the moon which is convenient for meeting market needs. In the future, whether it is to immigrate to Mars or catch meteorites in the asteroid belt, it will be very convenient. It takes into account multiple directions at the same time. Using gold orbital can't be overstated. That's right. One is a golden track for collecting light energy, and the other is a golden track that is conducive to making money and monopolizing the market. Now they are both used and occupied by our Xingyuan group. Our leading advantage is as solid as a mountain and cannot be shaken. Colleague Lucien nodded repeatedly and said, The demand for space energy is so strong now that we can use whatever energy we have. The energy main roads are almost reduced to decorations. We still need to speed up the deployment. We strive to increase the space power generation capacity to 300 million kW by the end of June. Above, by the end of this year, it will be increased to more than 500 million kW. Otherwise it will not be enough. The current total electricity demand of human civilization on Azure Star is about 5 billion kW. As long as our group fully utilizes the potential of the two golden orbits and increases the effective power generation power to the level of 5 billion to 10 billion kW, I think in the short term, mankind will no longer face the problem of energy shortage and officially embrace energy freedom. From 50 to 10 billion kW, it will take at least three years before the group can achieve this. Right? Although I can't wait. I can only go step by step and work step by step. Hey, I'm also looking forward to it. In the future era of unlimited energy, I don't know what kind of wonderful situation it will be. I suddenly feel that I must work hard to speed up the arrival of this era. Yes, I think so too. Chen Xingfu and other colleagues said one after another. Chapter 210 Giant Energy Relay Satellite Soon! March 30th Xing Yuan Group has made another big move, which has attracted the attention of many people. Because Xing Yuan Group used the method of assembling parts to build a huge thing in space. Its shape is also mushroom shaped, with a huge spherical hood structure, with a diameter of 150 meters, and an umbrella column section about 40 meters high, which can be described as a giant space mushroom. The overall weight is about 5,000 tons, which is slightly heavier than today's Tiananmen Space Station. There are more than 3,000 cubic meters of living space inside which can accommodate 12 staff members to work and live inside. They are usually rotated every six months to avoid symptoms such as osteoporosis. Of course, they can also enter the space city for vacation adjustments until the construction of the space city is completed. By the way, what exactly is such a behemoth? What exactly does it do? In fact, there is nothing strange about this thing. It is still an energy relay satellite, and its functions and functions have not changed. However, this is a giant energy relay satellite. Its volume, weight and other parameters are dozens to a hundred times that of ordinary energy relay satellites. The functionality is naturally very terrifying and exaggerated. Its maximum bearable light energy irradiation power reaches as much as 150 million kW. The average conversion efficiency of light energy is between 70% and 75%, which is slightly lower. The maximum output light energy power can reach 105 million kW. And it has 100 parallel light lenses, which can supply light energy to up to 100 space equipment. The cost of manufacturing is very high. The cost of such a piece of equipment is actually 55 billion. It is the most expensive of all equipment. It can be said to be a gold-eating beast. Above, this is the basic situation of giant energy relay satellites. The main purpose of Xingyuan Group's development and production of this behemoth is naturally to make better use of space energy, especially in the direct use of high-power light energy, which has an irreplaceable role. 
March 31st. In the deep and quiet space. Inside the first DAW-1 giant energy relay satellite. In the work area control room. Chao Qian, a 28-year-old young staff member, is observing various data on the screen and reporting some situations to the ground command center, which he can handle very easily. A break in work. And the occasional time to relax. Chao Qian had a dreamlike feeling, which seemed a bit unreal. He never thought he would have the opportunity to work in space. Unexpectedly, he would pass the strict personnel selection and defeat many elite talents. The main reason for successfully entering space was that he had a good habit of exercising and had good physical fitness. In terms of academic qualifications, he only has a third-rate undergraduate degree and has never been very good at reading. He is not the most efficient or clever person at work, but he is more focused and can do simple things well, and he has gradually become a screw-like backbone elite talent. In life, he is a stupid straight man who doesn't know how to make girls happy. He has been single for 27 years and only found a girl at the end of last year. She took the initiative to pursue her. She is also quite beautiful, so he couldn't control her. The other party has captured it, and it is estimated that the marriage certificate will be obtained by the end of this year. Now in a space environment, get away from the hustle and bustle of this city. There is no female ticket to accompany you. I will probably work here for half a year before returning to the ground at the end of September. There were only a dozen or so colleagues, all of whom were men, and they didn't enjoy all the conveniences. There was also a delay of more than half a second in video calls with women. To be honest, this kind of business trip in space wasn't particularly cool after a long time. Only the monthly business trip subsidy of 100,000 yuan makes people most satisfied. Even so, Chao Qian is still very proud and has no regrets at all. After all, he was one of the 12 people who fought his way out of nearly 10,000 applicants and got the last laugh. His family and female supporters were also very happy and proud of him. At the end of each day's work, what Chao Qian likes to do most is to use an astronomical telescope to watch the dense stars, study various stars and galaxies, or take photos of some very beautiful nebulae, and then share them with family groups and friends. Own Harvest Chao Qian's photography skills are good, and he really captured a lot of stunning and beautiful starry sky scenes, which caused the female fans to exclaim and scream many times, and then quickly forwarded them to share with their girlfriends and friends. Beautiful! These are all beautiful pictures taken by my husband. The stars and the sea are so spectacular and beautiful. Each of us should go to space to take a look in our lifetime. The starry sky over there is completely different from what we see on the ground. It would be great if there could be a space wedding in the future. With the sky full of stars as the background and the blue stars as the backdrop. You can make a vow to stay together for a lifetime. This must be the most romantic ceremony. Shaked his head. Get rid of distracting thoughts in your mind and devote your main attention to your job. On the afternoon of April 2nd, after more than half a month of acceleration and deceleration, a total of 150 light energy collection converters and six star ring reflectors successfully arrived in and around the golden orbit. Subsequently, the super photovoltaic panels of the light energy collection converter were all unfolded, fully absorbing the high density light energy here, and immediately convert the electrical energy into high energy shortwave and launch it towards the large bell mouth of the star ring reflector. However, if the light energy collection converter is on the back side of the sun, or the illumination angle is outside the receiving range of the bell mouth, it will emit high energy short waves near other light energy collection converters, and the converter will extend out hundreds of square meters. The reflective mirror helps reflect high energy short waves into the large speaker. That is to say, this light energy collection converter can also play the role of a reflective mirror so that the high-energy short waves emitted by the light-energy collection converter in the golden orbit can be introduced into the specific star ring reflector, and the loss rate is very low. The target of the ring reflector, which receives a lot of light energy, is aimed at the end nozzle, which is about 120 million kilometers away. The main energy channel of the giant energy relay satellite, DAW-1, where Chao Qian is located has not yet reached the target. When building and shaping, this light energy can only be used directly. At this moment, DAW number one control room. The high energy light beam is about to arrive. Be prepared for the impact. This test has a certain degree of danger. But no matter what happens, don't panic too much and act according to the corresponding plan. There are still 15 seconds left for the high energy beam to arrive. And 10 seconds left. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It has arrived. Buzz buzz. 
A large amount of high-energy shortwave waves accurately hit the huge spherical cover. Doll 1 experienced a slight vibration and seemed to move backward a little distance due to the light pressure effect. Doll 1 has successfully withstood the impact. Receive power of 30 million kW. Receive power of 50 million kW. Receive power of 90 million kW. Accepting power exceeds 100 million kW. The power reserve system of DAW-1 is expected to be fully charged in 38 seconds, and it will begin to release light energy and activate all parallel light lenses. The released light energy power reaches 30 million kW, 50 million kW, and 80 million kW, which will soon achieve a dynamic balance of charging and discharging energy. The maximum released light energy power has reached 88.65 million kW, maintaining a stable working condition. And the test was a complete success. Doll 1 has successfully brought energy to mankind. As the commander's words fell. Success. Marvelous. This is a landmark achievement. Both the personnel in the ground command center and the staff inside Doll 1 were all happy and applauded enthusiastically. Chapter 211 Energy Price Reduction. Countless cheers. The giant energy relay satellite Doll 1 was successfully put into use. There is a certain gap between the effective power generation of nearly 90 million kW and the theoretical maximum of 105 million kW. But this has just been put into use. In the later use process, as long as you continue to make improvements and adjustments, find ways to reduce the dissipation of light energy, improve conversion efficiency, effectively utilize the power, and gradually increase it to more than 100 million kW, there will be no problem. And so much available power was added all at once. In addition, the power generation power of Xingyuan groups 100 and 20 million kW photovoltaic array was originally only 100 million kW. However, in order to meet the needs of its customers, Xingyuan Group had to invest a lot of money and increase the area of all photovoltaic array power generation panels by 20%. Increase power generation capacity by 20 million kW, which is of emergency nature. Adding the two pieces together, the total power is close to 210 million kW. Customers' needs were instantly met, and slightly exceeded. But this time, in order to encourage customers to use it more confidently and expand more boldly, Xingyuan Group has launched a major discount. Price reduction? The price of space energy has been reduced across the board, from the previous 1 yuan per kilowatt hour to 5 cents per kilowatt hour. Price reduction of up to 50%. In particular, the light energy output through the giant energy relay satellite DAW-1 can be discounted by 10% on the basis of price reduction. That is, it is only 0.45 yuan per kilowatt hour to encourage users to give priority to using these high power light energy. This is called giving priority to quantity. And after this big news was released, buzz, the entire market was stirred up. Countless cheers of excitement rang out. The public response was also very enthusiastic. Great! The price of space energy has finally dropped. My brother Xing finally had a conscience and reduced the price by 50%. This sincerity is worthy of recognition and is very good. Energy prices have become so cheap and the focus of space development has suddenly become greater. More entrepreneurs will flood in and the probability of making money will also be greater. Most of the incremental wealth in the future will come from this air outlet spurts out. The price of 50 cents per kilowatt hour is even cheaper than terrestrial electricity. Less than three years after Xingyuan Group officially entered space, energy prices have dropped to this level. I have to say that the space energy field is indeed promising and has unlimited potential. Brother Xing is too down to earth. In fact, Xing Yuan Group has always been unable to make ends meet. The previous energy price of 1 yuan per kilowatt hour was already very conscientious. If it were replaced by another company, it would be normal to price 5 yuan or 10 yuan at the beginning. And it would be certain. There will be customers. But Brother Xing has taken a popular route from the beginning leading mankind into the age of interstellar navigation. Now that energy prices have dropped again, the boundless space will definitely become more lively. The energy price is 50 cents, and the large quantity is only 45 cents. That's it. Brother Xing is trying to completely stop his competitors from thinking about entering the space energy field. There is no possibility of catching up. There is no chance of overtaking in a corner. Even if controllable nuclear fusion is achieved, it is estimated that its power generation may not be as good as that of a giant energy relay satellite. However, in terms of cost and maintainability, giant energy relay satellites are hanging. Fight-controlled nuclear fusion. Yes, 
controllable nuclear fusion has indeed become very useless now. It is expensive and complicated and has average power generation capacity. This road that originally represented the hope of mankind may have reached a dead end. Having said that, controllable nuclear fusion still needs to be researched and cannot be given up halfway. This technology still has great application potential. And the light beam power supply of Xingyuan Group cannot cover all usage scenarios. April 5th. Moon. Archimedes Crater. Lishuan Mining Company. The company's boss. 36-year-old Li Haifeng. Has been working in this mine for more than half a year. He is one of the earlier ones to get the qualifications and successfully enter the limelight. Li Haifeng has no special connections or connections. Just because he is engaged in mining. He has been in the industry for many years and has the qualifications to enter the field of space mining. With good luck, he has become the enviable lucky person. Shortly after settling in Archimedes Crater, Li Haifeng led his employees to successfully find a high-grade iron or vein in a rock formation less than 3,000 meters from the lunar surface. With an iron content of more than 60% and more than 0.5% of rare earth elements, which can be called rare earth iron ore, after industrial smelting, high-value rare earth steel can be obtained which can be used in high-speed rail rails, high-end ships, automobile frames, and other fields. The price is about 8,000 yuan per ton, which is the price of ordinary steel, two or three times. Therefore, the price of rare earth iron ore in this vein is 50% higher than that of ordinary iron ore, which is about 1,500 yuan per ton. The reserves exceed 3.5 billion tons. If all are mined and sold, the total gross revenue will be nearly 500 billion. If all costs are removed and a profit rate of 10% can be obtained, then Li Haifeng will become a rich man with a net worth of 50 billion. But, more than half a year has passed. Li Haifeng led the company's employees to engage in frantic mining and has mined and sold nearly 10 million tons of rare earth iron ore with a gross revenue of 1.5 billion. However, Li Haifeng did not make much money and could only maintain a balance of payments because energy costs account for one-third employee wages and benefits account for January 3rd. The purchase and maintenance cost of mining equipment accounts for one-third. His boss doesn't even have a net profit of 5 million and occasionally loses money. Why is this happening? Isn't lunar mining very profitable? Isn't it a huge trend that has already brought thousands of billionaires? But the real situation is that most lunar mining companies do not make much money. They are only flattered by capital and their stock prices are seriously inflated, creating many billionaires on paper. After all, it's all bubbles. In the lunar mining industry, the current mining costs are still relatively high, and the mining companies on the Blue Star have been cutting prices crazily in the past two years. No matter what kind of ore they are, they tend to become cabbage. The purpose is to survive and fall into a huge sense of crisis. Price war has become the only means of survival. Although the mineral resources on the moon are extremely rich, the reserves are astonishing, with a gravity coefficient of only one-sixth. The ore can be mined with only a small amount of energy. These advantages are indeed good. However, the energy price of 1 yuan per kilowatt hour supplied by Xingyuan Group is on the high side. Most of the food, water, air, daily necessities, etc. consumed by employees every day are shipped from Azure Star. And the prices are very high. The salary offered to each worker cannot be less than 50,000 per month. Otherwise it will be difficult to recruit people. All factors are combined. As a result, costs remain high, and we are lucky to be able to break even. Li Haifeng also took various measures to reduce costs, such as purchasing a large number of ordinary cheap photovoltaic panels from Azure Star to increase self-sufficiency in electricity to more than 70% and reduce energy dependence on Xingyuan Group. There are many companies on the moon that have adopted similar practices as Li Haifeng, but most of them ended in failure. On the one hand, in the space transportation process, the transportation cost of about 500 kilowatt hours of electricity per ton of materials is unavoidable and impossible to save. Secondly, photovoltaic panels are laid on the surface of the moon to generate electricity. Except for a small area at the south pole of the moon, it can generate electricity 24 hours a day. The effective power generation time in other places is only half, which means that the working time is only half at most. And the mining efficiency is not high. Now the energy prices of Xingyuan Group have dropped. Li Haifeng did some calculations on his computer and couldn't help but look overjoyed. I can make money. And now I can finally make a considerable profit. Transportation costs can be reduced by about half. For this piece alone, 
I can make a net profit of about 250 yuan per ton of rare earth iron ore. The company's current mining capacity is 50,000 tons per day, which is a net profit of 12.5 million yuan per day. If the daily mining capacity is increased to 100,000 tons, it will be a profit of 25 million yuan. Uh-huh. In just a few days, I will be a billionaire. Forget it. Starting from tomorrow, you don't need to buy any more photovoltaic panels to generate your own electricity. You can just buy high-power light energy directly from Xingyuan Group. The price is only 4 cents and 50 degrees. The mine can operate 24 hours a day and increase the daily production capacity to more than 100,000 tons. This is the most efficient way to make money. Think of this. After seeing the hope of getting rich, Li Haifeng was so excited that he couldn't sleep. He immediately used his communication device to make a video call to his family on Azure Star to share the good news with them, especially his six-year-old daughter Li Lishuan. Although he hasn't been seen in the video for only three days, he is already thinking about it. You must know that he is a super daughter slave. The name of his company is his daughter's name. If it is not to make money, to support his family, he couldn't wait to be with his sweetheart every day. Chapter 212 Space City Nua City April 12th In an orbit about 550 kilometers above the surface of Azure Star, a giant cylindrical space structure with a diameter of 33 kilometers and a central axis of about 50 kilometers has completed the construction of the skeleton and has a basic prototype. Even the huge ring on the central axis began to rotate slowly, driven by the ion engine, so that the centrifugal force on the edge of the ring could reach 0.35 g, which is more than one-third of the gravity of the Azure Star surface. Although you will feel a little bloating when walking on it, it is basically enough and will not cause too much inconvenience. The width of the ring is 5 kilometers, occupying one-tenth of the length of the central axis. Multiply that by a circumference of about 100 kilometers. Therefore, the surface area of this ring alone is 500 square kilometers, which is equivalent to the core area of many large cities. Even if it accommodates 1 million people, it will be quite loose, allowing every household to be a large villa with a lawn. And on the 50-kilometer-long central axis, there are also specialized agricultural planting ring modules. There is a livestock farming module, water storage tank and fish farming module, solar photovoltaic power generation module, high power optical energy receiver module, as well as the power modules at the head and tail of the central axis. They all have multiple high thrust ion engines that can generate tens of thousands of tons of thrust to drive this behemoth to any corner of the solar system, which means it has certain maneuverability. Although the total weight of this behemoth is estimated to exceed 1 billion tons, the thrust of tens of thousands of tons is just a small horse-drawn giant vehicle, which does not bring much mobility. Space City. That's right. This is China's first space city, and it has been officially named Nua City. In the future, all space cities in China will be named after mythological figures or historical celebrities, such as Pangu City, Qianyuan City, Kuafu City, Houyi City, Dongdong City, Qiyu City, Jinggong City, Weishu, and so on and came up with hundreds of them without any problem. As the first space city, Nua City, Waiyao Company has attached great importance to this project after cooperating with the country and invested at least trillions in funds. After nearly a year of intense construction, the current construction progress should be in 30%. The total weight has reached 200 million tons. So if calculated only by weight, the construction progress is only 20%. In fact, this construction speed is already very efficient and can be called a miracle. It has stunned countless people on the Blue Star. The basic operations performed by the infrastructure maniac will never disappoint anyone. But, too slow. The construction speed is still a bit slow, and neither Huayao company executives nor the country are particularly satisfied. Because according to this efficiency, it is estimated that it will take about two years to complete the basic construction. After that, debugging, inspection, trial operation, etc. will be carried out. It will definitely take three years to arrange large-scale immigration. This cycle is a bit too long. It must be shortened to within two years. Therefore, the construction speed must be accelerated and accelerated. And it must be even more crazy than the infrastructure maniac. During the meeting and discussion, the technical staff of Yao Company summarized three points in total regarding the limiting factors for the construction efficiency of the space city, Nua City. First, the basic labor force is insufficient. Although a large number of intelligent robots are used 
and the work efficiency is very high. And they can even work 24 hours a day. There are still some limitations, such as not being smart enough and being unable to deal with overly complex situations. It was found that an intelligent robot can probably play the role of two human workers. If it is a complex task of teamwork, the efficiency of human workers is actually slightly higher. So we need to recruit workers. It is necessary to recruit 300,000 to 500,000 migrant workers to participate in the construction of Nua City. Even if they are given a high salary of 30,000 yuan per month, they will still have to be recruited in large numbers. Second, Xing Yuan Group needs to supply more energy. It needs to be increased from about 30 million kW to 50 million kW level in order to complete the task of transporting more materials to the sky and the ground without the problem of insufficient supply of various materials. There is no need to worry in this regard. The energy supply power of Xing Yuan Group Space Energy allows another 20 million kW of light energy to be released to speed up the construction of Nua City. Finally, it is necessary to speed up the implementation and application of high and new technologies. For example, ordinary steel and other materials produced in space smelting factories do not need to be transported to the surface of the Blue Star and can be directly used in the construction of Nua City. This can save a lot of transportation costs. Moreover, the production capacity of the space factory must be increased to give priority to meeting the construction needs of Nua City. There is also advanced 3D printing technology which can process a large number of standardized and prefabricated parts, and the quality is fully qualified. Therefore, some parts and tools should be given priority to be manufactured with 3D printers, without waiting for production from ground factories. In short, various waiting processes should be reduced as much as possible. There is another technology worth mentioning, which is the low-latency remote robot control technology developed based on 6G network communication launched by Huayao Company. Our technology is divided into highly sensitive robots at the working end and humans at the control end. The robot does not need to think, nor does it need a high-performance CPU. As long as humans control it behind the scenes, it is very sensitive and humans can make the robot can make any action simultaneously with a delay of no more than 100 milliseconds. Our human brains are complex and sophisticated and can make countless responses with flexibility far beyond that of supercomputers and robots have great strength and endurance, and they don't know how hard it is to work. What it is, it can engage in all kinds of labor for a long time and complete all high-risk tasks. Through 6G network communication, robots that work tirelessly are combined with our human brains. Even if they are separated by tens of thousands of kilometers, the delay will be very low. In this way, many young people living on the ground can becoming a robot operator is like playing a game. It requires using your brain far more than your hands. This allows many young people who like to stay at home to become high-tech migrant workers in the new era. As long as they stay at home comfortably every day, he can also earn a monthly salary of 20,000 to 30,000 yuan or more. As long as he completes enough work. Yudazui continued. Nowadays, our young people are generally squeamish and can't bear the hardships of physical work. However, they are very smart and have extremely active thinking. They can play well in any game and become the back-end operator of the robot. There is no problem in contributing to the construction of Nua City. And there are many such young people. It is easy to recruit 3 to 5 million people. They will definitely be happy to do it. And they are not afraid of not being able to recruit people. In this way, we will recruit 3 and a half million traditional migrant workers. And another 3 and a half million high-tech new brain migrant workers. The total will be a labor force of nearly 1 million. With a guarantee of sufficient energy, Nua City will be completed within one year. I think there is no problem. It can be officially put into use within two years. Then we can use Nua City as a template to start the construction of the second, third, and nth space cities. The future of space will definitely be it is extremely lively and prosperous. And there are beautiful homes for mankind everywhere. These words excited everyone in the conference room. Not bad. Very good. While stacking manpower and new technologies, the energy supply will always remain sufficient. So it is indeed not an unrealistic fantasy to put the space city into use within two years. Foreigners always say that we are stupid and that we are an ant-like race and do not know how to enjoy life. These statements are not necessarily wrong. But 10,000 years is too long. We only seize the day. Since we can do it, why wait for thousands of years? After that, it's time to get started. Yeah, I suddenly understand a little bit about emperors, like Qin Shi Huang and Sui Yang. They are a little anxious. 
But maybe this is the gene engraved in the blood of our nation. And we also have the courage, determination, and ability to do it. In this case, then just strive to be as fast as possible, because we have long been accustomed to a fast pace and cannot tolerate low efficiency. In three years, we can complete 10 years' work. In 10 years, we can complete 50 years' work. It won't take long for our country to become unimaginably prosperous and powerful within our lifetime. Putting our opponents behind us, being far behind us, this is undoubtedly something worth looking forward to. Chapter 213 New and Old Migrant Workers in Space April 18th Wichuan Province Wangjia Village on the outskirts of a small county. Wang Dachuan, a 52-year-old farmer, was originally a migrant worker in the city. Now he has developed his career in his hometown. He mainly works in agriculture. He usually works on the land, raises chickens and ducks, and contracts several acres of orchards. During the slack period, then he went to work part-time in the surrounding areas to earn an income of 2 to 300 yuan a day to supplement his family's income. Wang Dachuan usually lives in a four and a half story, pure European style rural villa with more than 20 bedrooms, enough to accommodate 40 or 50 people. There is also a half acre yard, where many vegetables and flower beds are planted, as well as grape trellises and several fruit trees. Every summer and autumn, there are endless melons to eat in this yard within the walls of the single villa. Fruits and vegetables. The year before last, Wang Dachuan spent more than 800,000 yuan to build this villa. His whole family worked together on the carpentry, masonry, decoration and other work. They purchased the best quality and most environmentally friendly building materials and rarely hired other workers to complete the villa. The labor cost has been reduced to the lowest and the quality has been controlled to the best. It is no worse than those high-end luxury villas that sell for millions or tens of millions. There are also swimming pools, garages, tool rooms and the like. The quality of living is exactly the same as that of billionaires. The price was that Wang Dachuan gave up his plan to buy a house in a big city and took the down payment he had prepared to go back to his hometown in the countryside to buy this villa. He also bought a mobility scooter worth 150,000 yuan for each of his three sons. All the RV problems are solved. As for the deposit of more than 1 million, Wang Dachuan originally wanted to buy a house for his eldest son to settle in a big city. Because only by owning a house in a big city can the eldest son find a partner and successfully get out of singles and find a wife. Otherwise, he will not even be involved in a blind date. Can't make it through. But even if all the family's savings were spent, it would only be able to solve the lifelong problems of the eldest son. What about the second son and the younger son? Do you want him? Wang Dachuan to continue working hard on the construction site for decades to save two to three million for a down payment on a house? Can Wang Dachuan, who is over 50 years old, still be able to do it? Obviously it is impossible. After solving the lifelong problem of the eldest son, he will no longer be able to help the next two sons, and there is a high probability that they will be single. The eldest son also did not accept this arrangement. It was too unfair to the two younger brothers. He would rather lie down than cheat the two younger brothers. So after a lot of quarrels and discussions, Wang Dachuan and his three sons, all in their twenties, made the decision to let the whole family lie down. I returned to my hometown and spent a year building a villa. Bought a car. All my savings were spent. He also made videos and became an internet celebrity up host. In just one year, he had more than one million fans across the internet. Their series of videos of family lying down and building a new home were spread to the internet and attracted countless clicks. Foreigners found it incredible that they were so hardworking from morning to night every day, with no days off, and always had happiness on their faces. The smiling family is actually lying down, calling this, not wanting to make progress and giving up the struggle. OMG, if this is called lying down, what do they call what those foreigners do every day? In short, many foreign netizens were shocked by this family to the point of doubting their life. The villa is completed. After the entire effect inside, and outside was presented. It attracted many domestic fans to come and visit. Not long after, hundreds of young foreign girls arrived. They all had good looks and figures. Some of them were goddess level. And they were very lively, enthusiastic and cheerful. By the way, what are these foreign girls doing all the way here? Even if you are a fan of Wang Dachuan's family, you won't have to spend a lot of money to apply for a visa. So come all the way. Right? These foreign girls did come with a purpose. They really wanted to marry Wang Dachuan's three sons, 
and live in the super luxurious villa of Wang Dachuan's family. By the way, you can realize your dream of settling in China and live a happy life. Among them, there are more than 40 foreign girls who want to marry their eldest son. There are more than 20 people who want to marry their second son. There are more than 40 people who want to marry their younger sons. After the three sons selected the one they liked the most, the problem of finding a partner for their son, which had often troubled Wang Dachuan and his wife to the point of being unable to sleep, was solved. The main reason was that based on the standards of foreign girls in choosing a spouse, Wang Dachuan Dachuan's three sons are all very high-quality candidates. They are all down-to-earth, hard-working and good men worthy of trust. Even though these good men are not favored by many foreign girls, they often can only be singles. The requirements of foreign girls are generally not that high. Wang Dachuan breathed a sigh of relief and smiled from ear to ear. By the way, she also became a great benefactor to many families in this village and several surrounding villages. Because the remaining foreign girls, with the help of Wang Dachuan, did not waste any resources and solved the problem of hundreds of bachelors in this village and several surrounding villages. The problem has allowed hundreds of new families to be established. And all of them were married with zero betrothal gifts. The kindness of Wang Dachuan's family is naturally worth remembering by those bachelors. The problem of finding a partner for the three sons has been solved. After the wedding, the daughters-in-law will soon have children. Wang Dachuan will become a grandfather, adding three children to his family. This made Wang Dachuan smile so hard that he couldn't even see his eyes. He was cheerful all day long. However, new problems came immediately. The three daughters-in-law and the children in their bellies make up a family of six. The income from farming and filming videos alone is obviously not enough. If they cannot support such a large family, it is easy to make ends meet. By the time the child is born, the monthly cost of milk powder is estimated to be several thousand. Work to earn a living. I still have to continue to work outside. After having a family meeting to discuss it, Wang Dachuan decided to take his eldest son and second son to work on the construction site in the city. The younger son stayed in his hometown, taking care of his family and continuing to shoot videos as the host of Up. He earned tens of thousands of dollars a month, which was easy. In fact, at Wang Dachuan's current age, it is no longer suitable for him to do heavy physical work on construction sites. After all, he is not young anymore, and the probability of accidents is also very high. His three sons all advised him not to go and asked him to stay at home. It's okay for a young man to go work. No, you are too young. You don't even know how to find a job. You don't know a few things, so you can be easily deceived. Besides, the third one is a college student. He can help with small jobs and make videos. But he is not a heavy worker. As expected, it is better for me to take the eldest and second child out to work, while the third child stays at home and develops. It is not difficult to earn more than 300,000 yuan a year. I will try to work until I retire at the age of 60. Bring you two together and save a fortune. I have enough money to deal with various situations of life. Old age, illness and death. I will leave the task of making money to you in the future and I will help take care of the grandchildren so that you have no worries. Wang Dachuan said that he was ready to devote himself to this family until he was 60 years old, although it will be very hard. But he has long been used to it. It will be over after a while. There are only a few years left. If something unexpected happens, he can only blame his bad luck. The three sons all expressed their objections, but to no avail. They all shook their heads helplessly. The next step is to prepare luggage and tools. Call the contractor and ask where the project can be done. But he had just contacted a contractor and was about to go to work in Huacheng, thousands of miles away. A fan who paid attention to the family contacted Wang Dachuan privately and wanted to introduce him to a new job. Go work in the space city. It's still infrastructure work. The coefficient of gravity is only more than one third. A 100 jean bag of cement and an 80 jean steel pipe can be picked up quite easily. So older migrant workers can also play a role in strong labor. The salary is about 30,000 per month. You can also choose the task contracting model. As long as the more work is completed, the income will be higher. It is not impossible to earn 50,000 yuan a month. In short, in terms of income, it is definitely much more than on the ground. Food and accommodation are included. And there is less place to spend money. Saving 300,000 yuan in a year is not a big problem. Wang Dachuan took his two sons to work. The three of them might be able to earn one million a year. My heart is moved. 
Wang Dachuan was very excited and immediately filled out the electronic form and submitted the application to work in the Space City. So did the two sons. A few days later, the Space City knew a city is planned to be a cylindrical ring for human living. Wang Dachuan appeared here. He and his two sons all put on light protective clothing, holding hammers and other tools in their hands. They faced an open space with only white lines and a simple foundation, and were about to start building a villa. The design style of the villa on the drawing is three and a half stories high, with a front yard and a backyard, covering an area of about half an acre. 300,000 such happy villas will be built in the space city, catering for at least 300,000 families. Residential needs. So for the next long time, Wang Dachuan and his two sons only had to build villas crazily. After completing one building, they started on the next one, with some mechanical repetition. This was not difficult for Wang Dachuan. In the process of working, he also found that he had become infinitely powerful, or that objects had become lighter. With a height of two or three meters, he could just jump with all his strength. For a 52-year-old migrant worker like him, the heavy physical work on the surface of the blue star actually feels very relaxed. Of course, the two suns are no problem. The work efficiency has increased by more than 50%. If the salary is calculated based on the workload, the three of them can earn a net income of 5,000 yuan a day. Cool. It's great to be a migrant worker in space. Not only is it not very tiring, but the income is also very considerable. Wang Dachuan and his two sons both want to continue working for a long time. There is no problem in working for three to five years. End of April. Wang Dachuan's small working team capped the first floor of the villa in less than 10 days and immediately started construction on the second floor. This efficiency is neither the fastest nor the slowest among tens of thousands of small work teams. It ranks near the middle. Wang Dachuan's eldest son couldn't help but sigh. We work 12 or 3 hours a day. I didn't expect that there were countless more than us. Hey, you can't make enough money, let alone exchange your body for money. But on April 30th, Wang Dachuan's work team has added a special assistant. A humanoid robot that is 2 meters tall, has retractable arms, is powerful, weighs nearly 300 kilograms, but is extremely flexible. With the addition of this robot, the work efficiency of Wang Dachuan's team has nearly doubled, and it can play the role of two or three strong laborers. It can also serve as a forklift and a small crane, replacing most of the construction machinery. This made Wang Dachuan feel anxious and worried, and said, This robot is so powerful. In the future, humans like me will no longer be needed. All robots will be used. Dad, I am the third child. I have obtained the qualification to remotely control robots. I can work with you. Just leave all the troublesome work to me. I am not tired from lying at home and operating. My salary is the same as yours. I. The familiar sound from this robot reached Wang Dachuan's ears, making him look happy and eliminating all worries and anxiety. Chapter 214, The Amazing Benefits of Light-Powered Passenger Aircraft In a blink, time has entered May, when spring flowers are blooming and beautiful scenery is everywhere. This is also the peak time for people to travel, especially in China. Hundreds of millions of people travel during the May Day Golden Week holiday every year crowding scenic spots across the country. Stations, high-speed rail stations, and other places are crowded with people. There are also long queues of traffic on the highway. It is normal to be stuck in traffic for three to five hours. It stands to reason. Based on past experience, this year's May Day holiday is definitely the peak time for people to travel. The number of tourists easily exceeded 5.6 billion. There are people everywhere, experiencing the feeling of crowding and people watching. Maybe it's better to stay at home and be comfortable. The truth is quite different indeed. But there is also a new change. That is, some tourists have found a new way of traveling, which has the following characteristics. First, you won't encounter any congestion problems. Even if you go to scenic spots, you can always choose areas with low tourist density or inaccessible areas, where you can see the most beautiful and original scenery. Second, it is fast and can arrive on the same day which greatly saves time on the road and greatly reduces travel fatigue. Third, you can also go to some scenic spots that are impossible to visit under normal circumstances, such as the boundless space, small islands in the depths of the ocean, desert centers, no man's land, the interior of mountains, the Antarctic and the North Pole, etc. There are at least a few of these special tourist attractions. There are as many as 10 places. Tourists can choose to visit one or more. There is a wide range of choices, 
and they are guaranteed not to encounter congestion problems. It is definitely a very satisfactory travel experience. The only price is that the cost will be a bit high, ranging from two to three thousand to as much as eighteen thousand. Anyway, a few hundred yuan is impossible. It is expensive for its own sake. After the launch of this new tourism model, it is very popular among the middle class and young people who are not short of money. During the entire May Day holiday, more than eight million people purchase new tourism services, bringing more than thirty-one billion in tourism revenue. The per capita consumption exceeded three thousand eight hundred. And the profits were also very considerable. The net profit margin was not less than 50%, which has been welcomed by the whole society. There are many people who are paying attention and discussing and expressing interest. In the future, there will definitely be more tourists willing to pay for this new type of tourism service. This is the light energy passenger plane travel service, which is mainly launched by domestic airlines. In just half a month after its launch, tourist orders have reached nearly 10 million. Bringing a new tourism outlet with a very bright future, because light-powered passenger planes can enter space for short periods of time, as long as the ground is relatively solid and flat, you can land and take off on any site. You can also go to any place on the Blue Star, and even land in some sparsely populated but beautiful areas. If tourists want to eat, the ring-shaped restaurant in the Light Energy airliner can provide it. Visitors who want to rest can just flatten their seats and lie down on them, bathing, brushing teeth. Washing clothes and other things can also be done in a light-powered passenger aircraft, but they can only meet the needs of a few people. However, the travel services provided by the solar aircraft generally only last for one day. They can depart in the morning and return in the evening. They may also cooperate with some scenic spots with low flow of people, but complete residential facilities, so that tourists who want to stay for a few more days can stay in the scenic spots. Just stay for a few days and board the solar passenger plane when you leave. All in all, the passenger carrying travel mode of the solar passenger aircraft is very convenient, and its main focus is fast. Most catering, rest, and other services can be provided by the solar passenger aircraft itself, which means that it can earn most of the tourists' consumption and sell some local specialties. Most of the money for souvenirs and the like that originally belonged to scenic spots and tourist agencies has been taken away by civil aviation companies, and the prices are clearly marked, so there will be no rip-off behavior. The service of the flight attendants and stewardesses is also very good, so the sustainability is also very strong. Actually, since a large number of light-powered passenger planes were used to replace traditional oil-burning passenger planes, the financial statements of more than a dozen domestic civil aviation companies have begun to become very beautiful and beautiful, which has attracted countless eyeballs. Although the purchase price of a solar passenger aircraft is high, close to three billion, but the passenger and cargo capacity is huge. It can run four to eight times a day and can withstand high-intensity use, simple maintenance, high safety, and low cost of use. Several factors are combined. A solar passenger aircraft, as long as it is used efficiently, can bring about three million yuan in revenue every day, of which the profit is about one million yuan. That is to say, it will take at most ten years to recover the entire cost of purchasing a solar passenger aircraft. And this was the operating situation before Shingyuan Group's energy prices fell. Last month, Shingyuan Group announced that energy prices would drop to 50 cents per kilowatt hour, a drop of 50 percent. Once this news was announced, employees and executives of domestic companies such as China Southern Airlines, China Eastern Airlines, and China Airlines cheered. These companies' stock prices have also risen sharply because Shingyuan Group's energy prices have dropped. The operating costs of these civil aviation companies' solar passenger aircraft can save more than 500,000 yuan every day. If the ticket price remains unchanged, it means that the daily profit can increase by more than five hundred thousand. This means that it will only take about six years at most to recoup the cost of purchasing a light-powered passenger aircraft, or even five years at the earliest, and there will be huge profit returns after that. What a great word for Shuang! After major civil aviation companies have launched travel services using solar-powered passenger planes, in fact, from a purely economic perspective, this service may not be as good. As having solar-powered passenger planes run ten times a day to transport as many passengers and cargo as possible, this is the most economical benefit of. But the number of passengers fluctuates. Goods orders are not stable in the long term either. The most ideal operating conditions are often difficult to achieve. Therefore, the solar passenger plane travel service is very suitable to be launched during the peak travel seasons of May and October, and the income is very good. May tenth.
Song Mingming, 26 years old, is a flight attendant of China's Southern Airlines. She has five years of working experience and is considered a senior flight attendant. In addition, she has a good appearance and figure, and there are many boys pursuing her, including many rich, handsome and handsome ones. Song Mingming has had several relationships. The men in each relationship were quite rich or from a good family. Song Mingming also devoted her sincerity and wanted to get a result. She treated every relationship with the purpose of getting married. Emotion. As a result, these rich, handsome boyfriends are all scumbags. Once they get her body, they will break up with her soon and then aim for the next target. Song Mingming's heart was broken by them, and she cried many times. Song Mingming admitted that she was a bit worshipper of money and was eager to find a rich man to marry. But is it wrong to want to marry a better man? She takes relationships seriously and has never cheated on her. She also has good cooking skills and can keep her home clean and tidy. She thinks she is a good woman who is a good wife and mother. And she feels she is qualified and qualified. A chance to marry her ideal prince charming. However, reality hit her again and again. After learning from the pain, she felt that it was not enough to put all her hopes on finding prince charming. She had to fight herself, succeed in her career, and become an independent strong woman. She could live a very good life without relying on any man. Therefore, she worked very hard at work and actively worked overtime. At only 25 years old, she became the foreman among the flight attendants. But even if she becomes a foreman and her salary is increased by 500 yuan, her monthly salary is still around 10,000 yuan. The most I got was 13,000 yuan. This was based on the fact that I flew night shift for 28 days that month. And I was almost exhausted. Song Mingming saw the pattern. No matter how hard she worked, the salary she earned could never break through the 15,000 yuan ceiling, which was similar to the salary ceiling of some delivery riders. I don't have a professional character. Song Mingming found that even if she worked hard until death, she would never get rich. It's better to focus on finding a rich husband. It doesn't matter if he's ugly or older as long as he's rich and treats her well enough. This is also the dilemma faced by many girls. It's not that they don't want to take the exam, but it's useless and can't change their fate at all. Even a very glamorous career like a stewardess is just a good job on the surface. Therefore, you still have to keep looking for a partner. As long as you find the right one, even if you quit your job, you must hold on tightly and strive to get married before the age of 28. Otherwise, you will become an older leftover girl. However, this morning, a ding-dong sound. A text message was received on the phone. This month's salary has arrived. Song Ming Ming picked up the phone and looked at it. Her pretty eyes widened in surprise. The salary was 21,358.3 yuan. It was a full 10,000 yuan more than the usual salary. Breaking the impossible ceiling. Why are there so many? Did the finance department make a mistake? It's impossible. Under normal circumstances, I can't have such a high salary. What's wrong? Song Ming Ming looked in disbelief. Her colleagues also looked surprised because their salaries this month had also increased, generally by five to six thousand, and the salary increase was about fifty percent. By asking the leaders of the financial department, Song Ming Ming and the others learned that the company's salary regulations had changed, and all employees' salaries had increased. Among them, the salary increase for flight attendants was the largest, generally exceeding fifty percent. The reason is that the energy prices of Xingyuan Group have dropped and the company's profit margin has increased significantly. Naturally, we cannot treat our employees badly and must increase their wages. Otherwise, it will be unjustifiable. And this is true for all civil aviation companies. And if nothing unexpected happens, Song Mingming's salary will be higher next month and may even reach more than 30,000 yuan. Because the light-powered passenger plane she is on has received more than 100 full tour groups this month with an average of three or four groups a day. There are nearly 2,000 people. After all the races are completed, the bonuses and commissions will be collected. Check the company's latest salary regulations. After calculating on the mobile calculator for a while, Song Ming Ming put down her phone and smiled. Her mentality changed a lot. Sure enough, only my beloved husband Xing Yang would repay my love for him in this way. The company's profits have increased, and my salary ceiling has been broken. In the future, as long as I work hard, it will be very easy to earn more than 20,000 yuan a month. In the future, I can also buy bags, cosmetics, clothes, etc. with my own income. Although I can't buy the most expensive one. Forget it. It's time to wake up.
I should have known a long time ago that it is impossible for those rich men to marry a woman from an ordinary family like me. What they want is a well-matched and well-matched woman. At least it cannot be too different. They will not be smaller for the sake of shrinking. The gap between rich and poor contributes. It's better to find a boy who is down to earth, steady and motivated, with a monthly income of 30,000 to 40,000 yuan, which is about the same as mine. I will work hard with him and run our small family well together. We will be better than the better than the weak. And there may be a lot of success, trouble and hard work. But it is much better than hopeless waiting. A woman's youth is short. So she must find my destination as soon as possible. In Song Mingming's mind, a shy and somewhat handsome boy appeared. He was one of her suitors. Although he had not expressed his love directly, Song Mingming knew that he liked her because he looked at her. There is light in his eyes. And I heard that he recently passed the interview and joined Xing Yuan Group. And his future is very good. It's better to just consider this boy. As long as she is a little more proactive and he likes her. It won't be a matter of minutes to win him over. She is absolutely sure. Chapter 215 Screw Driving is also a high-paying job. May 18th. Tianhai City. Commercial Aircraft Manufacturing Company. Inside the assembly factory in the high-tech zone. On the giant pulsating assembly line. The Star Dream light-powered passenger planes were lined up one after another to complete the assembly process. Not only a large number of laborers were used, but also a lot of industrial robots were used. The overall efficiency was very high. Hi. Nowadays, at the end of the assembly line, you can see a brand new and beautiful Star Dream. Solar passenger aircraft that has been assembled and successfully rolled off the assembly line every day. After a simple functional test, it is confirmed that there are no major problems. The civil aviation companies will quickly pick up the goods and put them into use in the market as soon as one week later, which is simply the speed of light. As for traditional civil aviation aircraft, most of them have been eliminated. Even those traditional passenger aircraft that are 90% new and have not been used for long are being idle aside, waiting for the fate of being eliminated. Hundreds of domestic airports have also begun vigorous renovation work and a large number of new aviation ports, referred to as airports, have been built. Some small and medium-sized airports have even canceled their runways and only provide takeoff and landing services for solar passenger planes. Even the majority of passengers have abandoned traditional airplanes and only consider taking light-powered passenger planes for long-distance travel because the latter is safer, cheaper, faster, and has a more comfortable ride experience. They are all quite dangerous, and there are only a few engines. If something goes wrong, the consequences will be unimaginable. Even if the crash probability of a traditional airplane is lower than that of trains and automobiles. Once it happens, the mortality rate is a terrible 100%. And the probability of surviving intact is almost zero. It will still make the news and be reported by the global media. But it is such a big accident. No one wants to be on the news. It's just that traditional aircraft are being phased out too quickly. No matter how large the production capacity of the alternative solar passenger aircraft is, and no matter how intensively each solar passenger aircraft is used, it is impossible to fill the entire civil aviation market at once. Even if Comac operates at full capacity, one ship is rolled off the production line every day on average, and orders are still scheduled. After five years, we will have to continue to increase production capacity. As for foreign orders, we haven't started to receive them yet. Otherwise, the production capacity will become even more insufficient. Of course, for Comac, it can only be described as exhilarating. I finally experienced the rain of orders and the feeling of hand cramps when counting money. And unlike traditional aircraft with complex structures and more than 100,000 parts, the structure of the solar passenger aircraft is very simple. With only about 10,000 main parts, no landing gear, wings, tail, etc. are needed and the manufacturing difficulty is not not tall. Only superconducting capacitors and ion engines have higher purchase costs, accounting for more than 60% of the manufacturing cost. The total production of solar passenger aircraft now exceeds 500. Research and development costs have been evenly distributed, and the cost of non-core parts has been decreasing, including superconducting capacitors and ion engines. They have also experienced several small price cuts. Therefore, even though the labor costs here in Tianhai City are relatively high. The high housing prices and high rents have put great pressure on business operations. The manufacturing cost of a Star Dream solar passenger aircraft 
which has a market price of nearly $3 billion, originally priced at just over $2 billion. But various civil aviation companies have increased prices to rush for goods. Pushing the price to this level was only just over $1 billion. Now it's down to around $600 million. It can definitely be reduced to less than $500 million in the future. The profit per ship is around $2 billion and will increase slightly in the future. That is a profit margin of over 300%. It can be described as huge profits. This is high in manufacturing. And without a net profit of more than three times, it would be embarrassing to call it a high-end industry. Inside the assembly plant, Fongyubin, an ordinary assembly worker, is still engaged in the job of driving screws. Because of his good performance, he became a team leader, supervising several people and bringing in several new apprentices. He is obviously much busier than before. I have to work overtime every day to complete the assembly task of the solar passenger aircraft with very little rest time. As for income, the leaders of the factory have kept their word and have given workers three consecutive salary increases, each increase being no less than 30%. There are also overtime pay, subsidies, etc. They strictly abide by the law and there is no unpaid overtime. The problem, plus the team leader's job subsidy, subsidy for taking an apprentice. Fong Yubin's current monthly income is around 50,000 yuan, which is six to seven times his previous income. At the end of the year, he could also receive a year-end bonus equivalent to six months salary, or 18 salary. The total annual income is estimated to be around 800,000, which is close to a million dollar annual salary. Of course, the actual income is about 500,000, and he has to pay a lot of taxes, unless he buys a house, gets married, and has children. The income will increase a lot. Otherwise, you have made a great contribution to the country. Therefore, Fong Yubin really wanted to find a partner, get married, and have children as soon as possible to reduce financial losses. However, he has to work overtime every day. So how can he find time to find a partner? Secondly, although the salary was higher and he was promoted, the pressure was also a lot higher, especially the new people he brought under his supervision, which often made him furious and angry and he felt like the old master who had taken care of him before. Why are you so stupid? The screws are either half a turn short or too tight, making them inconvenient for disassembly and maintenance. They also say that you must wear gloves when operating. Otherwise sweat will stick to the screws, and they will easily rust and cause hidden dangers. Don't underestimate the job of screwing. Please respect your profession. Okay. If it were before, you could just perfunctory, muddle along, or just be an old fool. That's how I got here. I know what you're thinking. But now the company is worthy of you. And the salary of more than 20,000 yuan during the apprenticeship is worthy of you. There is a future for screwdrivers. And it is a high-paying position that can earn 50,000 to 60,000 yuan a month. If you look down on this job, you are looking down on yourselves. If you, if you don't study hard and study hard, robots will replace you sooner or later. I have seen robots drive screws. And they are not much worse than you. You must do better than robots to keep this job. In the end, even if you are driving screws, you must have your own core competitiveness. Fong Yubin roared angrily, severely criticized several apprentices, and pointed out the problems of each of them without mercy. These apprentices lowered their heads and realized their mistakes. Their working attitudes improved a lot. They stopped being dismissive and perfunctory, and finally looked like qualified assemblers. After work, Several apprentices even treated Fong Yubin to a late-night snack. And after drinking two bottles of wine, they actually became friends who talked about everything. Master, I have a 28-year-old sister who is single and very beautiful. How about I introduce her to you? Master, my sister is 20 years old this year. She will be an intern in her senior year next year. As long as there is a way for my sister to work at Comac. Master, I guarantee that my sister will like you. A cousin of mine is a real beauty. Although she is divorced, she has never given birth to a child. She is almost like an unmarried person. Master, I will show you my cousin's photo. You will definitely be satisfied. It is not difficult to win her. As long as you buy a house in Tianhai City and add her name to the real estate certificate, my cousin will be yours. Master, go, go. Don't introduce me to any of you. None of them are reliable. Fong Yubin waved his hand, shook his head and said, you don't need to worry about my affairs. I have already chatted several times and we chat. There is a girl with two hairs that I like very much. She is 19 years old this year and is a model. But her private life is not messy. 
in a few years. I'll go see her when I have a day off. It's okay. Master. Foreign girls are pretty good. It's too expensive to find a girl from my country, and I can't afford it. Foreign girls are quite virtuous and won't spend money randomly. Master. Why don't you consider girls from island countries? In the past few years, many girls from island countries have come to our place to develop. And there are also many girls from Bangkok. And as long as you mention the word marriage, they will immediately be willing to go home with you. There is a quickest three on the internet. The video of getting married within minutes has made many local leftover women angry. Okay, okay. Don't worry about my problem of finding a partner. Pay more attention to yourself. And think more about learning the screw driving technique. When you pass the vocational skills assessment and become a regular employee, your salary can be increased a lot. Not to mention, and you can work until you retire. It is not impossible to buy a house and settle in Tian High City. As for the partner, when the job stabilizes, you can find whatever you want. Now young women from all over the world are running to us. I'm afraid you'll be spoiled for choice. Fong Yubin took a sip of beer and said to them, It's master. I'll do a good job. I must become the best in screw driving. Several apprentices expressed their opinions one after another, which made Fong Yubin quite pleased. Chapter 216 The Dazzling Giant Ring of Light Soon, May has passed with beautiful scenery everywhere. Time has entered June. All walks of life in China are developing rapidly, which can only be described as being in full swing. The economic development situation in the first half of the year is also extremely optimistic. Even though the GDP base last year was very large, this year's economic growth rate is not expected to be less than 10%, and may even reach 13% to 15%. It can only be described as scary. Describe. But to achieve such a high economic growth rate, one of the most basic data is inseparable. And that is electricity. Only when power generation increases by more than 10% can economic development at the same growth rate be brought about. The two have the most direct positive correlation. On the surface of the blue star, China has laid countless photovoltaic panels, established wind power generation facilities, and built a large number of stepped hydropower stations, coupled with countless energy storage station facilities composed of lithium batteries, sodium batteries, and superconducting capacitors. They are located all over China, dynamically storing and releasing countless electrical energy. The effective power generation has finally been maintained at around 17.5 kW and is expected to increase to 1.8 billion kW by the end of this year, with a growth rate of approximately 3%. This seems a bit inadequate, but now the focus of China's economic development is mainly in the space universe. Countless funds and talents are pouring into the stars and the sea. Therefore, the growth of power demand on the ground is limited, and may even shrink, and it has to export large amounts of power to neighboring countries. As for the space economy, if it wants to bring rapid growth, it depends on whether Xing Yuan Group can provide enough energy. Can the energy supply be significantly increased? In fact, after the Da One giant energy relay satellite is put into use and the photovoltaic array is expanded by 20%, the newly added 110 million kW power generation power will ensure that China's economic growth this year will not be less than 10%. Xing Yuan Group has achieved very high standards and has not hindered the development of the national economy. But, not enough. It's just passing the exam. But it's not enough. It must be extremely good and able to meet or even exceed everyone's expectations. Xing Yuan Group's space energy supply capacity of only 210 million kW may have been sufficient at the beginning of the year and had quite a surplus. However, it is now June. In the face of the surge in energy demand in all aspects, this power does not seem to be enough. It was enough. But it started to be stretched again. Countless companies or individuals have called on Xing Yuan Group to increase space power generation and take expansion actions quickly. Brother Xing, I'm counting on you to make a fortune. You can't stretch your hips. That's right. Brother Xing, the millions of tons of ore mined by my mining company will all be transported to the Blue Star this year or sent to the space factory for processing. This year I will close the network and earn back all the previous investment. Star Brother, please work harder. I will bow to you. My company is engaged in space tourism. And business is very booming this year. Can we sign a long-term energy supply agreement with Xing Yuan Group? It's okay if the price is higher. What I pursue is stability. The more stable, the better. As long as I can enjoy the right to give priority to energy supply. Money is not an issue. 
I also want to purchase VIP Priority Energy Supply Service. It doesn't matter even if it is only 1 yuan per unit. I hope that the Energy Supply Service can respond at any time without affecting my business. It is impossible for Xing Yuan Group to launch VIP services. This not only destroys fairness, but also brings about a sharp increase in energy prices. Relevant agencies will definitely intervene to stop it. It's better not to think about it. Xing Yuan Group will not do anything that will lead to failure. That's right. Instead of thinking about becoming a VIP customer, we should urge Xing Yuan Group more and ask Brother Xing to speed up and increase the space energy supply power to 500 million or 1 billion kW. As long as the energy management is enough. We don't have to worry about using it. Not a problem. Facing the concerns and appeals of countless customers. On the one hand, Xing Yuan Group issued a statement to appease. On the other hand, it has accelerated the expansion and deployment of space energy facilities, which has attracted a lot of attention and is exciting. There are mainly three aspects of action. One, with the help of a transport spacecraft with powerful carrying capacity. Set a batch of light energy collection converters into space first. Then turned on the ion engine. Accelerated towards the sun. And was expected to reach the golden orbit in more than half a month. On average, 10 light energy collection converters are released into space every day. Released continuously for one month. That is a total of 300 light energy collection converters. When all these power generation equipment reaches the golden orbit around the sun, it means that it will bring 300 million kW of new energy supply power, allowing Xing Yuan Group's space energy supply capacity to break through to the 500 million kW level. It is absolutely no problem to meet this year's space energy market demand, and there will definitely be a lot of spare space, which can be used to carry out space meteorite fishing missions and find ways to open a few more space blind boxes to earn some extra income. Second, continue to use the transport spacecraft to send six free light sail reflectors and six corner star ring reflectors into space. Then start their own power systems and rush to the space locations they need to go to. The six light sail reflectors are designed to guide the nearly direct light energy after one or more reflections into the star ring reflectors on the main energy road to assist in the storage of light energy. The other six star ring reflectors are all small L-shaped corner reflectors weighing about 300 tons. Their main purpose is to absorb the light energy in the main energy channel through the bell mouth and then through the pipe with movable corners. The adjustment range for guiding light energy out of the movable corner is between 5 degrees and 90 degrees. That is, through this corner star ring reflector, the light energy in the main energy channel can be sent to a wide range of areas, and the transmission distance can reach tens of millions of kilometers. But the longest distance does not exceed 100 million kilometers. It also has the characteristics of low manufacturing cost, low optical loss rate, and low escape rate. The maximum energy supply power is 5 million kW, which can also meet high power usage scenarios. However, this corner type star ring reflector still has a serious flaw, which means it still cannot replace energy relay satellites. That is to say, its response flexibility is insufficient, and it is difficult to maintain accurate illumination of a spacecraft that moves too fast, because its illumination range is still limited, and it must always maintain a state of absorbing light energy and cannot move at will. It is only suitable for supplying energy to medium and long distance, relatively slow-moving devices within the range of the angle of incidence, such as transport spacecraft, space cruise ships, interstellar battleships, and giant energy relay satellites. Finally, the construction and adjustment of the second main energy channel should be completed as soon as possible, and after three months of wandering in space, 33 light sail reflectors and one giant star ring reflector have successfully arrived at their respective coordinate positions and are evenly distributed within this billion-kilometer-long gold market orbit then immediately start adjusting parameters such as angle and relative orientation, and introduce the most conspicuous red light. Try every means to make this red light form a closed loop of light, and make the escape rate of this red light low enough. Finally, only then can we start to inject light energy and officially put it into use. These adjustments took half a month, but they can still be described as progressing smoothly. After all, this is a billion-kilometer-long energy trunk road. Even if light can travel 300,000 kilometers per second, it will take 3,333 seconds to complete, which is close to an hour. Moreover, after the light completes a full circle, it is necessary to ensure that the light escape rate does not exceed 1,000, and the daily escape rate does not exceed 2%. The technical difficulty is very high. Even so, in late June, 
Shenyuan Group's second energy main road, was announced to have been successfully constructed. All technical parameters are fully up to standard. On June 27, the second batch of light energy collection converters arrived at the golden orbit of the sun, and then immediately deployed super photovoltaic panels to absorb high-density light energy, and then sent it to the star ring reflector in the form of high-energy shortwave and go. And then, through six free light sail reflectors, the light energy coming from the direction of the sun is reflected and guided into the main energy channel. At last, in space not far from the orbit of the blue star, a huge ring of light gradually lights up, takes shape, and grows. At first, it was very dark and thin, not conspicuous. But after just two or three days, this giant 34-sided ring of light mixed with yellow light became quite dazzling, attracting the attention of countless astronomy enthusiasts. It made countless people excited and excited cheering and celebrating, because after the establishment of this energy main road, it will bring abundant energy, which can fully meet the needs of the entire human race. Chapter 217 Total Power 500 Million KW July 2029 The climate is getting hotter and hotter. Under the greenhouse effect, the ice caps at both poles have almost completely melted. Sea levels are rising rapidly, and abnormal weather is becoming commonplace. Droughts, floods, wildfires, Super hurricanes and other natural disasters around the world are so numerous that they are so mind-numbing that they do not even make the hottest news. Therefore, the world's attention has been focused on Xingyuan Group. Because only Xingyuan Group has the ability to change the destiny of all mankind and solve all current problems. For example, global warming was almost a dead-end problem in the past. Developed countries were unwilling to contribute money, and countries wanted to develop. There were many slogans, but very few implementation actions. No one mentioned it at all later. And coal was used again. As a result, global warming is accelerating and cannot be controlled at all. But if Star Source Group is willing to take action and install more photovoltaic base stations or light energy collection converters in space to block a large amount of sunlight, then it can reduce the radiation of sunlight to Azure Star at the source level. Even if it is only reduced by 1%, the global warming trend can also be significantly curbed and with enough energy, it can also bring enough resources, and human development can be materially guaranteed. As for foods such as grain, meat, and milk, it can also be produced through industrial methods, as long as the price of energy is cheap enough. No matter what kind of natural disaster occurs, it will not seriously affect human survival, even if the environment of the blue star is seriously damaged and cannot be repaired, and is gradually heading towards an irreversible doom. There is no need to worry at all, because space cities will be built one after another, and each space city can accommodate up to hundreds of people. Population of 10,000. As long as a 10,000-seat space city is built, all human beings can live in space and completely get rid of natural disasters. The risk factor is very low, and there is no need to be afraid. Of course, it is impossible for all human beings to live in space cities. The environment of the Blue Star is not that fragile. People's environmental awareness and actions are also increasing day by day at least in China, which has complete infrastructure. Those ordinary three natural disasters that occur once in 50 years can still be easily withstood. The area of the Gobi Desert is shrinking every year, and it has basically been built into a paradise country with high risk resistance and beautiful gardens everywhere with green mountains and green waters. It's a bit far-fetched. Anyway, the expansion of Xingyuan Group space energy business is supported and favored by public opinion around the world, and it is very desirable to see it. Although there are some negative comments that believe that Xingyuan Group is engaged in energy monopoly, it cannot make a big splash. Some netizens feel that instead of a dozen or so energy companies fighting in space, competing viciously, and destroying each other's energy facilities, it would be better for Xingyuan Group to have an exclusive monopoly. At least Xingyuan is a kind and honest person, handsome and romantic, so that people feel at ease, and they have the support of countless women, some interest groups that are ready to move. It is better not to jump out and act like clowns. Soon, on July 10th, the second batch of 300 light energy collection converters all arrived at the golden track, unfolded the super photovoltaic panels, and entered the state of deployment and use, together with the first batch of 150 units. The total number of light energy harvesting converters increases to 450 units. The total power generation reaches 450 million kW. Such a huge amount of light energy is introduced into the main energy channel of the golden market through large-scale star ring reflectors. 
free light sail reflectors and other equipment. And the huge amount of light energy is stored. Equivalent to 400 million per hour. The light energy of multiple kilowatt hours of electricity is tens of billions of kilowatt hours a day. And its capacity far exceeds that of the first main energy channel. It must accommodate at least trillions of kilowatt hours of light energy before it can appear as burning carbon red. At this time, the giant energy relay satellite DAW-1 has been in a semi-stop working state. It no longer directly receives the huge light energy of hundreds of millions of kW, but has dropped to the 10 million kW level, and is from the second energy backbone. On the other side of the road, it is illuminated through the L-shaped star ring reflector. Xing Yuan Group has also increased the number of L-shaped corner star ring reflectors to 50. After entering the working state, they will absorb the light energy from the main energy channel, and then directly hit the space transport spacecraft and other devices, or hit it on the energy relay satellite, and then supply energy to other devices through the energy relay satellite. It's just that every time it passes through an energy relay satellite, the light energy will be lost by 25%. But this is often difficult to avoid, because the L-shaped star ring transmitter in the gold market orbit can take care of at most half the blue star and half the moon. Part. The other half of the area that cannot be illuminated can only rely on the relay of energy relay satellites. There is no way to lose 25% of the light energy. Even so, after the successful establishment of the second energy main road of Xingyuan Group, the high energy short waves emitted by the light sail reflector on the sun's golden orbit have been stably preserved, on the other hand. They can be used more efficiently and conveniently. After all, this gold market orbit is not far from the blue star. No matter how much energy supply power is needed, it can be directly drawn from the main energy channel. As long as there is enough light energy stored in it, even if it faces 500 million kW in a short time, the power demand of 1 billion kW can also be met. That is, it can be used in overload, and the adjustment range of the energy supply power is wider. This is the convenience and benefit brought by the energy trunk road. So after some arrangements and adjustments, starting July 11, the second main energy road of Xingyuan Group, the gold market energy main road, has been officially put into use. In addition to the 120 million kW power generation power of the photovoltaic array, eliminate all types of losses. Xingyuan Group space energy facilities can supply more than 500 million kW of effective power. Then through a large number of L-shaped star ring reflectors, energy relay satellites and giant energy relay satellites, they either directly provide energy to users or relay energy. After all are put into use, they can ensure that no matter what kind of in-usage scenarios, the number of energy relays will not exceed two times. If the market's energy demand is still in short supply, then continue to increase the number of deployments of light energy collection converters. And on the other hand, increase the number of L-shaped star ring reflectors and energy relay satellites. After a series of measures, all users' energy needs are met. Not only can they respond promptly within 5 minutes, but they can also provide as much energy as they want, which will never delay their plans to make a fortune. Countless cheers followed. Brother Xing is awesome. Long live Brother Xing. The total energy supply power exceeds 500 million kW, which is enough. At least for this year. I have nothing more to say. Only four words. Brother Xing Yobi. Although it's a little slow. Brother Xing didn't strain my hips. So I can really show off my skills. Brother Xing. Can the L-shaped star ring reflector also provide energy for the mining spacecraft? Brother Xing. Can you borrow the mining spacecraft for use? I'll go get some meteorites back. Brother Xing. I want to circle a piece of land on Mars. The moon is too crowded now and is no longer an outlet. I want to eat the big crabs that develop Mars. I also want to go to the asteroid belt and bring back more high-value meteorites. Brother Xing. How about giving me a chance to make a fortune? Ha ha. With the establishment of the second main energy road, the opportunities for making money and development space before us have significantly increased. Many places that are inaccessible can be visited, especially Mars, which is almost the only place in the solar system suitable for human immigration. The planet's soil can be used for farming and coupled with Xing Yuan Group's massive energy. Mars, as a development hotspot, has great potential. Chapter 218 Xing Yuan Group Achieves Balance of Payments The total energy supply power of Xing Yuan Group space energy facilities has exceeded 500 million kW. In addition to fully meeting the energy needs of our customers, there is also at least 100 million kW of idle power that can be stored in the main energy channel for future utilization. And then, 
Xing Yuan Group has slowed down the pace of expansion, stopped the crazy overtime work, and restored the system of double breaks every week. The working time on normal working days is not allowed to exceed 10 hours, and it will be mandatory to get off work. Employees are also encouraged to fall in love more and go on blind dates to solve their personal partner problems. If they already have a partner, they can have a baby as soon as possible. All paternity leave and other things are approved. A series of measures came down. The Xingyuan group, which was originally filled with an atmosphere of involution, suddenly felt like the Buddhist system was lying flat. Considerable changes have taken place, which even made some employees very uncomfortable. What's going on? Doesn't Xingyuan group need to be involved? Is it time to lie back and enjoy your life? Potential competitors no longer need to be on guard. Can we sit back and relax? This doesn't seem to be the point where you can rest on your laurels and enjoy the results. Right? Has Li Xingyang ever made the most careful and thoughtful considerations? For such an arrangement, Li Xingyang certainly did not do it on a whim, but as a result of careful consideration. On the one hand, the employees of Xingyuan Group have been working overtime for several years. It's time to take a good rest and relax. There is no need to work so hard anymore. The most difficult and arduous stage has passed. In the future, we only need to consolidate our advantages. You need to maintain a high degree of tension at all times. So you can take care of your personal life and enjoy life. On the other hand, Xing Yuan Group has occupied a large part of Azure Star's energy market. Especially in space energy. Achieving an absolute monopoly and occupying all the most important golden orbits. No company can challenge it. Therefore, the expansion speed of Li Xingyang's energy empire does not need to be too blind. Leading to serious energy waste. It only needs to be based on the growth of the energy market and meet the needs of these market growth. There is no need to be too ahead of the curve. For example, if the current market energy demand is 400 million kW, then an energy supply power of 500 million kW is enough. If the energy market demand increases to 600 million kW by the end of the year, then it will be enough for Xing Yuan Group's total energy supply power to increase to 800 million kW to 1 billion kW. Anyway, as long as there is always 20 to 30 percent more redundancy than the energy market demand. In this way, for the employees of Xing Yuan Group, they can do everything without saying anything. They don't even need to work overtime at ordinary times. And they can get it done easily. Because mass production of light energy collection converters is quite easy. The production capacity can be quickly increased to 10 or even hundreds of units per day. As long as there is a need. The power generation power of a light energy collection converter is 1 million kW. And the manufacturing cost is about 300 million. Which will be reduced to 100 million. 80 million or even lower in the future. There are also energy relay satellites and ring reflectors. Their costs are not high. They only cost 200 to 300 million yuan. And will be less than 100 million yuan in the future. Their production capacity is also relatively optimistic and is completely sufficient. If the Xing Yuan group wants to increase the energy supply power, it only needs to increase the number of light energy collection converters deployed. The cost of adding some L-shaped star ring reflectors and energy relay satellites is not very high. It really doesn't work. If a large ring reflector must be deployed in space, its cost will only be around 30 billion. But it can withstand the passage of very high power light energy. Even at the 1 billion kW level, the most expensive giant energy relay satellite, which uses a large number of superconducting capacitors inside, costs only 50 billion. However, currently there are not many places where giant energy relay satellites are used. In the future, one will be built every year. That's it. Anyway, it's just less than 10 days of revenue for Xing Yuan Group. It's enough to build one every year. Not to mention the manufacturing costs will be reduced in the future. Anyway, the pace of expansion of Xing Yuan Group is anchored to the development speed of the energy market. The effect comes quickly. The hundreds of thousands of employees of Xing Yuan Group suddenly felt very relaxed. Not only did their overtime hours decrease significantly, but they also occasionally left work early due to the light workload. Overtime pay for employees has been reduced a lot. Then, the proportion of superconducting materials produced by superconducting materials factories can be reduced to 40%, and the other 60% can be sold externally. Not only does the production capacity of super photovoltaic panels not need to be increased, mainly because the light energy collection converter does not use so many super photovoltaic panels. Some of them can even be sold to other companies. But the most important thing is the energy market, with a power consumption of 400 million kW. 
nearly 10 billion kilowatt hours of electricity will be sold in a day, even if consumption is excluded and some discounts are applied. The daily income from electricity sales is still around 3.5 billion. This finally exceeded the daily sales revenue of superconducting materials and became the main revenue pillar of Xingyuan Group. That is to say, starting from today, Xingyuan Group will position itself as an energy company, which is absolutely worthy of its name. It is not a materials company or a photovoltaic company, and it is not trying to sell itself as a sheep. In addition, the good news is that after several years of being unable to make ends meet, starting from late July, for the first time, Xingyuan Group's income and expenses have reached a balanced state, and occasionally the income is greater than the expenses. Positive cash flow accumulation occurred. The cash flow in the group's financial account, after a period of crazy expansion, was only over 80 billion. It finally stopped falling and had a slowly increasing trend. It was no longer on the verge of drying up or even being saddled with debt. Therefore, after Xingyuan Group announced the news, hundreds of thousands of Xingyuan Group employees are very happy. It also aroused public attention and heated discussion, prompting a large number of economists to write articles and analysis. At this time last year, the debt of Xingyuan Group was close to 1 trillion, like a super thunder. But this year, the expansion speed of Xingyuan Group has not changed. It will take another half a year to sell the nearly trillion cash left by Platinum Comet. Almost all was spent, and I will probably go to the bank to borrow money soon. I didn't expect to achieve balance of payments so quickly. It is incredible. Or is the energy industry more profitable than we thought? Energy is of course a profit-making industry. Especially after Xingyuan Group occupied the golden power generation orbit near the sun. A light energy collection converter with a manufacturing cost of 300 million can generate 24 million degrees of electricity in one day and recover its own costs in one month. In another 20 or 30 days, the cost of the supporting star ring reflector and light sail reflector can be earned back. The average payback period is only two months. As long as all the energy can be sold, it can theoretically be done in one year, an increase of 64 times, which is as exaggerated as the reproductive efficiency of rabbits. Not only that, after the energy price of Xingyuan Group dropped to 50 cents, although Xingyuan Group's income decreased, it also reduced transportation costs and lowered the price of lunar minerals. So the cost of raw materials was also significantly reduced allowing light to the manufacturing costs of equipment such as energy harvesting converters and energy relay satellites have also dropped. And expenditures have been reduced because energy has become cheaper and more entrepreneurs are pouring into space. Energy consumption has increased significantly, cleverly achieving the goal of increasing revenue and reducing expenditure. These two seemingly impossible goals, as long as Xingyuan Group continues to reduce prices in the future, the cost of factory manufacturing will also decrease. The sales volume of energy will also increase sharply. And Xingyuan Group's net profit will only increase. We may no longer be able to make ends meet. But Xingyuan Group has passed the turning point of long-term profitability. And the future will only be smooth sailing and unstoppable. Genius. Li Xingyang is simply a genius in business. Every step is unexpected and unusual. From now on, Xingyuan Group has almost no place to turn to banks. It is impossible for the debt to keep getting bigger and bigger. Xingyuan Group while our economic community has proved that it is possible to expand at a high speed without expanding debt. It has proved that the sun is the largest financial system. As long as you are closer to the sun, you can get higher returns. I think if economists can study the source of the star, the secret of the group's success has created a discipline of solar economics. I think in the future, countless rich people will rush to the stars and run to them in every possible way. Because stars mean wealth. And the largest huge super wealth. Solar economics? If this subject proves to be scientific, practical and easy to use, and a truth consistent with common sense, then we will soon immigrate to other stars, especially those wealthy people with investment ideas. We'll take the lead, spread the seeds of human civilization, and it will only take a few million years to become the overlord of the galaxy, occupying every corner. Chapter 219 The Devil's Land Time has entered August. The rather distant Philippines, Tambia country, Lumwa Mining Area. Since July and August last year, a terrible legend has spread rapidly among the villages and tribes around the area. The Lumwa Mines are cursed. Especially the copper mining area controlled by the Molino family is a restricted area with the presence of terrifying devils. Even the brutal army of the warlord all had to leave this land of right and wrong in great horror 
after being attacked many times by the devil and suffering a lot of casualties. They gave up their pursuit of the interests of copper mines and their pursuit of horses. After being squeezed and exploited by the Lido family, they took the initiative to release all the members of the family. And after they all evacuated from the mining area, they no longer continued to be tortured and punished by the devil. And each of them secretly swore that they would not go there even if they were beaten to death. The Land of the Devil After various embellished descriptions, the reputation of the devil's land became even louder, making countless people around it curious and scared. However, for the Molino family, which successfully got rid of the control of the warlord Ollie and re-embraced freedom and security. They prefer to call the land under their feet the land blessed by God and the land of heaven. There is a place of oppression and a place where the warlord all must die. In private discussions, within the Molino family, only a few core members know the truth behind it. The ordinary family members are very grateful to God for helping them, but also have some regrets. It's a pity that hateful Aeoli doesn't dare to show up or come to our tribe again. Otherwise he will definitely be finished. This cunning guy is just a coward. Yes, this cruel devil killed so many of our family members. He should be punished. The light emitted by the gods penetrated his head and body, leaving a big hole in his head. He died neatly. But he he was always so cunning. When he saw that we were protected by the gods, he didn't show up at all. He hid everywhere and put a hood on his head. If the gods weren't willing to kill innocent people indiscriminately and didn't recognize him, he would have become a dead dog long ago. Hey, God is so kind. In my opinion, as long as they are members of the Brutal Legion, it is enough to kill them all without leaving anyone behind. There are not many good people among them. They are all robbers, murderers, murderers, and rapists. All criminals should die. Yes, you must be more cruel to those real devils than they are. But God has protected our safety and saved our family, so that the brutal army will not dare to provoke us anymore. As for the hatred of our family, we may need to do it ourselves. Go and repay. You can't rely on the benevolent God for everything. It makes sense. Our Melito family also has a certain strength. We also bought a lot of firearms, and weapons, and a lot of bodyguards before. But facing the warlord Aeoli, we didn't have the courage to resist. Instead, we put down our weapons and surrendered. This is the source of all tragedies. We should not be so weak. We must have the courage not to be afraid of death. Only in this way. Aeoli will not dare to provoke us from the beginning. And he will not suffer so much. The young black man held his hand. This said, We need to have the courage not to be afraid of death. But Ollie's brutal army is several times larger than ours. They often fight with other warlords. We are usually miners who mine and are not good at fighting. We also have old people and women. Children, do you want to be slaughtered after resisting? The patriarch's decision is right. Even if we go back to the past, we will compromise. This is not cowardice. But because we do not have the strength to protect the family and the mine. Another a young man retorted. Even if what you say makes sense, you can't give up resistance. The pain of being a slave is worse than death. I would rather choose resistance. Even if it means death. Yes, you will die as a slave digging mines and you will die fighting against the resistance. Anyway, you will die. You might as well fight with Aulius. But we did not die. God came to save us, which shows that as long as we are alive, we have the possibility of getting out of the predicament. If we die, we will have nothing, no matter how hard we work in mining. It is still better than having our family massacred. The young man shook his head. Kubu, I think you are just afraid of death and are a coward. Kubu, you are not a man. You do not have the courage to resist. Kubu, you only know how to kneel down and surrender. The kind God should not have saved your life. The objective and rational analysis of this young black man named Kubu was criticized verbally by his partners, who even said they did not want to talk to him anymore. There is no God. The black spot in the sky above our head is clearly a man-made device. Someone is helping us behind the scenes. Kubu thought to himself, wanting to refute, but his friends already had strong opinions on him. If he continued to slam to the gods, a being would be inevitable. Forget it. Just shut up. The other side, in a large family villa covering an area of several acres, the cries of dozens of women could be heard. In a room on the second floor, a thin old man lying on the bed was almost exhausted at the moment. He was relying on drips to stay alive. His eyes were dull. Multiple organs were failing. And he could not speak. It seems that I have reached the end of my life. 
taking his last breath maybe within a day or two. But the old man still opened his eyes from time to time, muttering two bites in his mouth, as if he still had some unfulfilled wishes and didn't want to leave just like that. Vera. Mine. Vera. Way. A middle-aged black man next to the bed leaned his ear closer and heard what he said clearly. He immediately said, Father, I will call Vera right away and ask her to come back to see you for the last time. I will definitely make it in time. No. Do not want. Don't ask her to come over. She. She belongs to China. Not to the tribe. Don't disturb her happiness. Cough, cough, cough. The old black man shook his head, coughed violently, and refused strongly. Even though he really wanted to see Vera for the last time, he knew he couldn't do it. Because Vera doesn't belong here. The old man also knew very well what the dozens of sons beside the bed were thinking. He knew that once Vera came back, the burden of the tribe leader would definitely fall on her head. These sons would kneel down one after another and beg Vera for help. Moral kidnapping forces her to take over the heavy responsibility. No one will compete with her, but everyone will support and support her. Because these sons all know who the god behind the scenes is who is helping the tribe. Know the relationship between Vera and the boss of Xingyuan group. He also realized that if the family wanted to develop and grow, it would only be possible under the leadership of Vera. Of course, it was not because of how capable Vera, who is only 19 years old, impressed these uncles. What they valued most was Vera's background and identity. And as long as they successfully establish some cooperation with Xing Yuan group through Vera relationship, the Melito family will take off. The old man Freeman, who saw through the thoughts of these sons, did not support their proposal and objected again and again. Because Vera was too young and was living a very happy life now. There was no need for her to return to the Philippines and travel to this place. Muddy waters. There is no hope in this land. She has worked hard all her life, but has never achieved anything. She cannot let her sacrifice her own happiness. She has always frowned since then. But Freeman's loving considerations were not understood by the sons at his bedside. After they exchanged glances with each other, they decided to call Vera back and ask Terry to take the mobile phone, walk to a corner where Freeman could not hear, and dial the number. Chapter 220 The Forgotten Philippines August 6th, Suong City in a villa on the south bank of the river, in the study room on the second floor. You, 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 brother, my uncle just called and said that my grandfather is ill and is about to leave this world. My grandfather, who loves me the most, will leave me forever. Brother, I want to go back to my hometown right away and see my grandfather for the last time. I know he is waiting for me and he also wants to see me. Only if he sees that I am well will he be willing to go to heaven. Help me. Brother, let me go back as quickly as possible. Grandpa doesn't have much time left. I don't want him to wait in pain. Whoa, now 19 years old, with a height of 1.7 meters, delicate facial features, and already tall and slim. Vera cried heartbrokenly in front of Li Xingyang, with tears streaming down her face. She held Li Xingyang's hand and kept pleading. Vera, don't be sad, and don't be in a hurry. I will arrange this for you right away, and have someone prepare a light plane to go back as quickly as possible. You can pack some clothes and luggage and set off within an hour at the earliest. Li Xingyang reached out and patted her head, comforted her, and took out his mobile phone to make a call to make arrangements. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Vera bowed and thanked her, then wiped her tears, quickly returned to her bedroom, and collected a few clothes and a few personal belongings. Then he took his luggage, got into a car, and headed to the Longxiao landing site. There was a light energy aerospace plane there that was ready. It would be much faster than the light energy passenger plane. It was expected to arrive within two hours. Able to reach Tambia, Philippines. Vera can be sent to her grandfather Freeman's bedside in about three hours at the fastest, which is extremely fast. In addition, Li Xingyang also arranged for several male and female bodyguards to accompany him to protect Vera's personal safety. Soon, in the buzzing roar, an aerospace transport plane quickly took off and headed straight for the country of Tambia, Philippines. Less than two hours. The aerospace plane descended and landed directly in the Lungwa mining area, near the villa covering an area of several acres, which aroused the surprise of many members of the Melito family. The plane door opens. Vera got off the plane and trotted into the villa, under the guidance of several uncles. She went to the bedroom on the second floor and saw her grandfather Freeman lying on the hospital bed. Grandpa! Grandpa! 
I'm there. I'm back. Grandpa, why are you so sick? Why don't you have someone call me and let me come back to see you soon? My grandfather, I want to ask the best doctors to treat you. I will take you to China where the medical conditions are better. I don't want you to die. I hope you can live to be a hundred years old. Stay with me and see me more. Please don't leave me. Okay? Vera held her grandfather Freeman's skinny hand and sat with tears streaming down his face. Vera, my baby Vera, you're finally back. When you grow up, you don't need to worry about me anymore. Okay. Okay. See my beloved Vera. Freeman was also very excited. His cloudy eyes became clear as if he were reflecting back on the light. He sat up and spoke clearly. It was obvious that he had been waiting for this moment and finally took his last breath. Grandfather. Vera put his hand on her face and cried harder. Silly boy. Don't cry. No matter who you are, you will reach the end of your life. I am very happy to see you for the last time. I have no regrets. Vera, among the children in the family, you are the one I can't let go the most. But the most it's you who can rest assured. When I die, you can return to China and continue to live the happiest life. Freeman spoke a lot and hung for a long time. Yeah, I know, I know. Vera shed tears, nodded repeatedly, and wrote down every word of care and advice from her grandfather. The other side, in a villa on the waterfront in Jiangin. In the study, facing a map of the Philippines, Li Xingyang dragged his chin with his hand and fell into deep thinking for a long time. I don't know what plan is brewing. Li Xingyang also checked some of the latest news and information about the Philippine mainland. And the interest on his face became even stronger. There is a head start. He still feels that this place is really promising. And it is entirely possible to create a trump card. As long as a little bit of resources are invested in it, the cost will definitely be very low, and the effect will be excellent, because now the Philippines has become a forgotten continent, a continent that no one is interested in, let alone a continent that dares to invest and develop. On the one hand, the reason is that there are too many kinds of chaos, which have not improved at all, and have even worsened in recent years. There are few peaceful and peaceful places, and what businessmen need most when doing business is a stable environment. However, this land does not have such an environment. Secondly, the current popular trends in economic development are all in space. The main goals of resource mining are all placed on space objects such as the moon, Mars, and meteorites. Although there are still many mineral resources on the blue star, it has lost its appeal. Finally, it is because the development of the Philippines cannot be promoted. This is a huge pit. Many companies in China have invested in mining here, investing billions and tens of billions, and also borrowing tens of thousands billions of loans to various countries for infrastructure construction and sincerely helping these countries develop. The result of it? Mines that had just developed mining capabilities were violently taken away. Loans worth tens of billions of dollars may not be repaid or may be repaid in 50 or 100 years. Anyway, there is not a penny left. After falling into pits too many times, the originally ardent desire to help others has completely cooled down. So starting two or three years ago, all kinds of capital and institutions in China have withdrawn from this continent. Mines, ports, farms, etc. are all gone and all are disposed of at low prices. All personnel were evacuated. Then invest most of the resources and funds into the development of the Sea of Stars. Because even if you go crazy in outer space, it is much better than investing money in a cold well. And it is much better than getting no return. The number of Chinese businessmen, engineers, Gold diggers and other groups who are still active in the Philippines has dropped from more than 1 million at the peak to about 10,000 now. And the loss is still decreasing. It is estimated that it will reduce to only a few thousand people. The scale is still scattered over such a vast continent. Panic. Many countries have begun to experience a feeling of being abandoned and forgotten. However, if there are not enough Chinese people to participate in all aspects of development and construction in the Philippines, serious consequences will soon become apparent. Economic growth rate has declined significantly. The level of unrest has increased. Many infrastructures began to fail due to lack of maintenance. Just as you only understand the preciousness of air when you are suffocated, the importance of the Chinese people has finally been faced and recognized. At the beginning, there were countless voices calling on the Chinese to go back, saying that changes would be made. But it was already too late. Compared with the super hot spot of developing space, who would be willing to develop in a poor place like the Philippines? It is completely correct and reasonable to put the Philippines aside. 
completely forget about it, and never consider coming here for development. But, Li Xingyang did not forget this piece of land. Instead, he felt that this was an opportunity, a great opportunity to launch some plans.